The cold school Belle has obviously awakened an S-level top talent, but everyone else avoids her like the plague. Even the head instructor is disappointed, believing that the former genius has fallen in the end. It turns out the school Belle has awakened the most bizarre curse. Any creature near her is at risk of death, but I am not afraid. Instead, I'm ten times excited. Even when the stage collapsed accidentally, I took the brunt of the falling rocks for him without hesitation. It turns out I also awakened a talent on that day. It's just the lowest level of flesh armor talent. But I unexpectedly found out Getting hit makes me stronger Not only do I gain one armor permanently with each injury The higher the armor, the higher the damage Even getting beaten up can acquire various amazing skills So the terrifying curse disaster is actually the best match for me to become stronger At this moment, I'm lying on the operating table, unable to move I faintly heard a sweet-sounding girl crying While another voice indicated I've injured my brain I'm afraid there's no hope left Unexpectedly, the next second I opened my eyes and interrupted them. Sorry, I'll have a drink of water first. You guys continue. At this moment, the school beauty Jiang he saw me suddenly wake up. The next second, she directly threw herself into my arms, crying and blaming herself at the same time. It's all my fault for always staying overnight at the internet cafe with you, causing your body to be so weak. People even thought you wouldn't wake up for real. Upon hearing this, I was speechless for a moment. I thought to myself, this girl is as mischievous as ever. While the doctor beside me looked incredulous, he quickly asked me how I managed to pull through. After all, in his eyes, I was just a waste with an awakened F-level talent. It turns out, just before I saved Zhang He from fainting, due to the continuous curse damage from the school's beauty, after my armor value accumulated to 20, I suddenly activated the skill of the Holy Shield Prison. And the skill effect was to rapidly repair physical injuries. So my injuries quickly recovered. But of course, I wouldn't reveal this secret. However, just as I was about to come up with an excuse, the ceiling fan suddenly fell down above my head and hit me on the head. But because my armor value is too high, the fan shattered, but I was unharmed. But Jiang he saw the situation. He apologized to me with a guilty face, because he knew that I was lying here injured and being hit by the fan was all because of his cursed talent. Unexpectedly, I smiled and said, Xiao he he, I heard your rent is about to expire. Do you want to move in and live with me? Upon hearing this, Zheng he was stunned for a second. But then he thought of something. His cheeks turned red. Then he couldn't help but nod. After being discharged from the hospital, I called Zheng he six times, but no one answered. Obviously, this girl is worried about accidentally hurting me again. So he chose to hide and not see me directly. And with his stubborn temper, I know I can't rely on this inexperienced newbie in the short term. However, now there are only three months left until the college entrance examination. If I can't reach the fifth level of awakening by then, then I won't even be able to pass the college entrance exam. So I plan to go directly to the nearest body training hall. To be a sparring partner and earn money. This way, I can also improve my armor by getting hit. However, the hall master saw that my level was too low, and my breath was weak. He was afraid that I would be beaten to death as a sparring partner. But I showed a confident look, indicating no problem. So he sent a third level awakened man to come and test my skills. Unexpectedly, the big man used all his strength to hit me. Not only did I not dodge, on the contrary, it indicates that the massage force is not enough. Seeing this, the big man was struck by dozens of punches in anger. And as his fist fell, in my mind, there were also continuous alert sounds. Ding received an attack from Awakening Tier 3. Armor plus 3. Spirit plus 3. Seeing this, I was suddenly filled with joy. I didn't expect that even enduring the hits would increase my spirit. It seems that this way, I will soon be able to advance to Tier 2. However, leveling up was not as simple as I thought. When my armor reached 30 points, it no longer increased. At this point, my spirit also stopped rising. After all, I was already completely immune to the big man's attacks. Meanwhile, the manager on the side looked surprised, although he didn't know how I did it. But it also directly allowed me to take the big man's place as a sparring partner. They asked me to get ready. Come to work tomorrow. Unexpectedly, I immediately indicated that I didn't need to rest after taking over. Directly requested the manager to arrange a training task, accompanied by an afternoon of being beaten. My armor value has dropped to 40, and at the same time, successfully promoted to the second tier awakened. However, the next day, I found that there was no one to fight only gained a bit of spiritual energy in the morning. But the armor didn't increase at all. Just as I was about to leave with disappointment on my face, suddenly, a rough voice came through. Thanks, manager. 
who will be my training partner today? Shortly after, a muscular man with broad shoulders and a round waist walked in. Seeing the situation, the surrounding trainees were suddenly shocked and pale. They all said they hadn't rested well. And I also found out that this person is a fifth tier awakened. However, his strength is comparable to the sixth tier. So even though he always pays 10 times the training fee, but no one can withstand his punches. Even the training fee is spent on medical expenses. But I only felt a wave of excitement. I immediately offered to be his training partner. Hearing this, my colleagues around me looked at me with admiration. I thought I could easily defend myself this time too, but to my surprise, I was hit with internal injuries from the first punch as soon as I stepped into the ring. Obviously, I overestimated my defense, but I chose to tough it out with recovery. Finally, I was able to withstand his punches completely. In the end, I reduced my armor to 65 points directly. However, at this moment, the director saw me enduring the beating like this, so they directly promoted me to intermediate training assistant, and even made tough statements to the public. The ultimate training assistant with the lowest cultivation in history knocked me out for recovery, immediately rewarded with 50,000 yuan, 7th level 18,000 plus 5, 000, 000, 9th level free pass. As soon as this was said, the surroundings immediately exploded. Everyone signed up to come and try. As expected, they became my experience babies. Even today, a ninth level awakener came. I didn't expect that I still held on. However, the cost was breaking a dozen ribs. And after a month of training, I directly advanced to become a sixth level awakener. So I plan to apply to the head coach for a senior training assistant position. After all, the pay is better this way. At the same time, the opponents we encounter are also much stronger. Unexpectedly, the gym leader said, although I can take a beating, but the opponents of the high-level training partners are all at the dancer level. And knowing that dancers are a presence at the ninth level online, so he directly sent a first-level dancer to test me. I saw the dancer Zhao Tian standing right in front of me. I felt a strong aura rushing towards me, so I immediately focused and prepared for the battle. Unexpectedly, Zhao Tian saw that I was just a small awakener, and then he directly burst into laughter. He was even too lazy to attack. However, I did not let this opportunity pass. I directly summoned an orange shield from my hand. Then I dashed and hit Zhao Tian, only to hear a loud noise coming. Zhao Tian let out a muffled groan, fell to the ground in one move, and I also easily achieved victory. To my surprise, the people around didn't cheer for me, but instead, they felt that winning was just Zhao Tian looking down on me. Obviously, they couldn't believe that a powerful dancer could be defeated, and the response of Zhao Tian was also unwilling to accept it, saying that he himself was not ready to ask for a rematch, but I couldn't be bothered to deal with him, directly asked the hall manager if I could advance, and the hall manager naturally agreed upon seeing the situation. Unexpectedly, at this moment, a middle-aged man in a suit walked over. After handing me a business card, he said, Zhang, my dear student, I am Lu Mingyuan, the manager of the underground arena. I was particularly impressed by your performance just now. I sincerely invite you to participate in the underground arena. And of course, I had heard of this place. The skill level of the players there is the lowest. They are all dancers. And each one is a wolf-faced person who doesn't care about life and death. Obviously, this weakling is no match for the sky. So I directly rejected him and planned to develop sneakily. Never thought, but Lu Mingyuan still didn't give up. I know brother Jiang is stable, has some concerns. How about this? You come to our underground arena to watch a match and then make a decision. Tonight's arena battle is very exciting. The contestant is a high school girl in the awakening stage. She is also an S-level talented awakener. Hearing this, I was stunned instantly, stopped in my tracks, subconsciously thought of a beautiful voice. So I took the business card. Show that you will go. When it's night, I arrived at the location of the arena. This is a magnificent nightclub. Then I was led around by the accompanying security guard. Finally arrived at the audience seats of the underground arena. The match hasn't started yet, but the seats around were already full. Accompanied by the opening bell ringing, the audience instantly burst into cheers. The Cursed Woman. The Cursed Woman. Hearing this title, I instantly knew it was Jian He. At this point, I only heard the person in front discussing. The Cursed Woman has been at this underground arena for half a month now. No one had high hopes for her at first, but she conquered everyone with her strength. A full half month without a single defeat. 
Unexpectedly, the audience on the side refuted. The curse girl is indeed strong, but she's also really unlucky. Won the first match but got hit on the head by a small chandelier. Won the second match but fell off the stage. Even won the last match but still slightly got injured accidentally. It's hard to say if she can still compete today. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Jung Yi's opponent is the undefeated Bear King Awakener, an 8th rank combatant against one nearly 3 ranks lower. The gap in their strength is huge. Therefore, the odds of the curse girl winning are also very high. So, I put all the 300,000 I earned in a month on Jiang Yi's camp, thinking that if he loses, I'll let Xiao Hua and Ro Chang. Soon, Jiang Yi limped onto the stage, but wearing a mask on his face, can't see the face, as the bell for the match rings. But the opponent, Bear King, looks disdainful as he easily evades all of Jiang Yi's attacks. At the same time, he continues to verbally harass. Obviously, he doesn't take him seriously. Unexpectedly, just as Jiang Yi is about to launch the next attack, at this moment, Bear King suddenly counterattacks. He fiercely throws a punch at the charging Jiang Yi, but Jiang Yi's leg injury hasn't healed. He can only raise his hands and take the blow, and is instantly sent flying 7 or 8 meters. Then, without giving him time to react, Bear King's fist comes down like a storm, and he can only endure, while looking for an opportunity. At this moment, I am also extremely anxious in the audience, but then, a prompt sounded in my mind. Ding was hit by the aftermath of the curse power of Jiang He armor and clothing. See the situation. I was slightly surprised. Immediately realized that Jiang Ha had activated a skill. Sure enough, the movements of the Bear King on the stage suddenly froze. The raised fist fell down weakly again. Unexpectedly, the arena cracked open the next second. But the Bear King didn't dodge at all, allowing himself to be engulfed by the rubble falling under the ruins. This scene made the whole venue silent instantly. However, five seconds later, cheers and shouts erupted again, and I was also very satisfied with the situation. Then Zhang Ying's 600,000 all went into the card. Unexpectedly, Lu Mingyuan standing behind the scenes was not happy. Instead, he blames Jiang Yi for using the curse power without permission. This way, he will soon be backfired and die from the curse. Then he won't be able to continue making money. However, at this moment, he suddenly remembered something, and instantly saw a new money-making opportunity. Then, without giving Jiang Yi any time to rest, announced to the public that the cursed girl will be back on stage in an hour. At this moment, I heard this fact from the lobby's broadcast. I was instantly furious. I thought to myself, isn't this sending Jiang Yi to his death? Unexpectedly, just when I was in a state of urgency, suddenly, a man in a suit, who had passed away, came to say that the manager of the house, Lu Mingyuan, wanted to see me. I was stunned at first by his words, but the next second, I immediately understood. Lu Mingyuan must know about my relationship with Jiang Yi. So he was sure that I would replace him on stage. When Lu Mingyuan saw me, he got straight to the point. It means the next opponent for Jiang Yi is not easy to beat. He hopes I can replace him in the game. After all, Jiang Yi's prize money is still with him. If I don't play, the prize money will go to waste. But when faced with his blunt threat, not only did I not get angry, but instead, I readily agreed. After all, I was feeling a bit itchy myself. Xiao Chue noticed the situation and Lu Ming Yuan's face instantly lit up with a smile. Then he asked for my stage name. I pondered for a moment at his words, and then bluntly said, Just call me the father of curses. Then I promptly left the office. After leaving, I directly bought the same mask as Jiang Yi's, and then sat in the lounge waiting for the start. Meanwhile, on the other side, Lu Mingyuan also spread the news that I'm going to perform. But when people heard that I'm just a sixth order awakener, while the opponent is a second order dancer master, they immediately placed heavy bets on dancer Efoam. After all, there's too little information about me. The audience only thought I was here to replace the cursed girl. Soon the odds reached 1 to 5. Seeing this, I, on the other hand, put 600,000 directly on myself, preparing to flip to 3001000 Night Rage. However, at this time, Zhang Yi in the dressing room was confused for a moment. Originally, being replaced was already surprising, but I didn't expect this person to be called the father of curses. This is clearly taking advantage of me. The sudden ugly expression on his face means he's going to clean up this person after the game. The game is about to start soon. The first to take the stage is the undefeated A Foam. The whole audience erupted into a loud cheer in an instant. Everyone is looking forward to his victory. Then make money for yourself. But when it's my turn to play, it's a miserable 10 points. All I hear accompanying me are bursts of booze and ridicule. And at this moment, Zhang Yi also happens to walk out of the locker room. He comes to the side of the stands facing me. Unexpectedly, when I look up, I meet his eyes. 
Although I'm wearing a mask at this moment, he recognizes me at a glance, this man who claims to be the father of curses, Xiao Chuanzi. Suddenly, Zhang Yi's heart is filled with mixed emotions, remembering the days when we skipped class and played together, and remembering the scene when I shielded him from the flying rocks and got hurt, even though everyone around saw him as a jinx, but there was a man who never left him. Thinking about this, tears instantly filled his eyes. From now on, I will definitely not let you get hurt again. So, Zhang Yi on the stand was about to take me away on the spot. But unexpectedly, he was stopped by Lu Mingyuan beside him. You can't stop Zhang Chuan. The sound of the river is irresistible. This scene shocked the surrounding audience, quickly making way. Afraid of being affected themselves, I was also drawn to the sound. At the same time, I also recognized it was the sound of the river. So I shouted loudly at him. Silly girl, don't be impulsive. Just watch dad's performance. Dad will buy you something tasty if he wins. Sure enough, after hearing my voice, the momentum of the river instantly weakened. Seeing me wink mischievously at him again, finally began to relax. However, even so, the curse power around him still emanates strongly. Thinking that even if today he destroyed the entire underground arena, don't let me get hurt for him again. However, the old fans below the stage were suddenly unhappy. I didn't expect the cursed woman to not be angry when faced with this openly opportunistic man. Instead, she was very happy. At this moment, Ifoma on the stage only sees me awakening the six swords. He arrogantly spouted some trash talk. You can still surrender now. Otherwise, I hope you haven't eaten today. Otherwise, I'll knock the crap out of you later. But seeing no reaction from me, you thought I was already trembling in fear. Suddenly, with a shout from her, her leg then swiftly kicked at my arm with a gust of wind. I immediately sensed the violent probing of elemental skills on my skin, detecting the host's exposure to elemental skill attacks. The flesh armor automatically purifies, triggering the magic resistance armor. Its effect is to absorb the spiritual power released by the attacker and convert part of it into its own spiritual energy. The rest is converted into experience points. Experience points can be used to upgrade the magic resistance armor, unlocking new skills. However, here I felt a sense of joy. Now mom doesn't have to worry about me being bullied by the spirited warriors anymore. And at this moment, Ifeng is still attacking me non-stop. And each attack is extremely fast. Every move is aimed at my vital points, but I didn't dodge any of them. Instead, I directly faced and endured the attacks from Zhang Yifeng. Armor plus 1. Spirit plus 70. Magic resistance experience plus 1. The beating continued like this for 5 minutes, until Yifeng's stamina was almost depleted. He stood there panting heavily. It's over. Now it's my turn. With that said, I directly took out a yellow shield. Then a simple and unadorned shield strike followed. Only a loud bang was heard. Inching fell to the ground with a groan, only feeling a sharp pain in the abdomen. Then the intestines writhed wildly. I couldn't help it. The gate is slightly open. At this moment, I also looked at the scene in front of me without mincing words. I directly taunted him. Zs, TSK. I heard you were about to beat me up just now. Lu Xiang is probably your father. Ha ha ha. At this moment, the referee who came to his senses finally announced that the winner of this match is the father of the curse. At this moment, the audience below exploded. They all accused Yi Feng of being useless. He can't even beat a sixth level awakened spiritualist. His own wife was completely defeated. At this time, Zhang He in the stands. See, I'm completely unharmed. Finally, I've restrained the curse on my body. Look how nervous you are. You should believe in your man's strength. Zhang He hears what Lu Mingyuan says. Her originally cold face is now flushed. Stop the nonsense. Don't forget to transfer my one million prize money to me. That's natural. As Lu Mingyuan finishes speaking, he immediately made a call. Why not arrange to meet him? But Zhang He shook his head at the words. It's not that he doesn't want to see you. It's just that being with me, I'll definitely become unhappy. So he's prepared to take one last look at me and leave. But unexpectedly, our eyes met again. This time, his eyes immediately start to avoid mine unconsciously. Then I'm ready to turn around and leave the underground arena. But how could I not understand this little girl's mind? So I walked directly to the host, picked up the microphone. Xiao he he, do you dare to run today and give it a try? How long are you going to avoid me? Zhang he in the audience heard my words, instantly froze in place. Seeing him stop in his tracks, I also quickly ran to his side. But Zhang he dared not meet my gaze, just lowered his head and kept to himself. Watching me out of the corner of his eye, his heart was pounding like a little deer. While I just opened my arms directly. Silly girl, long time no see, how about a loving hug? Unexpectedly, Zhang He, who was still touched, suddenly turned hostile, gave me a fierce glance, then started to punch and kick me. Who let you hug me? 
the father of curses, ha, huh? silly daughter, ha, huh? but on the surface, I played along and dodged his fans, in fact, I was looking for an opportunity to hug the girl I had missed for a long time, I hugged him as if no one else was around for 5 minutes before letting go of him, then I kept holding his hand tightly, at this moment, John Ha took out his phone to show off his million dollar prize to me, but I just smiled at the sight, then I hugged him and went to the front desk to collect my 3 million winnings, and when Jiang Ha saw the scene, he fell into contemplation instantly. After becoming overnight millionaires, of course, we wouldn't belittle ourselves. Immediately found a Sha County hotel to start our late night snack. Shortly after, I then said to Jiang and suggested that we live together. And there was no doubt in my tone. Seeing this, Jiang Yi had to agree. However, at this moment, the TV broadcasted a wanted notice. There is a wanted criminal on the loose. Residents should be cautious when going out. If found, please report it in time. Here is the suspect information notice. Zhang He and I watched the TV with the incredibly ugly wanted criminal. We couldn't help but burst into laughter. Unexpectedly, on our way back, we happened to encounter the wanted criminal from the TV. At this moment, Zhou Hong directly blocked our way. Looks like you recognize me. I've followed you a long way from the underground arena. We should definitely reimburse the taxi and escape expenses. We can just use the little girl's prize money for reimbursement. Seeing Zhou Hong in front of me, showing a lewd smile. But I dare not respond in a big way. Immediately standing in front of Jiang He to protect him. Because this person's cultivation is actually close to the sixth calamity of the five realms. Suddenly, Zhou Hong flashed over and struck me. I immediately felt intense pain all over my body. And I also seized the opportunity to strike back at him. So it's just the two of us, exchanging blows. After a few exchanges, both of us are already covered in injuries. Luckily, I have the sacred desire shield skill so it doesn't look as bleak as it seems. The river behind me couldn't help but unleash the power of the curse. The house next to Zhou Hong collapsed with a bang and buried him completely. And Jiang He fell weakly on top of me. Unexpectedly, just as we were about to leave, Zhou Hong actually climbed out of the pile at the same time, then rushed towards us again. At this moment, I lost the blessing of the shield and bow. Attacks simply couldn't pose any threat to Zhou Hong. I could only passively take the hits. I didn't expect this to be a prompt from the system. The experience of the Ding Mo Kong armor is full. Automatically leveling up and gaining the skill counterattack storm effect, which returns all the opponent's attacks since the beginning of the battle. And I had already accumulated enough attacks on Yi Fong and Zhou Hong. So I immediately activated the skill. I saw a circle of purple aura gathering around me. Then, they all rushed towards Zhou Hong. The next moment, Zhou Hong fell to the ground and didn't move. But even after he died, I didn't let go. I immediately searched his body. To my surprise, I found a blood red token inscribed with the words blood curse. The moment I picked up the token, a tremendous energy instantly spread throughout my body. Not only did all my wounds heal automatically, but I even gained two levels. However, I couldn't be happy at this moment, because the surrounding area was gradually filling up with onlookers. So I quickly left with Jiang He. The next morning, just after waking up, Jiang He, who had just finished lunch, exclaimed, Xiao Chuanzi, I didn't expect it to be such a short time. You've actually become so fierce. So Jiang He only saw me as having just slept. Surprisingly, all the fierce wounds from last night's battle have disappeared. I was surprised and opened my mouth wide for a moment. Clearly, I was just a below average student with FG talent before. Unexpectedly, just as I was about to tell him the truth, suddenly, there was a knock on the door. I saw a middle aged man with a big belly carrying a fruit basket. He looked at me with a smile on his face. Is this Mr. Jun? It turned out to be the school principal who came. He expressed that, due to the glorious deed of the two of us eliminating the wanted criminal yesterday, it has been widely reported in the local news. The school hopes that we will return to class. In fact, the principal only saw that I could defeat the powerful Zhou Hong. I hope I can bring some glory to the school. However, I just sneered. Maybe it's just the principal. Do you want us to go back? Our homeroom teacher doesn't think so. Previously, due to his cursed talent, the homeroom teacher was afraid of implicating himself and the students. So he directly drove Jiang Ha out of the classroom. Upon hearing this, the principal said, Don't worry about him. I'll just arrange for you to join the seed class and give you each a dose of awakening elixir. However, I don't care for these conditions at all. 
After all, the people in the seed class are all a bunch of rookies, and although the awakening elixir is very useful, it's only priced at 301,000, so I said I won't go to that school, but I will participate in the college entrance examination. The principal saw me make a commitment, finally let go. After all, my strength is extremely important to the school, but I clearly understand. The criteria for enrolling in top universities is not just based on combat power, it also depends on the individual's cultivation. So what I need to do next is to break through the dancer realm within two months. Yu Wentao did not expect Zhang Chuan to make such a decision. If it was only him, it would be fine, but now there was also Jiang He's decision. Wasn't this a joke on his teaching career? He gritted his teeth and stopped Zhang Chuan from closing the door. He knelt down with a thud. Just thinking about the situation he was about to face, Yu Wentao's legs went weak. So this kneeling could be seen as his surrender, or it could be said that he was scared. As an S-level talent awakener who could battle against a fifth-order martial artist, anyone working in high school education understood what it represented. He knew the principal's words were not a joke, because at this moment, the principal's cold gaze was fixed on him. If he couldn't handle this matter well today, he could start packing up and leave. If he lost his job as a teacher, he could only go out and do manual labor. In this era filled with awakeners, he wouldn't even earn as much as others. How could he support his whole family? The more Yu Wentao thought about it, the more scared he became, and he unconsciously pleaded with tears in his eyes, Zhang Yi, Zhang Chuan, I beg you, please come back to school. If you don't come back, I will lose my job tomorrow. I have elderly parents and young children. Give me a chance. I know I was wrong, it was my fault back then. Yu Wentao cried and shouted, even slapping himself in the face. Zhang Yi calmly watched, while Zhang Chuan had a playful expression. Yu Wentao's attitude showed that the principal had taken drastic measures. But Jiang Chuan remained unmoved, wanting to close the door, but Yu Wentao firmly held on and refused to back down. Yu Wentao kept making a scene, and Jiang Chuan, fearing a bad influence, had no choice but to issue an eviction order with disdain, alright, alright, I won't go back to school. I will take the college entrance exam. Don't act pitifully in front of me. If you don't mind losing face, I still do. Okay, Jiang Chuan, your words are enough. Jean Baokai, who had been coldly watching Yu Wentao's tearful performance, Finally felt relieved when he heard that Jiang Chuan would still take the college entrance exam at Yeqing No. 1 High School. Squeak, slap. Jiang Chuan finally managed to close the door as he wished. Along with it, Yu Wentao's heart, which had been lifted, also fell. Although he might be demoted, at least he could keep his job. He felt like a deflated balloon, his limbs instantly going weak. Yu Wentao walked back to school like a walking corpse. So you really want to go back to school to take the college entrance exam? To be honest, I really dislike the way those people in school look at us. Jiang Yi frowned slightly, not because she was dissatisfied with Jiang Chuan's decision, but because she expressed her feelings. We definitely have to take the college entrance exam, otherwise, how can we have a chance to get into a better university? Or we can wait for the admissions office to come find us, so it'll be easier and there won't be so much trouble. Jiang Chuan joked. Do you think the admissions office is your family's business? They come when they want to. Jiang Yi said irritably. Right. That's why we have to take the college entrance exam, so we can get into a better university and have a chance to deal with your unlucky talent. Don't mention my talent again. Jiang Yi pouted, but the smile in the corners of her eyes couldn't be hidden. Name, Jiang Chuan, level, awakening 8th order, 55 slash 3000, talent, F level flesh armor, current attack power, 60, current armor value, 156, active skill, shield attack, passive skills, healing shield, magic resistance armor, skill effect, counterattack storm, equipment, none, while Jiang Chuan and Jiang Yi were chatting, he took a look at his attribute panel. His luxurious armor value couldn't be increased in a short period of time. And the college entrance exam wasn't just about combat power, it also depended on cultivation. After all, even if he reached the Ninth Order Awakening, he would only be noticed by top universities, not guaranteed admission. If it is possible to break through the warrior within two months, then it should be stable. Now I can only spend more time getting beaten up at the physical training hall. Jiang Chuan helplessly, his sandbag life is about to begin again. That night, the principal of Yeqing No. 1 middle school made four phone calls. Each call was made to the admissions office of the top 10 universities. One of the calls was even made to the second-ranked Magic City Wuda. He briefly explained the situation of Jiang Chuan and Jiang He, and received the same answer from all four, come early tomorrow morning. Jean Baokai lay on the sofa chair with a smile on his face, his hand resting on the back of his head, shaking his leg. He just thought of it. It would be even more secure if they could be sent out of Yeching No. One middle school in advance. 
Why wait for the college entrance examination? Principal Jean couldn't help but give himself a thumbs up for his wit. And he also knew that you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. It's not that he's afraid that the other party won't like Zhang Chuan and Zhang He, but what if the two of them don't like the school on the other side? To be on the safe side, he notified several others as well. At the same time, a flight from the imperial capital landed at Yeqing Airport. A man with a big back head and sunglasses walked down from the plane. From his temperament, it can be seen that he is not an ordinary person. He picked up his phone and dialed a number. Hey, Lao Zhang, I have arrived in Yecheng. So fast? Wait for me, I'll come pick you up. No hurry, remember to bring me the information of those two students. Oh, old friend, it's been a long time since we met. Let's have a meal first. Seeing Zhang Tiancheng teasing him, Su Cheng Tian immediately became anxious. We can eat later, if you don't bring me the information, I won't let you off today. Ha ha ha. It's been a long time since I've seen you so angry, old Su. Zhang Tiancheng joked with his old friend without any scruples. The last day of April. Zhang Tiancheng enthusiastically sent Su Cheng Tian to the gate of Yeqing No. 1 Middle School. Lao Zhang, remember to inform the principal of Yeqing No. 1 Middle School, I will go in and find those two students first. Su Cheng Tian reminded as he got out of the car. Okay. Zhang Tiancheng smiled and waved his hand. They had a great time reuniting last night and forgot to inform Principal Jean, but it didn't matter. The weather is nice today. Su Cheng Tian's mood is as bright as the sun in the sky. He walked briskly to the door of class 3 to 2 of the third year. Knock knock. Seeing that there was a class going on inside, he politely knocked on the door twice. Come in. Yu Wentao frowned slightly and looked towards the door. The door was pushed open, revealing a middle-aged man who looked unfamiliar. Yu Wentao thought he was a new teacher and didn't give him a good face. Are you a new teacher? Did you come to the wrong classroom? I'm here to find Jiang Chuan and Jiang Yi, are they here? Su Cheng Tian maintained his composure. Yu Wentao had just come out of the shadow of the two of them and had spent the night sorting out his emotions before coming to class. It's really hitting where it hurts. He was still worried about not having a place to vent his anger. Zhang Chuan and Zhang Yi? They are no longer in this class. Also, this is Yeqing No. 1 Middle School, not the Supernatural Bureau. If you want to find someone, please go to the Supernatural Bureau for registration, and then post a missing person notice. How can a new teacher have no rules? Su Qingtian's face turned purple and blue as he was scolded by Yu Wentao. Yes, yes, Director Zhang, I will definitely not neglect Director Su. Jean Baokai hung up the phone with a smile on his face, then looked at the various admissions office directors gathered in the principal's office. He couldn't hide his joy in his eyes and said, You all heard it, Director Su has also come to our Yeqing No. 1 Middle School, the rest is up to you. The four admissions office directors looked at each other and evaluated the others present. Everyone is the admissions office director of the top 10 schools in the country. If even Principal Jean is obedient, the person who came must be no worse than them. Among the top 10 schools in the country, the only director surnamed Su is Su Cheng Tian from the imperial capital Wuda. It is worth mentioning that among the owners of the admissions office, Lu Ran from Bingyuan Wuda is prominently listed. At this moment, her expression on her face is particularly complicated. Last night, when she heard the names of Jiang Chuan and Jiang Yi, she couldn't sleep all night, and now she has to face fierce competition from top universities. She instantly felt immense pressure. After Principal Jean Baokai finished speaking, he hurriedly walked out of the principal's office and headed towards the classroom of class 3 to 2. As he approached, he heard Yu Wento inside the classroom speaking disrespectfully. His oily face instantly turned dark, as if it had been stained with dirt. He quickly arrived in front of the classroom. What happened? Jean Baokai respectfully nodded at Su Cheng Tian, then asked Yu Wento with a gloomy expression. Principal, you came at the right time. This new teacher hasn't figured out the way yet and is running around everywhere not even knowing to report to the office. He also said he wants to find Jiang Chuan and Jiang He, but both of them haven't come back to class. Yu Wentao showed extreme dissatisfaction towards Su Cheng Tian and wanted the principal to intervene. Jin Baokai looked at Yu Wentao as if he were looking at a fool. He had just suffered a loss yesterday, and today he was still so short-sighted. If this important figure could come to Yeqing No. 1 middle school to teach, it would be a great opportunity for Jin Baokai. He glanced at Su Cheng Tian's expression which was clearly on the verge of anger. If the owner of the imperial capital would have blamed him, he, as the principal, would basically have to step down. Thinking of this, Jean Baokai felt a burst of anger. Why did he have to clash with such a person? You should learn from your mistakes, Yu Wentao. Should I say you're brave or foolish? You just saved your job yesterday, and now you're about to lose it. Jean Baokai forcibly controlled his urge to throw Yu Wentao downstairs and introduced, This is Su Cheng Tian, 
the director of the admissions office at Imperial Capital Wuda. Boom! Yu Wentao heard the other party's identity and felt as if he had been struck by lightning, buzzing in his head. The director of the admissions office at Imperial Capital Wuda? His legs instantly lost their strength, and he knelt down more decisively than the previous two times. Kneeling three times in two days, Yu Wentao staked his entire teaching career. The first time he was saved because of the principal's tolerance, the second time because of his stubbornness. This time, he was met with Su Qingtian's cold gaze, without any extra emotional fluctuations. Yu Wentao crawled to his feet like a baby with an accelerator. Director Su, Director Su, I didn't mean to offend you. Ignorance is not a crime. Please, as an adult, forgive and forget about me. Su Cheng Tian didn't respond, he glanced deeply at Principal Jean, then left. Seeing that the other party didn't speak, Yu Wentao turned his gaze to Principal Jean, who had already lost his previous anger and sighed, shaking his head. It was his own fault, no wonder others. He also left in silence, followed by the directors of four other universities' admissions offices. Seeing the expression on the principal's face, Yu Wentao knew that there was no way to salvage the situation. His professional career had come to an end. He collapsed to the ground, crying in pain. It seemed that even a family feast wouldn't be as desperate as this. Nine o'clock in the morning. Are you going to work? Jiang Yi, who was young and beautiful, sat cross-legged on the sofa, looking at Jiang Chuan, who was getting dressed, and asked. Don't misunderstand, these past two days, Jiang Chuan slept on the sofa, while Jiang Yi slept on the bed. It's just that they had a bit too much fun last night and got carried away, so they slept in. Yeah, I'm already late if I go now. Jiang Chuan adjusted his hairstyle in front of the mirror. Ah, will they deduct your salary for being late? Jiang Yi covered her mouth, looking gleeful. Of course not. Your brother Chuan is a top player. Jiang Chuan finished getting ready, struck a pose, and acted arrogant. You don't look like you're going to a serious job. You even took two minutes to dress up. Jiang Yi looked Jiang Chuan up and down, her face full of vigilance. That is for the last bit of dignity before getting beaten up. Jiang Chuan muttered in his heart. How could I do such an improper job? Xiao He He, don't think too much. Jiang Chuan said as he prepared to leave. No, today I must go and inspect it myself. I absolutely cannot let you, Xiao Chuanzi, fall into depravity. In order to go out with Jiang Chuan, Jiang Yi had already gotten up two hours ago, dressed up, and waited for the opportunity. Under her persistent persuasion, Jiang Chuan had no choice but to bring this clingy person along. Congratulations, Lao Wu, on having a good son. Ha ha ha, accept this red envelope, accept it. My son is promising, so I'll give everyone a little something. It's all thanks to your good education, Lao Wu. I wish Xiaoli success in his studies. The neighbors happily accepted the red envelopes, and the landlord, Lao Wu, was pleased with all the flattery. Behind him, his son, Wu Helen, looked proudly at his father showing off in front of the neighbors. At this moment, the father and son saw Jiang Chuan leaving. Lao Wu took out a red envelope from the pile and walked up to Jiang Chuan with Wu Helen, saying with great concern, Xia Jiang, I heard that you're working outside every day now and not going to school? Actually, studying is the way out. Look at Xiao Li, the same age as you, and he's already been admitted to university. Uncle Wu doesn't just want to persuade you with a few words, huh? Is this your girlfriend? Lao Wu noticed the girl who came out with Jiang Chuan. Look, now you have to take care of a girlfriend too. Take another red envelope. Lao Wu took out another red envelope from the pile and gave them both together. At this time, no one noticed that Wu Helen's gaze was always focused on Jiang He. In his eyes, all the beautiful words were not enough to describe Jiang He. They both attended school in the same city, and they had heard about the school flower of Yi City No. One middle school and how beautiful she was. At that time, Wu Helen was amazed by Jiang He when he went to take a look with his friends. Since then, he had kept her in his heart. In the days that followed, besides studying, Wu Helen tried to find out about Jiang He through various channels, but he only knew some basic information, like the curse calamity, the limited lifespan, and how unlucky she was. Of course, he also knew that Zhang Yi had a close opposite sex friend living in his dad's neighborhood, but he didn't pay much attention to it at the time, after all. They were just friends a few days ago, he learned that Zhang Yi had been kicked out of her apartment and wanted to create an opportunity to meet her. But now, seeing her together with that man, his sunshine was instantly extinguished. Maybe it was anger rushing to his head, or maybe it was grievance overpowering reason. But he just couldn't stay calm, he wanted his goddess to know that he cared about her. He stepped forward, standing in front of his father, and shouted out the name of his heart's desire, Zhang He. Zhang Chuan glanced sideways and looked at Zhang He next to him, thinking that the little girl he had met a month ago had disappeared. The other person also looked up and met his puzzled gaze, shaking her head. Do we know each other? 
Jiang Yi raised her slender finger, pointed at Wu Helen, then pointed at herself, quickly gesturing back and forth. You don't know me, but I know you. I know your situation, and I know about your curse calamity. There is no future for you with this man. Wu Helen firmly denied Jiang Chuan's existence. Lao Wu was originally still in a state of confusion, but seeing the situation, how could he not understand his son's thoughts? He slowly took back the red envelope in his hand. Jiang Chuan definitely won't be receiving these two today. Oh the secret admirer Jiang Chuan looked at Jiang Yi once again, and even a blind person could see it now, the silly son of the landlord's family was interested in Xiao He. his eyes were full of teasing. Jiang Yi felt a little embarrassed. Before she could refute, she heard Wu Heli continue, first, let me talk about my situation. I am a seed student at Yilan Male High School. I awakened and broke through to the seventh stage of awakening in just one month. I have already met the criteria for early admission, and a university has already invited me. It's Lan Chuan University, ranked 25th in the country. If I can reach the eighth stage of awakening within two months, I will receive personal guidance from the master professor at Lan Chuan University. If you are willing to leave this man and be with me, I can find a way to recommend you to our school. I will also find a way to help you lift the curse. Wu Heli confidently straightened his chest and stated his qualifications, with a face full of expressions saying, Come with me instead of this waste. Put. Jiang Chuan's laughter accidentally escaped from his mouth and was heard by Wu Heli. What are you laughing at? He looked at his rival and frowned. Nothing, don't mind me. I just remembered something funny Jiang Chuan didn't intend to take any further action and mocked the ordinary Pu Xian male in front of him with pity. At least for him and Jiang He, he was indeed too ordinary. As expected, after Jiang He finished listening, she burst into laughter. First of all, I've never even heard of that Yilan male high school. But breaking through to the seventh stage of awakening in just one month, wow, that's great but sorry, I'm already at the eighth stage of awakening. Jiang He sarcastically applauded, uninterestedly saying, and Lan Chuan University that accepted you? Can you just add some water and make instant noodles there? I'm curious. It's worth mentioning that Icefield University, ranked 10th, once promised that as long as I broke through to the sixth stage of awakening, I could enroll, but I didn't agree. May I ask where your confidence comes from to make me be with you? Do you have the keys to my house? How many copies? So sorry, I refuse. Jiang Yi's words hit Wu Heli's fragile heart like a cannon, leaving him speechless. He could only weakly say, my family collects rent. So you see, you're still relying on your family's property development, and look at the handsome guy beside me. Jiang Yi placed her hand on Jiang Chuan's shoulder, making him pleasantly surprised. Why is she bringing me into this? He earned a good amount of money through his own efforts yesterday, and even has a surplus of 200,000. After this comparison, landlord Lao Wu's face turned extremely ugly, and Wu Heli couldn't lift his head, but he still couldn't accept it and growled, even if he has more money, so what? He still can't go to a better university. He can't help you escape the curse. Just as Jiang Yi was about to further shatter the young man's fragile fantasies, several figures appeared at the entrance of the corridor. Jiang Chuan, Jiang Yi, you're still here. I was afraid I wouldn't find you at this hour. The leader was naturally the principal of Yi Chang No. One middle school, who came to find them yesterday. Another familiar person was Lu Ran from the admissions office of Icefield University. They didn't pay attention to Wu Heli, who was still feeling wronged on the side, and walked straight to Jiang Chuan and Jiang Yi. These two are the students I mentioned. Principal Jean introduced them and stepped aside. On the way here, he had already informed a few people. Among the two, Jiang Yi was the stronger one in terms of combat power. It was probably her credit for defeating the wanted criminal that night. But the relationship between the two students was extraordinary. After arriving, as long as they found Jiang Chuan, Jiang Yi would follow him. If he had the ability to win over Jiang Chuan, Jiang Yi wouldn't need to ask any more questions. Now it's time to show the advantages of the academy. Yang Jianyi from Wudi University in the Magic Capital took the lead and reached out his hand, saying, Hello, Jiang, I am Yang Jianyi from the admissions office of Wudi University in the Magic Capital. We also have some understanding of Jiang Yi's situation, and we will use our maximum resources to help her overcome the influence of the curse. There are many conveniences waiting for you to come to Moda Wuda and you will be able to understand, definitely worth it. We want you to join Moda Wuda, no need to take the college entrance examination, we will propose a recommendation plan to the college. After listening, Wu Heli stood still, Moda Wuda? Recommendation plan? Could it be that Zhang Chuan brought them here? But how did he know in advance that I would come to propose a recommendation? Wu Heli he was secretly shocked by the power of the Grandmaster. Want to fight? Have you forgotten the day I beat you to the point where you couldn't stand up? It seems it's time to loosen your bones a bit. 
Su Qingtian's grandmaster aura also burst out, and Yang Jianyi was clearly suppressed. The directors of the admissions offices of the other three universities could only stand aside and watch the two big shots confront each other with trembling. Ahem. Zhang Chuan coughed at the right time. Directors, how about you go somewhere else to fight? Su Chengtian and Yang Jianyi snorted at each other, restraining their grandmaster aura. President Jin wiped the cold sweat off his forehead when he saw the two calm down. So many directors of admissions offices coming to recruit us, it's quite surprising. To be honest, the conditions proposed by all of you are very tempting, so the two of us still need to discuss which university to choose for enrollment. So for now, we can only inconvenience the directors to go back first, I still have to go to work. Zhang Chuan said in the most cowardly tone, speaking arrogantly. Everyone felt incredulous that there were actually people who were troubled by the choice of a guaranteed admission school, and they were even driving away the teachers from the admissions office? The reason was, going to work? It was Su Cheng Tian who first reacted, saying, Alright, Yang Jianyi, shall we find a place where we can really fight? Yang Jianyi had a, I'm super brave expression on his face, saying, who's afraid of who? They both took a step forward as they spoke. The other three directors, including the president, left Zhang Chuan's residence after seeing the two big shots leave. If there was anyone who regretted the most, it would be Lu Ran, who had the opportunity to benefit from both sides. Wu Heli stood there for a long time unable to calm down. What did this fool do? Five former directors of admissions offices from top universities personally came to his doorstep to find him? And the two directors were even preparing to fight each other because of it? As a result, everyone was driven away by Jiang Chuan. Driven away. The goddess was his, the university was his, and his ability to make money was top-notch. What about me? Oh, it turns out I'm just a background character. Jiang Chuan could clearly see that Wu Heli's soul was filled with despair. The little man seemed to kneel directly on the ground, looking up to the sky and howling, no. The background music was still that kind of snowflakes falling, north wind blowing. It was really miserable. So, Jiang Chuan allowed himself to laugh first as a sign of respect. After a slight smile, Jiang Chuan led Jiang He to leave calmly, under the stunned gaze of the landlord Lao Wu and Xiao Wu. After a while, Lao Wu, who had come back to his senses, brought Wu Heli Wu Helilai's tears of gratitude flowed from the corners of his mouth, and he hugged his father. Dad, you've worked hard. Your son will definitely work hard. Old Wu patted his son's back, feeling gratified. When Jiang Yi followed Jiang Chuan to the body training hall, he looked like a curious baby, looking around. Just find a spot here to play by yourself, I'm going to work. Jiang Chuan instructed, seemingly worried. He added, don't run out. If your curse flares up, I won't have time to save you. Jiang Chuan agreed to bring Jiang Yi out with this consideration in mind. Although staying in the apartment would not invite any battles, who knows what kind of trouble this unlucky guy might cause? A gas leak, a toilet explosion, or even a collapsed building, anything is possible. Jiang He nodded like a crazy chick pecking at rice, promising not to run around. Only then did Jiang Chuan put on protective gear and start taking orders. Because he arrived late, Jiang Chuan only took two orders before it was time for lunch. So you're just a punching bag here? I didn't expect being a punching bag could improve your talent so quickly. Jiang He was excited, as if she had discovered Jiang Chuan's little secret. Yeah, so do you want to give it a try? It's only 6,000 for one session, dear. Jiang Chuan casually stated his training fee, leaving Jiang He speechless. Boss, earning tens of thousands in a day, even if you get beaten up, you still have to endure it. Who can take a beating for two hours like Jiang Chuan and act like nothing happened? She had already seen several training partners run away. Hey, Xia Quanzi, you said you're a top player, but it seems like not many people are looking for you. Zhang He had to question Zhang Chuan from a different perspective while eating. The challenge event ended after Zhang Chuan became an advanced training partner, but Zhang Chuan's popularity did not decrease. After all, his professional level was still very good, and everyone who had been to the Qiming Body Training Hall recognized Zhang Chuan's punching bag style training. A human-shaped punching bag that couldn't be broken and could provide timely feedback to allow practitioners to make corrections and train in real time. After a session, there would be some improvement, more or less. Even a top player can't handle too many people. I can only train a maximum of 10 people in a day. With so many people coming, where is the time? Zhang Chuan rubbed his forehead, looking regretful. TCH. Zhang He gave him a disdainful look. At this moment, a young man with a big bald head walked into the body training hall. Hello, I made an appointment with your advanced training partner. Wu Helalai handed over the order number, and the beautiful staff member at the training hall took it. He had doubted his life in his room, but upon careful consideration, both Zhang Chuan and he were high school seniors. 
Why could Zheng Chuan be favored by the goddess while he couldn't? It was really frustrating to think about it, and enduring for a while only made him feel more aggrieved. He couldn't accept it. Today, he had to give himself a devilish training session no matter what. With the help of his old father, he was now full of motivation. Hello, here is your voucher. Your reserve training partner, Zheng, will be here soon. Please take a rest. After verifying the order, the staff member handed him a card. Wu Helalai went to his seat, which was already full. He handed over his voucher and asked, Is this training partner really that fierce? Can he handle so many sessions in a day? He knew about training partners who sparred with clients, but they had to be careful and not go all out to ensure a better experience for the clients. This also meant that training partners were prone to injuries, and any injury would cause a lot of time to be wasted. In such unexpected situations, this training partner could still handle so many people. He truly deserved to be the most popular training partner. Absolutely, Jiang is diligent and attentive. This is already my third time coming to him. Unfortunately, he got promoted the day before yesterday, and his price has increased a lot. It's 6,000 for one session now. A young man with messy hair next to him lamented. What? It's only 6,000 for one session? Then why did I spend 10,000? The young man looked at Wu Helalai's voucher and explained, This is your appointment with Zhang as a training partner. It requires an additional fee, otherwise it will disrupt Zhang's work schedule and make him work overtime. Can you understand this? Wu Helalai nodded, his face filled with complexity. He felt like a big complainer. But soon, his eyes lit up again. It didn't matter, as long as he could become stronger. What did it matter if he was a complainer? Hey, Coach Jiang is here, you go first. The young man with messy hair pointed to a nearby area, where a handsome high school student was walking towards the practice area, followed by a beautiful girl. Isn't that Zheng Chuan? Is he the training partner you guys were talking about? Jealousy flashed in Wu Helalai's eyes. Yes, what did you think? Don't be fooled by his youth, he's really good as a training partner, definitely worth the money. The young man raved without thinking. Heh, yeah, I was just thinking about finding an opportunity to beat him up. Wu Helalai muttered quietly. Zheng Chuan and he were the same age, at most seventh stage awakened. Today, he was going to vent his frustrations on him. Ha, huh? what did you say? Nothing. Wu Helalai didn't continue talking to the young man and walked up to the practice area. Zhang Chuan went up on stage and saw the opponent, feeling a bit familiar. Zhang Chuan, let's have a proper man's duel. Hearing the opponent's confident declaration, Zhang Chuan finally remembered. Wasn't this the foolish eldest son of the landlord? How long had it been, and he had turned into a fool? What? You also became bald and stronger like Saitama? Zhang Chuan was annoyed but couldn't express it. It was uncomfortable. If it were any other practitioner, they would at least be a warrior realm. Although he couldn't provide armor value anymore, he could still provide some spiritual energy. But facing the fool in front of him, awakened at the seventh stage, it was like getting beaten up for no reason. Since it was an ineffective beating, Zhang Chuan definitely wouldn't be polite. At the very least, he had to fulfill his duties as a training partner. All right, come on. Zhang Chuan's voice was calm, showing no signs of agitation. Suddenly, the surface of Wu Helalai's arm turned into sand and rocks, appearing as small fragments. B-grade talent, sand and rocks. It quickly struck towards Zhang Chuan. Zhang Chuan raised his palm and caught the opponent's fist without even moving his feet. He was a solid eighth stage awakened. He swept his leg and knocked Wu Helalai to the ground. Then he threw a punch. The sand and rocks on Wu Helalai's surface scattered on the ground. Zhang Chuan stood up, looking down at him with his arms crossed, as if he was looking at a little kid. He was just one step away from saying go home and play with mud to provoke his anger. Wu Helalai could tell that Zhang Chuan was humiliating him. If Zhang Chuan knew what Wu Helalai was thinking, he would definitely cry foul. I'm just a normal training partner taking a job. Wu Helalai looked up and saw Zhang He playing with his phone. He didn't even glance at him. He pounded the floor, got up, and covered his hands with a layer of sand and rocks again. With a loud bang, he was knocked down again. One hour later, after the first match. You can't handle just one match? Get up quickly. Zhang Chuan's words echoed in Wu Helalai's mind like a spell. He had been mentally tortured by Zhang Chuan for an hour, but he still held on to hope. He forced himself to stand up, his eyes filled with defiance, fully displaying the spirit of a young person. He didn't stop attacking, but each time he was knocked down by Zhang Chuan. But he believed that persistence would lead to victory. The people around him were filled with excitement, cheering for him. Zhang He stopped playing with his phone and stared at the stage. How would Zhang Chuan deal with the foolish eldest son of the landlord? One hour later, after the second match, Wu Helalai admitted defeat, but Zhang Chuan wouldn't let him off. 
he lifted him up and continued training. This customer, you booked three matches, so make sure to finish them before leaving. Zhang Chuan reminded with a pleased expression, then continued to attack. The people around them sensed that something was wrong and started gossiping. Zhang He also bought a pack of melon seeds and continued to watch with great interest. Are you jealous? This is jealousy, right? In the third round, an hour later, Wu Helalai had no strength left, he was completely exhausted. The torment of his body and mind was over. He collapsed on the floor, gasping for breath, his limbs no longer wanting to move, looking at the crowd below with pleading eyes. Hoping that someone would come up and carry him away with dignity, not letting him lie there like a dumb dog. The spectators around sighed, this is too miserable, no one knows who came to be his sparring partner. Dear customer, I hope you are satisfied with this sparring service. Zhang Chuan walked down from the boxing ring and moved to another place for sparring. Zhang He had just finished eating what was in her hand and hurriedly followed. Wu Helalai's eyes were already full of exhaustion. Looking at Zhang Chuan's departing figure, his eyes were filled with despair, he couldn't compare, no matter what. Zhang Chuan had taken a day's worth of beatings, and his spiritual energy had increased a bit. But that's okay, better than nothing. The main thing is that his spiritual energy cultivation has improved. Even if a martial artist at the warrior realm beats him, they would use less spiritual energy. A little less each time adds up to a significant amount after 10 times. Zhang He was very well behaved today, so Zhang Chuan rewarded her with an ice cream. The beautiful girl licked the ice cream in her hand and thought about the foolish son of the landlord who was tormented today, feeling a bit worried, after tormenting that Chinibu boy, can we still live in the current apartment? Zhang Chuan laughed indifferently, what I did wasn't just ordinary torment. If that kid is smart, he'll come and thank me in a couple of days. Besides, even if we can't live there anymore, it's okay. Don't you still have your millionaire sugar mommy? We can just find another place. I'm already prepared to be your trophy girlfriend. Jiang Chuan shamelessly licked his lips. Jiang He's body suddenly tensed up, looking at him with a vigilant face. Don't even think about touching my wallet, they're all mine. She looked like a miser, it was so adorable. The two of them walked back home, chatting and laughing along the way. When they passed the hallway, Jiang He remembered the several directors who came to recruit students today. As they sat on the sofa and entertained themselves, Jiang He casually asked, Shao Chuanzi, which university are you planning to go to? Of course, the better the university, the more advantageous it is for your curse. How about the Imperial Capital Marshall University? Let's go inquire about it tomorrow. Zhang Chuan replied casually. There aren't many considerations when choosing a university. The priority is definitely Jiang He's curse. If they were to compare, the Imperial Capital Marshall University would definitely be the best choice. But Jiang Chuan also knew that all five directors were present this morning, so it was impossible for him to propose conditions that would be detrimental to their school. It would either be a direct admission to the worst class, as long as they were absorbed, or they saw something extraordinary in Zhang Chuan and Zhang He. But Zhang Chuan wouldn't believe that answer even if it was placed in front of him. He was an F-grade meat shield, and Zhang He was a genius who could die at any moment from her curse. Even if they had defeated a fifth-level martial artist, what of it? One was a waste without potential, the other was a genius who could die at any moment. It would probably be a waste of two spots to recruit them. Free lunches don't fall from the sky, the price of everything in fate has already been secretly marked. And tonight? Zhang Chuan just wanted to play games with Zhang He and deal with tomorrow's matters tomorrow. No one knows what conditions the directors of the Imperial Capital Marshall University will offer them. On May 1st, Zhang Chuan had already made an appointment with Su Cheng Tian, the principal. After discussing it, they decided to have a meeting at a cafe not far from Zhang Chuan. When Su Cheng Tian arrived, Jiang Chuan and Jiang He were already waiting at their seats and had ordered their drinks. He straightened his impeccably tailored suit and calmly took his seat. The majesty of a grandmaster was evident. Yesterday, everyone was friendly because the admissions offices were competing for students. Of course, don't misunderstand, except for Lu Ran, who has dealt with two people, everyone else may have the same performance as Su Cheng Tian. Su Cheng Tian took a sip of coffee and looked at the two high school students with a smile. It seems that you have made your choice. Zhang Chuan shook his head, I want to know what is the best way to deal with Zhang He's curse. Su Cheng Tian was slightly stunned, interesting, indeed interesting. He thought that the two students had already prepared to accept the conditions he gave. Now it seems not that simple. This kid's concern for that girl has been greatly underestimated. Compared to being ambiguous and deceiving them to the school, Su Cheng Tian chose a simpler way, there is one thing I must remind you, the curse on Zhang He cannot be eradicated. Zhang Chuan nodded. Zhang He had mentioned Lu Rant's words during their chat these days. If the curse is eradicated, it will actually become an ordinary person. 
Without the support of spiritual energy, even the curse is just a small unlucky curse. Su Qingtian's statement that there is no way to eradicate it has already limited the conditions, that is, Jiang He still remains as an awakened person. Jiang Chuan also asked Jiang He about her thoughts in advance, and she still hopes to continue her cultivation. So now the condition is based on Jiang He's desire to become an awakened person for discussion. Su Chengtian continued, the principle can only suppress the curse power on her, the rest depends on her own efforts. Improve her cultivation, resist stronger curse power, until fully mastering the power of the curse. The process is very dangerous, but the benefits are obvious. It can master the most terrifying talent power. The reason why the curse is only an S-level talent is because it is always dangerous. So far, no one has been able to control it. Otherwise, it can even reach an SSS-level talent evaluation. Su Qingtian's words made Jiang Chuan's body tremble. SSS-level talent. However, Jiang Chuan thought of Jiang He's 8th-level awakened curse power which can already shake an entire building, so he felt relieved. When the spiritual energy cultivation is a little stronger, the building will probably collapse. Compared to the previous incident of the ceiling collapsing, this seems much better. Zhang Chuan felt that his thoughts were distorting the facts, but it seemed that there was nothing wrong. Combined with Zhang He's situation, Zhang Chuan had no further questions. Su Cheng Tian had already said that the only way to counter the curse power is to improve one's own strength. So, what is the fastest way to improve cultivation? Zhang Chuan interlocked his fingers, hitting the core of the problem. His eyes told Su Cheng Tian that he attached great importance to this question. The latter looked deeply at Zhang Chuan, leaned forward slightly, and said seriously, that must be the unique deep realm trial class of the Imperial University. The students there are all outstanding individuals, and the minimum standard for freshmen is the warrior realm. There are only 30 students in the class, and they change every month. The number of people who want to enter the deep realm trial class is countless but it's not easy to get in there. How about it? Are you interested? With that, Director Su returned to his original sitting position, took a sip of coffee, and waited for Jiang Chuan's reply. Jiang Chuan pointed to Jiang He beside him, can she enter your university's deep realm trial class? She can, but you can't. Su Cheng Tian put down his coffee and looked at Jiang Chuan with an unusually sharp gaze. Without waiting for Jiang Chuan to respond, he continued, Every student in the Deep Realm trial class is a rare genius, each with their own strong talent support. Like Jiang He, she has the curse, although this talent is very troublesome, but we have to admit that it is powerful. I have also discussed with your principal. Wasn't it Jiang He who defeated the wanted criminal that night? Su Ching Tian's eyes seemed to have seen everything, and he continued, Your relationship is very good, and everyone can see that. So she wants to give you credit and let you enter a top-notch institution. I can completely understand her mood, so we are willing to give you the opportunity. Being able to enter the school with Jung he is already a big concession. Don't even think about this intensive class. Now that there are no other competitors around, Su Cheng Tian doesn't have to consider so much and speak straightforwardly. He wants this student to fully understand the gap between him and top students. This is not only responsible for Jung Chuan, but also a respect for the pride of the imperial capital Wuda. Just think about it, if a mouse droppings were mixed into a pot of good porridge, even the prestigious deep realm cultivation class would become chaotic. As a master and the director of the admissions office of the school, it is already a great concession to explain to a student who has just awakened. He also hopes that Jiang Chuan will know what's good for him. Jiang Yi, who was on the side, heard Su Ching Tian's evaluation of Jiang Chuan and regarded him as a complete disaster. The tone was as if Jiang Chuan joining the Imperial Capital University had tarnished the reputation of the university, which made her feel annoyed. Who said that night? She just wanted to speak up and explain the details of that night to Su Cheng Tian, but she was stopped by a look from Jiang Chuan. Jiang Chuan knew that Jiang He wanted to clear his name. At the same time, he also knew that words at this time would be in vain. The place where the fugitive attacked that night was completely blind spot of the surveillance. He wouldn't be so foolish as to expose himself to the supernatural agency. Even if Jiang Yi exaggerated, Su Cheng Tian would only believe the information from the principal. After all, Jiang Chuan is only an F-level awakened with talent. Compared to him, Jiang Yi's intervention in solving a fifth-order warrior is more realistic. Furthermore, if Su Cheng Tian really believed Jiang Yi's words, then the situation would be even more serious. Jiang Chuan might have to take off his current clothes and put on the attire of a laboratory. A lab worker in a white coat would look at him with a smile and pat the experimental bed, asking him to lie down. They would study what kind of special person could awaken with an F-level talent and fight against a fifth-order villain, just like the fanatical doctors in the hospital back then. Su Cheng Tian didn't delve into what Jiang He wanted to say. 
he could also guess that she probably wanted to say a few good words for her companion. But the fact was in front of him, no matter how eloquent she was, it couldn't change the fact that Zhang Chuan had no strength with his F-level flesh armor talent. I understand. As long as Zhang Yi can get in, I don't have any intention of going in. Zhang Chuan said casually, at least Su Cheng Tian couldn't hear any disappointment from it. This surprised him a bit. After all, who wouldn't want to enter the Deep Realm training class with the best resources and the fastest improvement? I don't want to. Um. Just as Zhang Yi was about to speak again, Zhang Chuan interrupted her. Having known Zhang Yi for so long, even if he wasn't a mind reader, he could already guess what she wanted to say. That's all I want to ask. Zhang Yi and I will rely on our abilities to get into college. The reserve spots will only hinder our progress. But still, thank you, Director Su, for making this trip. Zhang Chuan's tone was calm and confident as he shook hands with Director Su. Su Cheng Tian didn't feel regretful about it either. Zhang Chuan, an S-level awakened with the ability to defeat warriors. He believed that his ranking in the college entrance examination would definitely not be low, and he could also see how strong Jiang He's abilities were. Compared to accepting a genius student along with what seemed to be an extraordinary waste, he still hoped that only one genius student would enter the imperial capital Wuda. After bidding farewell to Su Changtian, Zhang Chuan and Jiang He walked towards the physical training hall. That director just looked down on you. Why didn't you let me tell him the truth? Jiang He walked with her hands behind her back kicking the small stones on the roadside, looking unhappy. Hmm, but what would it change if you said it? Zhang Chuan asked in response. At the very least, you could let others know the truth. You've given up on such an opportunity to be recommended to the imperial capital Wuda. The beautiful girl became more and more angry, as if she was being looked down upon. Any normal person could see that Su Qingtian's recommendation quota was specifically for her. Zhang Chuan glanced at her disdainfully and said, when does your brother Chuan need a university recommendation quota to give away? Then his expression softened and he continued, This time, I mainly wanted to ask about you. Now that I know the solution, it can be considered a gain. Zhang He heard that Zhang Chuan was doing this for her and felt touched. She threw herself onto Zhang Chuan from behind, tightly hugging his neck, almost choking him. Let go! Let go! You hit me! Zhang Chuan shouted as if it were a serious matter. Zhang He thought she had really hurt him somewhere and quickly let go in fear. What's wrong? Are you okay? Zhang He asked cautiously, completely forgetting that Zhang Chuan was a formidable person who could withstand a fifth level martial artist. I'm fine, it's just that your generous heart hit my scapula. Zhang He blushed with embarrassment. You're asking for it. She raised her palm, ready to strike. Seeing Zhang He's mood improve, Zhang Chuan also happily played along. After discussing matters with the two high school students, Su Cheng Tian returned to the principal's office at Yi City No. 1 Middle School. The other four admissions office directors were already waiting inside. They had come early in the morning after not receiving any response yesterday, and heard that Zhang Chuan had made an appointment with Su Cheng Tian from the imperial capital Wuda. At that time, they were still dissatisfied, but considering the strength of the imperial capital Wuda, they didn't dare to gossip. When they saw Su Ching Tian's displeased expression, all their emotions dissipated. It seems that Su Cheng Tian was not successful either. Whose fault was it, Zhang Chuan or Jiang Yi? Director Su, how did it go? Director Shui from Yen Quan University asked the question everyone wanted to ask. Although everyone could tell that Su Ching Tian's expression was off, they still wanted to hear the details from him. Su Cheng Tian glanced at him lightly and said in a flat tone, Zhang Chuan didn't accept. The other four directors breathed a sigh of relief. They still had a chance. He wants to enter the Deep Realm trial class, Su Cheng Tian added. At least in his mind, every student wanted to enter the trial class. Even though Zhang Chuan explicitly denied it, he still assumed it to be true. Otherwise, why would he inquire about it? What? There's actually such an ignorant kid? Only the top scorers in each province's college entrance examination can be recommended to enter the Deep Realm trial class. What makes him think he can? Su Cheng Tian, luckily you stopped me yesterday, otherwise I might have really accepted them in a moment of impulse. I didn't expect young people nowadays to be so ambitious. Director Yen Kuang and Director of Swordsmanship University complained indignantly. Yang Jianyi also reflected on his behavior yesterday. Only Lu Ran remained silent, bowing his head in contemplation. That's right, even the geniuses from the Imperial Capital and Magic Capital can't enter the Deep Realm trial class for cultivation. He's really being unrealistic. Principal Jean Bao Kai sighed. Zhang Chuan gave up such a good opportunity, there probably won't be another chance. Do the admissions office directors of the top 10 universities really have no temper? They not only promised the help of the school principal, 
but also the tilt of resources and the guidance of powerful teachers. Such generous conditions are what all college entrance examination students strive for. But Jiang Chuan is still not satisfied. What about Jiang Yi? Could she make the same choice as Jiang Chuan? She's just a student with an F-level talent. Director Yao from Swordsmanship University looked puzzled. The other three also glanced at each other, showing their interest in Jiang Yi's choice. Lu Ran was still thinking about certain things and didn't pay much attention to their discussion. After all, they came to Yi City this time, definitely not for Jiang Chuan. Although it was a collaboration between the two warriors, everyone knew the underlying reasons. Jiang Yi was the one they wanted to recruit. Su Cheng Tian shook his head slightly and said, Jiang Chuan said they would enter their ideal university through the college entrance examination, and Jiang Yi agreed. Pa! Director Yang of the Magic Capital Martial Arts University slapped the table next to him and angrily exclaimed, This Jiang Chuan is truly unfilial. Not only did he not seize the opportunity himself, but he also dragged others down. Indeed, he has caused great harm. It seems that this trip was in vain. There is another person waiting for me to investigate in the neighboring city, so I will leave first. Director Shwe bid farewell in advance, followed by Director Yao from the Sword Technique University, who also sighed with disappointment, saying, It's a pity for a good seed to be influenced by an underachiever. How boring. Shaking his head, he left with a regretful expression. Director Yang and Director Su exchanged a glance, feeling a sense of sympathy for each other. Yesterday, they were like masters fighting each other for their students, but today they seem like two defeated dogs. What made them lose face was a high school student with only an F-level talent who hadn't even reached the warrior realm. It was frustrating, incredibly frustrating. Lu Ran saw everything and she was the only one present who knew more details. She naturally knew why Jiang Yi was so willing to listen to Jiang Chuan. Thinking back to the Day of Awakening, when everyone else hadn't reacted yet, she saw that figure rushing out first. That was a life-changing bond. Her memories continued for a while, recalling even stranger things. At that time, Jiang Chuan had already received a critical condition notice from the hospital, but miraculously recovered. When she thought about their joint victory over the 5th level warrior this time, she had to re-evaluate this awakened one with only an F-level talent. After everyone left the principal's office, she made a phone call, Sister, when the college entrance examination comes, it's necessary for you to come to East City and take a look at the two students. What was originally a simple rejection of a special admission offer spread among a few meddlesome students. Jiang Chuan and Jiang he rejected the special admission invitation from the top 10 colleges and there are even traces of the Imperial Capital Martial Arts University. This news spread like a plague throughout East City No. 1 Middle School. From 1 person to 10, from 10 to 100. He he, an F-level talent is just an F-level talent. Not only is the talent garbage, but the vision is also so narrow. Isn't Jiang Chuan just pretending to be weak? It's bad enough that he's not motivated himself, but he also has to drag Goddess Jam along? It's really disgusting. It seems like he wants to rely on his own abilities to get into university. I can't help but laugh. Let's see which mediocre university he ends up in. You're overestimating Jiang Chuan too much. When the time comes, he won't be able to get into any university, and even our Yi City no. One middle school will become a laughingstock. Everyone took pleasure in Jiang Chuan giving up this special admission. After all, a student with a mediocre talent, getting into a top university with the help of an S-level talent, would make many people feel worse than eating flies. Many people secretly regretted that when Jiang Yi awakened her talent, they shouldn't have despised her as the unlucky girl. If they had learned even half of Jiang Chuan's bootlicking skills, they could have easily entered such a top university. But now, the talented student was dragged down by the trash of the third year, and everyone was delighted to see it. In the following two months, Jiang Chuan took the time to practice with Jiang Yi in secluded places. Naturally, he couldn't let little he he go to the underground arena to fight anymore. Only he could help her in her cultivation. In these two months, with Jiang Chuan's selfless dedication, Jiang Yi's cursed power had already broken through to the warrior realm. That's why it was originally an SSS-level talent. During this period, there were also many unfortunate incidents, such as prices rising when buying groceries. These small misfortunes occurred frequently. Every two weeks, they would also experience a major misfortune, such as slipping and spraining their foot while walking, or a hanging lamp falling and hitting their face. Fortunately, Jiang Chuan was by her side and heard the commotion, helping to block it. Jiang Chuan had already run to the room to sleep on the floor. As for Jiang Chuan himself, he was cultivating in the body refinement hall. Most of the people who came to find him were customers with martial arts cultivation, but their cultivation levels were not high. Most of them were at the first to third levels, and they wouldn't go all out, which meant he could only slowly accumulate spiritual energy, just a little bit each day. 
There was a reason why Jiang Chuan was willing to go on like this. He could easily go to the underground arena and fight a few matches, not only earning money but also quickly improving his cultivation. The reason he didn't make this decision was because from the moment he first saw Lu Mingyuan, he gave him a very unpleasant feeling. He had won 3 million from him and even caused trouble on his turf, so he definitely wouldn't be happy. If he were to find a master, even if Jiang Chuan had 10 layers of turtle shell, it probably wouldn't be enough for the other person to beat him. On the contrary, the benefits of the body refinement hall were obvious, with a stable and lucrative salary. It also allowed him to improve his cultivation while making money. There was no risk or tricks involved, only fools would go to the underground arena. It's worth mentioning that the foolish son of the landlord's family finally had an awakening. After being trampled by Jiang Chuan once, he suddenly discovered his own growth the next day and turned his focus to cultivation. At the same time, he realized a truth, women only hindered his cultivation speed. Therefore, he wanted to come and spar with Jiang Chuan every day, but Jiang Chuan refused. The reason was simple, he was foolish but had money, but there was no value in improving his cultivation. Jiang Chuan could only agree to one hour of training per week, anymore and they would have no further contact. Due to time constraints, Wu Helen always pushed Jiang Chuan to his limits, even if he didn't have Jiang Chuan's training, he would find someone else to train with. It was like opening the door to a new world, being enthusiastic about getting beaten to improve. Jiang Chuan's method was very effective for Wu Helen, who was in the awakening stage and had the talent for sand and stone. He successfully improved his cultivation to the 8th level of the awakening stage before the college entrance examination and finally obtained the opportunity to be guided by a master mentor. As a result, Wu Helen now respected and appreciated Jiang Chuan. Received Zhang Chang's attack, armor plus 1. Spiritual energy plus 10. Received Li Kang's attack, magic resistance armor experience plus 1. Spiritual energy plus 13. Received Ma Jin Luan's attack, spiritual energy plus 5. Ding. Spiritual energy breakthrough, awakening 9th level. Zhang Chuan's face was still quite dark from practicing in the body refinement hall. After two months, he had only triggered the armor's mandatory protection three times. Upgrading the magic resistance armor was even more difficult. After all, elemental talents were rare, and even if they existed, most would seek out natural environments related to their own talents for cultivation. However, hard work pays off. Finally, on the day before the college entrance examination, the last day of June, Zhang Chuan's spiritual energy broke through the shackles of the ninth level of awakening. Zhang Chuan felt that the flow of his blood had become faster. This was the effect of the Holy Shield's healing. Due to Zhang Chuan's excessive armor value, the increase in strength didn't feel very obvious to him, only his muscles on his hands became slightly fuller. But after blessing the shield attack, he was very satisfied with the visibly swollen iron fist. One punch from him was no problem for a small ginger stalk. Zhang Yi, who sat below playing with his phone and occasionally watching the match, didn't know that he had become a unit of measuring combat power. If it weren't for the large amount of spiritual energy provided by the blood slaughter token, he would probably only have a little over half of the 8th level of spiritual energy now, still far from the 9th level. This made Zhang Chuan interested in the token. He had studied it at night, but no matter how he looked at it, it was just an ordinary token given after receiving spiritual energy. Jiang Chuan naturally stopped worrying about it and focused on getting beaten, occasionally accompanying Jiang He. Every day was fulfilling and happy. Soon, the time came for July 1st. It was also the day of the college entrance examination. At 8 o'clock in the morning, Jiang Chuan and Jiang He arrived at the playground of Yeqing No, one middle school to participate in the test. When they arrived, the playground was already bustling with people, a dense crowd. All 12 classes of senior high school students were gathered here. The students were facing a huge bronze door, with a gap in the middle emitting a faint black mist, giving off an eerie and sinister feeling. When they found class 2, they discovered that the homeroom teacher had been replaced, and now there was a teacher they didn't know. Who are you? The new teacher naturally caught them as soon as he saw unfamiliar faces. They are Jiang Chuan, who strives for self-reliance, and Jiang He, who willingly falls into decadence. Someone in class 2 teased. Ever since Jiang Chuan refused to go to a top-tier university, they had labeled them. The new teacher, upon hearing these two names, looked surprised and took a few more glances. Zhang Chuan and Zhang He pretended not to hear. Of course, during the college entrance examination, only the students in class 2 were concerned about Zhang Chuan and Zhang He, while others were more concerned about the situation of the exam. It's over, it's over, I heard that this time the test questions were made by Devil Lao Kai. What? Didn't he just make the test questions last year? I still remember that last year, we in Suyu province set a new record low for the college entrance examination history, with only 100 students entering the top 10. 
Yeah, I heard that the teacher who was supposed to make the test questions this year got injured and is recovering at home, so Lao Kai was asked to do it, it's really unbelievable. How can our Suyu province's questions be harder than those in the capital city? The surrounding students complained incessantly. The test questions were set by different teachers every year, and this year Suyu province happened to encounter the devil test question setter. Lao Kai always added some new tricks to the test questions, and for students who had only awakened their talents for three months, the copies he made were completely hellish. The college entrance examination will officially begin at 8.30. The new homeroom teacher continued to emphasize, remember, when choosing a copy, do it within your abilities, don't overestimate yourself. If you encounter danger in the copy, crush the return stone immediately. Absolutely do not show off. The copy information will be available later when the time comes, you will know the copy information by communicating with the bronze door, and then you can start looking for teammates on your own. There were a lot of dangers in the college entrance examination copy, and this year it was still Lao Kai who made the questions. According to his style, the questions would only be more disgusting than before. Last year, a swamp terrain had stumped most of the candidates. Who knows what will happen this year? The most crucial point is that casualties will occur in the college entrance examination. Xiao Chuanzi, shall we team up later? Zhang He lightly nudged Zhang Chuan with his elbow, catching his attention. We both have to go solo, otherwise there won't be a chance to score high. Zhang Chuan remained unusually calm. I don't care about high scores. Stinky Zhang Chuan. Zhang He pouted her small mouth when she heard Zhang Chuan's reply, as if she had suffered a great grievance. Little miss, I care. If you don't score high, who will be willing to lift your curse? Jiang Chuan played his trump card, even Jiang he couldn't continue to be unreasonable, so she could only sulk on the side. Countdown to the college entrance examination, 10, 9, 3, 2, 1. The college entrance examination begins. At 8.30 in the morning. Boom. The bronze door opened on time. The eerie and sinister aura was absorbed by the bronze door, and the heavy door opened wide to both sides. Behind the door, a dazzling white light burst forth, and through the white light, one could reach the world behind the door. The information of the copy appeared in front of everyone. Mysterious copy, thundering ruins, level, awakening 6th stage warrior 3rd stage, difficulty, can choose from easy, normal, nightmare, purgatory, number of participants, 1-5 people, note, in the thundering ruins, in the unseen corners, there are cunning goblins and cold-blooded blue venomous snakes, they enjoy watching life slip away before their eyes, many candidates couldn't help but wail after seeing the question. Lao Kai really had evil intentions, even snake-like creatures were arranged in the college entrance examination copy. Many people have an instinctive physiological aversion to snakes. Why is it the thundering ruins? I have seen it in the strategy guide. The goblin thieves here like to ambush people, they're really annoying. Oh my god, snakes have always been my biggest fear since I was little. How did they even create creatures like this? And there's occasional interference from lightning. It seems like this time I can only choose to take the easy way out and get some points. A mediocre university is still better than actually dying in there. Generally speaking, the number of people allowed in a dungeon determines its difficulty. In previous years, the maximum number of people for the college entrance exam questions was 4, but this time there is a limit of 5 people. Even if last year's questions by Lao Kai were difficult, it was still just a 4-person dungeon. For high school students, this dungeon can be considered completely beyond the scope of the curriculum. Despite the complaints, everyone has already endured and in the exam room, it is impossible to retreat because of a little difficulty. Soon, many people on the playground started looking around and calling for teammates to form a team. The best way to get a high score in this multiplayer dungeon is to enter a high difficulty level with multiple people. Although the experience is divided among everyone, it's still better than inefficiently fighting low-level monsters alone, with slow speed and low scores. In most cases, people with support and strong defense talents become highly sought after. For example, blood clotting and healing talents can provide good post-injury combat capabilities, and rock solidification can effectively resist attacks, and so on. The longer you stay in the dungeon, the more chances you have to get higher scores. Now that more than three months have passed since the talent awakening, everyone has a clear understanding of their talent positioning. When looking for a team, there is a strong sense of purpose. Of course, most people still look for students with powerful combat talents to form a team. After all, before reaching the Grandmaster level, talents do not have a second awakening, and most of the combat methods of martial artists and awakened individuals in the martial realm rely on consuming spiritual energy head-on. At this time, people with high cultivation or good talents play a very important role. The calls on the playground are endless. Naturally, no one pays attention to Jiang Chuan on this side, but Jiang Yi's talent is highly regarded by many people 
and most of them are S-level talents. Even if it's not to show off in front of the goddess, using her as a tool is still a good idea to get a high score. However, when those people saw Zhang Chuan beside the goddess, they thought that the two of them had already formed a team, so they unanimously gave up on this plan. After all, no one wants to bring a drag into the dungeon, not only is it tiring, but it also divides the experience. Look, you're following me and even your teammates didn't bother to find you. Zhang Chuan saw the reaction of the students and couldn't help but laugh. Who cares about them as teammates? If it's Xia Quanzi, I can reluctantly consider it. Zhang He crossed her arms, bringing up old matters, without dispelling the idea of teaming up with Zhang Chuan. Zhang Chuan also understood her intentions very well, so for Zhang He's sake, he was the first to communicate with the bronze gate and entered it. After a dazzling white light, Zhang Chuan's figure disappeared in front of the gate. Zhang He stomped her foot in anger and followed his footsteps after he disappeared. Another flash of white light, and then someone reacted. Did someone just go in? If I'm not mistaken, it seems like it was Zhang Chuan and Zhang He. They entered separately, right? Do they both want to go solo? With Zhang Chuan's talent in heavy armor? Even a simple secret realm would probably be difficult for him, right? If only the goddess didn't have a teammate, I would have been braver earlier. Soon, no one paid attention to Zhang Chuan, who was self-reliant, and the unlucky genius who willingly fell into decline. After all, time is points, and every point less means one less chance to enter a top 10 university. President Jean naturally noticed these two people, or rather, he had been watching them since they appeared on the playground. Seeing the two of them entering the dungeon alone, his heart also tightened. It's one thing for Zhang Chuan to give up on himself, but he also has to drag Zhang He down. I don't know what difficulty level Zhang He chose, but she must not overestimate her abilities. Although I've heard about their achievements, the college entrance examination is not just facing a single monster. This exam is more inclined towards teamwork and cooperation. It cannot be completed solely based on individual abilities. The coordination of the monsters, the harsh environment, and various additional factors determine that ordinary candidates will be overwhelmed. Now he's feeling anxious. But fortunately, there are still a few talented students at Yi City No. 1 High School. We don't have to put all our hopes on her. Principal Jean thought of a few outstanding candidates and breathed a sigh of relief. They have all broken through to the ninth level of awakening and some have even become warriors. Moreover, Zhang Yi is an S-level talent awakened individual after all, so there shouldn't be any problem for her to go solo. Principal Jean realized this and gradually felt better. Now all he can hope for is that she doesn't show off in the instance and immediately withdraws if she encounters danger, otherwise Yi City no. One high school will lose a top 10 university's high achieving student. As for Zhang Chuan, if it weren't for Zhang He, he wouldn't even know who this person is, so he naturally wouldn't waste too much thought on him. He only glanced at him as a student when he was paying attention to Zhang He. After all, his F-level talent didn't arouse any interest in Principal Jean to take a second look. In the distance, a graceful figure appeared outside the playground of Yi City No. One high school and elegantly sat on a thick tree like a fairy. Seeing Zhang Chuan and Zhang He entering the instance, a trace of surprise flashed across her stunning face, but quickly turned into curiosity. It seems that both of them have their own means. I'm really looking forward to the final results. The task assigned by my sister is really not simple. I wonder what conditions they need to meet in order to be admitted. What if I can't afford it? It's a headache if Jean Bao Kai were here, he would definitely be shocked because the person who came was none other than Lu Ran's sister, the president of Bingyuan University, Lu Xianya. At the college entrance examination site, first and second year students, as well as principals and teachers, sat in the spectator stands around the playground to watch. After Jiang Chuan and Jiang He entered the instance, about five minutes passed. The teams of candidates on the playground had also gathered, and everyone began to enter the instance in an orderly manner. Although all the candidates knew that the number of people in the instance would affect the final score, most teams still chose to form groups of five. After all, this college entrance examination was a new instance attempt, and for the candidates, it was also a new challenge. Having one more companion meant a higher possibility of getting a high score. There were also some experts who chose to go solo, but they were all seed students from E City No. 1 High School. Going solo in the instance carried a high risk, but correspondingly, the rewards were also exceptionally rich. Similarly, the college entrance examination instance is not a game. If you really die inside, it means complete failure. After about a minute, there were no more candidates on the playground. Everyone had already communicated and entered the instance through the bronze gate. After confirming that there were no absent or late candidates, the invigilator waved his hand, and a huge screen displaying the situation of each team unfolded. 
The screen showed the difficulty level and team members chosen by each student for everyone to refer to. Each college entrance examination is also a psychological development process for first and second year students, allowing them to have some understanding of their future. Class 1, Wang Phylong, Talent, A Level Starfire Ignition, Challenge Difficulty, Nightmare, Team Size, 1, Class 1, Yang Roy, Talent, A Level Blood Fury, Challenge Difficulty, Purgatory, Team Size, 3, Members, Gulin, Hishuafen. Class 2, Jiang Yi, Talent, S Level Curse of Calamity, Challenge Difficulty, Nightmare, Team Size, 1. Brother Phylong actually chose to go solo in the Nightmare instance. He truly deserves to be a member of the Seed class. Senior Yang Rue is also amazing. With Senior Gu and Senior He, the purgatory difficulty doesn't seem to be a problem. Goddess Jiang is truly worthy of being a goddess. She also chose to go solo in the Nightmare difficulty. By the way, where is Zhang Chuan? He actually didn't enter with Goddess Jiang. In the college entrance examination hall, the focus naturally falls on the top students, and Class 1 is the elite class specially set up by the school. In addition to that, Zhang Yi, who has an S-level talent but hasn't been to school for a long time, also attracts a lot of attention. After seeing Zhang Yi, someone subconsciously started looking for information about Zhang Chuan, but couldn't find anything within Class 2 for a while. Soon, a sharp-eyed student pointed at the screen and said, look at the first information column. Finally, everyone's gaze turned to the topmost information. Class 2, Zhang Chuan, Talent, If Level Meat Armor, Challenge Difficulty, Purgatory, Team Size, 1, The information about Zhang Chuan's challenge immediately caused a stir in the entire venue. Damn, is he crazy? F level meat armor soloing a purgatory dungeon? Is he really not joking? I admit, I didn't want to pay attention to him before, but this time, he has successfully caught my attention. Isn't it better to be an honest meat shield and earn some points? Why go to the dungeon to die? No matter how much Jiang Chuan's talent lags behind, I'm willing to call him a true man. He's really not afraid of death. In an instant, everyone's attention was drawn to this piece of information. Soloing a purgatory dungeon, it can only be said. It's too crazy. This unique way of seeking death has attracted too much attention. Even the audience who have never heard of this person couldn't help but speculate on his intentions. Principal Jean, what's the matter with this Zhang Chuan? Hong Tao, the director of the Yeqing Education Bureau, looked at Jean Baokai with an angry expression. This time, because of Zhang Yi's performance in the warrior battles, Director Hong and Director Zhang from the Supernatural Bureau both came to their venue to watch the match. Principal Jin's face was as dark as the bottom of a pot at this moment, not saying a word. Where would he dare to speak? These two are both unapproachable figures. But in his heart, he cursed Jiang Chuan upside down. It's one thing to take away their school's S-level talented student, but now he wants to add some flair to the college entrance examination. Although there is a risk of death in the college entrance examination, there are rarely any cases of death each year. After all, the college entrance examination is not a real battlefield. Each province and city has regulations for the high school entrance examination, and if a student dies during the examination, it will have some impact on the local education bureau and even the provincial education bureau to some extent. The rewards and scores obtained from completing a high-difficulty dungeon alone are higher than usual, but at least consider your own position. F-level meat armor, with only physical defense and no protective measures, while the rock armor at least has a protective shell, meat armor is purely relying on the body to resist damage and he chose the purgatory difficulty, the monsters inside could probably knock him down with a single slap. Is he really crazy? Choosing like this, if something goes wrong, he will definitely be held responsible. The more Principal Jean thought about it, the angrier he became, and his whole body's fat started to tremble. The purgatory difficulty college entrance examination dungeon has a 50% chance of falling even in a team state. When he learned that Zhang Chuan refused the top 10 universities, Principal Jean was already thinking about the other party's intentions, but he didn't expect him to play this move. At that time, he should have paid more attention to Zhang Chuan and not let him choose the dungeon himself. Now, it's too late to regret. Principal Jean began to regret a little in his heart. Sometimes, mice are indeed inconspicuous, but they can bite through your air conditioning wires, TV cables, and network cables, making you extremely uncomfortable. Boom! After a moment of dizziness, Zhang Chuan arrived in the thundering ruins. To be precise, it was the Vifrost Thundering Ruins. After choosing the Purgatory difficulty, the dungeon was no longer a normal template and automatically mutated into a more difficult mode. The surroundings were covered in white frost, with lightning flashing in the sky. Zhang Chuan was now in the middle of a dense forest. Above his head were lush and wide leaves, and around him were sturdy giant trees. His vision was blocked by flourishing and chaotic plants. For Awakeners or Warriors, it can be said that the environment is quite harsh. 
The white frost on the ground restricts the movement of the candidates, and even their bodies feel the penetrating cold through their skin. Zhang Chuan couldn't help but sigh, it truly deserves to be a purgatory level exam. However, the existence of the magic resistance armor helped him effectively resist the negative effects brought by the white frost, allowing him to explore the secret realm of the instance in a normal state. If ordinary candidates enter a dungeon of purgatory difficulty, it would probably be extremely difficult for them to take even a single step, they also have to be on guard against potential ambushers at any time. Zhang Chuan also chose this difficulty level after seeing that the highest difficulty level is limited to third order warriors. For him, it is not difficult to block monsters with the strength of third order warriors. Even if the opponent's strength exceeds that of a third order warrior, he still has the divine technique counterattack storm to deal with them. This choice cannot be said to be foolproof, but it is probably close to a sure thing. For Jiang Chuan, he must succeed in this college entrance examination. Whoosh, smack. Just as Jiang Chuan was comparing his own strength with the instance in his mind, a stone about the size of half a fist hit him solidly on the head from behind. It didn't hurt, but it felt tingly. Zhang Chuan was stunned for a moment and turned around to look. He saw a goblin with green skin and pointed ears laughing heartily. When he saw Zhang Chuan's gaze, his laughter suddenly stopped, and he restrained his mocking expression. He blurted out, scum. Of course, goblins can't speak human language, they were just expressing their astonishment that this human was unharmed. But it sounded completely different to Zhang Chuan's ears. His face instantly darkened. In his previous life playing games, he hated two types of people the most, bushwhackers and taunters. This little monster in front of him was both, hitting him with both at the same time. After a brief eye contact between the two different species, Zhang Chuan made a move. He took a big step forward and disappeared from the spot in a flash. Although awakening to the ninth level didn't provide a significant increase in power, it made his body more agile. So his running speed was extremely fast. The cunning goblin thrower, of course, wouldn't let Zhang Chuan succeed. He also quickly fled in the opposite direction of Zhang Chuan. At the college entrance examination site, after three minutes, the information screen automatically disappeared and was replaced by real-time live footage of each candidate. The footage revolved around the bronze gate and expanded to the surroundings. The four largest screens showed the live scenes of two dungeons of purgatory difficulty and two dungeons of single-pass nightmare difficulty. The top right corner of each screen displayed the points and rankings for killing monsters. The goblins in the nightmare difficulty were awakened to the ninth level, so they were worth 10 points, while the purgatory difficulty was 1. 5 times that of the nightmare difficulty. Through the live footage, everyone could see that Wang Phylong had 3 goblin corpses beside him. He had encountered monsters within 3 minutes, which could be said to be very lucky. Zhang Yi was searching for prey in the dense forest, swinging the short dagger in his hand with a casual attitude, but unfortunately, he didn't find anything. On the other hand, Yang Rui, who chose to team up, was not afraid of the cold with his berserk blood, and was now slowly advancing in the frost thunder ruins. However, his two teammates behind him were already shivering from the cold, and the harsh environment made their faces look unpleasant. Brother Phylong has already started, the points for nightmare difficulty are coming in really fast. Look at Senior Yang Rui, the purgatory difficulty dungeon seems to have a different environment. The two seniors behind him can't even walk anymore. Goddess Jiang is still elegant, it's like she's going on an outing inside the dungeon. Isn't she worried about sudden ambushes? Damn, look at Jiang Chuan, what is he doing? A sudden exclamation once again turned everyone's attention to the last screen. They saw Jiang Chuan, full of anger, chasing after a goblin with a slingshot. Everyone's perception was instantly subverted. Even though the goblin in the purgatory difficulty was also a warrior, to some extent, why would it be afraid of a candidate? Could it be that? Jiang Chuan has already broken through to become a warrior? Otherwise, how would a waste with an F-level flesh armor talent dare to chase after a warrior? However, the live broadcast footage behind them revealed the answer. They saw the goblin thrower running to a pond, suddenly stopping and shouting, Scum! The sudden halt also made Zhang Chuan slow down and be cautious of his surroundings. Russell Russell Russell. Three hunched but strong blue-skinned goblins emerged from the surrounding vegetation. They exuded a chilling blue and white aura. Two white-skinned goblins wielding stone curved knives also emerged from the pond. Zhang Chuan suddenly went from being the pursuer to the prey. Oh no, surrounded. Haha, -ha, is this it? Clearly acting, can't even see through this and still taking the college entrance exam? I would even go to my death. Just entering the exam hall and already giving up? Isn't that a bit pathetic? Daring to choose the hell difficulty with only a flesh armor talent, doesn't even know how to write the word death. The younger students in the spectator stands began to discuss among themselves. Everyone knew the attack power of the flesh armor talent, 
there was no attack bonus at all. When everyone reached the Grandmaster's second transformation awakening ability, the defense of the flesh armor would become useless. So this was truly a talent that led to a dead end. Everyone was waiting for Zhang Chuan to crush the return stone and give up on this college entrance exam. Faced with the encirclement of two goblins, Zhang Chuan felt no fluctuations in his heart. On the contrary, he wanted to smash the dog head of the green-skinned goblin even more. It even knew how to lure? Truly cunning and malicious. The goblin on the opposite side saw that the human in front of him was motionless and directly shouted, Scum. Then, three frost goblin instantly rushed out, took their positions, and surrounded Zhang Chuan. They spewed out a blue icy aura from their mouths, attempting to immobilize their opponent. After about 10 seconds, the white-skinned and green-skinned goblins, thinking that their opponent had been subdued by the frost goblins, began to launch their attacks. The stone-curved knives of the two white-skinned goblins mercilessly fell on Zhang Chuan. The thrown stones from the goblin thrower also arrived at the same time. Received the icy aura attack from the frost goblin, spirit chi plus 2. Magic resistance armor experience plus 1. Received the stone attack from the goblin thrower, spirit chi plus 2. Received the curved knife strike from the curved knife goblin, spirit chi plus 10. Zhang Chuan glanced at the panel, armor value, 160, he couldn't help but exclaim, high armor value really brings peace of mind. If it were a normal warrior, they would probably be running around with their heads down, completely lost. Is this the flesh armor talent? TCH, it's only because the monster's power isn't strong enough. If the blue poison python king came, he would be killed instantly. Flesh armor is only popular in the warrior stage. I didn't expect Zhang Chuan to elevate his flesh armor to this level of strength. Looks good but not useful. Is he just going to keep getting beaten? The audience had different opinions on Zhang Chuan's physical defense. They couldn't believe that Zhang Chuan had actually elevated his flesh armor to a level where it could withstand attacks from warriors within three months. However, even so, they still didn't have high hopes for Zhang Chuan. After all, flesh armor could only defend and not attack. Its weaknesses were too obvious. Finally, after the goblin squad continued their attacks for three rounds, Zhang Chuan couldn't stand this baby like punching anymore and stretched his body. Lacking interest, he said, you like scratching itchy spots so much? How boring. He suspected that the goblin's eyesight wasn't very good. After a few rounds of attacks, they were completely ineffective. Although he wasn't completely unscathed, maybe he lost a few strands of hair? But they couldn't take advantage of the situation like this. Scum! Seeing Zhang Chuan's movement, the goblin thrower once again made a mocking exclamation. The other five goblins quickly distanced themselves. After the goblin squad was scared off, a orange light appeared in Zhang Chuan's hand. Shield attack! His veins suddenly bulged and his entire arm seemed to swell as if it were filled with blood. It gave off a very explosive feeling. It can also be called, Chilin arm. The arm is filled with infinite power, and Zhang Chuan instantly flashes to a white-skinned curved knife goblin in front of him. His huge fist smashes down on his face. Hala! The goblin's face is directly caved in by his punch, completely disfigured. The curved knife goblin staggers back two steps and falls to the ground like a lifeless zombie. Zhang Chuan's resistance has ignited the anger of the other goblins. Trash. Another curved knife goblin raises the stone weapon in his hand and insults him. Three frost goblin quickly take their positions and exert all their strength to send cold air into Zhang Chuan's body. Received cold air attack from frost goblin, spirit plus two. Magic resistance armor experience plus two. Received cold air attack from frost goblin, spirit plus two. Magic resistance armor experience plus two. Received cold air attack from frost goblin, spirit plus two. Magic resistance armor experience plus two. Zhang Chuan nods slightly and mutters to himself, this is almost enough. Why did I leave so many tricks before? Your cold air is indeed powerful, but unfortunately. Zhang Chuan raises his fist again, showing the goblins the result, it's useless against me. He consecutively punches the faces of the three frost goblins. Bang! 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 Under Zhang Chuan's heavy punches, the three heads explode like watermelons hitting the ground, splattering crimson blood everywhere like fireworks. But under Jiang Chuan's perfect control, only a few drops of blood splatter on his face. Damn, what is this? Who said Jiang Chuan is a tank? Have you ever seen a tank with such big fists? He's tanking against the opponent's knife. You say he's not a tank? Still the same, when the blue poison python king comes, he kills it directly. Where does he have a chance to make a move? It's just that these goblins are too stupid, they don't know how to flank at all. Zhang Chuan lacks speed and ability, why should he be able to beat them? There are knowledgeable spectators in the audience, after all, they are not the ones inside the instance, right? How can F-grade armor achieve such a level, besides the opponent being stupid, 
What other reason is there? Is it because the armor is too strong? Don't be ridiculous, if the armor talent is strong, it wouldn't only have an F-grade evaluation. In the dense forest, the last two goblins watch with their mouths wide open in shock. Tra. Trash? Where are their own companions? Where did the four big companions go? The experienced curved knife goblin directly drops the weapon in his hand and runs away. The throwing goblin still holds a stone in his hand, preparing to shoot with a slingshot. At this moment, he doesn't even know how to react, whether to shoot or let go. Zhang Chuan casually glances at the curved knife goblin who hasn't run two steps yet, spreading his five fingers, Shen Luo. Spit, counterattack storm. Then, a blue electric fan spins around him, quickly turning into a stream of light chasing after the curved knife goblin. When the blue light touches him, he is frozen in place as if under a petrification spell, unable to move. Poochie, Poochie, Poochie. Several large wounds appear on the curved knife goblin, instantly spraying out a large amount of blood. If someone observes carefully, they will find that the wounds on the curved knife goblin's body are exactly the same as the positions where they attacked Zhang Chuan earlier. There is also a layer of white frost on his body, which is the masterpiece left by the frost goblin on Zhang Chuan. However, because he is already white-skinned, it is difficult to discern this difference with the naked eye. Zhang Chuan walks slowly towards the throwing goblin, as if a noble young master is approaching a powerless girl next door. The girl on the other side is scared, and the slingshot in her hand slips off due to fear and tension. The goblin sits on the ground, kicking his legs and desperately moving backward. Unfortunately, the giant tree behind him blocks his retreat, and he can only look at the cold-hearted young master in fear. He he, don't worry, I'll be very gentle. As I crush your skull, Zhang Chuan's face revealed a cruel smile as he extended his hand to cover the goblin's head he had thrown. With a slight movement of his arm, he crushed the opponent's skull as if it were tofu. After completing this task, Zhang Chuan immediately stopped, as maintaining the shield attack consumed a lot of spiritual energy. In a sense, the shield attack was his only means of attack, and the trigger condition for the counterattack storm was that the opponent had to inflict damage on him. But if he encountered a master, no matter how strong the counterattack storm was, it would be useless. It was only now that Zhang Chuan, who had nothing better to do, noticed that he had been wearing a bracelet that was constantly flashing. After communicating with his thoughts, he discovered that it was a backpack space, inside of which lay a black stone. Recalling what the new homeroom teacher had said earlier, he realized that this was the return stone. There was also a data box that recorded Zhang Chuan's score for killing monsters, 120 points. Wow, senior Zhang Chuan's eyes just now were so cool, he could kill me a thousand times. Ha 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 that casual attitude of his, that's the male god in my heart. Report, report. Did the system make a mistake? Zhang Chuan definitely chose the easy mode, right? Is this an output type tank? The angle of his punch just now, the scene of the goblin's blood splattering, it's simply art. Many male classmates cheered for Zhang Chuan's violent monster killing, the whole process was straightforward and without any hesitation, just simple violence output. Zhang Chuan had no idea how many hearts of the girls from Yeqing know. One middle school he had won over with this battle. The surrounding male classmates felt a bit bitter, because among these infatuated girls, there were their goddesses. Ouch. It hurts. But they didn't dare to say anything to Zhang Chuan, after all, the strength of the monsters was there. Why do I say that? Just look at Yang Rui's team, they are currently dealing with four goblins, all of them at the warrior realm. The two senior classmates behind them had already been controlled by the frost goblin. Only Yang Rui, with his bloodthirsty talent, was able to launch an attack. If it weren't for these two controlled frost goblins, they should have been able to take them down easily with their cooperation. It was completely different from Zhang Chuan's previous ease in dealing with three frost goblins. Compared to them, Wang Failong, who had the talent of starfire spreading, had a relatively easier time. He would use his ability a little when encountering monsters, take a short break, and then continue the next wave of battles. He was currently ranked first on the leaderboard, with a total of 300 points. Zhang Yi was also swiftly dealing with the chaos in the Nightmare Difficulty Dungeon, relying on the dominance of the Curse of Calamity, his score had surpassed Wang Feilong's by 100 points, and it had only been a short 10 minutes. The principal breathed a sigh of relief when he saw Zhang Chuan's performance. He shamelessly said to the director of the Education Bureau, Hong Tao, actually, Zhang Chuan is also a very outstanding student in our school. He is usually very serious, maybe this time he just wanted to challenge himself? Hong Tao didn't show any change in expression, but snorted coldly, how could Lao Kai's purgatory difficulty college entrance exam question be so simple? The first wave is probably just an appetizer. This Jiang Chuan is talented, but if he wants to pass Lao Kai's purgatory difficulty alone, he would need at least a cultivation level of the fourth stage or above. 
I want to see how a student with an F-level body armor talent can pass the purgatory difficulty dungeon. Director Zhang heard what the director of the education bureau said and shook his head, continuing to watch. He really wanted to tell Director Hong that Zhang Chuan had participated in the case of killing a wanted criminal two months ago, but he didn't know the specific details, so he didn't say anything. Principal Jean also continued to observe silently. Director Hong's words made sense, and he held hope in his heart for Zhang Chuan's performance, hoping that he wouldn't fall in the dungeon. He then continued to look at the large screen in the middle. Zhang Chuan finished the first wave of battles and, after crossing the water pool, found a small iron arch in the dense forest. In the middle was a pitch-black vortex, seemingly enticing him to enter the gate. This was the passage to the next level. Passing through the passage, Zhang Chuan's surroundings changed. It was still a familiar dense forest, but the sky had darkened slightly, and the visibility was dim. The surroundings had also changed from frosty ground to muddy dirt roads, hindering the footsteps of the traveler. If there were any germaphobes among the high school students, they would probably be in agony in this environment. Hiss. A sound came from behind Jiang Chuan, and in the instant he turned around, an object had already transformed into a white shadow and pounced towards his arm. It bit hard onto Jiang Chuan's arm. It was a small snake with a deep blue color. Jiang Chuan used his mind to communicate with the wristband, and the monster's information appeared in the wristband. Monster, Swift Blue Poison Snake, Strength, First Stage Warrior Realm, Talent, Ordinary, Abilities, Swift, Venom Injection, the snake's sharp fangs easily pierced through Jiang Chuan's armor, injecting venom into his arm. Received attack from Swift Blue Poison Snake, Chi plus 2, Magic Resistance Armor plus 1. Jiang Chuan felt a tingling sensation in his arm and his face slightly changed. The high school exam instance at the purgatory level was actually this insane. Even the venom had a real impact on his condition. He immediately grabbed the snake's body and forcefully crushed it at the 7-inch mark. Blue snake blood dripped from Jiang Chuan's hand. After a moment of twisting, the snake became motionless and completely dead. Jiang Chuan's score increased by 10 points. The two holes from the snake bite were soon covered by a gentle yellow light, and Jiang Chuan's wounds began to slowly heal. The toxins in his blood were gradually purified. After a while, Jiang Chuan felt his arm return to normal, and he felt relieved. This was only the second level. If he was affected by negative effects, there was no need to continue challenging the subsequent levels. He quickly crushed the return stone and went back, which was the best way to save his life. The healing power of the holy shield was really useful after being ambushed by a small snake. For the next 10 minutes, Jiang Chuan did not encounter any monsters on his exploration path, until he reached the entrance of the next level. Hiss. 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 Blue poison snakes emerged from the surrounding woods, the same species as the ones Jiang Chuan had encountered before. But the entrance to the next level was right in front of him, so he naturally wouldn't waste time. Under the attack of the group of snakes, he entered the archway passage. Jiang Chuan was surprised to find that the original dozen or so snakes were all biting his arm and had followed him in. There were still his sounds behind him. The monsters could actually pass through the teleportation gate. Seeing Jiang Chuan's actions, the students watching laughed. Does Zhang's senior brother think that by passing through the teleportation gate, he can get rid of the monsters from the previous level? It's obvious that he didn't pay attention in class. I never thought he wasn't a top student and yet he's attempting the exam instance at the purgatory difficulty level. Is Zhang Chuan's senior brother really okay after being bitten like that? Um, Zhang Chuan's senior brother and Zhang He, the awakened goddess, haven't been to school for three months. The director of the education bureau saw this situation and coldly snorted, if they don't even have the common sense that monsters can pass through teleportation gates, why dare to come to the exam hall? Who gave them the courage? How could old Kai give the students the opportunity to steal chickens and directly kill the boss? He must be overthinking it, right? Seeing him like this now, I'm afraid the toxins have spread throughout his body. I hope he can come out quickly and not cause trouble for the school and education bureau. Principal Jean was also extremely anxious when he saw Jiang Chuan's condition. He desperately shouted for Jiang Chuan to come out, and his expression became somewhat distorted. But he could only helplessly rage. The college entrance exam couldn't be interfered with, and if the students insisted on being strong, the school couldn't intervene. After all, this was an important exam that determined their future. If they worked hard, what if they passed? There have been cases where people were named and angrily scolded online for helping candidates, and even the teacher who helped him couldn't become a teacher anymore. After that, the Ministry of Education issued an order that they could no longer intervene in the college entrance examination, and life and death were determined by fate. Originally, this was an opportunity to change one's destiny. To everyone's surprise, Zhang Chuan just stood still for a few seconds. Then he shook off all the venomous snakes hanging on him and started exploring as if nothing had happened. 
There was no sign of any abnormal state at all. The small group of blue venomous snakes behind him followed his footsteps. Knowing that monsters could pass through the teleportation gate, Jiang Chuan had a bold idea to gather monsters and let them brush their spiritual energy. He was not someone who was close to spiritual energy with his F-level talent. The best comparison was Jiang He, who had an S-level talent and had already reached the height of an 8th order awakened in the first month. After seeing Jiang Chuan, she became lazy, but she still broke through the martial artist realm while playing around. On the other hand, Jiang Chuan worked hard for three months, practicing and getting beaten every day without a day of rest. There was also a high spiritual energy feedback from the blood slaughter token, which barely reached the ninth order awakened realm. It was precisely because of this strong disparity that he decided to put all his treasures on the monsters in the secret realm of the instance. It was a bit risky, but wasn't it a means of rapid breakthrough? Besides, even if he couldn't hold on in the end, Jiang Chuan could crush the return stone and return to reality. As for Jiang He's curse, he could think of a solution later. Jiang Chuan, who had figured it out, said that he would start when he was ready, completely ignoring all the monsters along the way and looking for the teleportation gate to the fourth level. Jiang Chuan ran frantically in the swamp. This was the environment of the third level, even more disgusting than the depression of the previous level. But even so, Jiang Chuan's feet were not hindered at all, and he could still move swiftly. The effect of the Holy Shield's healing had also improved. Originally, it could only be effective on wounds, but now it could eliminate negative effects on the body as well. Jiang Chuan realized that this should be the benefit brought by breaking through to the Ninth Order Awakened Realm. Without physical exertion, the Holy Shield's healing would not have a noticeable effect. When Jiang Chuan began to feel sore, the Holy Shield's healing would help him eliminate the negative effects. The most crucial thing was that this ability had a very small demand for spiritual energy. Therefore, Jiang Chuan could run without any pressure. The monsters from the two levels behind him chased after him relentlessly. No matter what angle Jiang Chuan turned or what direction he went, the monsters in the secret realm knew his trajectory. It was as if they were equipped with GPS locators. Jiang Chuan wanted to escape, but he couldn't. This feeling of being chased relentlessly by monsters was really strange. Even in my past life, women chasing after me weren't as diligent as you monsters. Jiang Chuan couldn't help but complain. He turned his head and looked at the piles of snakes and groups of goblins. There were at least a hundred of them. However, it was this glance that allowed Jiang Chuan to see his savior at this moment. The teleportation gate. It was on a giant tree not far behind him, which could be hugged by 20 people. Although the tree was thick, it was also very short, so it was easy to notice things on top of it from a distance. What a cunning question setter. If he had been running on flat ground the whole time, he wouldn't have noticed the teleportation gate on the tree at all. This test not only provided a disgusting environment, but even the location of the teleportation gate was so tricky. Jiang Chuan seriously suspected that the question setter was a player of a well-known domestic mobile game. Otherwise, who would think of placing the teleportation gate on a tree? However, Jiang Chuan couldn't stop at this moment. The monsters behind him were still chasing after him relentlessly. If he was caught by them, let alone going to the next level, he probably wouldn't even be able to handle this level. With a group of monsters behind him, Jiang Chuan circled around the dense forest. He finally managed to reach the teleportation gate without any major incidents. Looking at the monsters behind him who were reluctant to part, Jiang Chuan smiled lightly. Goodbye, my darlings. Without saying a word, he entered the teleportation gate. Has Jiang Chuan gone crazy? He didn't even clear a single monster before entering the next level? Why do I feel like he's intentionally attracting monsters? Does attracting monsters mean getting beaten? Hee <laughs> hee, this is the price of overestimating oneself. What makes him think he can survive under the siege of so many monsters? Is it possible that he wants to show off and then crush the return stone? The female students who saw Jiang Chuan, who was cool to the extreme in the first level, now see him in a miserable state, greatly disappointed. They never expected that the person they admired would turn out to be such a coward. The anticipation that lasted less than half an hour was instantly extinguished by them. Fewer and fewer students paid attention to Jiang Chuan, and everyone went to watch other screens. When Hong Ju saw the scene of Jiang Chuan running away, he shook his head. In the past, there was still a chance to reach the fifth level and defeat the final boss in the college entrance examination, but today it is really unlikely. Lao Kai looked at the records of previous years and set the questions. He has already seen through the motives of those who want to get high scores by defeating the final boss. Jiang Chuan is now better off holding the return stone in his hand, otherwise he may not have time to use it later. Seeing Jiang Chuan's actions, Hong Tao increasingly felt that Jiang Chuan wanted to run to the last level to steal the boss. 
There have been such examples in the college entrance examination in previous years, where students didn't even start fighting in the early levels, but directly looked for the teleportation gate and ran all the way to the fifth level, killing the boss of nightmare difficulty. In the end, they also made it to a good university. If Jiang Chuan really kills the final boss of purgatory difficulty, he will at least enter the top 20 universities. He is the only one. Principal Jean broke out in a cold sweat when he heard this. According to Hong Tao's meaning, the monsters this time are estimated to be very strong. The director of the Education Bureau has the right to predict the college entrance examination questions. Shan, the director of the Supernatural Bureau, frowned slightly, not knowing what Jiang Chuan's intention was. Clearly, he has the capital and strength to fight, but he has no intention of taking action. But all he can do is continue to watch quietly. Why did Jiang Chuan give up clearing the monsters and go straight to find the teleportation gate? His exploration speed is not faster than others, right? A lower grade student raised doubts. After going around in a circle, Jiang Chuan had just entered the teleportation gate of the fourth level. Wang Filong had already cleared half of the monsters in the fourth level. His score had reached a terrifying 1300 points, and it was still steadily rising. Jiang Yi's score was even more terrifying. She directly triggered the power of curses in the fourth level, and the raging power of curses directly caused all the trees in the rainforest to collapse, exposing all the monsters. She didn't even need to search for them, they exposed themselves. It was now Jiang Yi's time to shine, and there was simply no goblin or blue viper that could escape her clutches. When Wang Filong cleared half of the monsters, Jiang Yi had already entered the door of the final boss of the fifth level. This scene made the audience exclaim in amazement. Her score had also reached over 2,000 points. As long as she defeated the boss, she would basically secure the top spot. Yang Rui and the others, after reaching the third level, were deeply affected by the poison in the swamp and were now struggling to move. However, the three of them cooperated quite well and cleared the monsters in the third level. They didn't have the annoyance of being chased by dungeon monsters all over the map like Zhang Chuan. Their average score had already reached over a thousand points. Rue, why don't we stop here? Your vitality is already severely depleted, and the next monsters will only be stronger. Yeah, Rue, with over a thousand points, any university would be a good one. Two companions were persuading him. No, we came out of the top class, how can we give up here? This is only the third level. Yang Rue was proud and couldn't tolerate quitting early. I called you two not to persuade me to give up the exam, but to help me clear the level. We can kill the final boss together. He gave them a wave of motivational speeches and stepped into the teleportation gate of the fourth level. The two teammates looked at each other and saw the helplessness in each other's eyes. They were all students from the top class, so how could they not want to clear the level? But the conditions in the purgatory difficulty level instance are too harsh. The third level is already a terrifying swamp for countless people, who knows what even more disgusting environment awaits in the fourth level. Both of them instinctively held onto the return stone and followed Yang Rui's footsteps into the teleportation gate. Splash, 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 Zhang Chuan's screen showed everyone the scene of the fourth level of difficulty. The overall environment hasn't changed, still within the dense forest. The only difference is that the weather has turned into rain. Heavy rain pouring down. From the outside, this rain doesn't seem particularly special, but Jiang Chuan, as the person experiencing it, keenly feels its horror. Heavy rain. Yes, it's heavy rain. The intensity is very strong, making Jiang Chuan feel enough pressure. It's like carrying small dumbbells all over his body, every step he takes is exhausting. A clearer feedback is that his spiritual energy consumption has increased. He can clearly feel the changes in spiritual energy required for the healing of the Holy Shield, he needs more replenishment for his body. The fourth level has one difference from the other levels. The teleportation gate to the fifth level is right across from the entrance of the fourth level. Are there no monsters on this floor? Just as Zhang Chuan had this doubt in his mind, there was a commotion in the trees on the left side. Jia Jia, a deep voice speaking goblin language entered Zhang Chuan's ears, followed by a red goblin with a height of over 2 meters appearing in front of Zhang Chuan. He was holding a red curved blade, no longer a weapon made of stone. There were also some goblins of different types accompanying him, some pink, some blue, some purple. The purple one held a thick and thin staff, the pink one held a wand, and the blue one was the frost goblin seen before. Their numbers were not many, only about 30. But the pressure they gave Jiang Chuan and the imminent arrival of over a hundred monsters were completely different. They were stronger, more organized. It was obvious that this red goblin was their leader. Jiang Chuan quietly opened his wristband and glanced at it, the information about the monsters quickly appeared before his eyes, Flame Goblin 10 Captain, Strength, Third Order Warrior Realm, Talent, Elite, Ability, Flame Curved Blade, Violent Swing. 
Goblin Priest, Strength, Second Order Warrior Realm Initial Stage, Talent, Ordinary, Ability, Healing Technique, Strength Amplification. Goblin Assault Soldier, Strength, Second Order Warrior Realm Initial Stage, Talent, Ordinary, Ability, Powerful Strike, Hammer Throw. Even the Frost Goblin was stronger than before. They approached Zhang Chuan, blocking his path to the fifth level. Just at this moment, there was also a noisy sound coming from behind the teleportation gate. The sound of goblins hissing and chattering was endless. The monsters from the previous two levels had caught up. Zhang Chuan, without invisibility or acceleration skills, it was obvious what choice he would make. He made a gesture towards all the monsters, slowly raised his middle finger and index finger, directly provoking them to the fullest. Roar! The ten captain goblin on the opposite side saw this gesture and even lost its zha zha sound. Its already wrinkled face became even more distorted. The surrounding goblin followers also started making zha zha sounds, clearly cursing and complaining. Seeing their reaction, Zhang Chuan weakly retracted his finger. He sighed inwardly, impressive, it's truly an international gesture, capable of mocking across different races. The monsters rushed towards Zhang Chuan. The audience outside the scene once again focused their attention on Zhang Chuan. When they saw him raise that finger, they knew that something was definitely not simple. He wasn't just trying to crush the return stone to show off. And to be honest, if Zhang Chuan really crushed the return stone and came back at this time, it would probably be a perfect combination of the secret realm and reality. It would be both impressive and showy. The students who were already excitedly filming were now somewhat disappointed. They were all prepared for Zhang Chuan to set the internet on fire. But instead, he just went up there to get beaten up? With so many monsters attacking at once, will Zhang Chuan be torn to pieces in an instant? Who knows, who knows what he's thinking, gathering a bunch of monsters to get beaten up. Does he have some kind of special fetish? He's probably trying to redeem himself? But it's a shame, I'm already disappointed in him. Isn't Zhang Chuan sending himself to his death? I'm going to report it. Someone is openly giving away heads in the college entrance exam. On the other hand, Director Hong's face became calm. In his eyes, it was already impressive enough that Zhang Chuan could pass the first level of the purgatory, he didn't even think about the later levels. What he didn't expect was that this bold student could reach the fourth level in one go. Although he didn't clear the monsters in the next two levels, it was already incredible that he could make it to the fourth level alone in the purgatory environment. He was just a student with an F-level physical armor talent. When Zhang Chuan was surrounded by a group of copy monsters, Hong Tao already knew that nothing else mattered. I remember that the physical armor talent doesn't have a skill for group attacks, right? He's just taking the beating like that, he'll definitely be killed, even the steel armor talent has fatigue and can be beaten useless, let alone the physical armor. There's no need to pay attention to this student anymore, he's probably already failed the exam, even if he doesn't die, with his score of 130, no university will accept him. Sigh, I shouldn't have had the illusion that someone would surprise me in the purgatory copy. Yes. Yes. Principal Jean listened to Hong Tao's sigh and could only weakly respond. Judging from the current situation, Zhang Chuan's best outcome would be to come out of the copy with 130 points. Even if surrounded by so many monsters, even candidates with S-level warrior talents wouldn't be able to handle it. Not to mention there are even stronger ultimate bosses ahead. He suddenly remembered the scene where Zhang Chuan punched a goblin before. But soon he shook his head in disappointment. How could such strong power come without a price? After the fight, Zhang Chuan's spiritual energy was probably already depleted, right? Principal Jean had already figured out the reason why Zhang Chuan possessed such powerful strength. If Zhang Chuan didn't care about the danger of depleting his spiritual energy and attacked a few more times, although his score would increase, it would also come with the risk of being devoured alive by a large number of goblins. Not to mention the even worse environment. Director Hong, can you tell what the rain in the fourth level of the purgatory difficulty is? After pondering for a moment, Hong Tao uttered two words, heavy rain. Principal Jin's face immediately turned pale. Heavy rain is a terrifying negative environment. Zhang Chuan now can't even think about using spiritual energy to increase his attack power, he probably can't even summon enough spiritual energy to support his body. No wonder Director Hong said that only 4th Order Warrior Realm would have a chance to pass this purgatory difficulty in the copy. Damn, what happened? Why did the live broadcast of the other purgatory copy turn into this? Look over there, someone came out. Two pale-faced candidates appeared on the grass in front of the bronze gate. It was Yang Rui's teammates, Gu Lin and He Xu Efen. Their faces were pale, and they weakly delivered the bad news, Yang Rui is dead. Boom! This news exploded in everyone's minds like a thunderbolt on a sunny day. What? Yang Rui actually fell in the college entrance exam copy. 
He was a top student in the elite class, just like Wang Filong, he ranked at the top. Is this the purgatory difficulty college entrance exam question under Lao Kai? If I encounter his questions in the future, I'll choose the easy ones first, it's too terrifying. What a pity for a top student, Yang Rui could have easily entered the top 10 universities after passing the nightmare difficulty college entrance exam. Compared to this, the nightmare difficulty this time seems much simpler. The younger students expressed their regrets one after another, after all, they were once the heart of the campus, but now they were gone. The head teacher of the elite class quickly stepped forward, asking with a serious face, what happened? Why didn't Yang Rui use the return stone to come back? Yang Rui Kai is a martial artist with the talent of a bloodthirsty warrior. After sucking blood, his combat power can become even stronger. It has been tested before that he can elevate his combat power to the level of a second-order martial artist by using blood. Unexpectedly, he fell so easily in the secret realm. He Xu and squatted on the ground, her head buried in her chest, crying continuously. At this moment, Gu Lin's face also looked very bad, as if he had seen a prehistoric behemoth, his face full of fear, he said, those monsters are not ordinary monsters at all, especially the big goblin with a curved knife. He cut off Yang Rui's head with one slash. And the rain inside, we couldn't move at all when we got close. We didn't have time to support Yang Rui. He already had the return stone in his hand, but he was knocked away by the purple monster with a wooden stick. We have no idea what to do, really no idea. We can only leave him in the secret realm. Ah. After Gu Lin finished speaking, unable to bear the immense pressure, he cried while holding his head. We advised him to stop in the third level. He Xu F and sobbed and added, as if trying to alleviate some guilt. Anyone would feel scared when they saw a comrade being brutally killed by monsters in the secret realm. Not to mention that they were all just candidates participating in the college entrance examination. No matter how outstanding they were in normal times, death is the end in the instance. The class teacher didn't know what to say either. Blame him for not saving his teammate? It was already a purgatory instance, and the difficulty level was there. Self-preservation was the best choice. He could only shake his head and sigh. When Principal Jean received the news, he suddenly stood up from his chair. What? Yang Rui is dead. Zhang Chuan and Yang Rui entered the fourth level, one in front and one behind. The latter entered with a team of three martial artists, but the battle ended before it even started, and only two people managed to escape. The former was alone. Thinking of this, Principal Jean sat back in his chair with a helpless look. His eyes became somewhat hollow. This college entrance examination was destined to have two deaths. Even if he managed to keep his position as principal after the college entrance examination, he would still face severe punishment. Hong Tao saw the disoriented Principal Jean and shook his head inside once again. These two students who chose the purgatory difficulty instance on their own caused a lot of trouble. Once again involving the purgatory difficulty instance, they both turned their attention to Zhang Chuan's live broadcast. After Zhang Chuan finished gesturing with international signs, the goblin assault soldier directly lifted the big stick and smashed it towards Zhang Chuan's head. Whoosh, the wooden stick quickly arrived and hit Zhang Chuan's face. However, Zhang Chuan didn't even plan to dodge, and he directly took the hit with his head. Bang, received a wooden stick attack from the goblin assault soldier, Qi value plus 10. The attack of the purple goblin was useless, and it even made his arm numb, almost causing the stick to slip from his hand. Trash. A group of goblins behind seemed to be mocking their teammate. Zhang Chuan saw the prompt from the system and felt secretly delighted. A single round of attack from a second level novice goblin was worth 10 experience points, and he would soon be able to advance as a martial artist, reaching the peak of life and winning over beautiful women. There were also many small snakes rushing towards Zhang Chuan, biting him fiercely. Received a venomous bite from the rapid blue snake, Wind resistance experience plus 1. Chi value plus 2. Although the increase was not much, the advantage of the snakes was their large numbers. In just one round, he could gain dozens of experience points. The next 10 minutes were scenes of the monsters giving Zhang Chuan a massage and sending him experience points. The Goblin 10 captain wanted to intervene and attack Zhang Chuan, but his subordinates were too enthusiastic and didn't give him any room to act, so he could only wait on the side. Received a wooden stick attack from the Goblin Assault Soldier. Chi value plus 10. Received a frost attack from the frost goblin, Chi value plus 10. Magic resistance experience plus 5. The system's prompts kept coming. In addition to some attacks aimed at vital points being blocked by Zhang Chuan, he remained indifferent to other attacks. This not only reduced his consumption in the heavy rain, but also allowed him to quickly gain experience, killing two birds with one stone. This one-sided beating scene lasted for a full 10 minutes. The teachers and students outside the field were all stunned. 
Can attacks of this level really be blocked by an F-level talent? I want to fight against Jiang Chuan's talent. What is this? Why can he endure a massage at the purgatory difficulty level? It's like scraping. Unbelievable. Who told me that Jiang Chuan's talent is useless? I'm so angry. Although I don't know the purpose of Jiang Chuan enduring such a beating, his calm appearance gave everyone the illusion of going through a simple dungeon. Principal Jin's hope rekindled in his eyes. He clenched his fist tightly and murmured, Please don't let anything happen. Director Hong's expression began to change. The student who was supposed to be dead in his eyes had actually withstood the heavy encirclement of monsters for so long. Has he already reached the fourth order warrior realm or above? He couldn't help but ask. Without the support of the aura of a fourth order warrior, an ordinary F-level talent would have been beaten to a pulp long ago. But Jiang Chuan seemed to be at ease. Principal Jin replied blankly, I don't know. Director Hong said helplessly, hasn't your school tested the student's cultivation recently? Principal Jin didn't dare to lie and had to tell the truth. Actually, Jiang Chuan and Jiang He, the two students, haven't come to school for a long time. They are self-taught. Director Hong pondered for a moment, calculating in his mind. Self-taught? If this student could survive, with his fourth order warrior realm, even an F-level talent like a meat armor would be extremely sought after, except for the top 10 universities. He could also tell from the defensive style that this student had extremely rich combat experience. He probably hadn't practiced any less in the past few months. It's a pity that the attack ability of the meat armor is too single, otherwise he might really be able to pass the purgatory difficulty level exam. After making a fair evaluation, he continued to watch the screen. The principal also shook his head helplessly. Why did such a strong student end up with a meat armor talent? While Zhang Chuan was still being beaten in the fourth level, Zhang Yi had already dealt with the final boss of the last level. The boss of nightmare difficulty was a goblin summoner. With the strength of a second order warrior realm, it was a piece of cake for Zhang Yi to deal with the summon creatures. So he easily solved the boss and left the dungeon. At this time, Wang Failong had just finished the fourth level and entered the fifth level. Judging from the current situation, he was also stable enough to pass the nightmare difficulty level dungeon. But due to the difference in clearance speed, his ranking was destined to be below Jiang He's. Jiang He also had extra time for bonus points. The big monster moved. Someone shouted, attracting everyone's attention. Even Wang Failong, who was passing the final level, was ignored. Everyone knew who the person was referring to. Because in the entire field, only the monster at the purgatory difficulty level was larger than a human. In the secret realm dungeon, the goblin chieftain couldn't bear it anymore after failing to defeat the alien in front of him for so long. Trash. He pushed away several goblins in front of him with one hand, still muttering curses. Standing in front of Zhang Chuan, he was half a body taller than Zhang Chuan, and his shadow covered Zhang Chuan's body. The little monsters behind Zhang Chuan, who were scraping, didn't dare to act recklessly when they saw their boss in this state. They all kept their distance. He stared down at the short man in front of him, still remembering his mocking expression from earlier. If he didn't kill this freak today, he wouldn't be able to sleep well at night. He picked up the fiery red curved blade, shook his big hand, and a layer of orange-yellow flames ignited on the blade. Then he fiercely swung it down towards Zhang Chuan's head. The goblin chief appears to be a clumsy and tall figure, but his speed in wielding a knife should not be underestimated. In the blink of an eye, the blade is already at Zhang Chuan's neck, just a hair's breadth away. Fortunately, Zhang Chuan has extensive combat experience and raises his hand in the moment the opponent moves. Poochie. Hiss. The sound of the blade piercing flesh is clearly audible, and Zhang Chuan grimaces in pain. The true meaning of the flesh armor is to enhance the density of the muscles, achieving a stronger defense. However, it cannot completely avoid the damage from sharp weapons like iron armor. Even with the goblin chief's angry strike, he still couldn't sever Zhang Chuan's hand. This is enough to show the strength of Zhang Chuan's high armor. It is estimated that even if his neck is pressed against the goblin chief's face, he still wouldn't be able to cut it off. But Zhang Chuan is not confident and doesn't dare to take the risk. Received a flame-bent blade attack from the goblin chief, chi value plus 50. Magic resistance armor experience plus 5. Ding. Chi value is full, cultivation breakthrough to warrior first stage. Cultivation improved, shield attack automatically upgraded. Shield attack, LV3, when activated, your next attack will have additional attack power equal to 100% of your armor value. New skill unlocked, Wind of Thorny Battle. Wind of Thorny Battle, LV1 can cause damage equal to 100% of the armor value to all targets within a 10 meter range, lasting for 3 seconds. The Wind of Thorny Battle's attributes can be changed with the help of elements, please explore the specific effects yourself. The current elements that can be used for the Wind of Thorny Battle are, Fire, Wood, 
The surging qi originates from the dantian, like an endless mountain flood, rushing towards the limbs and bones. The aura on his body becomes more abundant, and Jiang Chuan feels that every muscle is nourished by the qi. The goblin chief wants to retrieve the curved blade and strike Jiang Chuan again, but suddenly realizes that he can't pull the blade out of the opponent's hand. A bad premonition arises, this human in front of him has become stronger. Jiang Chuan's hand holding the blade is bleeding, but the amount is not large and the flow is not fast. In the gaze of all the monsters, a slight smile appears on his lips. You can play around, cause a commotion, but if you want to cut off my head, you're in the wrong. He lets go of the blade, allowing the goblin chief's knife to be pulled back. Jiang Chuan glances at the shallow wound, which is emitting a faint green light. The bleeding quickly stops. The healing power of the holy shield is at work. The impact of the heavy rain on his body is not as severe as before, and now Jiang Chuan can move freely. If he were to evaluate, warriors are truly amazing. What could be better in the world than being a warrior? It's probably becoming a grandmaster. He casually glances at the monsters around him, most of them are within his 10 meter range. You've all made your move, now it's my turn. Zhang Chuan raises his palm and clenches it in the air. A mysterious fiery red flame gas disappears from his hand in an instant. He absorbed the fire element emitted by the goblin chief earlier as an auxiliary element for the wind of thorny battle. Successful absorption of the fire element, the wind of thorny battle will mutate into the flame thorny battle. After release, it will be infused with the fire element, causing a 20% increase in damage. Zhang Chuan nods inwardly. A 20% increase in damage is quite significant. Instantly, a tremendous amount of energy gathers towards Zhang Chuan, ready to be unleashed. Flame thorny battle, Zhang Chuan transforms his fist into a palm, spinning himself as the center. A fiery red serrated flame spreads out like ripples. Its speed is incredibly fast. The surrounding goblins and snakes haven't even reacted yet, and their heads have already been severed. Zhang Chuan's flame thorny battle has an attack power of 160, plus an additional 20% damage a total of 192 attack power. Even if he hasn't reached the strength of a warrior in the 5th or 6th stage, it is more than enough to deal with these low-level monsters. The flame thorn wind lasted for 3 seconds, and 3 orange flames spun out. Wherever it went, nothing survived. The goblins, who were originally lively and jumping around, either lost their heads or their upper bodies. The bloody scene made all the students watching the live broadcast feel physically uncomfortable. It's too bloody. Zhang Chuan is like a humanoid killing machine. In just three seconds, all the monsters except for the Goblin 10 captain fell into a pool of blood. Many goblins had blood gushing from their severed bodies, forming a small blood rain. Jiang Chuan, the instigator, stood in the center of the blood rain, untouched by blood. After about five seconds, when the momentum of the blood gushing diminished, Jiang Chuan moved. He walked slowly to the side of the Goblin 10 captain. The motionless elite monster stared at him with wide eyes. Jiang Chuan raised his hand patted the other's shoulder, and said lightly, brother, take a rest if you're tired, don't force yourself. Then, without looking back, he walked towards the teleportation gate to the fifth level. After Zhang Chuan patted the Goblin 10 captain's shoulder, a small slit appeared on the latter's neck, and blood flowed out uncontrollably. Ding Ling. Puff. The elite monster of the fourth level finally couldn't hold on any longer and fell to the ground facing the yellow soil. The students who witnessed the scene couldn't contain their excitement and exclaimed, who said Zhang Chuan is a waste of talent. What is this? Why did someone with a physical talent also learn magic? Hiss, after enduring for so long, why did he suddenly ignite? Is this the arrival of the god of fire? Teacher, I want to learn this. What do you want to learn? I want to learn too. Do you think I can? Zhang Chuan's flame thorn wind was so shocking that it made their blood boil. Now they don't understand anymore. Why did Zhang Chuan, who was so powerful, choose to be beaten before? But the reason behind it is no longer important. Zhang Chuan's skillful move has been hailed as divine by everyone. The students from class 2 who dropped out or finished the exam came out with shocked expressions. Someone murmured, is this really a hell difficulty dungeon? You're asking the wrong question. You should ask, is this really Zhang Chuan? How did he become so powerful after 3 months? We should have built a good relationship with him back then. Who could have thought of it? Zhang Chuan's F-level talent is simply terrifying. They witnessed the entire process of Jiang Chuan's massacre and deeply regretted it. If they hadn't looked down on him at that time and treated everyone equally, they would at least still be friends with Jiang Chuan and Jiang He. But three months ago, during the talent awakening ceremony, they showed their ugly faces, causing them to lose a big opportunity. Now they sighed with regret, but it was too late. After all, in this world where awakeners are everywhere and warriors are abundant, talent determines the future. Equality and fairness are based on equal strength. 
Who could have imagined that an F-level awakener could massacre a hell difficulty dungeon three months later? Even Jiang He, with his S-level talent, only cleared nightmare difficulty dungeons. Well done. Principal Jin's dull and defeated eye suddenly burst with brilliance when he saw Jiang Chuan instantly turn the tide. Even though he had witnessed the rise of countless talented students, none of them could achieve this in a hell difficulty exam dungeon. Ye Ching no. One high school will resound throughout the entire Suyu province in this generation. His voice was so excited that it trembled a bit. He completely forgot that not long ago, he was watching this live broadcast with the mentality of Jiang Chuan, don't die. Ye Ching no. One high school, which has been established for so many years, has never ranked higher than around 200 in the Suyu province. And that was already the most talented student Jean Baokai had ever seen. However, this year, not only do they have Wang Filon with an A-level talent, but also Jiang He with an S-level talent. Now, Jiang Chuan suddenly emerged. In the midst of everyone's doubts, he forcefully carved out his own path, relying solely on his F-grade talent, which everyone saw as worthless. Jean Baokai didn't know how Jiang Chuan did it, but he understood that everyone would remember the three-second burst of divine fire when he passed the fourth level. Chief Chang's scalp tingled as he watched the magnificent scene, which struck at the heart of any man. It was so exhilarating. Seeing the scene of limbs and heads flying, it stirred up memories of his own glorious years. Originally, he and director Hong came for Jiang He, but now he realized that he was actually here for Jiang Chuan. It was because of Jiang Chuan that he witnessed such a spectacular sight. It seems that this time, Lao Su is going to lose big. Chief Zhang sighed. He decided to watch the live broadcast of the college entrance examination, only after Su Cheng Tian told him that he hadn't recruited those two students. Now witnessing the excellence of the two in person, Chief Zhang also felt regret for his old friend's hasty decision. Director Hong beside him had a slightly stunned expression on his face and muttered to himself, this time, I misjudged. The contrast in this student, Zhang Chuan, was too great. Even he, who had watched many live videos of college entrance examination candidates in Yeqing, had never seen such an outrageous student. It seems that I underestimated him. With just this group kill, he can easily enter the top 20 universities. After the flame thorn wind cleared the field, Jiang Chuan's score suddenly soared below Jiang He's. He was only a little over 3,000 points behind Jiang He. In other words, the fourth level of the purgatory difficulty was already equivalent to the fifth level of the nightmare difficulty. After all, the environmental difficulty was there. Even though he had already achieved a high score, Jiang Chuan had no intention of stopping. Hong Tao frowned as he watched Jiang Chuan continue to move forward. In the scene, Jiang Chuan passed through the portal and arrived at a desert filled with sand. On the other side was a pitch black cave entrance. Just like the fourth level, there were no fancy decorations, just the strongest boss of the purgatory difficulty instance inside. But there were no obstacles to dodge or block, just like in the arena, Jiang Chuan could only confront the opponent head on. Boom! At this moment, a white light flashed in the sky, and a thunderous snake struck down towards Jiang Chuan. PSHH. Jiang Chuan accepted the baptism of electricity, but there was no change on his face, and he even felt a little comfortable. Received an attack from the thunder of the secret realm, Chi plus 10. Magic resistance armor experience plus 1. I didn't expect there to be such benefits in the 5th level. This was at least a 3rd tier warrior's strength of lightning strike, really not bad. But in Hong Tao's eyes, it was a different scene. He felt that Jiang Chuan was being numbed by the lightning in the instance. Even though this student had previously blocked the Goblin Ten Chief's attack, it still couldn't change the inherent perception of an education bureau director, he was just a student who had awakened three months ago. It's not that no one can grow to the point of being able to resist the thunder of the secret realm in three months, but it's hard to believe that a student with an F-grade armor can do it. Nonsense, it's simply nonsense. Director Hong slapped the armrest of his chair and his face was full of anger. Principal Jean was startled and asked softly with his hands clasped, What's wrong, Director Hong? This. How can Jiang Chuan enter the fifth level without even taking a break? Look at the students in the lower difficulty instances, they all know to recover their state after each level, but he, after releasing such a powerful skill, just goes to the next level? Now, not only does he not have time to rest, but he also has to divert his attention to protect against the thunder of the secret realm. It's simply confusing. Principal Jean pondered Director Hong's increasingly irritable analysis and also began to realize the seriousness of the problem. Compared to the thunder of the secret realm, the scene of Jiang Chuan killing monsters in a group earlier was more memorable, to the point that he overlooked the cost of Jiang Chuan's wide-range skill release. His chi must not be too much now. As Director Hong said, if Jiang Chuan fails in the final stage due to not recovering his state, that would be an even greater loss. SSSHHHH, a dull and heavy sound came from the cave entrance 
clearly indicating that there was a big creature moving inside. Sure enough, a huge snake head slowly appeared in Zhang Chuan's field of vision. Before long, the entire body of the python crawled out. It was over three Zhang long, covered in deep sea blue scales, with distinct layers. SSSS, the python's cold gaze stared at Zhang Chuan, continuously spitting out venom from its mouth, seemingly angry at Zhang Chuan's unexpected arrival. Zhang Chuan used his mind to communicate with the bracelet and obtained basic information about the python in front of him. Monster, Thunder Shadow Blue Poison Python King, Strength, Fourth Order Martial Artist, Talent, Leader Level, Abilities, Python Tail Strangle, Python King's Venomous Fangs, Thunder Flash, Boom. At this moment, another white lightning struck Zhang Chuan. And this became the signal for the python's attack. It swiftly moved, incredibly fast, and arrived in front of Zhang Chuan. The massive python tail swung forcefully towards him. Experienced Zhang Chuan didn't hesitate at all and raised his hands to block. With a light bang, Zhang Chuan was sent flying backwards. Although his armor value was high, he couldn't completely withstand the tremendous force of a fourth order martial artist. Moreover, the opponent was a monster type with physical strength stronger than humans. In midair, Zhang Chuan performed a graceful backflip, then adjusted his angle and slid nearly half a meter before stabilizing his posture. Received an attack from the Blue Poison Python King, Qi value plus 100. Without saying a word, the Python King jumped in place and continued to launch a combo at Zhang Chuan. The huge snake shadow quickly covered Zhang Chuan's body. Opportunity. Zhang Chuan seized the moment and struck at the Python King's abdomen. An orange-yellow light surrounded his fist. Shield attack. However, the Python King wasn't a pushover and, aware of its own weakness, didn't let Zhang Chuan succeed. Unable to borrow any force in midair, it had no choice but to make a 180-degree turn, exposing its back to Zhang Chuan. Clang! A dull sound rang in Zhang Chuan's ears, and he could feel the hardness of the scales on the Python King's body. I should have taken that Goblin Ten Chief's big sword in the previous stage. What's the point of being a real man if you don't look back at the explosion? Zhang Chuan regretted at this moment. With a useful weapon, he would have had a chance to inflict effective damage on the Python King. He didn't expect that the Python King was also a tank. The Iron Fist attacks that had been invincible before actually had little effect on the Python King. However, he also noticed the Python King's turning motion. Like most snakes, its 7-inch area was indeed its weak point. As long as he found an opportunity, he could strike and defeat the enemy in one blow. Originally, Zhang Chuan wanted to try the effect of combining the Wind of Warthorn with the Earth or Thunder element, but as the director of the Education Bureau said, using the Wind of Warthorn once would consume a large amount of Qi value. If he really used the Wind of Warthorn again this time, he would have no follow-up means against the enemy, and he would only be able to crush the Return Stone and run away. Even if he didn't run away, he would only be beaten until the end of the college entrance examination and automatically return, with no benefits. Zhang Chuan naturally wouldn't gamble on the benefits of using the Wind of Warthorn this time. He bore the heavy responsibility of helping Xiao He He lift the curse. In the college entrance examination, the higher the score, the better. Furthermore, he had to consider his own future. With a higher score, he could obtain more resources. Even if the system disappeared one day, he would still have a relatively bright future. After blocking Zhang Chuan's attack, the Python King landed and scrutinized this outsider. SSSS. It could sense that the person in front of it was not an easy opponent. After a brief eye contact, the Python King made a move. Its snake tail tip attacked Zhang Chuan. Zhang Chuan didn't flinch and directly grabbed the Python King's tail, preparing to swing it around like in the movies. The result was unexpected. The weight of the Python King is severely overweight. Damn it, I underestimated it. Zhang Chuan's plan to throw the snake failed, and instead, he was caught by the Python King's tail and wrapped up in its arms. The Python King's movements were too fast, to the point that Zhang Chuan didn't even have time to let go before he was firmly trapped. Hiss. Seeing its prey caught, the Python King proudly spat out its snake tongue. Outside the arena, the audience watching Zhang Chuan's screen started discussing, no way, no way, did senior Zhang Chuan just try to hold the Python King and throw it? Am I seeing things correctly? Ha ha ha, let him pretend. Now he's been pulled into its arms, there's no way he can escape. I told you, if the Python King comes, Zhang Chuan is bound to lose. What can he do in this situation? If Zhang Chuan doesn't use the return stone, he probably won't have a chance. I think this is the end for Zhang Chuan. He has already performed well, but unfortunately, this final boss is too strong. Director Hong stared at the screen, his hopeful face suddenly darkening when he saw Zhang Chuan being bound by the Python King. This time, the boss of the Hell difficulty is actually the Thunder Shadow Blue Poison Python King, a fourth order martial artist monster. It's completely beyond the scope. The environment is also thunder, 
It's like Lao Kai deliberately making things difficult for the students. This hell dungeon is too dependent on team composition, requiring both healing and tanking talents to withstand the thunder. And there needs to be strong enough damage output. Otherwise, even its defense can't be broken. It's really over now. Jiang Chuan didn't have those teammates, and he made a mistake himself. That's why I said he should have rested after the previous level. If he could have used that move just now, he might still have a chance. Principal Jean looked at the figure in the screen, bound by the python in his arms, disappointment evident on his face. He still held onto the fantasy that Zhang Chuan could solo the Hell Difficulty Dungeon and bring glory to Yeqing No. 1 Middle School. But the current situation was indeed far from ideal. Compared to his knowledge of the dungeon, Director Hong definitely understood it better as the principal. Even he said that the difficulty level of this dungeon was too high, and ordinary outstanding students couldn't pass the Hell Difficulty. Yang Rui was the best example before, even though he brought a healer and a DPS, he still couldn't escape the dungeon. But what about Zhang Chuan? He was all alone, not only facing the trouble of depleted spiritual energy but also the baptism of the secret realm thunder and the Python King's strangulation. Even though Principal Jin no longer underestimated Zhang Chuan's talent for physical defense, he couldn't imagine what additional abilities he had to clear the dungeon. Did he have extra items? But that would be cheating, no one would use that method. Or maybe Zhang Chuan still had a trump card? It was clear that the previous group killing skills had already pushed him to his limit just by looking at him now, motionless in the arms of the Python King, it was clear. This was simply a dungeon that couldn't be cleared alone, it was completely designed to torment examinees. Zhang Chuan was wrapped in the arms of the Python King, and the huge snake tail kept tightening. Gradually, Zhang Chuan began to feel his blood flow being blocked, and his limbs were slightly numb due to insufficient blood supply. After all, he was just a mortal body, and he couldn't withstand this level of strangulation. It was also because the power of the Python King was too great, as long as Zhang Chuan had a little space, he could break free. Thinking about his current situation, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but regret, blaming himself for showing off too much just now. It had to be said that Zhang Chuan's physical strength was indeed terrifying. The Python King had almost used all its strength, but it could only achieve the point of making his body numb and his blood flow blocked. It couldn't affect his movements at all. However, Zhang Chuan didn't plan to take action yet. He still wanted to take advantage of the Python King. The Python King saw that its snake tail could no longer tighten, and its purple vertical pupils looked at the tiny human wrapped in its tail. A sense of mockery and bloodlust surged in its eyes. It was time to attack. A purple beam of light condensed in its vertical pupil, gradually becoming brighter. Thunder Flash The innate skill of the Blue Poison Python King. Zhang Chuan saw the thunderous light in the opponent's eyes and naturally recognized which skill it was. He couldn't help but comment, why don't you just go to the West and become a superhero? Join the Justice League and fight for justice. I've even come up with a code name for you, let's call it Laser Eyes. What do you think? Zhang Chuan pointed out a clear path for the monster. However, in the eyes of the Python King, the human in front of him seemed to be challenging his authority with his babbling. Ignoring his intentions, the purple beam of light mercilessly shot towards Zhang Chuan. PSHH. Received lightning elemental attack from the blue poison Python King, G plus 100. Magic resistance armor experience plus 7. There was no foaming at the mouth or rolling eyes as imagined, nor did he faint. Only Zhang Chuan's hair stood on end, turning into a broom-like shape. The Python King saw that the human under his eyelids not only showed no signs of distress, but instead looked at him with a hint of desire, as if his lightning attack was some kind of alternative tonic. After all, he was a leader-level snake, didn't he have any dignity? Was his attack just like scratching an itch? Couldn't even kill him? The Python King couldn't accept it. The lightning in its eyes dissipated, leaving a hint of confusion in Zhang Chuan's gaze. He hadn't had enough fun yet. How could it disappear so quickly, so short-lived? He had planned to bathe in the elemental attack of a boss-level leader to level up his magic resistance armor, but this was it? The Python King retracted its laser eyes and lowered its huge head. It opened its blood-filled mouth and bit towards Zhang Chuan's left shoulder. Its sharp teeth acted on his strong muscles. The Python King felt like it was biting into a piece of muscular meat, exerting all its strength but still not succeeding. It moved its jaws back and forth, using the strength of nine bulls and two tigers, and finally its teeth pierced Zhang Chuan's body. Knowing the strength of Zhang Chuan's body, the Python King chose not to tear the human in front of it, although it really wanted to. But since it was so difficult to even bite through the skin of this muscular man, let alone tear him in half, so the Python King sensibly chose to inject its venom. Since it couldn't violently kill the human in front of it, it would let him experience the taste of slow death. 
Received Corrosion Attack from the Python King's Venom, G plus 20. Magic Resistance Armor plus 1. Received Corrosion Attack from the Python King's Venom, G plus 20. Magic Resistance Armor plus 1. Received Corrosion Attack from the Python King's Venom, G plus 20. Magic Resistance Armor plus 1. A tingling sensation spread from the spot where the Python King bit, spreading from point to area. Zhang Chuan realized that his Holy Shield's healing couldn't keep up with the speed of the corrosion spreading. It wasn't that it wasn't purifying, but under the frantic operation, it couldn't completely counteract the opponent's venom. Given some time, the Holy Shield's healing could still restore him, but right now, he couldn't just sit and wait for death. Since you don't want to be a good tool snake, then I'll have to send you back to the instance. Although Jiang Chuan could still continue to pretend to be a pig and let the boss's venom level him up, he couldn't guarantee when he would no longer be able to withstand it. Just like now, under the corrosion of the venom, Jiang Chuan's entire left shoulder had gone numb, and if he continued, it was likely to spread to his whole body. Honestly, he was a relatively stable player. A fierce look flashed in Jiang Chuan's eyes. Since the other party had started to get serious, he naturally couldn't lose face. King Wabachuan, who remained motionless, pulled out his right hand and heavily slapped it on the Python King's abdomen, to the astonishment of the snake. The blue poison Python King couldn't understand why the human who had been so tightly bound and unable to move suddenly became so lively. Of course, despite the astonishment, its bite force became even stronger. He also didn't believe that Zhang Chuan could make any big moves by placing his hand on his heart like this. Hiss. Zhang Chuan gritted his teeth, enduring the venomous fangs of the Python King. With a slight movement of his mind, a faint blue rotating halo began to surround him. Counterattack Storm. Zhang Chuan launched an attack on the Python King's weak spot. The blue rotating halo, like a fan, condensed into a line and flew straight towards the Python King's abdomen. The 10 minute admonition Zhang Chuan received in the fourth level, as well as the Goblin 10 Captain's Sword Strike, all took effect on the Python King's weak spot. Crack! The throat of the blue poison Python King suddenly choked, and his heart first felt a sharp pain, followed by continuous twisting pain. It felt as if it had been struck hundreds or even thousands of times. That was its weak spot, so defenseless. The Python King was in so much pain that it couldn't breathe. Its snake tail, which was like a shackle, loosened like a rope, and the teeth biting into Zhang Chuan's left shoulder slowly loosened. It had gradually lost its ability to think. Boom! The huge snake head suddenly lost strength and fell heavily on the sandy Gobi Desert, causing a circle of yellow sand to rise. Its snake body twisted slowly, completely devoid of its previous unmatched strength. Zhang Chuan, freed from the restraints, stood in place, and the wound on his shoulder slowly oozed green blood. The Python King's venom had caused his blood to coagulate slightly. Fortunately, he still had the healing power of the Holy Shield, otherwise his left arm would have been useless. Just thinking about it made Zhang Chuan feel scared. He looked at the Python King, who was in extreme pain, and said with a hint of regret, it's a pity that your body still has weak points. If both your front and back were equally tough, I really wouldn't have a way to deal with you. It's your own fault. I gave you a clear path just now, but you didn't choose it, so you can't blame me. I have always been a kind person. Seeing you in so much pain, I also feel guilty. Let me give you a luxurious package for your death. Zhang Chuan's hand lit up with an orange-yellow halo, and his fist seemed to be wrapped in powerful force. Shield attack. Zhang Chuan mercilessly punched the Python King's weak spot. Put. Effortlessly, his fist pierced through the final boss's body and entered its abdomen. At this moment, the convulsing Python King suddenly stopped twisting. It endured the pain in its body and raised its huge snake head to look at its abdomen. At this moment, a human arm was inserted inside. Zhang Chuan also noticed the opponent's actions and looked up at it. Deep within his dark pupils, there was a sense of satisfaction, just like the pride of the Python King before. The vertical pupils of the blue poison Python King suddenly contracted, ignoring the pain coming from its abdomen. Its body began to twist frantically, trying to escape Jiang Chuan's clutches. How could Jiang Chuan not understand its intentions? He coldly snorted, is it useful? It's just futile. His entire arm completely entered the snake's belly and touched the Python King's heart. The Python King, with its weak spot pinched by the enemy, looked at Jiang Chuan in horror. SSS. Its snake tongue kept sticking out, as if begging for mercy. But when it saw Jiang Chuan's wicked smile, the power of shield attack began to gather on his fist. Sensing the power on his fist, the Python King realized that the human in front of it would never let it go. It instantly changed its expression, opened its huge snake mouth, and attacked Jiang Chuan. Trying to use the same trick again? Die! Zhang Chuan shook his head and exerted a little force with his clenched fist. Pop! With a sound like the bursting of a bubble, a gentle sound. The Python King's body suddenly stiffened. 
It no longer twisted, struggled, or thought about counterattacking. Its huge snake head was less than 10 centimeters away from Jiang Chuan, and in the next moment, it could have swallowed him. The entire space seemed to freeze for two seconds, until the scales behind the Python King's abdomen burst open, revealing a bloody hole. A massive amount of blood burst out from it, forming a small fountain. At this moment, the people outside the arena finally realized what had happened. What the hell? Is this for real? Did Zhang Chuan, the senior student, defeat the boss of hell difficulty? What's his name, Zhang Chuan? Call him Chuan God. The beating he took earlier was just to warm up. You can always trust Chuan God. Chuan. God's punch was so cool, it went straight through the big boss. Teacher, I want to learn this. Learn, 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 that's all you know. Why weren't you this diligent in class? Everyone witnessed this historic moment. A F-level student with no hope, even considered doomed, successfully cleared all the monster's attacks in the hell difficulty and completed the level. And it was a solo clear. Many people couldn't understand why a student with a tank talent could have a stronger combat power than students with typical attack talents. But now, seeing the bleeding wound on the Snake King, all of that doesn't matter anymore. Everyone knows what this wound means. No matter how people previously evaluated Jiang Chuan at this moment, his solo clear of the hell difficulty in the college entrance exam represents his success. No one has the right to say that his talent has any shortcomings. Even though in everyone's understanding, a tank talent is useless, but in Jiang Chuan's case, it has undergone a transformation. The witnesses are willing to call it a miracle. Principal Jean, seeing this scene, wiped away his worries and smiled after a brief astonishment. He smiled like a child. A miracle? This is a divine miracle. Zhang Chuan will become the representative student of Yeqing No. 1 Middle School. He is not just a player who cleared the hell difficulty, but also the pride of Yeqing No. 1 Middle School. Director Hong watched with a dazed expression. As the director of the Education Bureau of a city, he naturally knew all the final bosses of the college entrance exam levels. The Snake King that Zhang Chuan faced had powerful resistance to attacks, and it could also use poison and the power of lightning elements. As one of the most difficult bosses at the fourth stage of the warrior realm, its strength was outrageous. So when Zhang Chuan was caught and restrained by its snake tail earlier, he thought Zhang Chuan was already doomed. The flesh of an ordinary student, being twisted like that, would have already been torn apart, with all the bones scattered. How could there be any way to move? Even though everyone knows that a snake's weak point is at the 7-inch position, so what? Being caught by a snake is an unsolvable situation. Without any weapons in Zhang Chuan's hands, he couldn't understand how Zhang Chuan managed to escape from the predicament. After piercing through the Snake King's body, Zhang Chuan slowly withdrew his arm. His hand was covered in snake blood, and some drops fell on the yellow soil beneath his feet. The Snake King, without a heart, stared blankly at the pierced spot with its huge snake mouth wide open. It couldn't believe that it would fall today. Just like how it didn't believe that anything would happen when Zhang Chuan's hand covered its body before, it never thought it would die. Its own life signs were disappearing, as it lost the blood supply from its heart. It had entered the stage of death. The Snake King felt weak all over, and its brain started to go blank. Hiss. It gently spat out a last breath of snake venom, as if it was speaking its final words. Then, its huge snake body slowly collapsed. This time, the landing was not as intense as before, and there was not much sand rising. Instead, it was more like the tranquility of entering the countdown of life. Zhang Chuan glanced at the wound on his left shoulder, which had regained sensation, and then looked at the dying Snake King. He let out a sigh of relief. Finally, it's over. I almost got killed. He shook off the blood on his hand and stood still, waiting for the Snake King's death. It must be said that the Snake King truly deserves to be the boss of hell difficulty. Even with its heart destroyed, it didn't die immediately. After about a minute, the secret realm finally gave a prompt. Congratulations to the examinee Jiang Chuan from Yi Chang No. 1 Middle School for successfully clearing the Thundering Ruins instance. Your difficulty level is Inferno. Your number of clears is 1. Your clear time is 64 minutes and 38 seconds. Your score is 21,000 points. Your college entrance exam results have been successfully recorded. Please claim your reward. Considering your instance difficulty and score, your clearance evaluation is SSS level. Congratulations on becoming the first person to clear the Inferno instance solo. Now, let's begin distributing the rewards. The first person to clear the Inferno instance solo? Wow, Zhang Chuan never expected that he would be the first to achieve this. The score is also impressive. Zhang Chuan now wants to ask, who else has done it before? There must have been others who have tried, but only I succeeded. Zhang Chuan sighed helplessly. As the first person, he probably won't be able to escape the attention as the top scorer in Suyu province.
but he is not an arrogant person. The final ranking of the college entrance exam results will only be known at the end. He doesn't know if there will be others in this year's batch who have also cleared the instant solo, but they probably won't be faster than him, so his position as the top scorer is almost guaranteed. Xiao he he, how will you repay me? Thinking about the three months of hard work, Jiang Chuan feels that it was worth it. During the month when Jiang Yi disappeared, his goal was simple, to increase his armor value with the help of the system. Initially, he planned to achieve a good result in the college entrance exam and find Jiang Yi. However, things took an unexpected turn when he met Jiang Yi later on, and she finally revealed her hidden talent and the words of Lu ran to him. From that moment on, all his plans were disrupted. He originally hoped for a peaceful outcome, but the existence of the cursed calamity clearly wouldn't give them that chance. The frequent calamities that Jiang Chuan and Jiang He encountered during the two months they lived together are evidence of that. Therefore, Jiang Chuan must stand out in the college entrance exam and enter a better university. In comparison, Jiang He seems to be more relaxed, but Jiang Chuan is also afraid that if Jiang He improves too quickly, the growth of the cursed calamity will exceed their capacity to bear it. Jiang Chuan doesn't want to see the consequences of that. That's why he had to find a way to pass the college entrance exam instance with the inferno difficulty, even if it meant facing the risk of being penetrated. Because at that time, Jiang Chuan didn't have any surplus spiritual energy to break through. Fortunately, he succeeded, and the skills given by the warrior realm system are very powerful AoE skills. Shield attack has also been improved, which is a qualitative leap. It allows him to continue taking advantage of the system's benefits even under the Snake King's strangulation. These are all free spiritual energy values. If it weren't for the Snake King's final venom, he estimates that his spiritual energy value would have surpassed half of a first stage warrior's. It should be noted that Zhang Chuan awakened an F-grade flesh armor talent. It's the kind of trash that no one would even take a second look at as a second talent. For him, every improvement is worth it. Since awakening this talent, Zhang Chuan has left school and doesn't have the guidance of school teachers or the resources tilted by the Ministry of Education like other students. To be able to grow to this extent, it is entirely thanks to Zhang Chuan's own efforts. Ding, reward statistics complete, begin distribution. The prompt sound of the instant secret realm sounded in his ears, and Jiang Chuan's clearance rewards began to be distributed. Congratulations on obtaining the item Spirit Energy Pearl. Congratulations on obtaining the Equipment Python Skin Leggings, Midgrade, Green. Congratulations on obtaining the Equipment Python Skin Bracers, Midgrade, Green. Congratulations on obtaining the Equipment Crimson Flame Blade, Lower Grade, Green. Congratulations on obtaining the Inferno Instance Clearance Treasure Chest X1. A series of equipment and treasure chest rewards made Jiang Chuan feel pleasantly surprised. The rewards for clearing the instance are unexpectedly generous. There are even green grade equipment. Equipment comes in six colors and grades, white, green, blue, purple, orange, red. For Jiang Chuan, a young man who has never seen the world, blue equipment is worth a lot of money. Outside, a piece of blue equipment starts at a high price of 100,000. It seems that he received a set of equipment, which is even more valuable its value can be doubled. A beam of light fell from the sky, and several things fell neatly in front of Jiang Chuan as the light dispersed. It turned out to be the reward for his dungeon this time. Equipment, Python skin leggings, quality, intermediate blue, attributes, agility plus 15, evasion plus 5, cultivation restriction, martial artist and above, race restriction, none, talent restriction, none, Python skin set effect, two-piece set can be activated, Python king's wrath, all set attributes double, lasts for three minutes, Bonus effect decreases over time. Four-piece set can trigger passive. Python King's Sorrow. Negative effects recover five times faster. Equipment. Python Skin Bracers. Quality. Intermediate Blue. Attributes. Strength plus 15. Accuracy plus 5. Cultivation restriction. Martial artist and above. Race restriction. None. Talent restriction. None. Python Skin Set effect. Two-piece set can be activated. Python King's Wrath. All set attributes double. Lasts for three minutes. Bonus effect decreases over time. Four-piece set can trigger passive, Python King's Sorrow, negative effects recover five times faster. The attributes of the equipment were displayed on the bracelet. Very good, very powerful set attributes. But, they're useless to me. Jiang Chuan felt a bit regretful. If it was the effect of the four-piece set, combined with the effect of the Holy Shield's recovery, he could stand there and let the boss bite him. Unfortunately, this Python skin set only has two pieces, and there isn't even a bit of armor in the attributes. For him, attributes like strength and agility are all useless. That's why Jun Chuan's attribute panel only has armor and attack power. Others may be hexagonal warriors, but Jun Chuan is destined to be specialized. But his specialization can completely exceed the norm because he has a system. 
So, Jiang Chuan made a decision that went against his ancestors. He decided to give the set to Jiang He, at least it would be a slight improvement for her. Then Jiang Chuan looked at the fiery red knife. Equipment, crimson flame blade, quality, lower intermediate blue, attributes, strength plus 45, cultivation restriction, martial artist and above, race restriction, none, talent restriction, none, active effect, can consume spiritual energy to make the blade imbued with fire element, causing fire elemental slashes. Alright, what he said before was nonsense. Zhang Chuan didn't hesitate and directly accepted this big knife. Aside from the fact that it doesn't match Jiang He's physique, even if it did, Jiang Chuan would still be greedy for this knife. There's no way around it, it gave him too much. With a plus 45 strength bonus, although it doesn't result in a significant increase in attack power, here, strength represents physical fitness. Just like Jiang Chuan's current physical fitness, he can smash a hundred pound stone, which is the power of his attack. But if you ask him to lift that stone, it's actually a bit difficult because his increase is in armor value, not in strength. There was also a bead circulating with radiance. Spiritual energy pearl, contains a large amount of spiritual energy, can be used to absorb and enhance cultivation, can also be used to replenish spiritual energy until depleted. Note, the pearl contains two types of spiritual energy, it will automatically discern its usage, enhancing cultivation will reduce the pearl's maximum capacity, spiritual energy deficiency can be replenished through one's own spiritual energy. It's a good thing, and it can even automatically fix bugs. Such an intelligent pearl, Jiang Chuan kept it. Of course, he wouldn't use the spiritual energy pearl right now, that would be too wasteful. Jiang Chuan turned his gaze to the final dungeon treasure chest and opened it. Item, Blue Raspberry X10, Note, Can Restore a Small Amount of Spiritual Energy. Item, Red Bloodfruit X10, Note, Can Slowly Accelerate Wound Healing. Item, Goblin Stone Hammer X10, Note, Disposable Throwing Item, Blue Quality. Item, Thunder Shadow Blue Poison Python King Crown, Blue Quality, Note, Enchantment Material, Apply it to Equipment, Consume Spiritual Energy, Can Obtain Python King Scale Armor, Armor Value Increases by 50, Lasts for 30 Seconds, Cooldown of 5 Minutes, can be enchanted repeatedly. Enchantment card? Adding armor? 30 seconds, a real man. I'm going to make a fortune. Zhang Chuan had been waiting for so long, finally receiving a reward that matched his profession. Name, Zhang Chuan level, warrior first stage, 370-2000, talent, F-grade meat armor current attack power, 120 current armor value, 160 active skills, shield attack, LV3, wind of thorn, LV1, passive skills, Healing Shield, Magic Resistance Armor, LV2, 112-200, Unlocked Special Effect of Magic Resistance Armor, Counterattack Storm Equipment, Crimson Flame Blade This dungeon reward was definitely generous. Just the value of a set of equipment was enough to make many high school students envious. Of course, for Jiang Chuan, the biggest gain was the enchantment item. The increase in his armor value represented an increase in his combat power. The power of his main weapon, the Crimson Flame Blade, increased Jiang Chuan's attack power by 15, mainly enhancing his physical fitness. Its fire elemental attachment also gave him an absolute advantage when fighting against awakened individuals with grass and wood talents. Based on his combat power after enchantment, equipped with the Crimson Flame Blade, he could easily go head-to-head -head with 6th or 7th stage warriors, of course, assuming they were not equipped. Even lower-grade blue-quality equipment already had such effects, what if the other person's equipment was upper-grade blue quality? Jiang Chuan knew he didn't have the capital, unlike the awakened families in the imperial capital and the magic capital, where news came out every day. Those prodigies were all monsters created with money and power from their families. Jiang Chuan stored all the remaining spoils of war in his bracelet space, then took out the return stone and crushed it with force. He was delighted with such great results, but he was not surprised either. Shouldn't this be the achievement a system hanging on the wall deserved? I wonder if Xiao He He saw her brother's heroic figure. Will she get excited when she sees the set of equipment her brother brought for her? His figure disappeared from the screen. At this moment, the outside world was still shocked by Jiang Chuan's one-punch kill of the final boss in the Purgatory Dungeon. If that were the case, I would have crushed the return stone long ago. Don't joke around, when you were bound, your whole body was probably already falling apart. Where would you have the strength to crush the return stone? This purgatory difficulty dungeon is really not meant for high school students, truly worthy of being the god of Sichuan we should thank devil Lao Kai, it was him who brought the god of Sichuan to us, we witnessed his rise. After a period of silence, the scene became lively. Previously, they were all nervous watching from the outside when Jiang Chuan was bound by the python king, then electrocuted, and finally assisted by the thunder in the dungeon, and the boss successfully injected venom. 
In this situation, they were all on edge, not knowing how Zhang Chuan managed to remain so calm. If Senior Zhang passed the Purgatory Difficulty Dungeon, does that mean he has already secured the top spot? Someone suddenly asked. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, did our Yeqing know? One high school produced the top scorer in the province? Suyu, the provincial top scorer. The god of Sichuan is truly amazing. From now on, he's my idol. No one should try to compete with me. Not only the students, even the teachers at Yeqing know. One high school were filled with pride. Some stood up and punched the air, shouting with flushed faces. Some applauded vigorously, their palms turning red. Someone calculated that from the first level to the fifth level, excluding the time he was being beaten, to be honest, the actual time it took Jiang Chuan to clear the dungeon could be much shorter. Of course, they wouldn't know that Jiang Chuan deliberately took hits in order to break through. Can only say that he is very lucky, if it weren't for the awakening of the Thornwind of the Warrior Realm or a new talent, relying solely on shield attacks and counterattack storms, Jiang Chuan might not have been able to pass the level. He really did it. Until Jiang Chuan disappeared from the screen, Principal Jean finally accepted this fact. The head teacher of Yeqing No. One middle school seed class also had an extremely helpless expression. Jiang Chuan and Jiang He disappeared for three months, and when they came back, they surpassed the students in their class. There was even a student in the seed class who directly fell in the college entrance examination instance. These were the students they had put in their utmost effort to cultivate. There wasn't even a single student who skipped class or played truant. The students from class 2 who came out also had a bad expression. They originally had a closer relationship with Jiang Chuan and Jiang He. As the saying goes, those near water are the first to get the moon. But they let the dark clouds take away the two bright moons in the sky. Principal Jean, what do you think Jiang Chuan's ranking in the province will be this time? A teacher asked the principal on stage. Jean Baokai glanced at the director of the education bureau beside him and smiled, Director Hong, what do you think of Jiang Chuan's ranking in the province? It was only at this moment that Hong Tao finally came to his senses. He pretended to be calm and glanced at Principal Jean. This principal was quite sensible and didn't show off his knowledge in front of him. It was worth giving him some pointers. He cleared his throat and said, as everyone knows, the person who set the questions for this year's college entrance examination is the same as last year, Lao Kai. Due to the abnormality of the questions, our scores in Suyu province were very low last year, and Yeqing was even more embarrassing. This year is even worse. But Jiang Chuan, with his strength, has shown everyone that the purgatory difficulty instance can still be cleared, and he only took nearly an hour. Faster than most students in lower difficulty levels. Based on my many years as the director and my experience in studying the college entrance examination, Jiang Chuan is very likely to be the top scorer in our Suyu province. He declared passionately, his eyes shining with excitement. The top scorer in Suyu province is usually in Linnan City, the provincial capital of Suyu province, and has nothing to do with Yecheng. As for Hong Tao's misjudgment, that can only be because there is a college entrance examination student this year who was even more abnormal than Jiang Chuan, able to grow from three months to clearing the purgatory difficulty instance in half an hour. It's hard to say for other provinces, but when it comes to the difficulty of the exam questions in Suyu province, Hong Tao can confidently say that Jiang Chuan is almost certainly the top scorer. Yecheng will also become famous because of Jiang Chuan's achievement. Wow, Director Hong said that Jiang Chuan can become the top scorer in Suyu province. I didn't expect Yeqing to have a top scorer too. No wonder Chuanchen had the confidence to refuse the top 10 back then. He really has a strong backbone. The top 10 universities were so decisive when they left, now they want to come back smoothly. Not only that, they might even ask Chuanchen to go to their school. Everyone was boasting about Jiang Chuan's achievements, as if it was them who had cleared the purgatory difficulty instance. They discussed Jiang Chuan's rewards for clearing the instance. Senior Jiang Chuan's instance rewards are so dazzling, they practically blind my 24k pure titanium alloy dog eyes. There must be incredible equipment in there. I'm so jealous. Clearing the purgatory difficulty instance alone. Can the rewards be any less? This is a difficulty level that can kill people. After a burst of light at the bronze gate, the entire audience cast respectful gazes towards it. They welcomed the return of the exam god with their most sincere eyes. Jiang Chuan's college entrance examination, when he appeared intact in front of the listening door, marked its end. Amidst the enthusiastic cheers and applause of all the teachers and students, he walked out of the bronze gate with a stride that showed no recognition of anyone. Principal Jean and Director Hong Tao of the Education Bureau greeted him immediately. As a result, Jiang Chuan couldn't go find Jiang He right away. He had already seen the smiling girl not far away. Jiang Chuan, this is Director Hong Tao, 
who came from the Education Bureau specifically to see your college entrance examination, Principal Jean introduced. Principal Jean introduced to Zhang Chuan. Zhang Chuan knew very well in his heart that this director of the Education Bureau definitely didn't come to see him. However, times have changed, and naturally, the other party's attitude is different as well. Director Hong reached out his hand and friendly said, Hello, Zhang Chuan, your results will be out in a minimum of three days and a maximum of five days. By then, your ranking in the province of Su Yu will also be announced together. Now you can go home and rest well. You've worked hard for these three months. We will inform you as soon as the news comes out. By the way, the space wristband in your hand, I'm giving it to you on behalf of the Yi City Education Bureau, so you don't have to run around later. Hong Tao spoke very politely, as if he was talking to a peer. Zhang Chuan was slightly stunned. This attitude was too good. The space held by the space wristband in the hands of the examinees was not large, probably only about 3 to 5 cubic units. But even with such a small space, if it were to be sold, it could fetch a high price of at least 200,000. After all, it was the labor result of a space system awakened individual, worth that price. So generally, after the college entrance examination is over, the clearance rewards are returned home, and the space wristbands are needed to be recycled, waiting for the next batch of examinees to use. Originally, Zhang Chuan was ready to leave directly, but his performance in the secret realm was too outstanding, quickly gaining numerous fans. There were even fanatics who directly came up to ask for a group photo. Helplessly, he had to go along with their wishes and took a big group photo. In the group photo, whether it was students or teachers, everyone's faces were filled with bright smiles. After this, Zhang Chuan finally managed to escape the scene. Lali, go and drive my car to send Zhang Chuan. Hong Tao called his driver and instructed. Amidst various gazes, Zhang Chuan left the school with Zhang Yi in the Education Bureau director's car. Now, the college entrance examination finally came to an end, and Zhang Chuan could finally breathe a sigh of relief. There were still many students in the instance who had not completed the Secret Realm Challenge, and their future was still uncertain. If they failed this college entrance examination, they would have to go through another round of exams or really go to some mediocre university to study. Zhang Chuan's single instance time was even faster than most examinees. Naturally, he wouldn't care about how others performed. Now, what he needed to consider was which university would be most beneficial for Zhang Yi. Outside the playground, Lu Xianya watched Zhang Chuan and Zhang Yi leave. A smile appeared at the corner of her mouth. Zhang Chuan's previous actions had indeed impressed her. As the president of Bingyuan University, what kind of scenes hadn't she seen? But Zhang Chuan's move of breaking through and standing out really caught her attention. She finally understood why her sister asked her to come to Yi City and insisted on meeting these two students. One was an S-level talent, and the other was a student who didn't seem like an awakened F-level talent at all. She had also seen college entrance examination geniuses who had completed single instance purgatory difficulty dungeons, and it could even be said that such existences appeared in every big city every year. But Jiang Chuan was different. Luan had already told her their information. These two students hadn't even stayed in school for a day after awakening their talents. In other words, their efforts, even without the school as the best platform to obtain cultivation resources, were terrifying. Self-taught champions, this couldn't be described as just talent anymore. Luan Xianya, who had never been very concerned about academy matters, inexplicably had a thought this time, she must bring these two students. No, kidnap them to her university. She had to snatch them back. On the internet, many videos of Jiang Chuan's college entrance examination live broadcast appeared and quickly spread. The speed of the internet's fermentation was very fast. In a short period of time, many people were attracted to this video. There was no way. Just the fact that he completed a single instance purgatory difficulty dungeon was enough to attract attention. Most people have experienced how difficult the college entrance examination is. Single instance purgatory difficulty dungeons are not something that anyone would record and post online. Now that there was such high definition and censored content, naturally, they all wanted to see it. Laughing to death, can't believe anyone would actually believe this? What era is it? And there are still people who think videos can't be edited. A single passage high school entrance exam is as difficult as a dungeon? How many lives did it take to pass? Who said this is true? I, Zhao Ritian, am the first one to not accept it. Many people don't believe the authenticity of this video, and some even started insulting the uploader, threatening to report them for spreading rumors. However, these voices were quickly stopped by the official education bureau of Yi City. After the college entrance examination was over, they started dealing with this matter. Zhang Chuan is their treasure in Yi City and they won't allow others to defame and slander him. Director Hong personally confirmed that this video is real, 
it is a live recording of the college entrance examination scene that day. The Education Bureau of E-City is really generous, spending so much to awaken the talent and complete the single passage dungeon. They really went all out. In our city, Linen City, the highest score is just over 10,000 points. Look at Jiang Chuan, he got 21,000. Is this even possible? And this world is too short, they defeated so many warrior monsters in just one hour? How many blue pills did they take? They must have used a lot of items, Yi City officials are really amazing, cheating so openly just to become famous. We, the candidates, really can't say anything. The skeptics started questioning from a different angle. The Education Bureau of Yi City was overwhelmed by a series of comments, but they couldn't deny anything because they had no evidence. These remarks, like dirty water, are hard to clean. However, someone soon helped them out of their predicament. Meddlers launched an investigation, and a pile of information showed that Zhang Chuan hadn't even been to school before the college entrance examination. Not to mention any subsidies from the Education Bureau, they didn't even know who Zhang Chuan was before this. These people couldn't dig deeper into the news, but they found out everything about Zhang Chuan's activities in Yi City over the past three months. This side clarification video made Zhang Chuan instantly famous nationwide. Everyone knew that there was a small city called Yi City in Suyu province. A genius from a humble background emerged. Naturally, this news quickly reached the ears of the directors of the top 10 universities' admissions offices. However, they didn't take immediate action. Everyone was waiting for the release of the college entrance examination rankings, and that would be the time for them to act. For the next four days, Zhang Chuan and Zhang He stayed at home, enjoying themselves. After finally completing the college entrance examination, they gave themselves some relaxation time. Because they hadn't stayed in school, they didn't have a method for cultivating spiritual energy. For Jiang Chuan, the most effective method was to fight and get beaten, but now there were hardly any people in the physical training hall who could challenge his defense. Similarly, there was no one who could provide him with armor. Only those with combat-oriented talents at the 6th or 7th level of the warrior could barely do that. But those strong individuals wouldn't bother coming to the physical training hall for training. His progress in the physical training hall was almost zero. Based on this, Zhang Chuan naturally wouldn't waste any more time. Moreover, with the money he earned in the past three months, he was not exactly lacking in food and drink. Zhang He was also not suitable for further cultivation, so she simply accompanied Zhang Chuan in lying flat at home. They would continue their cultivation once they found a way to suppress the curse calamity. These days, they felt like they had returned to the days before their awakening, making them feel particularly relaxed. Zhang Chuan didn't care much about the release of the college entrance examination results, but Director Hong was extremely anxious about it. He had been guarding the website for the college entrance examination rankings every day, hoping to get the news as soon as possible. This top scorer was very important for both Yi City and Yi City No. 1 Middle School. Suyu Province, as one of the largest provinces in Xia Country, has as many as 35 cities. Among them are 25 prefecture-level cities, 3 autonomous regions, and 7 county-level cities. Yi City is one of the county-level cities. Among all the cities, Linen City is recognized by everyone as the most prosperous city in Suyu Province. There, geniuses emerge one after another, and many of the top scorers in the Suyu Province's college entrance examination have come from Linen City. In comparison, Yi City is just a barren small county town, which was almost included in the neighboring prefecture-level city. Ding Dong! Finally, on July 6, the college entrance examination rankings were released. The moment Director Hong received the text message, he immediately opened the website. The most eye-catching top scorer was in front of his eyes, Zhang Chuan. He scored 21,000 points in the exam. The second-place scorer in Suyu province scored 13,000 points. He surpassed the second-place scorer by nearly 8,000 points. Obviously, the other party is also a genius student who entered the hell difficulty level instance. However, this time the exam questions in Suyu province were extremely difficult, either the other party didn't pass, or they found a teammate. Instantly, Director Hong felt relieved. He had been waiting for the college entrance examination results for these few days and was almost on the verge of a nervous breakdown. At this moment of knowing the results, he felt a weight lifted off his shoulders. Yi City will shine because of one person, Zhang Chuan's home. Zhang He and Zhang Chuan also received the news of the college entrance examination results. The beautiful girl happened to have nothing to do, so she opened her phone to check. When she saw the results, she excitedly came to Zhang Chuan's side and handed him the phone. Xiao Chuanzi, look quickly, you're the top scorer. She pointed her beautiful slender finger at the top scorer column on the screen, her face filled with a smile. Hey, didn't I already say that when brother Chuan takes action, he will definitely come out on top. 
Jiang Chuan smiled confidently, not surprised at all. He had already prepared himself mentally for these few days, being the top scorer in the front without changing his expression. Xiao He He, what about you? What's your ranking? Don't mention it, this beautiful girl at least passed the nightmare difficulty level instance, but I only rank 20th. It's really frustrating. Jiang He was clearly not satisfied with this result. Then you have to work harder next time. Jiang Chuan teased. Why? Even if I'm 20th, I can still go to university with you. Are you planning to make me repeat a year? Zhang He punched Zhang Chuan and pouted, getting even angrier. Zhang Chuan found it a bit cute, so he freed up his hand and pinched her, but was bitten back by Zhang He. It wasn't strong, but it made people's imagination run wild. There's nothing to be done, that's how the college entrance examination is, a difference of a hundred points can mean a difference of several rankings. Zhang He's score, among the 300,000 examinees in Suyu province, was already among the top batch of students. After the news of the top scorer in Suyu province appearing in Yi City spread, all the cities in Suyu province were in an uproar. Dark Horse. The top scorer of the province actually appeared in that small county town. Miracle. The awakening talent of the top scorer is a flesh armor, can you believe it? Disappeared for three months, and the return is actually the top scorer. Is this the way to improve as the top scorer? Shocking. The top scorer actually went to the body refining hall for cultivation, the reason is this. The news about Jiang Chuan was even more explosive than the previous video upload. The news a few days ago was based on the fact that the college entrance examination results had not been announced yet, and Jiang Chuan's video of passing the instance only aroused curiosity. But after confirming the identity of the top scorer, Jiang Chuan finally had a widespread impact. What does it mean for the top scorer of Suyu province to appear in Yi City, a small county-level city? This is a hot topic. Learning to follow hot topics is a skill that every self-media person should learn. The video of killing the Python King has been released for so many days, and under the promotion of the college entrance examination results, it once again caused a heated discussion. Can you really get 20,000 points just by killing a snake as the top scorer? Then I can do it too. Are you sure his talent is just a flesh armor? Could it be that he concealed his true talent for hype? With this talent, can he really pass the Thundering Ruins instance at the Hell difficulty level? That's a brand new instance, isn't this leaking the questions and cheating? This score must have been tampered with. As a relatively large province, Suyu province also has geniuses, and even SSS level talent awakeners. Even so, the genius students of this generation did not choose to pass the hell difficulty level instance. The conditions simply did not allow it. Not to mention the numerous martial monsters, just the last level's blue poison python king is enough to give them a hard time. Since when did the scores obtained from F-level talents surpass the results of SSS-level talents? And from the video, it can be seen that Jiang Chuan's method of dealing with the Python King is very simple. One punch. Just one punch. The Python King falls to the ground directly. Is this the attack power that Flesh Armor can have? Even if the opponent's weakness is not vulnerable, it is still a genuine leader-level boss monster. And where did Jiang Chuan get so much energy to withstand the final boss? Didn't he clear the previous monsters? No wonder all the netizens in Suyu province doubt his achievements. Helplessly, Director Hong had to order the complete video link of the original college entrance examination video to be placed below the video of fighting the Python King. This may expose Jiang Chuan's strength and methods, but the current situation does not allow them to continue hiding. All the netizens who came to watch the video felt a surge of blood when they saw the scene of the flaming will killing the group of monsters. This is the ability that many awakened individuals dream of. Many malicious and jealous people who can't stand others being good also shut their mouths at this moment. The video has proven that these achievements are the result of genuine strength. Did this flesh armor mutate? So powerful? What skill is this? I'll pay for lessons, let the top scorer teach me. Could Zhang Chuan be a tank mage? And that scene of punching the leader level boss, are you sure he's not a warrior? From the moment he started chasing that goblin, I knew he was either an idiot or a real boss. The netizens in front of the screen saw the scene of the fire will slashing around, with the monster's limbs flying everywhere. Each of them had excited and flushed faces. Violence is the most primitive desire of humans, and no one can escape the birth of this pleasure. Zhang Chuan will also become an unprecedented peak user of flesh armor. The boys were shocked by the magnificent scene, while the girls started paying attention to his looks. Even without the title of top scorer, I would still be a fan of him. He's quite handsome. Just handsome? Sister, are you kidding me? Oh, with those moves, he's super handsome. I really want to go to the same university as him look at him, if you can't make it into the top 10, do you even deserve it? Sorry to interrupt. 
At this time, in a large mansion in Linnan City, the provincial capital of Suyu Province, the buildings here are extremely luxurious, with clear water and beautiful scenery. From the outside, the entire mansion is covered by a thin film. This is the protective shield of the mansion, capable of withstanding a full-scale invasion of third-level beasts, and it is invaluable. A luxurious villa is located within it. Inside a gorgeously decorated villa, a young man with slightly curly hair is currently watching a video uploaded by the Education Bureau of Yi City on his phone. He didn't watch the whole process, just fast-forwarded to get a rough idea of the flow. He finished watching the one-hour clearance video in just five minutes. A cold color gradually appeared in his eyes. Zhang Chuan, not bad, a clearance time of 64 minutes, six minutes faster than the two of us. Truly a rare genius, but too bad, I love tormenting geniuses the most. Thinking back to the top scorer on the college entrance examination list, blue flames rose from the young man's hand. The high-grade metal-made phone melted in his hand in just five seconds. Next time we meet, I'll show you what real flames are. A smirk appeared on his face, and he didn't care about this year's top scorer, leaving the room straight away. In the manager's office of the underground arena in Yi City, Lu Mingyuan held a photo in his hand and rubbed his chin with the other hand. Hey, look, look, I actually recruited a top scorer to fight in our underground arena. Although I made a lot of money, this couple took away nearly 4 million from me how should I ruin them? After all, I can't afford to lose. A terrifying darkness appeared on his face. His sharp eyes seemed to devour his assistant across from him. Meeting Lu Minjiwen's gaze, the assistant shivered and quickly replied, spread the news, this kind of top scholar cannot tolerate any negative information. One negative news can make them irreparable. Clap clap. Lu Minjiwen applauded, great suggestion, but we need to adjust it. We can't let them know that the top scholar was challenged by us. We can't touch the director of the Supernatural Bureau, and we can't let Jiang Chuan know that we're plotting against him from behind. A top scholar's downfall should be worth 4 million, right? He picked up a cigarette and took a puff, as if feeling a bit lonely. Another genius was about to be ruined by him. Not only did Lin Anqing from Suyu Province tremble, but it also caught the attention of some interested people nationwide. Inside the Imperial Capital University, Su Cheng Tian was examining the information in his hands. The top scholar of the Imperial Capital had already been admitted to their college, and now he was comparing the qualifications of students from other provinces with high rankings. He happened to see the name of the top scholar from Suyu Province. Jiang Chuan? This name sounded familiar, so he tried to recall. As the director of the admissions office at the Imperial University, he had seen all kinds of geniuses. Jiang Chuan's name, two months ago, didn't leave much of an impression on him. Then he remembered two months ago when he flew to Suyu province to meet a girl with an S-level talent. It seemed that the male student next to her was named Jiang Chuan. This curious thought arose and couldn't be suppressed. He put down the information in his hand and started searching the internet for news about Jiang Chuan. After watching a video online, he finally knew that the top scholar from Suyu province was the same Jiang Chuan he had met two months ago. At that time, he had said that he was looking forward to the other party's performance, but he had long forgotten about it. The talent of a flesh armor didn't impress him at all. Two months later, when his memory was triggered again, he became absent-minded. Two months ago, the wanted criminal at the fifth stage of the warrior realm died. Could it really be his doing? At this moment, even he began to doubt his judgment. Because it was too unbelievable. Seeing Jiang Chuan's flame thorn wind and the power to kill the python king, he became more certain that this student's talent had far exceeded the realm of flesh armor. He didn't bother to check the other students anymore they were no longer important. Jiang Chuan was his target, and he remembered Jiang Chuan's relationship with Jiang He. As long as he could recruit this top scholar, Jiang He could also enter the Imperial University. He finally understood where Jiang Chuan's courage and confidence came from when he wanted to get into college through his own efforts. Su Cheng Tian had to admit that he had indeed misjudged this time. Without hesitation, he left his office and prepared to go to Yi City. This time, he didn't use any transportation, instead, he used the teleportation array developed by the Spatial Awakening users in the school. It allowed him to quickly reach the city he wanted to go to, but it consumed a tremendous amount of energy, about a million each time. In order to prevent other schools from getting ahead, he was willing to spend some money. Yang Jianyi, a martial arts practitioner, had the same idea. He also noticed the top scholar from Suyu province. He had once been determined to bring Jiang He to the School of Martial Arts, but later gave up. Now, without a second thought, he also used the school's teleportation array. Time is opportunity. The directors of Flame Madness University and Swordsmanship University saw this result and their expressions were also quite interesting. 
They were already at this age, so what couldn't they let go of the harsh words they had said before? They had to lose face when necessary. With the addition of two talented students to the academy, what does one's reputation matter? If Zheng Chuan can improve their academy's ranking, the resources provided by the country will be abundant. They didn't hesitate and set off immediately. The admissions directors deeply reflected on their impulsive decision two months ago. If they had put aside their status as directors of a top 10 university and persisted, perhaps this outstanding student would belong to them. Unlike the shock and sensation in other cities and regions, the local people in Yi City were excited. After all, they had already seen videos of Jiang Chuan clearing the difficult exam copies days in advance. So for the locals, the shock and excitement of his achievements had gradually dissipated. They now felt like they had drunk white wine at first, they couldn't believe it, but gradually they became more excited. The release of the exam results was like reaching the peak of intoxication, making people elated. You see, in the past, the best result in Yi City was around 100th place in the province. This result couldn't even get them into a prestigious university. The appearance of the top scorer completely reversed the decline of Yi City. The small county-level city, which was looked down upon by most prefecture-level cities, was finally rising. The impact of this situation was like a calm sky suddenly being hit by a meteorite, alarming the major forces within Yi City. On the morning of July 6, when the results were announced, the entrance of Yi City no. One middle school was already surrounded by major media outlets, making it impossible to move. Not only did local reporters come, but even the reporters from Linnan City's main channel were present. President Jean naturally wouldn't miss such a good opportunity for publicity. He had already instructed the gatekeeper in advance to let the reporters in when they arrived. He had also groomed himself, even though he was a Mediterranean. He still sat in the principal's office in a suit and tie, waiting for everyone's visit. This was not only an opportunity to obtain better educational resources, but also a chance to attract outstanding students. Just think about it, a university that produced the top scorer, what a great honor. Besides the principal, the teachers who had previously taught Jiang Chuan's courses were also popular interviewees. Some local reporters couldn't insert themselves into the crowd at first, so they had to ask the first and second year students for information. I've never seen senior Jiang Chuan before, but I've heard a lot of negative comments about him, saying that he's a talent awakened by his flesh armor. I was thinking, so what if he has a flesh armor talent? It's not like he's eating your rice. It's really speechless. Oh, by the way, senior Jiang Chuan, I love you. This was how the female students evaluated Jiang Chuan. Although they were suspected of being infatuated, Jiang Chuan truly deserved their fanaticism. After all, it wasn't just the female students who were enthusiastic, the male students were just as passionate. Have you seen the video? Do you know that when senior Jiang Chuan punched the Python King, it hit us right in the heart? Yes, at that time, the people in the audience were so nervous that they couldn't breathe, afraid that senior Jiang Chuan wouldn't kill that big snake. But luckily, he did it. As they spoke, their faces turned red with excitement. He was a legendary figure in their school. Taking advantage of this opportunity, the reporters also interviewed others in the school. They were shocked to find that most of the first and second year students had a fanatical admiration and adoration for Zhang Chuan. Zhang Chuan's livestream of the Hell Difficulty exam had left an indelible impact on them. This made the reporters couldn't help but sigh he truly deserved to be the top scorer from Yi City, his influence was extraordinary. In addition to Yi City no. One middle school, the education bureau and the senior officials of the city government were also interviewed. Zhang Chuan's appearance has shown us what it means to be a genius. With his flesh armor talent, he cleared the hell difficulty exam alone. This student's future is limitless. They passionately spoke for more than 10 or 20 minutes, all praising Zhang Chuan's excellence and the city government's plan to focus on cultivating him. Director Hong of the Education Bureau directly announced that Jiang Chuan would be awarded a scholarship of 5 million yuan and a set of sea-level cultivation resources as a reward. The city government naturally couldn't be vague either, promising a million yuan bonus and a luxury villa in Yi City as a reward. Rewarding the top scorer in the province is an old tradition in Suyu province, and even if the city government of Yi City is poor, they cannot be vague. Moreover, the subsequent resources brought by cultivating a top scorer and the commendation from the provincial government are not comparable to this small reward. They wouldn't shoot themselves in the foot. After the city government, various local companies also came forward one after another. Each of them presented a considerable amount of cash as gifts. Jokingly, the future achievements of a top scorer who stands out among 300,000 college entrance examination candidates are self-evident. The machinery manufacturer said they would send Jiang Chuan the latest technology robot. 
The pharmaceutical manufacturer said they would send Jiang Chuan the latest developed amplifying potion. One after another, overwhelming gifts kept coming. And Jiang Chuan himself is still in the dark. Ding 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 Jiang Chuan's phone suddenly received several text message notifications. Some were from principals, some were from Director Hong, all of which were previously saved phone numbers. There were also some unfamiliar people's messages of blessings, but Jiang Chuan didn't have any notes, so he couldn't recognize who they were, and thus didn't reply one by one. Ring ring. Just as Jiang Chuan was about to put down his phone, he suddenly received a call. Thinking about his low-key life in the past, in such a short time, there shouldn't be anyone unrelated who could find his phone number. This call was either from the government or the education bureau, or it was from someone with a purpose. Jiang Chuan naturally answered the call without hesitation. Hello, Mr. Chang, I am Hao Yan Chang, the secret technique of the Yi city government. Well, considering the top score or result you achieved in this college entrance examination, the city government has decided to award you a million yuan bonus and a luxury villa in the city. Do you have any special requirements for the residence? Or should we help you choose the location? Hao Yan Chang on the other end of the phone spoke respectfully. Jiang Chuan's identity as the top scorer has already been confirmed, so it is natural for him to be treated with a little more respect. As the top scorer in the province, his future path can truly be described as a smooth road. Officially giving me a house? Choosing the location for the residence? Then let's choose the Tinglong community. After a little thought, Jiang Chuan replied. The Tinglong community is the most convenient community in the center of Yi City. Although it is not the most luxurious or the best scenic area, it is advantageous in terms of proximity to shopping malls and convenient transportation. Taking all factors into consideration, he chose this high-end community. Okay, we will handle the check-in procedures for you, and we will notify you as soon as it is completed. Wish you a happy life. Hao Yan Chang hung up the phone. After him, another call came in. Looking at the phone number displayed on the screen, Jiang Chuan was somewhat surprised. Because the one calling was Principal Jean Baokai from Yi City No. 1 Middle School. Curious, Jiang Chuan answered the call. Jiang Chuan, the admissions director of the top 10 universities will gather at our high school at 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you are free, come over. Admissions directors from the top 10 universities gathering, is it that exciting? Jiang Chuan was somewhat flattered. He originally thought it was nothing major, at most the principal calling to greet him. Only after listening did he realize that the admissions director of the admissions office had come again. A second time? But things are different now. Jiang Chuan has already proven himself with his results. It is no longer the university's setting conditions for him, but him setting conditions for the universities and letting them choose and compete. So he naturally agreed without hesitation, okay, Principal Jean, I will be there in the afternoon. Is it inside the school? Yes, it is. Just go to the conference room on the fifth floor of the teaching building. I will send a car to pick you up. This time is different from last time. The directors from 10 universities will all be there. Be mentally prepared. Jiang Chuan agreed without any hesitation when he received the call. Principal Jean reminded him briefly before hanging up. He lay back on the leather chair with a satisfied expression. Although the top two universities, Imperial University and Demon Marshall University, had attended the last event, it was still just a competition between five universities. Today was different, as the top ten universities were gathered together. What did this mean? Everyone had high hopes for Jiang Chuan's future. Each of the ten universities was top-notch, with their own strengths and areas of expertise. Last time, Su Cheng Tian from Imperial University had shown off, and the other universities didn't intervene because they didn't know if it was necessary to offend the top-ranked university to get this student. The results were now clear, the top scorer, the best reason for competition. Everyone was from top colleges, there was no reason to let Imperial University steal the limelight again. This enrollment meeting was going to be exciting. After hanging up the phone, Jiang He immediately approached. She slammed her phone onto Jiang Chuan's face and excitedly said, Xiao Chuanzi, look. The government plans to give the top scorer a house, and many companies want to give us things. The Education Bureau also wants to provide the top scorer with a set of C-level cultivation resources. Zhang Chuan glanced at the cute beauty and joked, how about it? I told you, if you follow Brother Chuan, you'll have a good life, with no worries about food and clothing. And I already know, those two calls were to inform me about this. I've already chosen the house. Zhang Yi pouted when she heard this, looking a bit disappointed. You didn't even discuss such an important matter with me, our relationship has faded. Her expression of despair on her face wasn't quite convincing. Jiang Chuan naturally knew that Xiao Hee he was just joking around, so he reached out and ruffled her hair, 
making her originally smooth hair a bit messy, and smiled, it doesn't matter where we live, I'm not going without you, alright, let's quickly tidy up, we're about to leave, Jung Chuan checked the time and urged, what are we going to do, Jung He, with her messy hair, headed towards the bathroom and asked, the directors of the admissions office have come to the school to find us again, let's go and see, it would be best to finalize the university, Jung Chuan explained, the beautiful girl, while dressing up, complained, that admissions office director from Imperial University is so annoying. Last time, he even looked down on you, Xiao Chuanzi. I don't want to go to Imperial University. We'll see when the time comes. The main reason we're going to university is for your curse, and secondly for cultivation. We'll consider what conditions they can offer. Zhang Chuan wouldn't generalize someone's personal behavior to the entire school. He would prioritize choosing a school based on Zhang Yi's curse. As long as they were willing to help Zhang Yi to the fullest extent, he could temporarily put aside any previous grudges. If worse comes to worst, he'll find an opportunity to slap that director's face. Because time was tight, Zhang Yi only briefly tidied up her hair and then lifted Zhang Chuan off the couch. That's why she's called a beautiful girl, naturally beautiful. Even without dressing up, her exquisite and fair face, paired with today's casual outfit, still exuded youthful beauty and boundless vitality. Zhang Chuan naturally held her hand and walked towards the door. When he opened the door, he saw two figures standing in front of it, raising their hands to knock. It was the landlord and his eldest son. Xiao Jiang, congratulations on becoming the top scorer. This is a small token of appreciation from Uncle Wu, please accept it. Landlord Lao Wu took out a big red envelope from his pocket, which seemed to contain at least several thousand yuan. Yes, Chuan Gu, consider it a small token of our appreciation. Don't refuse it. Wu Helalai was also respectful, and his gaze didn't even glance at Zhang Yi. And the man in front of them, who had become the top scorer in the entire Suyu province, was someone he could never catch up to in his lifetime. Zhang Chuan politely smiled and said, Uncle Wu, there's no need to be so polite. When Little Li asked me to practice with him, I earned quite a bit, so you can keep this money. He pushed back the other party's red envelope and continued, I have something to take care of at school, so I won't chat for now. With that, he waved his hand and led Zhang He towards the direction of the stairs. Landlord Lao Wu and Foolish Dura watched Zhang Chuan's departing figure with helplessness. They also wanted to advertise and raise the housing prices a bit higher with Zhang Chuan's reputation as the top scorer. If Zhang Chuan had accepted the money, Landlord Lao Wu would have been somewhat at ease, but now that Zhang Chuan refused, it really put him in a difficult position. He shook his head and returned home with Foolish Dura. There was nothing he could do. After all, the top scorer in the province was not his own son. Back then, he was so proud when his son was admitted through recommendation, but now he felt so sad. Suddenly, he thought about how his son's university couldn't compare to the top 10 universities. Sitting in the car arranged by the principal, Zhang Chuan received a call from the principal, Zhang, the directors have all arrived. You can go directly to the conference room when the time comes. So soon? Zhang Chuan raised an eyebrow. The college entrance examination results were only released at 9 o'clock in the morning, and the admissions office directors had already confirmed their attendance by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The top 10 universities were scattered all over the place. Just flying from the capital city alone would take until the evening. The red summer country where he was located was not an ordinary vast region. Each top university has a long-distance teleportation array, but the cost varies depending on the distance. The efficiency of admissions is really impressive. Zhang Chuan couldn't help but sigh after getting the answer. Indeed, if the Red Sea country only had ordinary transportation facilities, it wouldn't be able to provide support in time if a remote area encountered a disaster like a beast tide. The teleportation arrays made things much more convenient. As long as enough energy was paid as a cost, the cost effectiveness was still very high. It was like now, using a teleportation array to find him was a relatively wise choice. It's good that everyone is here. This way, we'll have more options. Zhang Chuan hadn't made a decision yet, but having more colleges meant having more choices. For him and Zhang He, there were only benefits and no drawbacks. In the conference room on the fifth floor of Yeqing No, one middle school, there were only two empty seats left on the originally empty round table. Su Cheng Tian looked around and saw all the admissions office directors from the top universities who had arrived, and he was speechless. He thought only he would be willing to use the teleportation array to come to Yeqing No, one middle school as soon as possible. Unexpectedly, the other directors had the same plan as him. Except for Bingyuan University, which could drive to the scene first, all the directors wanted to arrive at this time. Either they had already predicted that Zhang Chuan was the top scorer in the province, but that was highly unlikely. 
So the only possibility left was that everyone used the teleportation array to come to Yecheng. There was no need to say much about the reason for visiting Yecheng no. One middle school. It must be for Zhang Chuan, the dark horse top scorer in the province this time. Everyone had the same idea as Su Cheng Tian, marveling at the presence of all the representatives from the top universities. Finally, all the directors focused their gaze on the seat of Bingyuan University. Because the admissions office director of Bingyuan University, Lu Ran, was standing behind the seat. The representative of Bingyuan University was a beautiful woman who looked like a fairy in a painting. She wore a white dress, had fair skin and black hair, and had delicate features that seemed gentle and lovely at first glance. However, everyone present who knew her identity was extremely cautious. She was none other than the president of Bingyuan University, Lu Xianya, a third level awakened in the king's realm. If we only consider talent and personal strength, she could even be considered the number one among all the university presidents. She was not someone that this group of directors could afford to provoke. The hearts of the nine admissions class directors couldn't help but mutter, Bingyuan University is not playing around. They brought in a heavyweight. Because of Lu Xianya's presence, the atmosphere in the conference room became subtly tense. If Zhang Chuan were to arrive, he would definitely recognize many people. For example, Yang Jianyi from Mo Wu, Su Cheng Tian from Dida, Lu Ran from Bing Yuan. Lu Ran has even visited Yi Qingyi Middle School three times as the principal. At this moment, Lu Ran is protected by her older sister, and there is no embarrassment on her face like before. She glanced deeply at the closed door of the conference room and sighed, Indeed, it's like the saying goes, 30 years in the east of the river, 30 years in the west of the river. Three months ago, Zhang Chuan didn't even catch her attention. She only talked to Zhang He about the cursed disaster. Two months ago, after learning that Zhang Chuan and Zhang He had killed a wanted criminal at the fifth level of the martial warrior realm, she realized his extraordinary potential by recalling the scene of him sitting up in bed when he was critically ill. But at that time, she didn't have much hope for Zhang Chuan. The talent of the flesh armor really misled their judgment too much. At this moment, she came again for enrollment, and the other party is already the top scorer in the province. He has only awakened for three months and has reached such a height. Director Yao from Sword Technique University also sighed, Yes, we didn't cherish such a good opportunity before. Director Shui from Yen Quan University also had a bitter expression. Compared to the genius and top scorer from the neighboring city, we are nothing. But the most uncomfortable one should be Director Su from Didi, right? Yang Jianyi teased with a hint of sarcasm, mocking him for being rejected two months ago and still conducting enrollment here. He has lost face. Su Cheng Tian didn't mind and said, a real man can bend and stretch, what does a little loss of face matter? He even raised the cup of tea in front of him and took a sip. Director Shui from Yen Quan University patted his chest and breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, he didn't say those angry words in front of Zhang Chuan, otherwise he probably wouldn't be able to come here now. If the school knew about his disrespectful remarks towards the top scorer at that time, the punishment would definitely not be light. At the very least, he would lose half a year's salary, and more importantly, he would lose his position as the director of the enrollment office. However, two months ago, it was indeed not his fault to speak harshly. Zhang Chuan's potential was not only underestimated by him alone. Not only did he lack strong talent, but he also claimed to want to enter the Deep Realm trial class? Wasn't that just a joke? It's probably some kind of genius delusion. At least two months ago, Zhang Chuan without the title of top scorer was seen as such a student by all the directors. As the principal of Yi Qingyi Middle School, he was extremely busy at this time. He couldn't afford to offend any of these university directors in front of him, so he could only obediently listen and serve them. Shen Dongqian, the director of the enrollment office at Yan Hang University, ranked third, spoke up. The top scorer from Suyu Province is a must for our Yan Hang University. Actually, there's no need for us to continue arguing. His tone was very confident. Before coming here, he had already learned about Jiang Chuan's situation and knew that he was looking for an effective way to stop the curse from erupting for Jiang He. And their college's medical talent achievement was the most outstanding. This was also one of the reasons why he dared to speak harshly before Di Di and Mo Wu. When did Yan Hang University become so arrogant? Did you even ask for our opinion at Mo Wu? Yang Jianyi instantly became unhappy. It was fine when Su Cheng Tian took the lead last time, but now there was someone else daring to step on his territory so he immediately started to retaliate. Su Cheng Tian took a sip of tea and calmly said, Why are you all arguing here so happily? Which university Jiang Chuan chooses to enter depends on his own decision. At that time, it will be up to each of us to rely on our own means. Instead of wasting time arguing, why don't you think about what conditions can improve your success rate? Yang Jianyi and Shandong exchanged glances and stopped talking. 
Su Cheng Tian was right. It was useless to argue happily now. It wasn't just about who had a sharp tongue that could bring Zhang Chuan back to their school. While the three of them were arguing, they completely ignored the other six university directors. The only one who could distract them and make them be on guard was Lu Xianya from Bing Yuan University, who had personally come to the scene. The other party was sitting in their seat, observing and admiring their delicate jade-like fingers. They had no intention of paying attention to them. The directors of the other six universities naturally didn't dare to say much either. The top three universities were completely dominant, with a superior status and abundant resources. It was not something that other universities could catch up to in a short period of time. Shortly after the top ten university directors arrived, they heard a dull rumbling sound. The door of the conference room was pushed open. A tall figure walked into the room under the guidance of the vice president. At the moment the person entered, Jiang Chuan noticed the woman in the white dress with bright eyes and thought to himself, what a beautiful sister. But it was just a momentary astonishment, and they quickly took their seats in the last two empty spots. The new directors who came here had already inquired about the news. Jiang Chuan and Zhang He were definitely a package deal, which meant that this time they would be able to bring Jiang Chuan back and also include an S-level awakened talent. The latter was also the 20th ranked examinee in Suyu province, fully qualified to join the top 10 universities. The directors who had come before were already showing eager signs of recruitment in their eyes. Zhang, it's been two months since we last met, and I must say I'm impressed. Since you're already the top scorer, I'll be straightforward. As long as you're willing to come to our Flame Madness University, we will do our best to help Zhang he suppress the curse, and will also provide B-level cultivation resources, as well as 4 million Hongxia coins. Director Shui of Flame Madness University directly laid out the conditions on the table. Perhaps it was the unknown incident from last time that made him feel somewhat guilty, so he was the first to speak up. Zhang Chuan, as long as you come to Sword Technique University, in addition to suppressing Zhang Yi's curse, we will provide you with B plus level cultivation resources, plus 6 million Hongxia coins. Director Yao of Sword Technique University raised the stakes even higher. In addition to what Sword Technique University offers, Hung Chuan University will provide a set of weapons and a martial grade spirit pet. We, Zhu Wu University, are willing to offer two sets of B plus level resources. With the push from Director Shui of Flame Madness University, this enrollment meeting became more like an auction. Everyone started raising their bids. The new university directors, seeing that the attendees were all top university directors, also competed within the limits allowed by the academy. But they overlooked one key point. Zhang Chuan and the others' main goal was not resources, but the deep realm and Zhang He's curse. Even so, several university directors continued to bid relentlessly. Before long, a voice broke the tension. Zhang Chuan, as long as you come to our magic martial arts, I will allow Zhang He to join the deep realm trial class, and every academic year, we will provide an A-level cultivation resource. Yang Jianyi's opening offer was a big one. The other directors who had been arguing and raising prices instantly fell silent, and after hearing the conditions that magic martial arts was willing to provide, they were even more shocked. This was already on a different level. One A-level resource per year. How could they continue to compete? Overall, the resources that magic martial arts was willing to invest in Zhang Chuan were considerable. After proposing this condition, Yang Jianyi leaned back slightly, looking very proud. There was no choice, this was the abundant foundation of the top three universities, and of course, it was also his personal limit in terms of expenditure. If they were to continue raising the stakes, they would have to consult with their superiors, truly worthy of being one of the top three universities. President Jin's throat felt dry just from listening to it. He was starting to get tempted by these conditions. Compared to what magic martial arts was offering, the previous offers were child's play. What magic martial arts can offer, our Imperial Capital Martial Arts University can offer as well. Su Cheng Tian propped his chin with both hands and said in a deep voice, in addition to that, every year we will provide a set of high-level weapons, green set. This person was even more heavyweight. The value of a green set was very high in terms of increasing combat power. Some university students couldn't even gather a complete set of weapons in four years. And Su Cheng Tian opened his mouth and offered four sets. Everyone's gaze turned to this middle-aged man with the dignity of a grandmaster. This is simply a fight between immortals, not an ordinary game. The strength of the top universities is not something we can compare to. I'll just watch and eat my melon, I won't participate in this kind of struggle, it will hurt me. Although the directors of other universities knew that the imperial capital Wuda would take action, they didn't expect it to be so much. They were completely using the resources of their schools as if they were water. It's not that their universities couldn't provide, 
but they gave them to Jiang Chuan, leaving their own schools with fewer resources to use. This is clearly a downgrade, like the difference between a water truck and a watering can. Ahem, Yenhang University can't provide that much, but giving one set of A-level cultivation resources is not a problem. Qian Dong, the director of Yenhang University, ranked third, finally spoke up. Not only that, among these top 10 universities, our Yenhang University has the most medical talents. We can ensure that Jiang He can improve his cultivation with lower risks and resist the curse calamity. Both the Deep Realm Trial Class and the Red Summer Coin, the two universities can provide what we need. Chen Dong's conditions made Zheng Chuan's eyes flicker, feeling somewhat tempted. Putting aside everything else, just the condition of having the most medical talents, he would prioritize Yen Hang. Yang Jianyi and Su Cheng Tian heard Chen Dong's conditions and snorted coldly. There was nothing they could do, he was stating the facts. Yen Hang University was indeed the best at teaching healing and sealing techniques and had the most talents in this field. They used to think that they were limiting themselves, but their consistent position in the top three proved that their strength was not weak. Xian Dong could also see that Zheng Chuan was somewhat interested, and his smile became more sincere. If Zheng Yi, this breakthrough point, could move this top scorer, compared to Mo Wu and the Imperial Capital University, their Yenhang University was simply no different from freeloading. Zheng Chuan didn't immediately agree, but turned his head to the beautiful sister he noticed as soon as he entered. He didn't know if she was the new admissions office director or some other important figure, but she did bear some resemblance to Lu Ran behind her. Yes, only Bingyuan University had not yet offered their special treatment. Seeing that the others finally quieted down and stopped competing, Lu Xianya looked around and said, My conditions are simple, I will take you as my disciple. Agree to let you enter the deep realm. Help you seal the curse power of your female companion. After these three simple sentences, she didn't say anything more. The expressions on the faces of the directors completely lost control after hearing this news. At this moment, only one thought occupied their minds. The president of Bingyuan University had gone mad. A student who had just finished the college entrance examination and had not shown any performance in university yet was taken as a disciple? They had also seen university presidents taking in students, but they were at least existences with King Realm strength. Even if they took in students, they would at least wait until the second transformation, confirming their aptitude before making a decision. Jiang Chuan now, at most, was just a slightly more powerful warrior. They were interested in Jiang Chuan only because he could overturn everyone's perception with the weakest talent and clear the high-difficulty purgatory exam. They could see hope for weak talents in Jiang Chuan, but for Lu Xianya to take him as a disciple, the intention was completely different. Was she planning to gamble the future on this top scorer with only a flesh armor talent? Isn't this madness? It wasn't just the directors of other schools who were shocked. Even Lu Ran, who came with her sister, was full of disbelief. Her little head was filled with question marks. She asked her sister to come and see Jiang Chuan, just hoping that she could see his extraordinary qualities. Who would have thought that her sister would directly offer to take him as a disciple and bring him to the university? Lu Xianya's three sentences may not sound special, but in reality, they were worth Jiang Chuan's consideration. The university president personally teaching him? Jiang Chuan took in the shock of the other directors and knew that this was an extremely rare opportunity. He had already decided to go to Yenhang University, but now he hesitated. It seemed that Louis Xianya could see the hesitation in Jiang Chuan's eyes, so she added, I possess the SSS level talent of time stopping. If you are willing to be my student, I can use the power of the time source in the king's realm to suppress Jiang Yi's curse. In the next two years, Jiang Yi's curse will only remain at its current level and cannot be strengthened. During these two years, as long as she can break through to the Marquis realm, she will be completely able to resist the curse. There is no other method that can guarantee this like I can, so please consider it carefully. When the directors heard about the power of the time source, their minds were blown. Was this a special invitation? It was clearly poaching. Although they didn't have a direct understanding of the king's realm, hadn't they heard of it before? The power of the time source was one of the factors that influenced the strength of a strong individual in the king's realm. Even if it was abundant, it couldn't be casually promised. But now, the president of Bingyuan University was proposing this condition. This left everyone present speechless, and even Qian Dong didn't know how to refute it. Louis Xianya was right, her time-stopping talent was one of the top talents. She herself was also a strong individual in the king's realm. Using the ability of the time domain to suppress a warrior's S-level talent was a piece of cake. Although Jiang He's curse had the potential of an SSS-level talent, she still didn't have the qualifications to challenge a true peak talent before she grew up. Now, the directors present finally understood that Louis Xianyu wasn't just crazy, she was completely out of her mind. But they were helpless, 
and they were even too lazy to consult their own college president. Not to mention whether the president would agree to personally teach Jiang Chuan, just the fact that they would have to use the power of the time source to help Jiang He suppress the curse was something no one would be willing to do. Even if there was a president who would spend the power of the time source to recruit Jiang Chuan, the effect might not be better than Lu Xian his top talent. Jiang Chuan looked at Qian Dong, and the questioning look in his eyes was very obvious, can you offer more? Qian Dong met his gaze and felt a chill in his heart. He couldn't help but say, what are you looking at me for? Do you think I can offer better conditions than a president? I'm not the president. The meaning behind his words was already very clear, Xian Dong was admitting defeat. The directors collectively sighed in their hearts. Su Cheng Tian and Yang Jianyi were the most helpless. If the other party had simply proposed conditions and offered more, they could still make a phone call or something to consult and negotiate. But the current situation was clearly not like that at all, Lui Xianya was going all in. Who could withstand that? They didn't know the reason why a king's realm individual would pay such a high price to recruit Zhang Chuan. Their opinions and opposition were completely irrelevant now. Everyone tacitly entered a period of silence, which meant that the directors had no more room for optimization regarding the special admission conditions. All the directors present were waiting for Zhang Chuan to make a choice. And at this moment, the protagonist's gaze was fixed on Lui Xianya. From everyone's reaction, it was not difficult to see that the power of the time source mentioned by Lui Xianya was a very powerful ability. Just from its ability to suppress Jiang He's curse, one could guess its value. There are no free lunches in the world, and Jiang Chuan really wanted to know the reason why a king's realm individual would go to such lengths to recruit him as a student. But no matter how much Jiang Chuan stared, all he could see was a faint smile on Lui Xianya's delicate and pretty face, and he couldn't see through her at all. So, he decided to stop struggling. Dear directors of the universities, I'm very sorry, but my final decision is to join Bingyuan University. If you ask him what his purpose for joining the university is, Jiang Chuan had already said it a long time ago, it was for Jiang He's curse. But after finally entering university, Jiang Chuan also hopes for a relatively ideal growth. Even if he says that cultivation is secondary, Jiang Chuan still hopes to become stronger. If he joins another university, the most common privilege is to enter the deep trial class. On the path of cultivation, it is not only the cultivation environment that determines the height and speed of growth. In the process of learning, a good teacher is also an indispensable factor. She can help you avoid many detours. Jiang Chuan would never admit that he became her student because his beautiful sister was too attractive. But if everyone had a choice, they would definitely want a beautiful female teacher rather than an old man from the Mediterranean, right? Ha, huh, it's okay, all the schools are in the Hongxia Kingdom which university you enter is your own choice, and we all support you. Instead of losing face in front of colleagues, Director Shui of Yen Quan University felt somewhat balanced in his heart and waved his hand generously. Congratulations to Bingyuan University for winning the top scholar in the Suyu province. President Liu, we are looking forward to the performance of Bingyuan University in this freshman exchange competition. Under these conditions, Bingyuan University probably doesn't have many resources left to recruit high-quality students. With the dust settled, everyone also accepted the fact that Jiang Chuan was snatched away by Bingyuan University, and some people left directly after making sarcastic remarks. While everyone was wasting time here, it would be better to quickly go to other places to recruit some good talents. Lian Xianya didn't care about their mockery and watched as the directors left one by one. If you feel that staying at Bingyuan University is not good enough, you are welcome to transfer to our imperial capital Wuda. I won't change the conditions I just offered you, I will invest in you. Su Chung Tian patted Zhang Chuan on the shoulder as he passed by. In the face of Lian Rant's menacing gaze, he leisurely walked away. His sister had already taken someone, and now the director of Imperial Capital University had to come and bother them. All right, everyone irrelevant has left, now it's just us. Lian Xianya lightly waved her hand, and a contract appeared in her hand, which she handed to Zhang Chuan. Zhang Chuan took it and looked through it. This is a special admission contract from Bing University, specially drafted for you. Take a look, if there are no problems, sign it. Hearing his sister's words, Lian Rant's head became dizzy again. When did his sister start to have feelings for this student? He couldn't see any clues beforehand. After reading it carefully, Jiang Chuan found that the contract had no restrictions on him at all. It could even be said that it was entirely beneficial to him. He originally thought that Lian Xianya was just a woman who made empty promises, but she actually fulfilled them. And judging from the situation, the contract had already been prepared long ago. The contents of the contract are as follows, after enrollment, study under Principal Lian Xianya, 1A plus level cultivation resource per academic year. The current available resource options are, Spirit Soul Pill, 
permanently increases one's qi si capacity by 5%. Fire cloud fruit, when consumed, greatly increases elemental affinity, can be enhanced with other materials, and can enhance fire elemental damage by up to 50%. Dream Spirit Do X10, when consumed, immediately restores 80% of spiritual energy, with no side effects. Among the A-plus level cultivation resources, there are also equipment and pills. This is the list, you can choose for yourself after you arrive at the school. Lian Xianya said casually. Zhang Chuan looked at the dazzling array of resources, all of them were good things. The Spirit Soul Pill may seem to have a small increase at first glance, but that's because it doesn't have such obvious effects in the warrior realm. But what about the king realm? A 5% increase in maximum spiritual energy capacity is massive. Not to mention the fire cloud fruit, directly increasing elemental damage. If Zhang Chuan's flame thorn wind had this enhancement, combined with his own attack power bonus, he could probably pass the college entrance examination with his eyes closed. As one of the top 10 prestigious universities, in addition to the resources awarded by the Hongxia government every year, Lu Xianya also stores the resources she finds herself in the instance as a reward in the warehouse. At her level, ordinary treasures and resources have little effect. The vice president of Bingyuan University is the same. In fact, their university is only ranked low, and resources are not scarce at all, because few students can take away the rewarded resources. Bingyuan University belongs to the type of college with severe polarization. It can maintain a top 10 ranking, but it is difficult to improve the ranking. The reason for this is easy to understand. It can be heard from the conditions mentioned by Lu Ran earlier. When Zhang Yi, with an S-level talent, just awakened, as long as he reached the sixth stage of awakening, he could be specially recruited to Bingyuan University. In other top universities, talented individuals of this level of awakening, without the strength of a martial artist, would only be looked down upon if they were specially recruited. Bingyuan University focuses more on providing students with sufficient opportunities. But at the same time, it has also cultivated many lazy students who think that entering a top university means a bright future. However, there are also many ambitious students who have better development and enough pressure in top universities. This is why Bingyuan University's ranking has always been neither high nor low, and it does not affect the college's status in Hongxia. When it comes to good things, Zhang Chuan is not sleepy anymore. Teacher Lu, do you have any genius treasures that can increase defense? Zhang Chuan didn't directly mention armor but used a different wording. After all, armor is only displayed in his system, and the real world still pays more attention to the four-dimensional attributes. Defense is just a hidden attribute, and armor is a new concept for others. Increase defense? Lu Xianya was stunned by Jiang Chuan's strange request. She had never heard of such a strange demand before. Others either wanted potions to increase strength, spirit, or aura. But for Jiang Chuan, all he wanted was defense? Is winning just about not being killed? However, when she thought of the scene where Zhang Chuan punched the Python King to death in the previous college entrance exam instance, Lu Xianya became a little confused. Didn't you already withstand the Python King's attacks? Why do you still need a genius treasure to increase defense? She was very clear that Zhang Chuan's current cultivation level was probably at the early stage of a warrior, and he already had the ability to withstand the fourth level Python King. Why would he still need defense? She didn't understand, but she was greatly shocked. The secret of cultivation. Just tell me if you have it. Zhang Chuan teased. Joke, the system's affairs definitely couldn't be told to Lu Xianya, not even Zhang He. You were quite straightforward just now, and now you're being secretive. It's really heartbreaking. Lu Xianya looked sad, her eyebrows furrowed, as if Zhang Chuan was an unfaithful man. Teacher Lu, you're the principal after all, don't you need to maintain your image? Zhang Chuan thought to himself, but his face remained firm as ever. Seeing her disciple's stubborn appearance, Lu Xianya realized that Zhang Chuan wouldn't tell her his little secret. She suppressed her teary-eyed expression and took out her phone, projecting it onto the wall, flipping through it while muttering, there are defensive pills, but I can't remember their names for a while. I threw them into the warehouse a long time ago. Zhang Chuan waited quietly on the side. Lu Ran looked at Zhang Chuan sitting next to him and glanced at him, what's going on? Zhang Yi shook his head with a guilty look. I don't know helpless, the two women who were kept in the dark could only watch their master and disciple searching through the treasure trove. Mysterious fire pill, increases fire damage, ice lotus, increases ice resistance. After flipping through it for a while, everyone's eyes were tired. Zhang Chuan didn't expect that there would be so many resources in the treasure trove of Bingyuan University. All of them were B-grade or higher. Just when Lu Xianya was losing patience, a green pill appeared on the screen, turtle dominating pill, after taking it, it can increase the maximum defense power by 10%, S-grade resource. Phew, finally found it, 
Otherwise I would have smashed my phone Lu Xinya breathed a sigh of relief. Oh my teacher, please don't say such violent words with your fairy-like beautiful face. Zhang Chuan looked eagerly at the green pill on the screen, which had dark patterns on it. The effect of the pill was similar to the soul pill he had seen before. After consuming this pill, his armor would increase in proportion to his defense power. It was tailor-made for him. At this moment, Lu Xianya regretfully said, By the way, I forgot to tell you, you can only obtain A-grade resources through freeloading, it's written in the contract. So you can't take this pill now, it's an S-grade resource, and can only be used as a reward when you have outstanding performance. After all, these resources weren't obtained by me alone, many vice principals also put in a lot of effort. Lu Xianya's words instantly dimmed the hopeful look in Zhang Chuan's eyes. He looked resentfully at Lu Xianya, who was smiling at the corner of her eyes. Her cunning intentions were not concealed at all. Obviously, this was the teacher's revenge. Giving him hope and then despairing him. She must be holding a grudge because Zhang Chuan didn't share his secret with her just now. Zhang He and Lu Ran looked at the two of them, crying and laughing. One was the principal, but acted childishly like a parent teasing a child. One was the top scholar, but acted like a child asking a parent for candy when it came to cultivation resources. Was it really okay for these two people to have such an uninhibited conversation? At least there were two living people beside them. After teasing Lu Xianya for a while, Lu Xianya said seriously, You really can't take away the S-grade resource, but I can give you a high-level armor, which is completely within the scope of the contract. Hearing this, a spark of hope lit up in Zhang Chuan's eyes. This time, Lu Xianya didn't tease Zhang Chuan. She waved her hand, and two light and thin armors appeared in her hands. One was emitting an orange light, and the other was silver all over. Seeing this scene, Zhang Chuan's eyes narrowed slightly. Due to his high armor value, his body was very sensitive to abnormal conditions. In that instant just now, he clearly felt a slight resistance in his body, and he had no chance to resist at all. Looking at the two armors in Lu Xianya's hands, Zhang Chuan seemed to have thought of something. His teacher definitely wouldn't know that he would want armor or similar items. Plus, as a King Realm powerhouse, carrying a piece of equipment with him would be unbelievable to outsiders. So in that instant just now, his teacher must have used his abilities. The abilities of time and space are the most profound and terrifying. Originally, Zhang Chuan didn't know what the concept of the King Realm was, but now he finally understood. In front of someone with peak talent in the King Realm, he was still too insignificant. It was like a frog at the bottom of a well, always thinking that the sky was only so big until it saw the real sky. Zhang Chuan solemnly took the two thin armors from Lu Xianya's hand, and the wristband provided information. The college entrance examination wristband can identify and record registered equipment and elixirs. Equipment, crimson skylight armor, quality, blue upper tier, attributes, constitution plus 21, spirit plus 14, cultivation restriction, martial artist and above, race restriction, none, talent restriction, none, passive effect, elemental awakening users gain an additional plus 5 spirit. Equipment, fierce beast armor, quality, blue upper tier, attributes, constitution plus 25, strength plus 10, cultivation restriction, martial artist and above, race restriction, none, talent restriction, none, passive effect, defense talent constitution gains an additional plus 5, since I saw you using fire elemental attacks earlier, I brought this one as well. I don't know if it suits you. Lu Xianya pursed her pink lips, showing no signs of being burdened as a king realm powerhouse. So, teacher, are you admitting that you used your abilities just now? I didn't expect teacher Xianya to actually watch my college entrance examination video, Zhang Chuan said, slightly surprised. It would have been better if he hadn't said anything, but his words made Lu Xianya's face blush slightly. It made it seem like she had taken an interest in Zhang Chuan and came for him. Although that was the case, she would never admit it. Principal Xianya said with a slightly annoyed tone, don't talk nonsense. It was Ran Ran who said you had more talent, so I came to take you as my disciple. Isn't that right, Ran Ran? Lu Ran? When did I say such a thing? How come I don't know? But under her sister's affectionate gaze, she could only nod and affirm the other's statement. Teacher, your threatening gaze could be more obvious. Looking at the two pieces of armor in his hand, Zhang Chuan felt a warm current surge in his heart. After crossing over to this world, besides Zhang He, he hadn't felt any care from anyone else. Even Lu Ran, who used to be cold, now had a hint of helplessness and human touch in front of the principal. Maybe this was the suppression of bloodline? Zhang Chuan was also unclear why Lu Xianya wanted to take him as her disciple, it definitely wasn't just because he was the top scorer. Even so, he would cherish this friendship. Facing Lu Xianya, Zhang Chuan sincerely said, Thank you, Teacher Xianya. Lu Xianya smiled at Zhang Chuan's sincere expression. 
But soon, as if she thought of something, her face turned serious, you're not trying to deceive me with your sincere gaze and take away both of my armors, are you? Hurry up, you can only choose one. Zhang Chuan helplessly returned the crimson skylight armor, a real man should have the appearance of a real man, so I choose this one. He shook the fierce beast armor in his hand, which was emitting an orange light. Constitution was the only attribute among the four dimensional attributes related to defense, so having more of it wouldn't be wrong. Zhang Chuan looked at the armor in his hand, his eyes shining. Since his battle with Zhou Hong, his chances of obtaining armor had reached a turning point, and the chances of getting better ones were too low. It was almost comparable to the lottery probability of a certain Penguin mobile game. The key was that they even had a guaranteed reward, but his system didn't have that function. The most effective way to increase his strength now was through external forces like equipment and elixirs. After Zhang Chuan finished selecting, he happily threw the equipment into the space bracelet, but did not put it on immediately. It looked a bit silly to wear equipment in a non-combat state. By the way, do you need a weapon? Should I go get two more for you? Lu Xianya saw Zhang Chuan so happy to receive the equipment, so she decided to be straightforward and take care of her new student. Zhang Chuan waved his hand and took out his 40-meter crimson flame blade from the space, no need, teacher Xianya. I was rewarded a weapon from clearing a previous instance, and I'm not picky about weapons. I'll make do with what I have. Now let's discuss Xiao He He's special admission conditions, shall we? Zhang Chuan put away the crimson flame blade in his hand and glanced at Zhang He He beside him, reminding her. Oh, right, I almost forgot. Lu Ran only realized this now, as she had been immersed in the conversation between Zhang Chuan and her cousin. She took out a special admission contract from her own space. It had already been prepared a long time ago. Two months ago, when she learned about Zhang He He's admission conditions, she had already arranged for someone to draft the contract, because at that time, Zhang He He had already met the requirements she had initially set. After that, she had kept it in her space bracelet, collecting dust. Unexpectedly, it came in handy today. She handed the contract to the two of them to review. In fact, it was not much different from Jiang Chuan's admission conditions, except that the reward had become a B-plus level cultivation resource. At that time, she didn't expect Jiang Hehe to achieve 20th place, otherwise, she could have upgraded the resource to an A-minus level. But she was better off than other new students in one aspect, she could directly enter the deep trial class. This was no less than an A-level cultivation resource, and if lucky, it could even be considered an S-level cultivation resource. Let's talk about sealing the curse in a few days. Once you start school, there won't be much time left. You special admission students, plus members of the deep trial class, need to arrive at the school earlier than other ordinary students. Probably around the 16th or 17th, during this time, make sure to arrange the remaining matters. Actually, even if you don't arrange them, it's fine. Bingyuan University is quite close to Yeqing, so if there's anything urgent, you can come back and deal with it directly. Lu Xianya said. Zhang Chuan and the others didn't worry about the rewards and sealing time on the contract because they knew that a few days earlier or later wouldn't make much difference. During these days, they wouldn't be cultivating, and even if the curse power became stronger, it wouldn't amplify much. When they arrived at the school for the sealing, they would have a bit more time to improve their cultivation more efficiently. Time was life for Zhang He He, so she wouldn't rush to delay this short period of time. After seeing off Lu Xianya and Lu Ran, Principal Jean walked in, rubbing his hands together. How was it, Zhang, did the special admission go smoothly? Zhang Chuan also knew that the principal was referring to the contract signing process. He nodded and said, it went smoothly. Zhang Hehe and I have both joined Bingyuan University. That's good. If there's nothing else, I'll have the driver take you back, alright? Principal Jean proposed. Zhang Chuan didn't refuse, as he knew what the principal wanted from them when he invited them back for the college entrance examination. His outstanding performance in the exam was beneficial to him without any harm, so he naturally accepted the principal's kind offer without any pressure. As a result, the students on campus saw Principal Jean, who rarely appeared in the teaching building, following behind a young man, looking as happy as a 10-year-old child. Some observant students recognized Zhang Chuan and exclaimed excitedly, Isn't that Zhang Chuan, the top scorer from our Suyu province? Seems like it. No wonder the principal is smiling like a pig, unbelievable. Zhang Chuan, Zhang Chuan, I love you, just like a mouse loves rice. God Chuan, look at me more, I'm willing to have monkey babies with you. Some crazier girls even started their love offerings. Zhang Chuan curiously took another look and indeed, he looked like a monkey. Fortunately, Zhang Chuan ran fast, otherwise he might not even be able to leave the school gate today. He walked to the principal's car under the enthusiastic crowd of younger students, and the car that picked them up was a Ma Bao 520, which is a relatively common business sedan. 
In order to prevent being blocked by the enthusiastic students, the driver immediately started the car and drove to Chaoyang Community. This is the community where Jiang Chuan currently lives. At the entrance of Chaoyang Community, the landlord, Lao Wu, was chatting with several old tenants. Seeing Jiang Chuan getting off the car and returning home, he greeted him, Xiao Jiang, I heard that the city government rewarded you with a luxury house, is that true? Yes, it's in Tinglong community. Jiang Chuan didn't intend to hide it. As one of the high-end communities, Tinglong community's security capability is commendable, at least it won't let unrelated people disturb his normal life. Therefore, Jiang Chuan is not worried about being harassed after revealing this news. Tenglong Community, a high-end community in the city center, the housing prices are ridiculously high. Yes, I really envy young people nowadays, they easily have such luxurious residences. I wonder if this top scorer cheated. Jiang Chuan naturally heard these comments, but he didn't care. No matter what era, the one thing that is never lacking is envy. They can't stand it if others are better off than them. They feel uncomfortable even if others become richer than themselves. Jiang He, on the other hand, looked dissatisfied. All of this was achieved through Jiang Chuan's hard work and perseverance over the past two months. How could it suddenly become worthless in the eyes of others? However, she didn't say much, just kept her grievances to herself. By the way, Xiao Jiang, someone is looking for you upstairs, claiming to be your distant relative or something. Lao Wu, the landlord, remembered someone asking him about Jiang Chuan before and reminded him. Jiang Chuan frowned slightly, but didn't say much. After thanking him, he walked upstairs. In the corridor, he saw three people standing in front of his door, a man, a woman, and a boy. The man was shabby, the woman looked like she hadn't slept in a long time, and her face was unusually haggard. The boy's face was dirty, but his condition was completely different from the couple next to him. The man's name was Zhang Yuanrong, the woman's name was Hishumi, and they were really a family, and they were really Zhang Chuan's distant relatives. Coincidentally, they also lived in Yecheng and saw a candidate named Zhang Chuan winning the top scorer position in the province. They watched the video online and confirmed that it was the Jiang Chuan they knew, their distant nephew, and the purpose of their visit this time was to get some benefits from this rising star nephew. For this, they had carefully prepared and turned into their current appearance. When Jiang Yuanrong saw Jiang Chuan, he walked up quickly with both hands raised, wanting to shake hands with Jiang Chuan, but the latter skillfully avoided it and didn't let him have his way. Xiao Chuan, don't you recognize me anymore? I'm your uncle Yuanrong. I even carried you when you were so little. Zhang Yuanrong gestured, seemingly trying to awaken Zhang Chuan's memory. But as a transmigrator, let alone childhood memories, he didn't even inherit the original host's memories, he didn't have any memories. Since he came to this world, no so-called relatives have come looking for him, and he has never accepted anyone's help. These years, he has relied on himself. If it weren't for the awakening of the system later, and his body, which was like a BUG, earning a considerable income at the body cultivation hall, he would still be as poor as ever. Thinking of this, a look of disdain gradually appeared on Jiang Chuan's face. It's true that no one cares about you when you're poor, but when you're rich, you suddenly have distant relatives in the mountains. But he is not a kind-hearted person, so he naturally won't have any thoughts of providing help because of this. After seeing Jiang Chuan's disdainful expression, Jiang Yuanrong became somewhat puzzled. Typical young people, seeing their posture, even if they adhere to the idea of less is more, would still give them some money. Moreover, Jiang Chuan is currently carrying a huge sum of money, but it seems that his distant nephew doesn't appreciate it at all. Husband, don't get close to him. It's been said that people nowadays are ungrateful and won't help us. Hishumi held her son's head, her face filled with sadness, and her teary-eyed appearance made people feel sorry for her. Jiang Yuanrong glanced at his wife and children behind him, pleading, Xiao Chuan, you've seen it too. We're really in difficulty right now. We only need 50,000, no, 30,000, 30,000 will do. The middle-aged man's eyes showed a very difficult emotion, and he seemed to be making a decision out of helplessness. Jiang Chuan glanced at the boy whose face was clearly covered in dirt, and shook his head gently. The two adults had really suffered for this act, but the child had almost ruined it. If they were willing to let the child suffer a bit, and act a bit more convincingly, Jiang Chuan might have felt some pity and given them something. He turned to go back to his room, trying to bypass them. But unexpectedly, the woman suddenly sat down in front of his door and started crying and making a scene, look, everyone, come and see. This year's top scholar is an ungrateful person. When we helped them before, they were so grateful. Now that they've achieved something and become talented, they've forgotten their roots. Her loud voice immediately attracted the neighbors in the apartment building. Even the landlord and the old men who were chatting downstairs came upstairs to watch the show. Jiang Chuan coldly glanced at Hishumi. 
The resentment from dealing with over a hundred copies of monsters suddenly surged out, causing the temperature in the air to drop slightly. I didn't expect that the top scholar from Suyu province would be such a person. It turns out that good grades are useless, character is what matters. Selfish people like him won't get far in society. Now we see it clearly. Look at this poor family. The top scholar must have received four or five million in scholarships alone this time, not to mention the house in Tinglong community. They probably have at least 10 million. Chu, they've changed a lot. Don't gossip about our provincial top scholar. This family, one playing the good cop and the other playing the bad cop, acted very convincingly. The surrounding crowd of onlookers, who didn't understand the situation, started discussing it. Zhang Chuan was starting to get impatient, but he hadn't reached his breaking point yet. However, at this moment, Zhang Yi couldn't hold back anymore. She had been feeling frustrated since they entered the community earlier, and now she couldn't control her anger any longer. She angrily scanned the whispering crowd, and sneered, a bunch of narrow-minded fools. She didn't bother to hide her disdainful words, and one of the tenants nearby heard her and angrily retorted, Am I wrong? Who's the little girl with no manners? Zhang He wasn't afraid at all. She took a step forward, one hand on her waist and the other pointing around, saying, I'm talking about all of you. Zhang Chuan has been living here for three years. Have you ever seen anyone come to visit him? Besides, what right do you have to say that Zhang Chuan has a character problem? Did he eat your rice or drink your mineral water? Oh, right. You people only dare to gossip here. After all, there are many of you and you're all talk. The person who was criticized was speechless, and Jiang Yi chuckled and continued, Open your dog eyes and take a good look. They become like this, and the child's face is covered in dirt. Can you only see that? Jiang Yi stepped forward and wiped the boy's face forcefully, revealing his normal features. Of course, this didn't prove anything, so Jiang Yi applied a little more force. The boy's face was slightly painful from her touch, but how could a child endure pain? He immediately burst into tears, saying, Mom, I don't want to play anymore. This game isn't fun. Let's go back and eat hamburgers. The child ran to Ishumi's side and hugged her thigh, crying out, Game? Little friend, what game are you playing with your parents? The man who had been scolded by Jiang he stepped forward and asked. Jiang Yuanrong and his wife were clearly panicked. Ishumi instinctively wanted to cover her son's mouth, but Jiang he stepped on her hand with a kick. Ah! After a scream, she was slapped in the face. Shut up and listen. Zhang Yi was not someone to be trifled with, otherwise, he wouldn't dare to fight underground, right? He Shumi could only remain silent. Zhang Yuanrong also looked at Zhang Chuan with some fear. The coldness in his eyes made him afraid to act rashly, so he could only let Zhang Yi use violence against his wife. The child, seeing his mother being restrained, trembled in fear and didn't dare to hide anything. Daddy said he brought me to play a game called Deceiving the Top Scholar, just put some dirt on my face. As long as I behave and listen, I can get lots of delicious food. Otherwise, I don't want to dirty my clean face, I'm so cute. Wow, this little guy is really narcissistic. The surrounding tenants instantly became angry, but this time their anger was directed at Zhang Yuanrong's family. They felt like their intelligence had been trampled on the ground. They thought something would happen to the top scholar, but they didn't expect to encounter a family of scammers. The main reason was that the disguises of these two couples were somewhat convincing. The man's clothes were tattered and there wasn't a clean spot on his body. His hair was messy. The woman had a pale complexion, heavy dark circles under her eyes, and looked like a poor person who was often sick. Everyone subconsciously ignored the child's disguise and thought that even poor families would care for their children. However, they didn't expect that the child would be frightened by Zhang Chuan and reveal the truth. The people who had been morally condemning Zhang Chuan instantly turned their heads and began pointing fingers at Zhang Yuanrong's couple. They look so pitiful. How can they be such despicable people? I've been mistaken all my life. Jiang Top Scholar, you really have such relatives, you're really unlucky. That's right, what bad habits can the Top Scholar have? It's all rumors spread by people like you. Jiang He listened coldly to the tenant's chatter. Just as everyone was condemning him, a Mercedes-Benz stopped at the entrance of the community. A well-dressed man in his 30s got out of the car, looking relatively young. He looked up at the room where Jiang Chuan was, and there were a bunch of people standing at the door, their faces filled with surprise. Was someone causing trouble for the top scholar? Da -da -da -dash, he quickly walked up the stairs and arrived at the corridor. Everyone noticed someone coming up and also noticed the man's luxury car. They wondered who this important person was and closed their mouths, no longer reprimanding. The man glanced lightly at Ishumi lying on the ground, then walked through the crowd to Jiang Chuan, extending his hand and saying, Hello, Mr. Xiang, I'm Hao Tian Chang the secretary of the municipal government. I'm the one who spoke to you on the phone before. 
Jiang Chuan remembered, this was the person who notified him about the house. He calmly shook hands with him and nodded for him to continue. But before Hao Tiancheng could speak, a tenant stepped forward and said, Are you a leader or not? Hao Tiancheng was a little surprised. He didn't know why the other person called him over, so he just made a light sound to confirm his identity. These two scammers brought their child here to extort money from the top scholar. Are you going to do something about it? When Hao Tiancheng heard that someone wanted to extort money from Jiang Chuan, he immediately became unhappy. His gaze became serious and his previously casual expression turned solemn. What's going on? Jiang Chuan and Jiang he didn't need to explain. The tenants who had been watching the show on the side explained the situation. Ah, I was also confused for a moment and wrongly accused Jiang Top Scholar. I didn't expect to encounter such shameless relatives, bah. Finally, that tenant made a sarcastic comment and walked away. It looks just like brushing off the dust and leaving, hiding one's achievements and fame. Little did they know that he was the happiest one when he was spraying before. Maybe it's because he's afraid of offending Jiang Chuan, so he wants to make up for it. After listening, Hao Tian Chang looked at Jiang Yuanrong with disdain in his eyes. Xiao Wu, Xiao Yi, come up here. Hao Tian Chang shouted towards the direction of the car. Soon, the two people came up from the car to his front. You guys watch them, I'll notify the people from the Department of Supernatural Abilities to take them away first. Oomph, daring to extort, I see that you're just too happy with your lives. Hao Tiancheng dialed the number of the Department of Supernatural Abilities. Jiang Yuan Rong and his wife, who had already seen the outcome, now had a look of despair. He Sui Mei hated her foolish son even more. If it weren't for him, how could they have ended up like this? People say that they can just deny it to the death. It was because they spoiled him too much that they ended up in this situation. It's useless to say anything now. The man who claimed to be the secretary of the Yeqing city government had already contacted the Department of Supernatural Abilities. What he said was not false. The two of them would have to sit in there for at least a year or two before they could come out. After notifying the Department of Supernatural Abilities to come and arrest them, Zhang Chuan and Hao Tiancheng no longer paid attention to Zhang Yuanrong's family and entered the house. The surrounding tenants, seeing that the big drama had come to an end, left lacklusterly and returned to their rooms. Only the government personnel left to guard the two people and some bored tenants remained at the scene. After entering the door with Zhang Chuan, Hao Tiancheng did not continue further. Instead, he went straight to the point and said, Mr. Zhang, the government arranged community has been set up and you can move in now. Zhang Chuan was taken aback, then agreed, Okay, let me pack up and move tomorrow. All right, Mr. Zhang, we will send a driver to pick you up at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Hao Tianchang respectfully said, and after finishing, he prepared to leave. Secretary Hao, why don't you stay and have some tea before you leave? Zhang Chuan felt a little embarrassed that the other party had come all the way for such a small matter. No, there are still two people outside that I need to deal with. Don't worry, the result of the handling will definitely satisfy Mr. Jiang. Hao Tianchang smiled and responded. Not only did he come to visit for a small matter, but he also helped him deal with a little trouble. Well, now Jiang Chuan felt even more embarrassed. But since Hao Tiancheng said so, Jiang Chuan naturally wouldn't insist on keeping him and could only let him leave. Yay, Xia Quanzi, we finally have our own house. Jiang He exclaimed excitedly, clinging to Jiang Chuan's shoulder. That's my house. What do you mean we? Jiang Chuan gave a heroic answer. Sure enough, Jiang He was unhappy as soon as she heard it, and directly bit Jiang Chuan's neck with her mouth. His, your awakened talent is sucking blood, right? Stop biting, I can even give you half of the house. Although Jiang Chuan's neck didn't hurt at all, and he could even feel the wonderful touch of the beautiful girl's soft little tongue, he still pretended to be weak, making Jiang Yi happy. Oomph, letting you have it all to yourself. Jiang Yi pouted and ran to the side to play with her phone and watch TV. Wake up, the sun is already shining, hurry up and tidy up your clothes. The next day, Jiang Yi urged Jiang Chuan to get up early in the morning. Jiang Chuan looked at the time, 6.30. Goodness, even the donkeys produced by the farm aren't as diligent as you. In the past, Jiang Yi wouldn't get out of bed until 8 or 9 o'clock. Because they didn't have much luggage, there was no rush to pack. They got up in the morning, tidied up a bit, and were ready by 7 o'clock. Jiang Yi, why did you wake me up so early in the morning? Jiang Chuan was very unhappy. He was disturbed in the middle of his beautiful dream. Jiang Yi blinked her innocent big eyes, looked at him with a pitiful and innocent gaze, instantly making him lose his temper. He could only accompany Jiang Yi to play games to pass the time. Knock knock. At 8 o'clock, there was a timely knock on the door. Two government workers helped them carry their bags downstairs. During this period, only landlord Lao Wu came out with his eldest son to see Jiang Chuan off. 
The other tenants were probably still feeling embarrassed about what happened yesterday. Zhang Chuan didn't mind. In these three years, he had almost never left his home. To be honest, he wasn't very familiar with the neighbors here either. Xiao Zhang, it's time to go. This is the extra rent for this month, you can take it. Lao Wu walked up and took out a red envelope from his pocket, which was about the same thickness as a month's rent. Zhang Chuan pushed it back, you have taken care of me a lot these years, so you can keep this. I'm moving out early. If you really mind, you can leave the house for me for a month. If I leave anything behind, I can come back and get it. Lao Wu could tell that Zhang Chuan was being polite to him. There wasn't much luggage for the two of them, so what could be left behind? But if the other party didn't accept it, he couldn't do anything about it, so he put away the red envelope. Well, Lao Wu, I'll be leaving now. I'll come back to see you when I have time. Lao Wu was the only one who came out to see Zhang Chuan off, so he waved goodbye solemnly and got into the luxury car arranged by the municipal government to pick him up. Boom, with the muffled sound of the engine, the luxury car gradually drove away. Watching Zhang Chuan leave, Lao Wu couldn't hide his envy. Sitting in the luxury car, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but sigh, the efficiency of the government is really high. They only notified us about moving yesterday, and it was all done in the afternoon. That's right. They even specially invited a few powerful warriors with psychic abilities to help renovate your house. They used high-quality, formaldehyde-free new paint for the materials. The driver in front and Zhang Chuan chatted away. In Tenglong community, there were already a group of people waiting at the entrance after 8 o'clock. They were all well-dressed and looked like important figures. The owners in the community, when they saw this group of people while taking a walk, started speculating. There are so many people welcoming them, they all look a bit familiar. Isn't that Director Hong from the Education Bureau? Secretary Hao is here too. I wonder who the VIP is that deserves such a grand reception. I'm really looking forward to it. As a high-end community in the city center, the residents of Tinglong community were mostly influential figures. Naturally, many people recognized the leaders of the Yechen government standing at the entrance, whom they had often interacted with. At this moment, they were also very curious about who was worthy of such a lineup. Oh, Lao Jin, why do you have time to come to Tinglong community today? Xia Sun was taking a walk in the community with his son and saw Jin Baokai at the entrance, smiling. Hello, Uncle Jin. Xia Yuan, who was following behind Xia Sun, politely greeted him. Lao Xia, what are you doing here? Xiao Yuan did very well in the college entrance examination this time. Thank you for your praise, Uncle Jin. Xia Yuan smiled brightly, not becoming arrogant because of his good exam results. You're too kind, Lao Jin. But why is everyone gathered here? Lao Yang asked curiously. Among the group of people, besides Jin Baokai, he also saw Secretary Hao and Director Hong from the Education Bureau. There were also some high-level officials from the Yechen government, these were people he rarely saw. Many of them were also the people he wanted to curry favor with. After all, the body cultivation hall was still involved in some injury incidents. If they were blamed from above, his body cultivation hall would have to close down. You'll know soon enough. Jean Baokai smiled mysteriously. With so many high-level officials welcoming them, could it be that someone important from the province had come? If he could establish a relationship, wouldn't his future be even brighter? Even if it wasn't a leader from the province, it would definitely be a good thing to be able to make connections. Xia Sun, seeing his old friend teasing him, also couldn't resist his curiosity and didn't leave. Instead, like most people, he stood still and waited. Dad, you guys wait here. I'll go back first. I still need to fill out my university application. Xia Yuan said, after receiving his father's approval, he nodded goodbye to Principal Jean, goodbye, Uncle Jean. Yesterday, the exam results were released, and before I had a chance to choose a university, my father took me out for a feast to celebrate. Early in the morning, my father woke me up again, and now my college choices are still pending. Now that everything is over, I should go back and appreciate my achievements, and also select a university. Just then, a Mercedes-Benz stopped in front of everyone. Zhang Chuan and Jiang He had just gotten out of the car, and they were greeted by Director Hong Tao of the Education Bureau and Secretary Hao Tiancheng of the Municipal Government. Mr. Jiang, have you arrived? Let's go take a look at the villa now. Jiang, our Education Bureau has prepared cultivation resources for you in the villa. You can go and check them out later. Come, let's quickly get some people to help Mr. Jiang move his luggage to be 14. Zhang Chuan and Zhang He walked towards the house prepared by the government under the escort of high-ranking officials. The surrounding property owners were very puzzled. Are the leaders from the province all this young now? Could it be that they are descendants of some big family coming to experience life in our city? Otherwise, why would there be so many leaders from the city? 
I think I saw this young man somewhere before, but I can't remember. Looking at the quickly disappearing figure, everyone was confused. Even though they were not clear about the government's promotion mechanism, they knew that most leaders in the province valued seniority rather than just ability. And they had also seen provincial leaders before, who were generally in their 40s or 50s, with a moderate and introverted temperament. They couldn't tell anything from their appearance. But the person who was taken away was too young. They were dumbfounded, and Xie Sun was even more confused. Was that person Jiang Chuan? Yes. Yes. It's really the god of Chuan. Xia Yuan was excited to see his benefactor. Two months ago, after fighting Jiang Chuan in the arena, Xia Yuan was like a changed person. He no longer went out to play with other friends, nor was he proud of his strength at the fifth stage of awakening. He started to work hard and cultivate. Later, with the strength of awakening to the eighth stage, he achieved an ideal result in the secret realm. Originally, his goal was to defeat Jiang Chuan, but after watching Jiang Chuan's video and learning that he had cleared the purgatory difficulty level instance, Xia Yuan changed his attitude. Like many younger students, he started calling Jiang Chuan the god of Chuan, because it was him who changed himself and made him no longer arrogant. Jiang Chuan? Su Yu, the provincial top scorer, Jiang Chuan. When the people around heard this name, they were all shocked. The top scorer. As long as he doesn't fall in the instance, he will definitely become a powerful figure in the future. Such a talented person can only establish a good relationship while they are still growing, otherwise, in the future, they won't even spare a glance at you. Soon, the property owners disperse like birds and beasts, each going home to prepare gifts and get ready to visit Villa B14. Jiang Chuan is the provincial top scorer? Of course, I have a close relationship with him because I was beaten by him. Can I be mistaken? Xia Yuan seemed to always hold his head high like a proud rooster, as if this was something worth being proud of. Xia Sen felt a sense of emotion. Three months ago, he was just a newly awakened kid. Three months later, the other party had already become the provincial top scorer. This kind of legendary story that only exists in novels was truly magical. But when he thought about how Jiang Chuan went from being a junior trainer to a senior trainer in just one month, enduring 10 rounds of internal competition beatings every day, he fell silent again. This was the honor he deserved. Just like now, even Xie Sun himself had only managed to buy a small high-rise in Zone with a down payment. Jiang Chuan, on the other hand, had already received a government-rewarded villa in Zone B. Dad, what are you still thinking about? Hurry up and prepare things to go there. If we're late, we won't be able to get in, do you believe me? Xia Yuan excitedly pushed his father, snapping him out of his daze. Reminded by his son, Xia Sun didn't dare to delay and quickly headed towards their home direction. Zhang Chuan and Zhang he arrived in front of Villa B14 under the leadership of a leader. Mr. Zhou, this is the villa the government has given you. Hao Tianchang made a gesture of invitation, allowing Zhang Chuan and Zhang he to take the lead, while he introduced from behind, this villa has three floors in total, with a private garden and a private swimming pool. The underground garage and basement are combined, the second floor is for trainers and entertainment, and the top floor also has outdoor facilities. Adding up these few floors, it has a total space of nearly 1,200 square meters. Zhang Chuan and Zhang he exchanged glances. Then the two carefully examined this large villa with a relaxed yellow and white theme. This is their home, no longer needing to live in crowded apartments. Nearly 1,200 square meters. Zhang he's eyes lit up. With such a large area, and in the Tinglong community, the house price is at least over 10 million. Stepping into the villa, more than 10 password boxes were neatly arranged in front of Jiang Chuan. Hong Tao stepped forward and said, These are the sea level cultivation resources prepared for you by the Education Bureau. They are all strictly configured according to the standards. Jiang, you can count them on the spot. Jiang Chuan quickly waved his hand and said, No need, no need. Originally, these were all gifts from the government, and even a small amount was a gesture of goodwill. Who would open the boxes on the spot? What if something goes wrong and it causes trouble with the government? No one would do such a foolish thing. Well then, Mr. Joe, all the things arranged by the government are here. We won't disturb you anymore. We wish you a happy life. By the way, if there is anything urgent when you arrive at Bingyuan University, you can always find our municipal government. We will always be your strongest backing. Hao Tianchang respectfully said, and his body instinctively began to walk towards the door. The leaders behind him did not stay for long either, and they walked out of the villa together. Zhang Chuan watched as the group of people left in a grand manner, disappearing from sight. Phew, they finally left. It's the first time I've seen so many high-level officials from the government. I was really nervous. Zhang He patted her chest, which was beginning to take shape, and said, 
Relaxed, she walked around, suddenly surprised, wow, this is the latest 4D motion sensing game console. It's much more fun than the one you had before. This kind of console is extremely expensive. They didn't have the money before, so Zhang Chuan and Zhang He didn't buy it. Unexpectedly, this villa is equipped with one. It fulfilled Jiang He's vision of a gaming girl's enjoyment. Zhang Chuan looked at her helplessly, shook his head, and walked around the various rooms, getting familiar with the environment. After completing a circle, Zhang Chuan returned to the hall. Looking at the dozen or so small treasure chests neatly arranged in front of him, Zhang Chuan curiously opened them. The information bracelet quickly gave the results of the item identification, primary qi recovery potion, primary blood coagulation potion, strength endurance potion, mental endurance potion. Most of them were recovery type items, and there were also several endurance potions that increased their own attributes. These are disposable items, each person can only use one, they are strengthening potions that can increase their four-dimensional attributes. However, the increase is very limited, usually around three to five attribute points. For Jiang Chuan, these things can only be considered as icing on the cake, they have no practical use. The main reason is that there is not a single physique potion among them. As for Jiang Chuan, the recovery potions are also useless. The effect is similar to the blue raspberry and red blood fruit before, and the taste is probably not as good as the two fruits. He still has the Qi Pearl to store Qi for future use out of long-term consideration. Zhang Chuan did not directly absorb the Qi from the Pearl to improve his cultivation. However, just because it's useless for him doesn't mean it's useless for Xiao He He. It just so happens that he can show off in front of Xiao He He with these things. Ahem. Zhang Chuan coughed lightly twice to attract Zhang He's attention, but now the beautiful girl was playing the 4D game and naturally ignored him. This made him feel a little embarrassed, so he directly unplugged Zhang He's internet cable leaving the beautiful girl feeling frustrated. What are you doing? Zhang He didn't mean to start a fight, but her tone was particularly similar. Zhang Chuan pulled her in front of a pile of password boxes and said, Xiao He He, I'm giving all of these to you. He deliberately showed a somewhat distressed expression on his face, because these resources for cultivation were considered valuable for martial artists. Zhang He would definitely feel embarrassed to accept them. Zhang Chuan had to find a way to convince her to accept them. Zhang He looked puzzled, her eyebrows raised and lowered, are you willing to give them away? What are you saying? Right now, the most important thing is to improve your physical fitness. Zhang Chuan still looked somewhat pained. Zhang He could tell from his expression that these things were useful to Zhang Chuan, but he was willing to give them up. If Zhang Chuan had a nonchalant attitude about giving them to her, it would make her feel uneasy, as if she was taking advantage of him. But this kind of exchange, where Zhang Chuan put in effort and she accepted, was something she was happy to see, she wouldn't let Zhang Chuan's kindness go to waste. It's like some people enjoy freeloading, but others feel uncomfortable after freeloading and always want to give something back to make up for it. Zhang He was the type who felt uncomfortable after freeloading, even with Zhang Chuan. Although these things were not really useful to Zhang Chuan, he still showed a look of take them, but remember to return them. This kind of exchange was what Zhang He could accept. Zhang Chuan, who understood Zhang He, had long stood on the fifth floor. Wow, strength endurance potions, and mental endurance potions. When I enter university, I must test my four-dimensional attributes. For normal martial artists, these potions can significantly enhance their abilities. Especially for someone like Zhang He, who didn't have much capital, ordinary awakeners couldn't afford to consume resources to improve themselves. Just like the awakening potions Zhang Chuan wanted to get before, they could only slightly improve one's talent, and these auxiliary potions, which seemed like empty promises, cost 100,000 each. However, Jiang Chuan's need for potions was not as great now. You should absorb these endurance potions in the next few days. Tomorrow, I'll help you find a spatial bracelet to store the remaining supplies. And these two pieces of equipment, you should keep them too. Jiang Chuan handed Jiang He the python skin set that he had never given away before. He also showed her the attributes of the two pieces of equipment. When Zhang He touched the smooth python skin set and saw its attributes, stars appeared in her eyes. You're giving me such a good set? Zhang He's voice noticeably rose, more excited than when she received various potions. Because this intermediate level equipment provided a significant boost. It could even activate a double attribute bonus. In actual combat, this could be the key to victory. Zhang Chuan put on the newly acquired beast armor, which emitted an orange glow that felt heavy. Clap clap. Zhang Chuan patted his armor twice and disdainfully said, Look at those two girly equipment in your hands, can they match up to my manly armor? Zhang He looked at Zhang Chuan, then looked at the two clearly mismatched equipment in her hands. She swallowed her saliva and gave a thumbs up, saying, Indeed, they don't match. So, she happily accepted the python skin set that Zhang Chuan gave her. Ding, 
The municipal government of Yi City has initiated a transfer of 1 million 00 to your Suyu bank account ending in 9527. Please check. Ding, the Education Bureau of Yi City has initiated a transfer of 5 million 00 to your Suyu bank account ending in 9527. Please check. The sound of a notification came from the phone. Zhang Chuan opened it and saw that it was a bonus from the government and the Education Bureau. The efficiency of the government is really high, Zhang Chuan exclaimed with satisfaction. With his current assets, plus the original 3 million and the current house, he had already surpassed 20 million. Although Zhang Chuan is not a money lover, who would complain about having too much money? Ding dong! The doorbell rang, and Zhang Chuan and Zhang He, who had just divided the stolen goods, looked at each other. Obviously, it wasn't them who ordered takeout. Hello, I'm your neighbor Lin Jichao. I just saw new people move in, so I came over to say hello. Then a relatively ordinary voice came from outside the door, belonging to the category that is neither pleasant nor unpleasant to hear. Zhang Chuan turned on the camera, and a man in casual clothes stood at the door, about 30 years old. Hello. Zhang Chuan responded politely from inside the house. The neighbor also noticed the presence of the camera and smiled brightly in that direction. Shaking his head, Zhang Chuan decided to open the door. The other party came over, obviously knowing their identities. He wasn't afraid of being bothered by others, as he was about to start school soon. Opening the door was purely to get to know each other and become familiar. The other party only chatted with him casually for a few sentences before saying goodbye. Later, many similar villa residents came to visit. These people were all shrewd and naturally understood the principle of no free lunch, so they just briefly visited and left. After sending away several waves of people, Zhang Chuan heard a familiar voice. Zhang, congratulations on becoming the top scorer in the Suyu province. Thank you, Director Xia. What are you doing here? Zhang Chuan raised an eyebrow and smiled. Meeting an acquaintance in the Tinglong community made Zhang Chuan genuinely happy. I moved to this community with my family. I just saw an old friend at the door and chatted for a bit. I happened to see you coming in, so I came to visit. Xia Sen truthfully answered Zhang Chuan's question and handed him a red envelope. At that time, Zhang Chuan didn't even notice Director Xia amidst the crowd of government officials. Chuan. Chuan Ji, long time no see. Xia Yuan was also a little nervous. Thinking back to his arrogant and domineering appearance two and a half months ago, he felt a bit ashamed. How could he have clashed with the future top scorer back then? He really didn't know his own limits. But in a sense, he seemed to be a winner too, right? After all, who could spar with the top scorer? He, Xia Yuan, did it. Come in. Zhang Chuan gestured to invite him in and pushed back Xia Sun's red envelope with his other hand. Xia Yuan entered the villa without much insight and exclaimed, this place is really luxurious, Zhang He, seeing that there was a guest, elegantly took a glass of water and placed it on the coffee table, looking like a hostess. She didn't recognize her classmate, Xia Yuan, and his eyes widened when he saw Zhang He. He didn't expect Zhang Chuan to move in with the goddess Zhang so quickly. If those who secretly admired her found out, who knows how many young boys' hearts would be broken again. But the college entrance examination was already over, and they no longer had a chance. After all, Zhang He had been admitted to Bingyuan University, a top university that many students from Yeqing know. One middle school could only dream of. After insisting for a while, Xia Sen took back the red envelope under Zhang Chuan's firm attitude. Not holding onto his eldest son, seeing that the owner of the villa didn't show any change in expression, he felt relieved and let him go. When his son hadn't gone far, Xia Sen, burdened with the responsibility of being a father, chatted, I said, why haven't you been to the martial arts gym these days? Xia Sun's gaze swept over Zhang Chuan, glanced at the furnishings inside the house, and felt deeply moved. Three months ago, the young man in front of him was probably penniless, but three months later, he had already moved into the Tinglong community. You should know that Xia Sun had worked hard for half his life and had just saved enough money for the whole family to move here. And they were only in the A-zone high-rise, while Zhang Chuan was already living in the B-zone mansion. Luxurious interior, spacious outdoor entertainment facilities, and even the 4D game projection equipment that Xie Yuan had begged for a long time but couldn't bear to buy for him. All the furnishings displayed the luxury and generosity of the government. Xia Sun couldn't help but envy. So, the college entrance examination can really change a person's life. This is also the best opportunity to prove one's own value. Seeing his own son go far away, Xie Sun put away his baggage and cautiously said, I heard that the top scorer is a candidate named Zhang Chuan, I didn't expect it to be you, brother Zhang Xiesen no longer had the demeanor of a boss in front of Zhang Chuan, but instead seemed a bit restrained. This made Zhang Chuan a little uncomfortable. When he was a training partner at the gym before, although Xiesen was relatively humble and reasonable towards him, 
at most he was just a little nicer to him than the other training partners. Now, in front of him, he seemed afraid of saying the wrong thing, and his tone became a bit stiff. Brothers yeah, let's be more casual between us. Even if I become the top scorer in the province, I will still be the same Jiang Chuan as before, never changed. You don't have to be so nervous, I still prefer the way you were when you were my boss. Jiang Chuan couldn't help but smile, changing his address and slightly narrowing the gap between them. It also made it clear that they are no longer superior and subordinate. Xia Sun laughed, look at the people you've been in contact with, they're all big leaders in the city. I can't help but be nervous. When he said this, Xia Sun's tone was obviously smoother. When he was in difficulties before, he had seen all kinds of faces. He even had relatives who had received his help, but after they became successful, they would put on airs in front of him. These were all things he had personally experienced. But from the current situation, Jiang Chuan is still the same Jiang Chuan. He used to be confident and successful in front of him, relying on his performance and hard work to outshine many of his peers. It made it impossible for Xie Sun to find any faults in him. Now he still has that youthful spirit, and Xie Sun even feels his eyes getting a little moist. He seems to see his younger self, of course, this is just a kind of resonance, not to say that he and Jiang Chuan are alike in all aspects. As the director of the gym, he interacts with many people on a daily basis and naturally knows how to find topics to chat about. Xie Sun entered Jiang Chuan's villa, sat on the sofa, and had a pleasant conversation with Jiang Chuan. You have to report to the Icefield University on July 15th? Isn't the school supposed to start in early September? Xie Sun was surprised to hear the start date, after all, they had just finished the college entrance examination, and no student would want to relax a bit. We are special admissions students, we need to report early. Jiang Chuan honestly explained. Then what about this house? The main campus of Icefield University is quite far from Yecheng. Xie Sun worried for Jiang Chuan. Isn't Icefield University in Yecheng? Seeing Xie Sun shaking his head, Jiang Chuan was confused. He had never inquired about the specific location of top universities. He chose universities based on what would benefit Jiang He. He immediately opened the map on his phone and checked the location, falling into silence. The main campus of Icefield University is located in Linnan City, the provincial capital of Suyu Province. If driving normally, it would take nearly two days to get there. Seeing this, Jiang Chuan pondered for a moment, holding his chin, and suggested, if possible, I was thinking we could find someone to regularly clean and take care of the house. I'm not very comfortable giving the keys to someone else. So I have to trouble brother Xie to take care of it, if it's not inconvenient? Although Lu Xianya said she could come back if there was an emergency, she definitely wouldn't have nothing to do while studying at the top Icefield University in the country. And now that Xie Sen mentioned that the main campus of Icefield University is a bit far from Yeqing, Zhang Chuan finally realized. It was Lu Xianya who said it was close. She's a powerful King Realm expert. Is her journey from the main campus to Yeqing comparable to others? Of course, compared to other top universities, Icefield University is indeed the closest to Yecheng. Hearing that Zhang Chuan needed his help, Xie Sen clapped his hands and readily said, of course it's convenient. I promise to keep every corner of Brother Zhang's villa spotless. Zhang Chuan made this decision simply because he couldn't find anyone in Yi City who had more contact with Director Xie. Just kidding, they've been paid for three months. As for why Jiang Chuan trusts Director Xie and wouldn't casually enter his villa, firstly, they live in the same neighborhood, so they have a common background. Secondly, Director Xie has a decent character, he has never delayed the payment of any training staff for three months. The most important thing is that there are surveillance cameras outside his house, so if someone stays inside for too long, it will trigger an alarm. Having such a good boss, asking him for help to clean the house, seems like no problem, right? After finalizing the arrangements, Jiang Chuan sent the father and son, Xie San and Xie Yuan, out of his villa. Brother Xie, when I leave, I'll hand the keys over to you. Please take care of cleaning my house. Jiang Chuan naturally entrusted this honorable task to him. Okay, Jiang brother, if it's not convenient at that time, just give me a call and I'll let Xia Yuan come to pick it up. Xie Sin and Xie Yuan were naturally happy to hear this. Jiang Chuan needed their help. What does that mean? It represents the goodwill of a top scholar. Although they were only asked to clean, small favors have their benefits. Accumulating small favors helps to strengthen relationships. They won't stop interacting just because the task is done. Xia Sun has seen enough of being treated as a tool. When the top scholar officially grows up, the rewards he gives may be something they never dared to imagine. After Xie Sin and his son left, Zhang Chuan checked the time. It was already noon, time for lunch. He estimated that no one would come to visit at this time, so he simply turned off the doorbell. The next step was the enjoyable mealtime, even if someone came, they wouldn't be able to find them. 
After finishing the meal, Jiang Chuan checked the date. There was still some time before he joined the academy. He had indulged himself for several days, but even Jiang Chuan wouldn't slack off forever. He suddenly remembered the training room provided by the government. He went upstairs. Dumbbells, gravity chambers, treadmills, all kinds of equipment were available. There was also a device on the wall, the building protection device. It was developed by awakened individuals with barrier-type auxiliary talents combined with modern technology. Its purpose was to minimize the damage caused by training after activation. Zhang Chuan activated the device, took out the red flame blade, and looked at the red-orange patterns on it, shaking it a few times. It weighed about 30 kilograms. However, with the strength provided by the equipment, Zhang Chuan found it relatively easy to swing. The only problem was that the swinging trajectory was chaotic and looked somewhat ridiculous to outsiders. Host detected engaging in independent training, daily mission activated. Daily mission, swing the blade 3000 times every day, continue for 7 days to receive rewards. Reward, a small amount of armor value or a skill book. Today swings, 0 out of 3000, days completed, 0 slash 7, Zhang Chuan? Just casually playing around and it triggered a system mission? What about the beatings I received before? Weren't they considered training? But Jiang Chuan didn't dwell on this point. Instead, he thought about the mission requirements. Swing the blade 3,000 times every day? Jiang Chuan casually swung it a few times, but the number of swings didn't increase. Then he held the blade with both hands and made vertical and diagonal chops, with powerful and vigorous movements, which were commendable. The system only added two swings for him. So this is actually a very strict blade swinging judgment? He couldn't help but laugh and cry. He thought he could get rewards just by fooling around, but the system started taking it seriously. It just so happened that Zhang Chuan also needed to familiarize himself with the weapon in his hand. He had always fought barehanded before, so using a knife for the first time was unfamiliar to him. In real combat, a knife definitely had advantages over fists. Not to mention that the weapons in Zhang Chuan's hands can also be infused with fire element which has an additional damage bonus against human defense equipment such as vine armor. Zhang Chuan gripped the knife, his breath suddenly condensed, and he began his training. After standardizing the requirements for wielding the knife, even with the power of the crimson flame blade, Zhang Chuan felt muscle soreness after swinging it 2,000 times. The subsequent swings were a bit distorted, but fortunately, the system judged his training as qualified. After swinging it 3,000 times, Zhang Chuan felt that his arm was no longer his own. Despite using a weapon for the first time, Zhang Chuan did not want to give up, but rather felt a little excited. Because his proficiency with the Crimson Flame Blade significantly improved after swinging it 3,000 times. This is the advantage of high armor, his body has strong muscle memory. Practicing like Zhang Chuan, ordinary students may have to persist for a couple of months before they can get the hang of it, but Zhang Chuan only took 3,000 swings. In total, it only took a few hours. After a short rest, Zhang Chuan's body quickly recovered to its peak state under the healing of the Holy Shield. July 15, 5 p.m., 2998, 2999, 3000. Zhang Chuan held the Crimson Flame Blade, infused it with spiritual energy to activate the equipment's active skill, and a fire snake spun in the air, leaving behind a beautiful flame shadow. The surrounding air was distorted by the high temperature of the flames. The scene was magnificent. But with just this one move, Zhang Chuan directly consumed 10% of his spiritual energy. Zhang Chuan put away the crimson flame blade and took a deep breath. The spiritual energy required to trigger elemental attacks with a weapon is incomparable to that of awakened individuals with elemental talents. Just this one move already consumed so much of Zhang Chuan's spiritual energy. However, the damage it could cause was also considerable. A large gap appeared on the barrier on the wall, which was the best proof. Although it was only a low-level barrier, it could withstand the full force of a third or fourth tier warrior's strike. Jian Chuan was satisfied with being able to achieve this level without the support of attack power. Now that he had finished training, his arms no longer felt the soreness they did during the first training session. With increased proficiency, his sword swings were now smooth and fluid. Taking advantage of this training period, he also studied a few sets of ordinary combos learned from watching TV. Actually, Zhang Chuan was well aware that his skills were insufficient compared to true experts. But at this moment, he was very excited because his 7 days of training had officially paid off. Ding! Daily mission completed. Please choose your reward, host. Reward 120 armor points, reward 2, a book on knife skills, a level, Zhang Chuan saw these two rewards and didn't hesitate at all. He had already experienced the joy of armor growth for a long time. So, he chose the skill book. With various enhancements, Zhang Chuan already had strong attack power, so his demand for armor was not that strong. 
His current state was having powerful armor and attack, but lacking in additional means. This was also one of the drawbacks of relying on physical armor. He could only rely on ordinary sword swings for attacks and had no additional attack methods. While armor was good, converting it to 20 attack points was not cost effective at all compared to a skill book. Moreover, this was an A-level skill book. Just like talents, skill books also have a ranking system, with SSS level skills being the strongest and terrifying in effect. After witnessing Lu Xian's talent, Zhang Chuan's concept of SSS level had completely changed. In this world, higher tier things were completely mind-blowing existences, whether it was skill books, equipment, or talents. Even if the effect of an A-level skill book was poor, it would definitely be more cost-effective than 20 armor points. After making the choice, a red scroll appeared in front of Zhang Chuan. A-level skill book, 5 Blades of Madness. Mad Blood 5 Blades, A-level knife technique when the owner possesses a knife, they can use spiritual energy to stimulate the intensity of their blood and chi, unleashing 5 deadly slashes. Each slash increases damage by 10%, continuously increasing, with the 5th slash increasing damage by 80%. Note, after using the knife technique, the user will enter a weakened state, the duration of which is determined by the user's physical condition. Zhang Chuan's eyes lit up as he read the skill introduction for Mad Blood 5 Blades. The 5th slash can increase damage by a whopping 80%. Truly worthy of being an A-level skill book. Zhang Chuan's Flame Thorn Wind can only increase damage by 20% under the bonus of Fire Elemental Damage. With the support of Shield Attack, this move will allow Zhang Chuan to unleash an attack that is 180% stronger than his maximum potential. While this skill may be a simple damage amplifier in the hands of others, in Zhang Chuan's hands, it can become a nuclear explosion of damage. In a situation where no one knows his trump card, Zhang Chuan's fifth slash with Shield Attack, combined with 3 minutes of true man, might even be able to kill a high-level warrior with equipment. Of course, this is only Jiang Chuan's assessment of his own combat power. The specific situation will only be known when he encounters other high-level martial artists. At least for now, if Jiang Chuan encounters Zhou Hong, he might only need shield attack combined with the first slash of mad blood to resolve the battle. Jiang Chuan tried to use mad blood 5 blades, and the first 4 slashes were almost effortless, but the 5th slash drained all his strength. His heart tightened as he personally experienced the side effects of this skill. The weakened state felt like receiving consecutive punishments three or four times. This conclusion was reached based on Jiang Chuan's relatively good physical condition. If someone else were to use it, they would probably already be lying on the ground like a dead dog. The Holy Shield's healing power has been nurturing Jiang Chuan's body, but in the absence of injuries, its recovery of the weakened state can only be considered passable. Ding! Jiang Chuan's phone rang with a notification sound. Lu Xianya, report to school tomorrow. Pack your things early. Zhang Chuan was slightly stunned when he saw teacher Xianya's message. He quickly checked the date and realized that it was already the 15th. Thinking about his hard training during this period, indeed, time flies when you're not slacking off, received. After replying to the message, Zhang Chuan walked out of the training room. Zheng He was lying on the sofa, watching TV. The slightly raised hem of her nightgown revealed her fair and tender skin. Her crystal clear legs were raised and swayed slowly, indicating that she was in a good mood. Zhang Chuan only glanced at her briefly, enjoying the sight, and said in surprise, I didn't expect little Hee Hee to like watching SpongeBob SquarePants. What's wrong? Can't I watch SpongeBob SquarePants? Zhang Hee tilted her head, looking puzzled. Nothing, I just thought you would prefer watching dramas and those young actors. Zhang Chuan gave a thumbs up, but Zhang Hee responded with an eye roll. She didn't even bother to answer him. Remember to organize your clothes tonight. We're going to report to school tomorrow. After a brief chat with Zhang He, Zhang Chuan brought up the main topic. I already knew that. Big sister has already informed me. Zhang He reached into the gap between her waist and the sofa and took out her phone, shaking it in front of Zhang Chuan after opening Lu Ran's message. Zhang Chuan quickly glanced at it, raised an eyebrow, and thought to himself, this is obviously a mass message from Lu Ran, so official. Unlike mine, even if it's just text, it reflects the authority of a school principal. Zhang He didn't have much to do this week, she couldn't do much before the curse was sealed. Besides absorbing a few enhancement potions and adapting to the strength training room for a while, every day was a time for slacking off. She was full of enthusiasm for the new game equipment in her new home and couldn't put it down. A pure internet addicted girl. Looking at her current appearance, she seems a bit tired from playing. The two of them don't actually have much luggage, it's similar to when they moved from Chaoyang community before. They even have two fewer boxes. They basically live on campus at Bingyuan University and won't come back home. So they simply left the extra clothes at home and will buy new ones when they arrive at the university, saving the effort of moving them. 
Jiang Chuan has also finished his seven-day sword training, so he decided to stay and play games with Jiang He for a little while. The next day, at nine o'clock in the morning, a Mercedes-Benz entered Tinglong community. On the way back home after returning the keys, Jiang Chuan and Jiang He saw Lu Ran sitting in the car. The two of them followed closely and returned to their villa, B14. Jiang Chuan moved their two suitcases onto the car and they set off together for Bingyuan University. Lu Ran was a bit surprised, you two only have two suitcases? Yes, is there a problem? Jiang Chuan asked in confusion. Lu Ran silently shook her head, Jiang Chuan let it go, but Jiang He didn't even have much luggage. Thinking back to when she entered university, she had so much luggage. A box of cosmetics, a box of daily necessities, and several boxes of clothes. She thought that even if the two of them didn't have much luggage, it would be similar to her previous self, so she specially called a car with a larger capacity. If she had known earlier, she wouldn't have wasted so much effort and could have just driven her sports car to pick them up. Sitting in the car, Lu Ran turned her head and asked, Is this your first time going on a trip? The two people in the back seat nodded in unison. Jiang Chuan didn't need to say anything, he had always lived alone, whether it was his previous self or his current self, he didn't have the opportunity to go outside. He hadn't even set foot in the neighboring city. For his previous self, just being alive was a kind of luck. Then you might feel a bit uncomfortable later, it's your first time using a teleportation array. Lu Ran said helplessly, teleportation array? Aren't we taking a plane or something? Jiang Chuan was confused. Previously, under Xie Sun's reminder, Jiang Chuan learned that Bingyuan University was not located in Yecheng. It would take about two to three days to drive to Linnan City where Bingyuan University was located. But taking a plane would only take a few hours. And using a teleportation array was too extravagant. As a country with strong infrastructure, Hongxia has teleportation arrays for convenient travel in various regions. However, the initial purpose of establishing teleportation arrays was for supporting and delivering weapons. How could they be used for going to school? Previously, the directors of top universities used teleportation arrays only in special circumstances. Everyone was working towards cultivating better students to serve Hongxia, and the directors could afford the cost of teleportation. Under these conditions, the various military districts naturally wouldn't say much. Lu Ran glanced at Jiang Chuan and saw ignorance and longing in his eyes. It seemed that this kid really didn't know anything, even Jiang He, who was following behind him, had a naive expression. It was obvious that they weren't related by blood, no wonder their relationship was so good. Two children who haven't seen the world. Lu Ran sighed, but this was normal. Children from non-wealthy families wouldn't go out to the city every day. She patiently explained, if we take a car, it would take too long from Yeqing to Linnan City, at least two days, even if it's a high-speed train, it would still take about a day. Considering that you just finished the college entrance examination and one of you is a top scorer, there are many things to handle. So we'll give you two extra days to rest, and we didn't inform you in advance to report to the school. Taking a plane is possible, but currently, Hongxia is facing internal and external troubles. If we encounter a group of flying monsters, it would be troublesome. The risk is too high, usually only grandmasters would choose to travel by plane. So compared to that, the teleportation array is the fastest and safest way to travel. Jiang Chuan nodded repeatedly as he listened. Yeqing was still too small, there were many things he didn't know. Loran saw that Jiang Chuan was very interested and continued, we have cooperation with Bingda and the military in various places. There is even a branch of ours in Yecheng, so we can use the teleportation array of the Yecheng military district. As they spoke, the car had already left the city center and was heading towards the outskirts. After more than an hour of driving, they finally stopped outside a military area surrounded by electric fences, with awakening troops patrolling everywhere. Luran took out his identification and let the guards inspect it, and they were allowed in. After getting out of the car, Jiang Chuan's attention was quickly drawn to a towering tower that was hundreds of meters tall. It was located several hundred meters away, with a colorful halo flowing at the top. The tower was intricately engraved with runes, and the energy contained within was unimaginable. From the center of the tower, a barrier spread out, covering hundreds of kilometers in all directions, giving a sense of exceptional strength. In the military area, there were as many as eight of these energy towers. What a spectacular sight. I didn't expect the military district to have elemental towers. Jiang Chuan had seen this type of building in his usual reports. They could accommodate hundreds of awakened individuals and gather energy to resist demons. Even if it was an elemental tower formed by a team of warriors, the gathered energy could easily annihilate a low-level Grandmaster Realm Demon. Are you interested in elemental towers? This is just the basic configuration of the military district. 
In the future, you can come to the military district with your seniors to learn more. Many graduates from Bingyuan University have joined the military. Without mentioning anything else, as long as you don't make any major mistakes in the military, the future will definitely be bright. Your talent is more suitable for amplification towers. You'll understand once you learn more in the future. Luran casually mentioned a few words without going into detail with Jiang Chuan. Jiang Yi silently followed behind Jiang Chuan, playing the role of a mute. Soon, under the leadership of the Legion commander, the group entered a facility within the military district. Is this the teleportation array? Jiang Chuan looked at the huge five-star hexagram array on the ground, which contained complex patterns in mysterious runes. It was not known what liquid was used to draw it, but it emitted a faint white light in the dim environment. You can go up now. After the Legion commander finished the operation, he reminded them. Jiang Chuan and the other two walked onto the teleportation platform. This is your first time using the teleportation array, so you might feel a little uncomfortable during the process. It will get better once you arrive. Luran hadn't finished speaking when a bright white light burst from under their feet. Buzz after a deep hum, the three of them disappeared inside the Yecheng Military District Teleportation Array. Suyu Province, the provincial capital city, Linan City. Unlike Yecheng, a small county-level city, Linan City was not just one administrative division under unified management. It was divided into six administrative districts. The northern district was Bailin District. The southern district was Nankai District. The eastern district was Dongyuan District. The western district was Shihan District. There was also the central commercial area, Hahue District, and the southwestern area, a separate university city area under separate management. Bingyuan University, where they were going, was located in the university city. Almost all the well-known universities in Suyu Province were located here. The university city also had a large area, covering a total of 500 square kilometers. Bingyuan University, as one of the top universities in the country, occupied an area of more than 35,000 mu. It directly took over an area as a teaching area. Yecheng no. One middle school, on the other hand, only occupied a few mu of land. These were all information that Jiang Chuan had found online when he was researching Bingyuan University some time ago. Even though he already had a certain concept of the grandeur and magnificence of Bingyuan University in his mind, when Jiang Chuan and Jiang Yi woke up from the dizziness of the teleportation array, they were still amazed by the scene in front of them. Guji Guji, an AR Zha Zha. On the square of the university city, there were people riding huge exotic monsters, looking mighty and domineering. Their splendid armor shone under the sunlight. There were also people surrounded by dense skeletons, indicating that they had summoning talents in the undead field. In the field of vision, various flashy talents and abilities dazzle them. Not only are the special admissions students from the Suyu province gathered here, but also talented individuals from all over the country. Isn't this too exaggerated? Jiang Chuan exclaimed, while Jiang Yi beside him showed no change in expression. This is not just about Icefield University dominating the scene. Besides Icefield University, there are seven other universities in the university city, all of which are ranked in the top 50 in the country. This is the gateway to enter various universities, so it's bustling like this. Of course, the teleportation arrays of all the universities are also established here, which is one of the reasons why it's so popular here. The voice of Lu Ran came from beside Zhang Chuan. He looked around and sure enough, there were more than 20 teleportation arrays like the one under his feet, with white light constantly flickering inside. Awakened individuals from all over the country were constantly being teleported to the square where they were. Let's go. I'll take you to report to Icefield University. Lu Ran took the lead, with Jiang Chuan holding Jiang Yi's hand following behind her. Along the way, Jiang Chuan was full of curiosity about everything. In the previous three months, he either got beaten up or was on the road getting beaten up, with no time to read and understand the knowledge related to this world. Even earlier, Jiang Chuan didn't have the energy, as he had to think about how to not go hungry every day. Fierce beasts, cute creatures, metallic creations. Everything here could attract Jiang Chuan's attention. In addition, he also spotted a girl in the crowd with cat ears, a cat tail, and heterochromatic eyes. A genuine cat girl. Why do I say that? Because her tail moves. It seems that she also has a great interest in this place. The students on this side of the university city are not limited to humans alone. There are also many members of different races who come to study. Our school also has many students and teachers from different races, so when the time comes, don't show any strange looks. Lu Ran kindly reminded them. They had investigated Jiang Chuan's background, and although he didn't have any relatives who died in the beast tide or demon invasion, he had always lived in the human world. 
For humans who have not had contact with different races, it might be a bit difficult to accept. It wasn't the first time they encountered this situation in the university, so she was a bit worried. At this moment, she reminded them to give Jiang Chuan and Jiang He a little psychological preparation, which might be better for them. But the fact is, influenced by the anime and other things from his previous life, he doesn't have any resistance towards this kind of different race bloodline. On the contrary, he has a special appreciation for those who possess bloodlines other than humans. For example, the cat girl from earlier with her beautiful figure, agile tail, and beautiful heterochromatic eyes, all of these are beautiful features that can touch people's hearts. Zhang Chuan nodded and said, it's okay, as long as I can coexist peacefully with humans, my acceptance level is still high. Zhang Chuan knew that there were many beast tides and demon invasions in the human world, but he wouldn't lump all different races together. He still has the ability to distinguish right from wrong. He continued to be curious about the scenery around him that he couldn't see in Yecheng. At the same time, his body occasionally felt powerful auras. Are there many grandmasters among these students? Zhang Chuan suddenly asked. Lu Ran was slightly stunned, seemingly surprised that Zhang Chuan would ask this question. There is a big difference between warriors and grandmasters, and generally, they wouldn't be able to sense each other's presence. How do you know that they have reached the grandmaster realm? However, soon after asking, Lu Ran felt that her approach was a bit inappropriate, after all, it was someone else's secret. She quickly let it go and suggested, you can buy a universal skill called appraisal technique, it's not expensive, as long as the students or teachers whose records are on file can see their level and awaken talents, unless they are hiding it. Its function is similar to the identification wristbands used in the college entrance examination. In general, students who have a little talent will reach the level of a grandmaster after graduating from college. It's not surprising that many of your seniors are in their third or fourth year. As for you top scorers, you will at least reach the level of a feudal lord after graduation. Of course, relying solely on the resources provided by the college won't be enough to achieve that. You still need to work hard on your own. All right, we have arrived. In their conversation with Zhang Chuan, they unknowingly arrived at the entrance of Bingyuan University. It was less than a hundred meters away from the gate. Looking up, they saw a huge gate, 50 meters long and 15 meters high. It was made of solid redwood, with exquisite carvings and a magnificent appearance. In the center of the gate, there were four large sky blue characters. Bingyuan University. The entire font had a crystal-like luster, reflecting colorful light, and was exquisitely crafted. Looking beyond the gate, they could see tall buildings inside the campus. Although it was already past 11 o'clock, there were still many students entering and leaving Bingyuan University. It just wasn't as exaggerated as it was in the square before. There were all kinds of strange and unique outfits, and there were also people riding summoning creatures to enter. No wonder the entrance score for this university was so high. The special admissions students will gather tomorrow. We brought you here today to familiarize yourselves with the environment. The school leaders will announce your training plan later. Oh, one more thing, cash is almost useless at Bingyuan University. Here, resources are exchanged using credits. Whether it's S-level resources or S-level skills, there are all kinds of them. Besides earning credits by ranking on the heaven and earth list, there are many other ways to earn them. You'll have to figure it out on your own. Also, this year's freshman class seems to be the most luxurious lineup in history. Thanks to your senior sister, many top scorers have chosen Bingyuan University this year. Of course, the other special admissions students should not be underestimated either. After all, the college entrance examination is not the only criterion for judging strength. So, after you enroll, try to be more restrained, avoid being arrogant, and don't offend anyone. Luren told Zhang Chuan all this, partly because of her sister's face, and also to inform Jiang He of these rules. Okay, I will pay attention. Zhang Chuan nodded solemnly to reassure her. He was very curious about what kind of existence his senior sister was to attract top scorers to enroll. All right, I'll leave you here. You can see the new student reception area just ahead. The mentors and senior students there will help you with accommodation and other trivial matters. Later, you can go find the principal and ask her to seal Jiang He's talent. As the director of admissions, Luran naturally had her own tasks to attend to. After safely delivering Jiang Chuan and Jiang He, her mission was considered complete, and she had other things to attend to. With a wave of her hand, she turned into ice shards that flew in the air and quickly disappeared in front of Jiang Chuan and Jiang He. Elementalization? Jiang Chuan was a little envious. This was the advantage of having an elemental talent, being able to elementalize. It was the signature ability of a second-level elemental grandmaster and this ability required continuous practice and accumulation. 
Obviously, Lioran's proficiency in elementalization was very high. Let's go, let's go register. After Lu Ran left, Zhang Yi finally opened her mouth and spoke. Then she pulled Zhang Chuan towards the new student reception area. The two of them walked on the school road with their suitcases, attracting many gazes. Wow, look, there's a handsome new student over there. I'm going to pursue her as my school sister this year. No one should compete with me. Hey, little brother, look at me. To be honest, Bingyuan University was really big. If Luran hadn't said that the new student reception area was relatively close to the gate, they would probably have subconsciously walked towards the campus. He could guarantee that at least one of them would get lost, and the other would collapse from exhaustion. Although there weren't many special admissions students at Bingyuan University, there were still 15 new student reception areas set up for them. Zhang Chuan was led by Zhang He to one of the places. When the beautiful and handsome Zhang Chuan, who was pulling a suitcase, was seen by the female senior sister responsible for reception, her eyes lit up. Zhang Yi's white hair also made her stand out, coupled with her stunning appearance, many senior brothers couldn't take their eyes off her. But don't you guys think that guy looks familiar? I feel like I've seen him recently, but I can't remember right now. I think I saw him on that small website. Ah, I remember now, he seems to be the monster who cleared the difficult dungeon in Suyu province, is it true? The top scorer in Suyu province actually came to our Icefield University? With the revelation of Zhang Chuan's identity, their reception point attracted a lot of attention. Everyone looked at the two figures, one tall and one short, and someone confirmed, damn, Zhang Chuan, the top scorer in Suyu province. It's definitely him. I've watched his hundredfold slash of the fire gods ring countless times, he's so cool. Compared to the video, he seems even more handsome in real life. Of course, in the video, he had just been besieged and looked a bit embarrassed, now he's the top scorer in real life. Suddenly, there were exclamations all around. Icefield University has nearly 6,000 students, many of whom are from Suyu province, mostly locals of Linnan City. Many people have heard of Jiang Chuan, who relied on his talent as a meat armor and his non-tank-like combat power to become the top scorer in this year's examination. Even if they really didn't know him, most of them have watched videos of Jiang Chuan clearing dungeons. Now that he appeared at the registration point of Icefield University, it already indicated that he had decided to join their university. Wow, I just registered as the second place in our province. Wow, isn't that both the first and second place from Suyu province coming to our school? This is going to be interesting. Isn't the second place the young master of the Yin family? He actually came to our school? Didn't he go to a higher ranked university? Why are you talking like that? Our school's mentors are also very powerful. Before the release of the college entrance examination results, everyone thought that the top scorer would be Yen Pengcheng, a student from a key high school in Linnan City. Yen Pengcheng came from an awakened family, both his parents were high-level martial artists, and their talents had already reached the third transformation. He himself also inherited his parents' excellent bloodline and awakened an S-level talent. When he participated in the college entrance examination, his true strength had reached the third stage of a warrior, with extremely powerful combat power, he was truly the child of other people's families, as parents would say. However, when the final rankings came out, he was actually six minutes slower than Zhang Chuan. Both of them had the same score, with only a six-minute difference, and Suyu Province's top scorer missed out on Yen Pengcheng. If the two of them didn't attend the same university, it would be fine, but now they both attended Icefield University. Just like the students said, it's going to be interesting. With just a six-minute difference, Yen Pengcheng, the pride of heaven, would definitely not accept it. Xiao Chuanzi, it seems like you're quite famous at Icefield University, Zhang He poked Zhang Chuan's waist teasingly. Zhang Chuan smiled slightly and said arrogantly, of course, after all, I'm a top scorer. Do you think your brother Chuan is a pushover? Of course, Zhang Chuan was slightly more high profile in front of Zhang He, but deep down, he was still a somewhat socially anxious person. They walked side by side to the registration point and handed their admission notices to the two senior sisters. These were distributed to their community the day after they signed the contract. Hello, I need to complete the new student registration procedures, Zhang Chuan said politely. Unlike the usual paper documents, the special admission letters used by Zhang Chuan and the others were made of a more advanced material. They looked smoother and more comfortable, and were more difficult to damage. Okay, please wait a moment. The senior sister at the registration point happily took the admission notice from Zhang Chuan's hand and began operating on the computer. Student ID. After entering a string of numbers, Zhang Chuan's new student sequence appeared on the computer. Zhang Chuan, talented in martial arts, first level warrior, new student sequence. Number 001? The senior sister responsible for receiving Zhang Chuan's voice clearly lost its original calmness, 
with a slightly raised tone. The new student sequence is not randomly arranged, it is based on the comprehensive strength of the students. Number 001. It means that the school leaders consider the other person to be the first new student. What's wrong? Zhang Chuan saw that the senior sister's eyes were somewhat vacant and asked in confusion. The new student sequence is generally ranked according to strength. As the number 001, it means that the school leadership has already recognized you as the first new student. The senior sister restrained her impulse to ask Zhang Chuan for contact information and answered him with a calm tone. In this batch of new students, she has already seen more than one top scorer from a province, but she doesn't know why the school arranged it this way. Perhaps it's because Zhang Chuan was the top scorer in Suyu province? It seems reasonable for the school to arrange the first person from their own province, the receiving senior sister speculated. Even so, it didn't affect her impulse to ask Zhang Chuan for contact information. I am number 050, so does that mean I am ranked 50th among the new students? Zhang Yi, who overheard the conversation on Zhang Chuan's side, asked curiously. The senior sister on the other side was caught off guard by the sudden question but nodded after realizing it, according to the sorting method in previous years, that's correct. She had also looked at Zhang Yi's information. He was the 20th in Suyu province, but he can only be ranked 50th among the specially recruited new students? What kind of monsters came this year? Seeing Zhang Yi's dissatisfied expression, Zhang Chuan smiled and raised his hand to poke her puffed up cheek, saying confidently, Don't be angry, I'll be your number one, and I'll be number 50. The senior sister on the other side couldn't help but laugh and cry. Zhang Chuan was also very surprised. His performance in the college entrance examination was definitely not easy. He was well aware that his spiritual energy was almost depleted when facing the siege. If he hadn't reached the warrior realm, he would likely have lost his qualification for the exam. When facing the Python King, he was even injected with toxins and was in a sorry state. He was able to pass through with a lot of luck. At that time, the only reliable attack method he had was shield defense, but it was difficult to deal with a group. If he had the Crimson Flame Blade or the Beast Armor at that time, he wouldn't have been in such a sorry state and could have cleared the stage even faster. Indeed, he suffered from not having any background. If it was true that he could be ranked first among the new students based on his strength, then maybe this batch of new students wasn't as strong as Lu Ran had said. Was his desire to be beaten going to be in vain again? Of course, it was also possible that the school leaders had evaluated him incorrectly and he had taken advantage of it. But the probability of this was too small. The mentors at Bingyuan University were all experienced warriors and would not make mistakes in such matters. The people around them saw the intimate interaction between Zhang Chuan and Zhang He, and the men felt sour while the women felt disgusted. They had originally thought of fishing for a catch and a girl, but they were immediately served lemons? After completing the procedures, the two followed the senior sister of the student union to the accommodation area. The dormitories for specially recruited students are slightly different from those of regular students. They are all small detached villas with brand new furnishings that you can use with confidence. Also, there will be a new student orientation meeting tomorrow morning, starting at 9 o'clock. You should plan your schedule and not oversleep. In addition, our Bingyuan University has seven major factions, and each faction has a college for lectures and guidance. As they walked, the senior sister of the student union introduced the important areas within the college to Zhang Chuan and Zhang He. As Lu Ran had said, The senior sister told them that the college generally does not accept transactions with real currency from students. Usually, credits are used instead of red summer coins to avoid unnecessary competition. After reporting as new students, they would receive basic credits. Credits are a universal resource within the college, which can be used to purchase resources, exchange for powerful skills or equipment, small enough to be used for consumption in the cafeteria and bathhouse. In short, credits are very useful at Icefield University. After the student council's senior sister finished introducing the role of credits, she mentioned the seven major factions of the college to Zhang Chuan. The seven factions at Icefield University are elemental, psychic, summoning, strategic, spatial, temporal, and fate. Among them, the last three factions can be ignored, as they are three Buddhist factions that do not participate in any activities within the college. The main factions in the college are still the first four factions. There's no need to say much about the elemental faction. As they mainly recruit students with awakened elemental talents, they can enhance their abilities by using magical equipment. The psychic faction is the gathering place for most students, including Zhang Chuan's meat armor, which belongs to the psychic talent category. This talent focuses more on using melee weapons for breakthroughs and strong attacks. The strategic faction consists of students who can have an impact on the battlefield, and their cultivation requirements are not very high. For example, 
talents like eagle eye for observing the environment or abilities that affect the terrain in marshes. The summoning faction is indispensable in battles against hordes of beasts and demon tribes. In individual battles, the summoning faction may be slightly weaker, but once on the battlefield, summoners with this talent will become the most cost-effective group. Each faction has various types of academies under it, such as the elemental faction having light and dark divisions, the psychic faction having attack, defense, support, and logistics divisions, the strategic faction having divisions for anti-air and anti-land, and the summoning faction having divisions for undead, beasts, and monsters. Except for the three major Buddhist factions that actively select people, other students will choose their factions after the freshman grand competition. During this time, you too can consider which faction to join for further studies. The senior sister patiently introduced while leading the way with a clear mind. At this moment, she was thinking about which faction would be suitable for the talents of the two. Suyu, the top scorer in the province, is a typical psychic talent. Even though she had to admit that Zhang Chuan is strong, it doesn't change the fact that he is just a meat armor talent holder. He can only improve by joining the psychic faction's tank camp. As for the other girl, she has no idea which faction she should join. In a sense, she perfectly fits the characteristics of the Fate Faction. Now it depends on whether the Fate Faction is willing to accept her. The three of them pass through the teaching building, cross the artificial cobblestone path, and crossed a stone bridge over a natural stream. Finally, they arrived at the entrance of Jiang He's dormitory. It was a relatively luxurious detached villa, estimated to occupy an area of 220 square meters. It had two floors in total. On the plaque at the entrance, the room number 050 was written to prevent anyone from entering by mistake. No wonder you're a specially recruited student, this is a residence that ordinary people can only dream of. The senior sister couldn't help but sigh. As an ordinary student, she had never been to the dormitory area for specially recruited students. Now that she saw it, she was even more envious. Such a detached villa would cost several million outside, not to mention the luxurious furnishings inside. Before bringing them here, the senior sister curiously glanced at the list of furnishings in the specially recruited student dormitory. After reading it, she regretted it. Could ordinary students like them even comprehend these things? Tears of envy slid down her cheeks. And she remembered that it was only the furnishings for the lowest ranked specially recruited students. Jiang He's villa would be even more luxurious. Then, I'll go up first? Jiang He clearly had gotten used to living with Jiang Chuan and felt a bit uncomfortable living alone. Reluctantly, she pitifully said to Jiang Chuan. Couldn't Jiang Chuan see through her thoughts? He smiled and waved his hand. You go first, I'll ask if we can live together later. The senior sister who was leading the way trembled when she heard this. What? Living together? It's confirmed. This freshman brother already has someone in his life before starting college? The courage she had just summoned to ask for contact information was instantly extinguished. Jiang Chuan also didn't expect that his pure friendship with Jiang He would be misunderstood once again. Leaving Villa No. 50 and passing through several artificial gardens, they finally arrived at Jiang Chuan's residence. Generally, special admission dormitories are assigned one area for every 10 students in a sequence, but as the first student in the sequence, Jiang Chuan had a whole area to himself. Upon seeing his residence, Jiang Chuan was stunned. The house itself was nothing special just a two-story duplex villa occupying an area of about 400 square meters. After seeing the houses provided by the government, Jiang Chuan had developed a strong immunity to villas. What shocked him was the intricate runes surrounding the house, with obscure and incomprehensible patterns that contained terrifying energy fluctuations. Without any sense of danger, it was clear that this was a very powerful defensive formation. In addition, through the barrier of the defensive formation, they could see an outdoor swimming pool inside. The sky blue pool water reflected a mesmerizing light. Surrounding the villa's outer perimeter was an extra long running track for exercise. It was surrounded by a large open space. Next to the villa was also a huge warehouse for the owner's belongings. Is this the residence of the first ranked student in the sequence? The senior sister stepped back from Jiang Chuan's shocking revelation and once again fell into a state of astonishment. It was luxurious, too luxurious. At this moment, the senior sister even had the thought of forcefully taking possession of this residence, as long as she could have some privileges here. There was no way around it, Jiang Chuan's first-ranked villa was just too tempting. If Jiang He's villa before had only made her feel relatively luxurious but still acceptable, then Jiang Chuan's villa was a complete downgrade compared to their student apartments. It was truly a completely different world of living. If it weren't for Jiang Chuan living alone, the large area that his first-ranked villa occupied would easily accommodate a small estate. Do the residences of every special admission freshman differ? Jiang Chuan asked in surprise. 
When they passed by the second accommodation area earlier, they had seen the residence of the second rank student in the sequence. It was at most slightly larger than Jiang He's residence, but fundamentally there was no difference. However, when they arrived at Jiang Chuan's place, it was a whole area designated for his residence. His territory compared to others was like a mansion against a baby's room. There must be differences, but I never expected it to be this big. The senior sister's voice trembled as she murmured in response, still not having recovered from her emotional shock. It seemed like she had been overwhelmed. Um, senior sister, can you tell me about the treatment of the first-ranked student in the sequence? Jiang Chuan asked. If the residence alone was already this luxurious, then the treatment must be excellent. He just wanted to know what kind of preferential treatment the school would give him as the first-ranked student. This sequence 001 might be helpful for his advancement. Jiang Chuan had only just learned about the ranking of sequences, and Luran hadn't mentioned it to him before he came. Upon hearing Jiang Chuan's question, the senior sister finally regained her composure and said, of course, no problem. Through the senior sister's explanation, Jiang Chuan roughly understood the treatment he would receive as the first-ranked student. He had higher basic credits than ordinary students and more resources tilted towards him. But for these things, Jiang Chuan didn't feel much anymore. If the senior sister in front of him knew that he was also the principal student, he didn't know what expression she would have. He didn't want to try and risk the senior sister having a breakdown on the spot. Comparing oneself to others can be infuriating. However, the ranking of the new students upon registration is only temporary. It is determined by the higher-ups of the academy through analyzing the college entrance exam videos, so it doesn't count. Only after a month, when all the new students have arrived, will we hold a freshman competition, and the ranking will be finalized then. All rewards and resources will be reshuffled and distributed after the competition. In other words, as the first in this new student sequence, you will become the target of everyone's attacks. Junior, you should prepare yourself for the bombardment from everyone. After all, everyone will want to take your place. After listening to the senior sister's words, Jiang Chuan finally had a clear understanding of his current position, the public enemy. But this is exciting enough, as Jiang Chuan, who hasn't been beaten in a long time, is starting to itch. The position of being the first in this new student sequence doesn't seem so useless now, does it? Indeed, in a top university, only strength is the fastest way to obtain resources. Even though Jiang Chuan has become a student of the school's principal, he also possesses this awareness. Thinking about his own position, Jiang Chuan secretly laughed in his heart. It seems that it won't be easy for others to take the first place in this new student sequence. It seems that the student council senior sister just realized that she has been talking to Jiang Chuan for a long time. It's also time for her to go back, after all. Her task is not just to receive Jiang Chuan and the other person. The senior sister stood up to bid farewell, and Jiang Chuan quickly asked, Oh, by the way, senior sister, do you know where the principal's office is? Why are you looking for the principal? The senior sister asked with some confusion. I just want to pay her a simple visit. Jiang Chuan smiled slightly and explained casually without mentioning his relationship with the principal. It's on the top floor of the teaching building. The senior sister turned around and pointed to a tall building in the distance, reminding him, but even if you go to visit the principal, she might not see you. She is a very busy person. After thanking the senior sister, Jiang Chuan saw her off. Ding dong Jiang Chuan returned to the villa number 50 and pressed the doorbell. The lively white-haired beauty, Xiao Jiang He, quickly opened the door. She naturally knew that Jiang Chuan had come to find her. It hadn't been long since they last met, and Xiao Chuanzi still held a special place in her heart. Let's go, let's go find teacher Huanya, Jiang Chuan said, holding Xiao Jiang He's hand and leaving the special admission student accommodation area. Following the direction indicated by the senior sister, Jiang Chuan led Xiao Jiang He to the ground floor of a tall building. The teaching building was located in the center of the Icefield University and was the gathering place for all teaching mentors' offices. Since there were no restrictions on students most of the time, Jiang Chuan and Xiao Jiang He easily entered the building. The two quickly arrived at the ninth floor of the teaching building, in front of the principal's office. Knock, knock. Jiang Chuan lightly knocked on the office door. He didn't know if anyone inside heard his knocking, but at the same time, he didn't dare to make any louder noise. On the other side of the door was a powerful King Realm expert. Come in. Fortunately, not long after, an echo came from inside the door. Jiang Chuan received permission and gently pushed open the door of the office. Upon entering, the scene that greeted Jiang Chuan and Xiao Jiang he made them dumbfounded. They saw the school principal, who looked like a fairy, holding a bag of snacks and continuously putting them into her mouth. With her dreamlike appearance, she added a touch of playfulness, like an older sister next door. On her office desk, there were still many unopened snacks, neatly arranged. 
You're here, have a seat, it'll be ready soon. Lu Huanya shook the snacks in her hand and muttered. The awe-inspiring image of the King Realm Principal in Jiang Chuan and Xiao Jiang He's hearts instantly collapsed. What terrifying scene did they just witness? Is this their principal? Sneakily eating snacks alone in the office? Gulp a clear sound of swallowing saliva came, and Jiang Chuan's eyes began to fill with fear. No, please. Unfortunately, his inner thoughts couldn't be heard by the beautiful girl beside him. Xiao Jiang Yi, with stars in her eyes, asked, Prin, principal, can I have a pack? It's worth mentioning that Xiao Jiang Yi, as a seasoned otaku and internet addicted girl, is completely in character as Kamita. Her favorites are games and snacks, and there are still many snacks left in their new home. If they were to open Xiao Jiang Yi's suitcase in Villa Number no. 50 right now, they would find half a box of snacks. Without saying a word, Yenya pushed the snacks in front of her out and nodded slightly. The two of them didn't speak throughout, but it seemed like they had a lot to talk about. Under Zhang Chuan's gaze, they finally resumed their calm after tasting a few snacks. Teacher Yenya, can we talk about the main issue now? Zhang Chuan cautiously asked as the battle temporarily stopped. Yenya straightened up and said, go ahead. At this moment, Yenya seemed to return to her previous high and mighty fairy-like demeanor. It wasn't something she deliberately maintained, it was just her natural state. She naturally knew that the people who came now were Zhang Chuan and Zhang He, otherwise she wouldn't have let them in. She didn't put away her snacks because she didn't think it was necessary to maintain such a dignified image in front of her students. She was already tired of pretending in front of others. Seeing Yenya's sudden change in temperament, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but feel a bit out of place, but he still spoke up, I brought Zhang Yi here to seal his talent. Yenya suddenly realized that she had forgotten about this after having such a good time with Zhang Yi. She didn't say much and gently raised her slender arm, and a faint blue light flowed from her hand. Slowly approaching Zhang Yi, it disappeared. Zhang Chuan only saw a halo of the same color as the previous light points surrounding Zhang Yi's body. As time passed, the halo gradually faded and dissipated, and the whole process took only 15 minutes. Is that it? Zhang Chuan's eyes widened slightly. Was sealing talent such a simple matter? His expression completely expressed his current mood. I used the power of the origin. Sealing talent is not difficult for me. Yenya saw Zhang Chuan's surprise and explained simply. Is there anything else? Um, does the school allow specially admitted students to live together? Zhang Chuan coughed lightly and asked curiously. Hearing Zhang Chuan's question, Yenya frowned slightly and looked between the two of them with a puzzled expression. The meaning was obvious, the two of you? Zhang Chuan clearly understood the teacher's question and nodded directly. Yenya's frown relaxed, and she casually said, Bingyuan University doesn't have so many rules and won't restrict the living environment of two students. As long as you two don't mind. Zhang Chuan was delighted to hear this, as he could now take little hee hee to his number one villa. But just as he was happy for two seconds, Yenya added, however, it may not be possible for the next two years. Why? Zhang Chuan asked directly. Just now, we were saying that it's fine as long as we don't mind, and now it suddenly becomes that we can't live together for the next two years? Teacher Yenya, you changed your mind so quickly? Originally, I was going to leave Zhang He to a mentor for guidance, but I changed my mind. I decided to have our vice principal, Chen Jing, the helmsman of the Fate Faction and a Wang Jing powerhouse with an SS level constellation talent, personally guide Zhang He. So, do you understand now? Yenya said lightly, but Zhang Chuan felt a bit tormented. Fate is truly unpredictable. The sweet cohabitation days with little he he have gone down the drain just like that. But as Yenya said, Zhang He's talent itself leans towards the Fate Faction, so it's best to have a big shot from the Fate Faction guide him. This is much better than struggling in the deep realm on his own. Everything is for Zhang He, so Zhang Chuan can only agree. If they had chosen to join the Imperial University in the first place, they probably wouldn't have received such treatment. Zhang Chuan even had reason to suspect that Yenya changed her mind because Zhang He had a meal with her. But he had no evidence. Yenya saw Zhang Chuan's helpless expression and her smile grew stronger. It's one thing to show affection in front of others, but to be so blatant in front of her. Humph. If there's nothing else, you can take Jiang He to the Academy of the Fate Faction to report. It's getting late. Yen Ye reminded. It's almost dusk now, if we don't report now, we'll have to wait until tomorrow. Jiang Chuan nodded and then walked out of the principal's office with Jiang He. They went straight to the elevator. Ding the elevator doors opened, revealing a figure dressed in red. She had fiery red hair and looked as cute as a doll. She had her arms crossed and her eyes were red and purple. She was carrying a huge axe on her back. However, she was only as tall as Jiang Chuan's waist and Jiang He's armpits. When Jiang Chuan saw her for the first time, he couldn't help but wonder, whose child is this? 
Then he met the girl's unusual eyes and felt a bit dizzy. However, Jiang Chuan was a person with the holy healing shield, and this abnormal state only lasted for a moment before disappearing. It was so short that he didn't even have a chance to realize his cognitive error, so he didn't pay much attention to it, thinking it was just a side effect of the training these past few days. Zhang Yi, on the other hand, was not affected at all and was looking at the girl just like Zhang Chuan. The only thought in her mind was, I really want to hug her and rua her. She's so cute. The girl in the elevator didn't expect that the young man and woman in front of her could resist the natural charm emanating from her. After confirming that they were unharmed, she calmly walked out. The whole process took only 10 seconds. That girl just now was so cute. Zhang Yi's fangirl heart burst, and she instantly became a fangirl of the red-haired girl. Zhang Chuan nodded and smiled in agreement. Compared to the girl's fangirling, Zhang Chuan was more concerned about her identity, because there was only one office on the ninth floor. And the owner of that office was his chief teacher, the principal of Bingyuan University, Lu Xianya. Holy cow, or something like that. After seeing Zhang Chuan and Zhang He, Li Mengyan walked straight to the principal's office. Today was the day for special admissions to report, and there were very few people who could appear on this floor. Of course, she already knew the identities of the two people. Squeak. She gently pushed open the office door and saw Lu Xianya sitting at her desk, eating snacks and watching a hot-blooded manga. Li Mengyan walked to the desk, and when Lu Xianya saw her, she pushed out a pack of her own snacks and gestured for the axe-wielding lowly to eat. However, the other party didn't appreciate it at all, shook her head and pushed it back, seeming a bit resentful, teacher, can we do some real work? You're either reading manga and eating snacks all day, or running around. Lu Xianya, who was criticized, immediately became unhappy and retorted, this time I didn't run around, I even brought back an amazing junior for you. Didn't you see him when you came up just now? Lu Xianya looked puzzled. How could they have missed each other in such a short time? I saw him, but at that time, I was under the influence of charm. Lu Xianya's eyes lit up when she heard this. She put down the snacks in her hand and excitedly asked, How is he? Do you think he's great? Lu Xianya was naturally curious. Zhang Chuan was a freshman, and at best, he only had the strength of a low-level warrior, while Li Mingyan's charm had already reached the early stage of a grandmaster. She was very curious if Zhang Chuan had made a fool of himself just now. Li Mengyan frowned slightly, not understanding why her teacher cared about such a personal matter, but she still gave a fair evaluation, he and the little girl next to him didn't seem to be affected by the charm, and I could even feel that they seemed to have some ulterior motive towards me. Could it be that they are already high-level warriors? If that's the case, then it's understandable that you brought them back, teacher. The red-haired lowly pondered, and her unusual eyes had turned into a pure purple color, shining like amethyst. It was obvious that the charm had dissipated. Ordinary high-level warriors, unless they had particularly strong mental power, would not be able to resist her charm. Even though she hadn't deliberately released her abilities before, the effect was still remarkable. So she thinks that Zhang Chuan and the others have reached the advanced level of warriors, and only such geniuses are qualified to be noticed by the teachers of the king's realm. Lu Xianya raised her index finger and shook it slightly in the air, shaking her head at the same time, saying, No, 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 they have just entered the realm of awakened warriors. As a senior strongman in the king's realm, Lu Xianya's evaluation of the cultivation of low-level awakened warriors, even if not very accurate, is still quite close. Li Mengyan was stunned and muttered, How is that possible? Yesterday, the power of the fallen angel bloodline in my body accidentally controlled a high-level warrior. This information from her teacher shocked her. The power of temptation in her body, if the level difference is not too great, even a master with slightly higher cultivation would be affected to some extent. But the man and woman she just met were just newcomers to the realm of warriors? Could he be an SSS level spiritually gifted awakened? Li Mengyan thought of a possibility and mentioned it. Seeing her first student's expression of doubt and confusion, Lu Xianya felt amused. She immediately explained Jiang Chuan's information clearly, your junior is the top scholar in Suyu province, but he only has the talent of a flesh armor, F-level. Li Mingyan's cute face gradually froze. If that's the case, then Jiang Chuan must be an exceptionally determined person, or someone with a deep obsession could also achieve this. She just didn't know if her junior belonged to obsession or determination, however, the talent of a flesh armor can now win the top scholar in the province? It's not that Li Mengyan looks down on the talent of a flesh armor, but there are just too many abilities that surpass this talent. Feeling a bit resentful, she took a deep breath of the fragrant air in the office and tried to calm herself down. So you took him as a student because of this? The top scholar? There are so many top scholars in the Red Summer province, and you specifically chose one with the talent of a flesh armor? Li Mengyan's tone clearly changed. She was also a top scholar 
and even the top scholar in the imperial capital. After her teacher took her as a disciple, she never let her teacher down. She even stood out in the inter-school competition and raised the level of Ice Origin University with her own strength. But now, her junior with the talent of a flesh armor, how can he improve in the future? How can Ice Origin University maintain its position in the top 10? Their college has always been the gatekeeper of top universities, and the level of students has declined in recent years. If her teacher hadn't taken her in last year, Ice Origin University might have already fallen out of the top 10 rankings. You should know that the resources supported by the Red Summer Country for the top 10 universities and the universities behind them are completely different. Lu Xianya remembered the information she had learned from the principal and the head of the Education Bureau about Zheng Chuan's deeds, and smiled, how is that possible? He is still a person with a strong character and a sense of loyalty. What do you mean? Li Mengyan raised her delicate eyebrows, seemingly interested. He endured being beaten in the body cultivation hall for three months, raising his flesh armor to a height that ordinary people wouldn't dare to imagine. That's a strong character. For the sake of his companions, he didn't blindly accept the invitation from the Imperial University and insisted on taking the college entrance examination. That's loyalty. There were some characteristics that Lu Xianya didn't mention because she had only seen Zhang Chuan's performance in the instance, and Li Mengyan hadn't personally experienced it. The latter had no way of feeling the stunning scene at that time. So it seems that my junior is indeed a good seedling. But even so, teacher, you just need to bring him back to the school. Why do you have to personally tutor him? Even if her junior has good character and strong willpower, Li Mengyan still thinks that teacher Xianya has done enough by bringing him back. But thinking about it, teacher Hyuna is a pretty casual person, so it's not surprising. She continued, by the way, teacher, what is the new student's serial number of that junior? Li Mengyan curiously asked. She vaguely remembered that when she was specially recruited to Ice Origin University, there was such a ranking. So she was somewhat interested in Zhang Chuan's ranking among the specially recruited freshmen. Number 001. Huna resumed her casual attitude and grabbed a snack, opening it and eating. Li Mengyan. She had just come out of the deep realm, but how long had it been? Why did it feel like something big had happened in the world she was in? Why, as soon as she came out, not only did she gain a junior, but this junior also defied common sense and sat in the first position among the specially recruited freshmen with his flesh armor talent? Didn't I hear that many provincial top scorers came to our university this time? From Sichuan and Guangdong provinces, the Magic City, and even the Imperial City, it seems like all the top scorers came to our university. Generally speaking, it should be difficult for Suyu province's top scorer to enter the top five in terms of strength. Huna nodded, indeed, many top scorers came this year following you. As for why he was arranged in the 001 serial, you'll know after watching this video. Huna took out her phone and found the clearance video of Jiang Chuan's college entrance examination copy on the virtual screen. After fast-forwarding and watching it, Li Mengyan also exclaimed, the topic in Suyu province this year was completely beyond the scope. No wonder the junior could become the number one in the new student ranking. She was also a master now and could tell that Jiang Chuan deserved the first place based on his performance in the college entrance examination copy. But then she worried, however, he can indeed be considered the first among the new students now. But what about a month later? He only has the flesh armor talent, which becomes more and more useless as time goes on. And although his attacks seem strong now, after everyone's talent development for a month, his attack methods and intensity will also become weak. Having too many top scorers is troublesome. Everyone is a genius, and no one accepts anyone. I don't know if the junior in the 001 serial will harm him. As the top scorer from the Imperial City the previous year, Li Mengyan could see Zheng Chuan's problem at a glance. The flesh armor can withstand physical attacks, but its drawbacks are too obvious compared to the defense talent that covers the body. He can block knives and punches in the copy, but he still leaves wounds. The junior seems to have a very good healing skill, but if he encounters an ability that can tear wounds, he will be at a disadvantage. As for Zhang Chuan's attack methods, Li Mengyan only saw three or four. Those top scorers have plenty of flashy attack skills, while Zhang Chuan's methods are like a skill desert compared to them. The intensity seems sufficient for now, but others will also have countermeasures. Moreover, after joining Ice Origin University, the allocation of resources and improvement of strength will be directed towards a clear direction, and their strength will undergo a qualitative leap. The improvement in the next month may be greater than their own efforts in half a year of high school. By then, Jiang Chuan, who has been in the first place for a long time, will probably be targeted by everyone. Everyone is a genius, so why should a flesh armor be able to dominate the first position? The default ranking upon admission is determined by the comprehensive college entrance examination. 
Based on Jiang Chuan's performance in the college entrance examination, he should have obtained the first place among the new students, who made this year's topic in Suyu province set by Lao Kai. Even if he falls from the first position a month later, it's because he didn't improve as fast as others, and he can't blame anyone else. Moreover, since I insisted on taking him as a student, I naturally believe that with his abilities, he can hold on to this first place. Huna's eyes sparkled with a strange brilliance, as if she was recalling the first time she saw Jiang Chuan's fiery ring. Then let's wait and see. Li Mengyan seemed to sense her teacher's emotional fluctuations and found it a bit strange. I am no longer the spoiled student, sob sob sob. But I am also looking forward to Su Yu's performance as the top scorer in a month. Zhang Chuan and Zhang He arrived at the teaching building on the first floor, and the latter suddenly realized, Oh, I forgot to ask where the Fate Sex College building is. Does that mean I don't have to register today? Quick, Xiao Chuanzi, let's go back and enjoy our last joyful game night. Zhang He immediately wanted to pull Zhang Chuan back, but found that he didn't move. She turned her head and looked at Zhang Chuan in confusion, very shocked. According to his previous behavior, he would definitely hesitate to accompany her back at this time. Xiao He He, stop fooling around. We need to quickly find Vice Principal Chen. The sooner you start studying, the sooner you can get rid of the curse. Zhang Chuan suddenly seemed mature, and his tone became serious. Zhang He's expression instantly became lost, sob sob sob, her boy wasn't being obedient. But she couldn't argue because he was right. Zhang Chuan originally wanted to go upstairs again to ask their cheap teacher for a map, but he was afraid of disturbing her in the red-haired child's meeting, so he gave up. Then he planned to pull Jiang He and ask a teacher or senior on the way. Just as they were about to leave, Jiang Chuan felt resistance on his arm, Jiang He was holding his hand and not letting him go. Jiang Chuan thought Jiang He was being willful and was ready to reason with her, but when he turned around, he saw the map in Jiang He's hand. The beautiful girl pouted, obviously still unhappy. The gaze that had been somewhat cold instantly softened, and he couldn't help but praise, I have to say, our little he he is gentle and kind-hearted. When did you get the map? I asked for it at the place where the freshmen were welcomed before. I knew you definitely wouldn't take it. Although Zhang He's face was unwilling, she answered Zhang Chuan's question in a low voice. After hearing the words our little he he, her anger disappeared. But she also knew that she couldn't give a man a good face so quickly, otherwise, he would easily take advantage of her. Zhang Chuan took the map, confirmed the location of the fate sect, and pulled Zhang He to start. Jiang Yi, who was in a better mood, naturally followed with a happy little skip. Whenever Jiang Chuan felt a slight vibration behind him and turned to check, Jiang Yi would put on a pouting face as if she was still angry. The two arrived at the bottom floor of the Fate Sex College building. The building was not tall, only two floors. Upon entering, they felt as if they were in a starry sky hall, as if they could see countless stars, each giving a complex feeling. It seemed that each star hid a story within it. Who are you looking for? An elegant voice broke the atmosphere of being immersed in the starry sky. The two snapped back to reality and saw a young man standing in front of them, wearing a white suit and trousers, with a well-proportioned figure. His long hair was slightly curled, and his face was feminine, which didn't match his voice. It seemed like he was a student here? Senior, we are here to find Vice Principal Chen Jing, Zhang Chuan explained their purpose. The young man on the other side fell silent for a moment, staring at them and looking them up and down. Seeing that she really didn't recognize her, her expression was obviously a bit unnatural, and she said, that's me. Jiang Chuan. Jiang He. They never expected that the senior who looked like a man would actually be a woman. Chen Jing felt helpless in her heart. Who are these two clueless youngsters who haven't even heard of her name? Ahem. Jiang Chuan attempted to ease the awkwardness with a cough, and then he continued, Vice Principal Chen, I brought this student to seek refuge with you. It seemed like he was a bit nervous, and Jiang Chuan's wording was inappropriate, making Chen Jing cry and laugh. Why do you make it sound like my place is a bandit's den? Zhang Chuan quickly waved his hand, that's not what I meant. Chen Jing raised her hand and casually waved it twice, indicating that she didn't mind. However, Chen Jing was somewhat surprised to hear that it was the principal who asked her to accept Zhang He. The Fate Faction only accepts a few students each year because there are very few people with the talent for the Fate Faction. In addition, many people are more inclined towards the other popular factions, and some students are not willing to join the Fate Academy. Now, they happen to encounter a student who is willing to join the Fate Academy, which is unusual. Chen Jing looked alert and said, It's not so simple for this girl to join the Fate Academy, right? Zhang Chuan smiled and said, Vice Principal Chen, you've noticed. Xiao He He's talent is the curse of calamity. She needs your guidance to break through to the Marquis realm faster. Chen Jing understood, so that's why they needed her help. Not to mention that no one in the country understands the talent of the Fate Faction better than her. 
but among the top university's fate faction classifications, she is definitely one of the best. Her strength may not be the strongest, but when it comes to the field of fate, if she doesn't consider herself second, no one would dare claim to be first. After all, she has immersed herself in this field for many years, and with her SS level star official talent, she is the fate faction's understanding queen. She had heard about Jung He's curse of calamity a long time ago. This talent itself is an inescapable curse. A few years ago, a student with the curse of calamity joined their university, but because of his arrogance, he did not choose the fate faction. Plus, at that time, Lu Xianya did not personally help him seal it, and he died under the curse of calamity after only half a year in the academy. She walked around Zhang He, scanning her up and down as if she were scanning, but she didn't know what she had discovered. After a while, she slowly walked up to her and reached out her hand, saying, Welcome to the Fate Academy. We will work together in the coming year. Zhang He dumbly extended her soft hand and shook hands with Chen Jing, feeling somewhat incredulous. The vice principal in front of her actually agreed to her joining without asking anything. Wait, didn't the principal say two years? Zhang Chuan detected the flaw in Chen Jing's words. The principal's stated time was cut in half. What's wrong? The curse of calamity can only be sealed, there is no way to eradicate it. Even if I use my star official ability to seek good fortune and avoid disaster, and find countless methods to help Jiang He avoid the curse, she can only endure for a little over a year at most. Two years? Absolutely impossible. Feeling that her expertise was being insulted, Chen Jing's tone became somewhat heavy as she spoke. The principal said she used the power of her origin to help Jiang He seal the cursed talent within her. She wants her to study with you for the next two years and elevate her to the Marquis Realm as soon as possible, giving her the ability to resist the curse of calamity. Zhang Chuan explained in detail. Chen Jing listened to what Zhang Chuan said, and the shock in her eyes grew stronger. She could tell that the young man in front of her was not lying. The principal really helped seal the talent of the girl in front of her. She pondered for a moment and said with utmost seriousness, I understand. You can go now. For the next two years, she will stay by my side. Upon hearing this response, Zhang Chuan's eyelids twitched. Teacher Xian Ye didn't lie to him. His four-year cohabitation plan with Xiao He He instantly shrank by half. It really made him feel disappointed. He wouldn't be able to find a gaming partner in the middle of the night anymore. Zhang Chuan walked lackadaisically towards the special admissions accommodation area. When Zhang Chuan returned to the dormitory area, he directly found Zhang He's villa and entered using each student's exclusive passcode. Zhang He didn't have many things, they were scattered on the sofa and hadn't been organized much. This relieved Zhang Chuan of a lot of pressure in tidying up. He directly repackaged all the belongings. Because it was luggage packed together with Zhang He, Zhang Chuan was very familiar with what was inside, and he quickly found everything without missing a single item. Zhang Chuan carried Zhang He's suitcase and returned to his own villa. During this time, he felt a malicious gaze directed towards his back, but the other party did not attack, and he didn't know where it came from. He didn't pay much attention to it and naturally returned to his villa. At this time, four young people with different clothing and appearances walked out of the four villas behind Villa No. 1. The participants of the top scorers from various provinces in Villas No. 2, 3, and 4, after seeing Zhang Chuan, their eyes were filled with unwavering determination. The three of them exchanged glances, all shocked. They all thought that the ownership of Villa No. 1 should be in their hands, but unexpectedly, there was someone else. A young man with slightly curly hair walked out of Villa No. 5, playing with a blue flame in his hand. With a disdainful smile on his face, he said with a deep gaze, Zhang Chuan, Heh, I specially came to this trash university for you. You better be prepared. Don't let me bring you to ashes, that would be too boring to watch. After taking a brief glance at Zhang Chuan's back, he returned to his Villa No. 5. When Zhang Chuan returned to his Villa No. 1, it was already dark. The villa was spacious, so he placed Jiang He's luggage in a designated area for miscellaneous items. Then he went to the training room. The facilities here were much better and more complete than his previous villa. Jiang Chuan suddenly realized his weakness, his defense was sufficient, but his physique was lacking. Especially after obtaining the Mad Blood Five Blades, he felt the pain of weakness. That period of time was his weakest moment. As many people said, his talent was only in his physical armor, without absolute solid protection. It was evident from the previous incident where the Python King was able to bite through his skin and inject venom into his body, his high armor was not invincible. Others had other means to deal with him, and his strongest attack would ironically leave him in a weakened state. This was an absolute mistake that couldn't happen in a battle, so he wisely decided to start training his physique. Only by strengthening his physique could he shorten his weak period. 
Zhang Chuan even suspected that if his physique grew to a certain height, he could even perform 10 consecutive strikes. In that case, his attack power would undergo a transformation. Moreover, physique also subtly improved his armor, achieving a win-win situation. So Zhang Chuan stopped overthinking and started disciplining himself. Ding! Daily tasks activated. Complete the following training every day and choose your own reward. 50 kilograms bench press 100 times, run 20 kilometers with a 30 kilograms weight, do 100 squats with a 50 kilograms weight, do 200 push-ups, and do 3 kilometers of frog jumps. The above training results are effective without equipment and skill assistance. After completion, you can choose one of the following rewards. 1. 10 points of armor. 2. 10 skill points. Each point is equivalent to 100 skill experience points. Special skills are not affected. 3. 10 points of free attribute points, 4. Random skill, 5. Random treasure chest, after Jiang Chuan started, the system's daily tasks were released. The previous daily tasks allowed him to obtain an A-level knife technique, and this daily task reward was not much worse. However, when accumulated, the difference was not significant. Just looking at the armor value, if he could add 70 in a week, Jiang Chuan's attack power would also make great progress. He had changed his view on the importance of the four-dimensional attributes, which he previously thought were unimportant. If he could allocate these rewards properly, he would become a perfect hexagonal warrior. The balance between the four-dimensional attributes and attack and armor was achievable. Skill points were also good things. According to this introduction, only the magic resistance armor could not be improved. As for the holy shield's healing, it was a passive skill that improved with one's own cultivation. Zhang Chuan could currently only use skill points for shield attack and wind of thorn. The experience required for shield attack is too much, so it is not considered for now. The Wind of Thorn can be enhanced, so you can choose to enhance this skill first. The last two rewards are completely random, no one knows what will be obtained. For him, who still has a lot of room for improvement, it is better to leave them for now, otherwise it is easy to lose out. After reviewing the training content again, Zhang Chuan felt a little overwhelmed. Even the Holy Shield healing has been banned. He has always been focused on taking hits and never thought about improving his four attributes. Among the four attributes, only physique has shown growth, while the other three are still stagnant. So he decided to group the weight squats and bench presses together, and train the others in between. Since he cannot use the holy shield healing, his arms are already sore after doing 50 bench presses. He had to go for a run and do squats instead. After getting tired, he switched to push-ups. Training the upper and lower body alternately, Zhang Chuan felt both pain and joy. After completing all the training, he took a deep breath. At this moment, he was covered in sweat, lying on the grass of Villano. 1. Admiring the stars in the sky. He felt a bit regretful. If he had triggered this daily task three months ago, how much progress would he have made by now? But at that time, he was indeed misled by the armor and only focused on improving that aspect. If he had known about these training exercises, Jiang Chuan would have first increased his mental attribute, then crazily completed the daily tasks to increase his armor value. Combined with the training at the body conditioning hall, he would have excelled in all areas, with increased four attributes, improved armor, and earned money. But Jiang Chuan, whose four attributes have not improved, now finds these exercises really difficult. It took him a full five hours. He almost ran out of time. Ding! Daily task completed, please choose a reward. The reward list he saw before appeared again. Zhang Chuan decisively chose 10 points of free attribute allocation. He didn't want to continue suffering like this. As long as his four attributes improve, these training exercises will be a piece of cake. He evenly distributed the attribute points to strength and agility. When he finds a bracelet that can test his mental attribute, he will know his own data. Zhang Chuan dragged his exhausted body into the villa and went to sleep. Teacher, why can't I leave the Fate Academy for the past two years? At night, Zhang Yi's bright eyes shimmered under the starry sky of the Fate Academy, as she asked Qin Jing. Her white hair draped softly behind her, and she asked Qin Jing, Your curse power will become stronger as your strength grows, you know that, right? Qin Jing glanced at her student, who looked like a resentful woman in a deep boudoir, and continued without waiting for her answer, Haina's seal can only seal your curse in normal state. When your curse reaches a certain level, it will become a time bomb, very likely to break the seal. After hearing the explanation, Jiang Yi didn't quite understand, and Chen Jing noticed her confusion and didn't stop. Let me tell you one more thing. The talent of the Fate Faction emphasizes accumulation. When you are with that boy, haven't you noticed that your curse power comes more frequently? Thinking back to the past few months, Jiang Yi realized that Chen Jing was right. She instantly understood everything, her small mouth forming an O shape, as if she had figured it all out. 
So, Jiang Chuan is the trigger for the curse eruption on me. Chen Jing smiled warmly, pleased with her progress. Jiang Yi, who had discovered the truth, suppressed her previous emotions and began to focus on her cultivation. The next day, Jiang Chuan woke up and his body had fully recovered. He felt an endless surge of strength throughout his body. Is this the difference between working out and not working out? But most likely, it was the effect of the four attributes he added last night. Checking the time, it was 8.10, still enough time. After freshening up a bit, Jiang Chuan walked out of the villa gate with light steps. The ice university is vast. It's so big that it's easy to get lost if you wander around. Luckily, I didn't return the map I took from Jiang Yi yesterday. Otherwise, it would have taken me a whole day to find a meeting room in this campus full of buildings. Jiang Chuan first went to the reception area from yesterday and indeed found a banner with directions to the freshman orientation meeting in building one of ICE University. According to the markings on the map, Jiang Chuan easily found the meeting room for the orientation meeting. There's still time, Jiang Chuan only walked for 10 minutes, and it's only 8.30 now. Not everyone has arrived in the meeting room yet, there are many empty seats. Following the principle of keeping a low profile, Jiang Chuan found an empty seat in a corner and sat down, quietly watching the students entering the meeting room. Wow, that handsome guy from Wuhu, is he also a specially recruited student? Of course. Let's go sit in front of him, he <laughs> he. He gives me the feeling of someone who observes the world. I wonder what his ranking is. To be honest, Jiang Chuan is quite good looking, in the eyes of a group of female students, he is definitely a top-notch guy. Plus, being a specially recruited student at the freshman orientation meeting, his abilities are definitely not lacking. As for money, the bonuses for specially recruited students are enough to make most girls become rich. As one of the top universities, ICE University's specially recruited students come from all over the country. Those who don't know him can only admire him, while some local specially recruited students like Su Yu were surprised to see Jiang Chuan at ICE University. Not everyone knows which university their provincial top scorer has entered. Excuse me, is there someone next to you? A voice came from Jiang Chuan's right side, and Jiang Chuan glanced lightly. Seeing that it wasn't a girl, but a slightly chubby young man with short hair, he smiled and asked. In his heart, he couldn't help but feel speechless, I was originally accompanied by the wall, why did you come to talk to me? But he wouldn't show any signs of disgust on his face either, calmly saying, no, go ahead. As he spoke, he leaned against the wall, he was originally occupying two seats. Thanks, Jiang Zhaoyuan. The other person sat down on the empty seat Jiang Chuan gave up without any hesitation, and said with a smirk, I'm Yu Sanduo, from the Sichuan Guangdong province. We'll be together for more than a month. What, do you know me? Jiang Chuan was puzzled when he heard the other person mention his name. Suyu province's top scorer, the first person to clear the difficulty level of the provincial exam, Jiang Chuan. Taking the violent tank route. You know that so clearly? Jiang Chuan was somewhat surprised. Oomph, not just you. I can match all 76 specially recruited students who entered this time. When Yusanduo said this, his face was full of pride. It had only been a day since the new students reported, and Yusanduo had already collected information on all the specially recruited students. Of course, he had paid a lot for this. But for him, organizing this information was also very beneficial. He leaned closer to Jiang Chuan and whispered, Chuan Ji, do you know that your current situation is very dangerous? Jiang Chuan instantly became interested, oh? Why do you say that? Where is the danger? The cautious look on the other person's face made it seem like Jiang Chuan was about to encounter a great danger. Jiang Chuan leaned closer to listen. What danger? It's because of your freshman sequence number, 001. Among the new students admitted to ICE University this year, there are many provincial top scorers. Just from what I know, the top scorer from Sichuan Guangdong province is very dissatisfied with you and wants to push you out of the first sequence. Of course, right now, only I know this information. They don't know the true identity of the top scorer in the freshman sequence. And there's another thing. The second place in the provincial exam from your neighboring province is also at ICE University. He's a true aristocrat. He won't tolerate any competition. You took his top scorer position, so he will definitely challenge you. Yusandwa's gaze turned towards a group of students sitting in front, where a handsome boy with slightly curly hair was talking and laughing. It was obvious that he was the leader of the conversation. Although this boy was dressed in a simple trendy outfit, he still exuded an invisible pressure. It was like the tension between social classes, as if seeing him was like lower-level employees meeting the company's CEO. At that time, everyone will not hesitate to point their fingers at you, even though there will be teachers guarding the freshman exchange event, fists and feet have no eyes. Maybe you will get hurt then. And a month later, when you participate in the freshman competition with injuries, you will face the consequences. 
Yusandwa's eyes were filled with a you-know-what-I-mean expression. The freshman competition is related to the right to use the number one villa for the next year. That's right, if I get injured, I might not be able to participate in the freshman competition seriously. Zhang Chuan nodded in agreement, then asked, So, according to your opinion, what do you think I should do? He had a serious and humble expression on his face. The nervous look on Yusandwa's face instantly disappeared, it was all for the atmosphere. He immediately put on a cute smile, cleared his throat, and said, Well, I definitely have a way Zhang Chuan changed his sitting posture, from leaning to sitting upright, with his hands crossed. He looked like he was attentively listening. Seeing that the other party was very interested, Yusanduo smiled and said, Here's the plan, a few friends and I have formed a team. As long as you, Zhang Zhaoyuan, are willing to give up some credits, we are willing to help you fend off many challengers behind you. As for strength, you don't have to worry. I am the 10th ranked freshman, so it's no problem to block students ranked after the 15th. Jiang Chuan suddenly realized and said with a nasal tone, Oh, so you want to earn credits in Icefield University? Credits are the most important currency for exchanging goods, and cash has no meaning for the students here. Yesterday, Yu Sanduo used cash to buy information, but if he could exchange it for credits, it would definitely be a great deal. He flattered Jiang Chuan with a nod, looking like he was ready to receive his credits. Jiang Chuan naturally understood Yu Sandwa's tricks. He was casting a wide net, trying to catch more fish you must have used the same pitch on others, right? Yu Sandua was slightly stunned, then smiled and said, Jiang brother has a keen eye. In business, as long as the credits are enough, I can give up my position. Of course, most people can't afford it. He admitted nonchalantly, then said firmly, our approach is also well-intentioned, to prevent other students from getting hurt. After all, the competition among the top-ranked freshmen is like a battle of gods. If nothing unexpected happens, the students ranked lower in the sequence will be in danger. Zhang Chuan laughed helplessly. This confident attitude didn't seem like that of a businessman trying to earn credits. All right, I don't need your services here. You can go find someone else. Zhang Chuan directly rejected Yu Sanduo without any hesitation. Jokingly, it's not that easy to deceive credits from him, unless it's a good-looking girl. Hey, Zhang brother, if the freshman orientation is a battle of attrition, you won't be able to withstand it. Yu Sanduo became anxious. Zhang Chuan calmly said, the freshman orientation is about to start, if you don't go and get some business, you won't have a chance later. A battle of attrition? Why not a group battle? Oh, it's a tournament, then it's fine. But it doesn't matter, anyone can come. He was eager to have more people give him experience points, as he was worried about not being able to level up. Where does your confidence come from, Zhang brother? You can trust us, we are professionals. Yu Sanduo clearly didn't want to give up. Since you know my information, then you should also know about my talent. Flesh armor. It can withstand everything for me. Zhang Chuan's eyes were filled with endless confidence, as if his flesh armor was the strongest defensive talent in the world. Yu Sanduo saw him so domineering and leaked, his eyes slightly condensed. It seemed that he was intimidated, and it took a while for his expression to change. He sighed and said, no wonder you're the number one of the new generation of the 001 series. I thought too much. Even with only the talent of a flesh armor, you can still be so confident. Well deserved. According to their calculations, Zhang Chuan was the person who needed their services the most, which is why Yu Sanduo stayed with him for so long. After all, he had to face the top geniuses from all over the country. Now it seems that this expectation has been in vain. But thinking about it, there's nothing wrong with it. He was able to reach the pinnacle of the new generation by stepping on the shoulders of all the other geniuses, naturally extraordinary. Sigh, it's harder to earn credits than to earn money. Yusanduo shook his head, his face full of loneliness. This was a method he had come up with over the years. Now it seems that this method is not very reliable for earning credits. By the way, Chuan Ge, can I ask how many credits you have? After a moment of thought, the chubby guy asked. He just wanted to see the wealth gap between himself and the top new students. Zhang Chuan nodded and opened the school's official website. Because of yesterday's pile of things, he hadn't checked his credits yet. After entering a string of student ID and name, Zhang Chuan's page appeared. Name, Zhang Chuan Talent, F-Level Flesh Armor Race, Human Cultivation, Unknown Basic Credits, 1200. Seeing that Yu Sanduo gave up on continuing to promote their services, Zhang Chuan didn't mind showing off his own panel. When Yu Sanduo sought his basic credits, his mouth couldn't close. Yu Sanduo didn't expect Zhang Chuan to be so defenseless, and he didn't expect his basic credits to be 1200 points? Yu Sanduo widened his eyes and expressed his surprise in an excited tone, then exclaimed, I just said that I'm the 010th in the sequence, but my basic credits are only 800 points. We actually have a difference of a whole one-third? 
Credits are the universal currency of Bingyuan University. Resources that require a huge amount of money to acquire outside can be obtained with credits here. Zhang Chuan's 1200 points could easily buy an entire A level cultivation resource, while Yu Sanwa's 800 points could at most afford a slightly better B level cultivation resource. The level of the two resources was clear at a glance. The key is the ranking between the two, which is only nine sequences apart. I knew that the competition in top universities was fierce, but I didn't expect it to be this intense. The level of importance is completely different. Yu Sanduo sighed, but he didn't have any dissatisfaction. The world is like this, the law of survival for animals is the survival of the fittest, let alone the human world. The stronger the strength, the more resources one can obtain, which is reasonable. And why does the government invest so many resources into top universities every year? Of course, it is to cultivate more strong individuals. A powerful enough king realm can easily form a group on their own. They can even guard an entire deep realm crevice on their own. It is precisely because of this that top universities spare no effort in making the strong even stronger. What qualifications do the weak have to complain and compare? If there were no strong individuals guarding and sacrificing, where would the birth of new blood in the new generation come from? Resources naturally tilt towards the stronger individuals. Whose child is this? Damn, such a beautiful girl. Ah, baby-like skin, the face of my dreams. Suddenly, there was a discussion in the class. Zhang Chuan and Yu Sanduo also turned their gaze towards the door, only to see a petite figure in fiery red entering the sight of everyone. He was slightly stunned because the person in front of him was the little lowly he had seen in the elevator yesterday. Only today, she was wearing a little skirt, but she still had a huge axe on her back. And today, her eyes had turned into double purple pupils, and the heterochromia was gone. The delicate and petite legs walked into the meeting room unhurriedly. Zhang Chuan had a thought at this moment. Who is the principal's child coming to find at this time? Zhang Chuan's speculation is based on some evidence. The girl carrying such a big axe is obviously talented. Plus, there is the presence of a different race from the color of this girl's hair. It can be seen that she is probably not purely of the human race. And the principal married someone from a different race and also has an SSS level talent, so it's not strange at all to have a daughter who was beyond ordinary. This clue fits perfectly, it's like a perfect opening, perfect to the point. But he can't keep thinking about the principle all day long. Zhang Chuan was startled by his own thoughts. It's not his fault, it can only be said that the fairy-like teacher Huanya is really charming. At this moment, several pairs of eyes in the meeting room gathered on the red-haired lowly. Other students may not recognize her, but they know her very well. They joined Icefield University this time just to be able to attend school with this girl. As they watched her come in, a group of top students were excited, thinking that she came for them. It wasn't until the girl passed by them that they sighed with disappointment. Yu San Duo, who was next to Zhang Chuan, exclaimed, Li Meng In. The former was a little surprised, he didn't expect that this shrewd fat guy next to him would know this girl too? She's looking at me. She's looking at me. Yu San Duo was so excited that his eyes never left Li Meng In. From the moment she entered, her eyes were fixed on him. Ah, she's coming towards me. Li Mengyan walked through the front corridor and headed towards the back row where they were. This made his mood skyrocket, directly soaring to the ninth heaven. Yu San Duo excitedly grabbed the arm of the man next to him, trembling with nervousness. Just as Zhang Chuan was about to ask him about the identity of the red-haired lowly, the other person stood in front of them. He met Li Mengyan's purple eyes, and the latter's purple pupils gave off a beautiful and profound feeling. From these eyes, Zhang Chuan could see that this red-haired girl had a secret. And it's not a small secret. Tai. Yu San Duo hadn't even finished saying two words. He saw Li Meng Yan raise her small hand and placed a light blue bracelet in front of Zhang Chuan, saying in a cute and charming voice, with a hint of childishness, this is what the teacher asked me to give you. The voice was cute and charming, with a hint of childishness, and the words were very formulaic. But to Zhang Chuan's ears, it was like a stormy sea. Teacher? Who is his teacher? Lu Huanya. In other words, this red-haired lowly. Is his senior sister as mentioned by Lu Huanya? Phew. Luckily she's not his mother. Li Mengyan seemed to have realized that Zhang Chuan had recognized her, she looked deeply at Zhang Chuan, and walked out of the classroom with her cute and delicate little feet. After Li Mengyan left, angry, resentful, and sour gazes focused on Zhang Chuan. Why does he know Li Mengyan? Who is he? The bracelet given by teacher Li Mengyan? Isn't that the principal? Damn. It's actually a bracelet personally given by the principal. What is this person's identity? Yu San Duo was also extremely shocked at this time. Li Meng Yan actually came to find Zhang Chuan. I dare to ask, how many people here don't know Li Meng Yan? 
Last year, she shook the entire country's new student competition with her own strength, but in the end, she was defeated by the wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles of various schools. But that day, she also created a miracle, successfully maintaining Icefield University's position as the top university. Xuan Ji, I'll be your lackey from now on. Yu San Duo had a fanatical look on his face, which made Zhang Chuan look disgusted. This child is beyond saving. Many students around were speculating about Zhang Chuan's identity, but the person involved himself had no psychological burden at all. He picked up the bracelet on the table. It was completely different from the one he had on his hand now. Not only was the capacity larger, but the workmanship was also more luxurious than most of the bracelets he had seen. This bracelet now also had the function of item identification, and it was even more perfect and intelligent than before. The mind penetrated, and there was a skill scroll lying quietly inside the bracelet. Jiang Chuan directly took it out, infused his mind, and directly absorbed the skill inside. Appraisal Technique This is the kind of skill that Lu Ran mentioned to him, specifically for appraising people. It must be something that Lu Ran and teacher Xianya talked about. She's so kind, I'm touched. Jiang Chuan was moved. Originally, he could have bought one himself, but he didn't expect the teacher to specially prepare one for him. He couldn't wait to use the appraisal technique. Rank, Warrior First Rank, Talent, S Level Liquid Metal. Rank, Warrior First Rank, Talent, A Level Thousand Mile I. Rank, Warrior Fourth Rank, Talent, S Level Corroding Bone Devil Flame. Some students have hidden their basic information, and Zhang Chuan can only see some star symbols among them. Just as Zhang Chuan was enjoying himself, a tall figure over two meters walked into the conference room of building No. 1. He had round eyes, a wolf head, a human body, and a black crescent moon on top of his head. Fortunately, the conference room door was high enough. According to the nearly three, five meter doorframe height, Zhang Chuan speculated that there were many owners of huge bloodlines. Behind the werewolf were five or six people wearing the Icefield University mentor robes neatly. They exuded a strong aura, but in order to avoid making the students nervous, they all restrained themselves. However, this oppressive feeling couldn't deceive Zhang Chuan, who had a high armor value. As the group entered, it was as if a lion had entered a flock of sheep, instantly silencing the originally noisy conference room. Greedy Wolf Bloodline The characteristics of the leading werewolf were very obvious, and the other party didn't even bother to hide his identity. They opened all the information for the students to view. This allowed Zhang Chuan to know the true bloodline of this werewolf mentor. Zhang Chuan didn't expect to encounter a special bloodline on the first day of the school meeting. Among the six mentors behind him, two of them were owners of special bloodlines. When the mentors saw that the students were quiet, they one by one stepped down from the podium and sat in the empty seats below. The werewolf took a step forward, cleared his throat, and said, Let me introduce myself. I am Xiang Lang, the dean of the Superpower Academy. As soon as he finished speaking, all the students couldn't help but chuckle. The dean's name really matched him everyone also knew that it was a serious occasion, so they didn't dare to be too unruly, just laughed lightly and immediately restrained themselves. Because of the students' self-awareness, Xiang Lang was not dissatisfied and continued, today's special admission freshman orientation will be hosted by me. First, I will call the roll according to the freshman sequence to confirm that everyone is present. Those who are called will also introduce themselves, including but not limited to their names, ranks, and talent information. Even though the conference room was extremely spacious, occupying an area of 600 square meters, there were no microphones on the podium, but the words of Xiang Lang, the dean of the Superpower Academy, could still be clearly heard by every student. Call the roll according to the freshman sequence? I heard yesterday that the higher the freshman sequence, the stronger the strength? Yes, I specifically asked the senior who received me yesterday, and it's true. Unbelievable, I'm ranked second in Jifeng province, but in the Icefield University's special admission, I can only rank 20th. Is there something wrong with the rankings? You have a problem, second in Jifeng province? There are many top scorers who didn't even make it into the top 10. Isn't this the 10th rank university? What kind of monsters are the ones who got in this year? I'm really curious, who is the number one in the freshman sequence? Didn't the dean say that we'll know soon according to the freshman sequence registration? The students in their seats whispered to each other looking around to find their target of discussion. The eyes of several top scorers flickered with sharpness. They also wanted to know who the number one in the freshman sequence, who trampled on them, was. Number one in the freshman sequence, Zhang Chuan. The voice of the werewolf dean, Hong Liang, came out. Listening to the other person reporting their name, Zhang Chuan stood up and lazily said, Zhang Chuan, first level warrior, with the talent of flesh armor. His self-introduction was very brief, without any other content, completely answering according to the dean's minimum standards. 
But as soon as he finished speaking, the conference room seemed like a giant stone had fallen into a calm lake, causing a huge wave. Flesh armor? Is it true? Can flesh armor talent really become number one now? Isn't this ridiculous? Isn't flesh armor a tank type talent? How did he pass the entrance exam? Is this ranking really not random? My S level talent didn't even make it to the top 10. In the hall, many people's eyes were all focused on Jiang Chuan. Many new students looked skeptical and were not very satisfied with this result. If Jiang Chuan had an SS level talent, many people would have to shut up and obediently become his stepping stone. This is human nature. Even if Jiang Chuan is popular, it is only in the Suyu province. Among the special admissions students present, the vast majority are students from other provinces. Even if Jiang Chuan's video went viral nationwide, it would only be a small wave, and no one would remember the protagonist in the video. For them, Jiang Chuan's flesh armor talent is mostly used to withstand damage as a meat shield and cannot have any attack ability. But now, the undeniable fact is right in front of them. So many people are doubting if there is some kind of conspiracy behind this? Of course, there are some new students who remember Jiang Chuan and are not surprised after knowing that he is the first. Jiang Chuan's performance in the purgatory difficulty level is unprecedented. No one can replicate his way of clearing the level. And he even passed the exam set by Lao Kai. Faced with many strange and skeptical gazes, Jiang Chuan remained calm, sat down, and continued to support his head as if nothing had happened. I knew it would be this result. Yu San Duo felt uncomfortable under so many gazes. This will be Jiang Chuan's future hatred value, although it is not shown now, it is only a matter of time. Unfortunately, the other party did not accept their services. In their view, this is definitely a win-win situation. The commotion below did not affect the werewolf dean on the stage. He adjusted his glasses, glanced at the list, and continued, sequence number 002, Zhuofiren. A young man with medium-length sky blue hair tied up with a headband stood up and said, I am Zhuofiren, from the imperial capital, fourth level warrior, with the talent of thousand water illusion. He appeared calm, with a faint smile on his face, making people feel refreshed. But those who knew him were shocked, he is Zhuofiren, the top scholar of the imperial capital? He actually came to the Icefield University. Even he can only be second? I seriously doubt the combat power assessment system. He is a dual talent holder. His talent should be thousand water combined with illusion. Don't ask me how I know. I was beaten by him back then. The following third-ranked Xiao Huajun and fourth-ranked Gu Dongsheng also caused a sensation in the audience. One is the top scholar of the Magic City, the other is the top scholar of the Sichuan and Guangdong provinces, both of whom are already famous figures. Unlike Jiang Chuan, who is a sudden dark horse, not many people know him. Sequence number 5, New Student Yen Pengcheng. A young man with slightly curly hair stood up, elegantly saying, Hello, everyone, I am Yen Pengcheng, a local from the Suyu province, 4th level warrior, with the S-level talent of bone-eating demon flame. He looked charming, but exuded a coldness mixed with a sense of violence. It's like being caught in a situation of extreme heat and cold. Anyone who has been stared at by his gaze will instinctively shrink their body feeling like they are being targeted by a wild beast. This Yen Pengcheng seems to have something special, he is a typical high cold gentleman. Just by looking at him, I can't summon any resistance. It seems that besides talent, he should also have a special bloodline, otherwise he wouldn't have such strong suppression power. Why does it feel like the last four are the ones who should be in the 001 new student sequence? What kind of ghost is that flesh armor? Everyone has no objections to the new students in the second to fifth sequences, but the first sequence where Jiang Chuan is located has become the target of criticism. Yen Peng Chang, from the Yen family with a rich family background. Both parents are third-level transcendent experts, with the top resources for cultivation. Coupled with his S-level talent and exotic bloodline, he can be said to be exceptional. His strength is extremely terrifying, and he even tramples on the four people, including him. This little brother, I've made up my mind. Among the information collected by Yu Sanduo, the most eye-catching is this fifth-ranked player, as well as the motivations of the top students joining the Ice Origin University. This is also why he knows about Li Meng Yen and reacts excitedly. He couldn't help but speculate that with Yin Pengcheng's background and strength, he would be considered top-notch even in the entire Hongxia country. He is definitely the best candidate to win the top spot in the Suyu province. If that's the case, it's estimated that he will also be the first in the new student sequence at Ice Origin University. Unfortunately, this year there is Jiang Chuan, this freak who emerged like a comet during the college entrance examination, directly pushing him to the fifth new student sequence. 
After about an hour, the werewolf dean finally finished calling the names, and added, Zhang He, student number 050, has already joined the school of fate, so he will not participate in any future activities. After listening to everyone's introductions, Jiang Chuan calculated in his heart, these 74 specially recruited students of ICE University are all outstanding. In the previous roll call, many people mentioned their rankings in their respective provinces. Except for Jiang He, none of them were ranked after the top 15 in their provinces. After talking about Jiang He's situation, Dean Xiang Lang looked around and seeing no objections from the new students, he continued, the specially recruited students have introduced themselves, and you all have a certain understanding of each other. Now, let me talk about the rules of our ICE University. When he said this, his expression suddenly became serious, and a crimson light flashed in his wolf-like eyes. A powerful aura of authority emerged, causing all the new students present to hold their breath and not dare to make a sound. First, there is the ranking mechanism. This point is basically the same in all top universities. Each grade has its own ranking list, and the higher the ranking, the more generous the rewards. This doesn't need further explanation, it has always been like this. And you are all new students, reporting for the first time, and all rankings are based on your performance in the college entrance examination. Each province has different exam questions, so ranking based on the college entrance examination performance is fundamentally unfair. I think there is some favoritism involved. Before Dean Xiang Lang finished speaking, his words were interrupted by a voice. The one who raised objections was the second-ranked student from the previous Jifeng province, and he was very dissatisfied with his ranking. Dean Xiang Lang glanced at him lightly and said, The school knows that ranking based on college entrance examination performance will definitely be seen as unfair by many people. It's okay, this new student ranking is only temporary. The real ranking will be revealed after the new student competition in a month. At that time, everyone will face the same exam questions, so there won't be any unfair factors. Based on the rankings each person achieves, the new student sequence will be reshuffled. But after the reshuffling, the initial credits received at registration will be different. What's the point of progress if it's not the same? It's better to give up. The second-ranked student from Jifeng province continued to find fault, and his words gained the agreement of most of the new students, with some people starting to echo his sentiments. Even if the new student sequence is reshuffled, all the credits have already been distributed, so even if you progress to first place, what difference does it make? The credits that are lacking will still be lacking, and their progress is not rewarded as it should be, so who would be willing to make an effort to improve their ranking? As one of the top 10 universities, Bing University naturally cannot overlook such loopholes. However, due to the temporary silence in the class, Dean Xiang Lang also chose to remain silent. He continued after the students stopped discussing, after the freshman competition, the serial numbers will be rearranged, and the missing credits will be made up one by one for you. Moreover, if you can improve your ranking within this month, in addition to the credits made up, you will also receive extra credits rewards, 30 times the increase in ranking. He saw many students fall into deep thought after hearing this condition, and he incited them further. Many students may not know how important credits are at Bing University, so let me explain briefly. 100 credits at Bing University can be exchanged for a C-level cultivation resource, and 300 credits can be exchanged for a C-plus level cultivation resource. According to the exchange rate, one credit at Bing University is roughly equivalent to 25,000 Hongxia coins in the outside world. In other words, as long as you rise 10 places, you can get an extra C-plus level cultivation resource, helping you improve faster. As Dean Xiang's words fell, it immediately sparked intense discussions. The freshmen who were still calculating their credits immediately gave up thinking. Previously, they were worried that after making progress, their credits would remain stagnant, but now, with Dean Xiang's words, who wouldn't be able to calculate this? One rank equals 30 credits. I am currently at 76, so I can directly surpass the first place and get 2,250 credits in one go. Plus, I already had a few credits, so at least I can have 3,000 points. One credit is equivalent to 25,000 Hongxia coins, it's simply terrifying. 10 ranks for a C-plus level cultivation resource, I can definitely take on the challenge, hiss. Every student in their seats became excited, and those who had doubts about their rankings had a gleam in their eyes. After all, as long as they could become stronger, they could earn more credits by achieving a higher rank in the competition a month later. It was a guaranteed profitable deal. The exchange rate of 1 colon 2. 5 already directly demonstrated the importance of credits. Why do I feel like this rule is malicious towards me? Zhang Chuan pondered for a moment and discovered the flaw. As the first in the freshman ranking, he had no room for improvement and had to accept challenges from everyone. If he wasn't careful, he would lose his rank. 
Of course, he also understood that unless he had a lot of strength during the college entrance examination and made great progress in the month of cultivation, it was unlikely that there would be a misjudgment by the higher ups of the academy. Otherwise, he would have to find the most suitable cultivation method for himself within a month and make rapid progress before the freshman competition. Other than that, there was basically no possibility of any significant changes in the rankings. After all, he was not the only one making progress, the other 70 or so students present were also improving. Xiang Lang ignored the discussions below and spoke with a voice that could cover the entire conference hall, entering Bing University is not for you to enjoy a wonderful college life or to feel superior. As specially admitted freshmen, even the worst among you have the credit advantage of having two C-level cultivation resources. These credits are meant for you to improve yourselves. You have the responsibility and obligation to become stronger, to protect the peace of Hongxia country, and for a peaceful future. There is one more thing I must remind you of. The school has a dedicated supervision department and law enforcement department of the Hongxia government. If they find anyone selling school resources, the consequences, TSK TSK, they will be immediately expelled, sent to the prosecutor's office for accountability, and permanently blacklisted. They will never be admitted to any academy in Hongxia country. Xiang Lang's voice was deep and resonant, like a grand bell, echoing in every corner of the conference hall. The extremely serious tone also made the students present realize the seriousness of the issue. Some students who were hoping to take advantage of their credits for personal gain suddenly looked startled and discreetly straightened up, hiding their ulterior motives. But it's understandable, apart from high-ranking individuals who would go on dungeon raids to obtain resources, there are also many resources provided by the government. These resources are given to students to help them improve themselves and become stronger. Even if there is no improvement in the end, the school wouldn't mind, after all, unexpected factors such as lack of talent or internal injuries exist. However, if they were to sell these resources casually, the nature of the matter would completely change, it would be no different from treason. The ranking system has already been explained, any more questions? Xiang Lang raised his wolf head slightly and scanned the crowd. The students below shook their heads one after another. The sequence arrangement of the academy basically meant that credits were being handed to them on a silver platter, so how could they have any objections? The rest didn't need much attention, they just needed to strive to improve. Xiang Lang nodded in satisfaction, next is the question that everyone wants to know the most, how to improve one's strength. There are two ways, first, through the secret realm, obtain magic cores and absorb the spiritual energy from them to enhance oneself. I don't need to explain this method much, everyone has experienced the college entrance examination and knows what the secret realm is. The reason why you weren't allowed to touch this method before the college entrance examination was because you hadn't grown up yet, and they were afraid that you would encounter unforeseen circumstances. Now that everyone has a rough understanding of their own abilities and can protect themselves in the secret realm, all opportunities are up to you to seize. The main secret realms of the academy are three, the Cave of Lamentation, suitable for students from the 3rd to 9th ranks of warriors, the Dark Forest, suitable for students from the 7th rank to the 2nd rank of grandmasters to explore, the Dark Abyss Corridor, suitable for students above the 2nd rank of grandmasters to explore. I hope everyone will act within their capabilities, if you die, you will need to deduct 100 credits for bloodline resurrection, remember, leave a drop of your own blood before entering the instance. The second method is to use the credits in your hands to exchange for good cultivation resources. Of course, this method is only suitable for students with abundant credits, such as the top-ranked freshmen. Is there any way to earn credits? Someone asked the question that was on everyone's mind. For young people, most of them still wanted to obtain cultivation resources through credits, which would not only reduce risks but also ensure the efficiency of their cultivation. Of course, some people would want to use credits to purchase equipment to enhance their combat power, but the better sets would cost over a thousand points per piece, and it wouldn't be cost-effective to buy individual pieces with credits. Based on these two points, most people still cared about the ways to earn credits. There are also two ways to earn credits, first, through the credit system on the school's official website, completing tasks assigned by the academy or personal bounty tasks can earn credits, second, by ranking on the school's heaven ranking and earth ranking, the higher the ranking, the more credits you can earn, the top 500 on the earth ranking can earn 50 to 100 points per month, and there are additional credit rewards for the top 3, the top 500 on the heaven ranking can earn 100 to 150 points per month, and there are also additional rewards for the top three. Generally speaking, entering the Grandmaster rank automatically puts you on the Heaven ranking, of course, there will definitely be exceptions, such as warriors who successfully challenge members of the Heaven ranking. Xiang Lang said a lot in one go, basically explaining many of the Academy's rules. 
Of course, this was also because the students present were all specially recruited, if they were ordinary students, he probably wouldn't even bother with any unnecessary words and just leave. We can earn credits just by being in the top 500 in the rankings? That's a piece of cake. Ha, huh, I ran from the south gate of our school to the north square in just two months, there's no one in our school who can challenge me. Just the earth ranking, I can easily conquer it. The specially recruited students in the conference hall were extremely excited, wishing they could go out and challenge some senior students right away. They are all elite candidates from various provinces, and they are determined to be on the list. Competition, transactions, upgrades. Everything at Bingyuan University is already perfect, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but sigh. It is truly one of the top 10 prestigious universities, and under the drive of this intense competition, more students are willing to spend time on cultivation. Of course, he also knows very well that it won't be easy to compete for a spot on the local ranking list. You see, the total number of students in the school is only 6,000, not counting the freshmen who will arrive in a month. The top 500 on this local ranking list are mostly senior students who have already spent a year at Bingyuan University, cultivating for a year. There are also many senior students in their third and fourth years. Even if some of them haven't studied seriously, the senior students who can make it onto the list have battle experience that the freshmen can hardly reach. In this situation, it's not so easy to immediately obtain the credits for next month's local ranking list. In the following time, Xiang Lang discussed some basic knowledge with the specially recruited students in the conference room. Because of his imposing aura, all the students listened attentively. He would also occasionally interact with the freshmen, which led to the meeting being extended for a while. Today's freshman orientation ends here. I hope that before the freshman competition, everyone can make reasonable use of their credits and create greater room for progress. It wasn't until noon, at 12 o'clock, that Xiang Lang announced the end of the orientation meeting. As the mentors gradually left, the freshmen in the conference hall began to have enthusiastic discussions. And the hottest topic was Jiang Chuan, who had the number 001 ranking. When I go back, I'm going to smoke 10 packs of cigarettes. I can't figure out why the first place is a physical talent. Clearly, the exam questions in each province are different, so how could he be so lucky to rank first? I, as the top scorer, am only 13th. But to be honest, regardless of whether his strength is genuine or not, he has indeed won my heart. Many girls expressed their admiration and adoration for Zhang Chuan's appearance, causing some people to feel unbalanced. Humph, I think this new student ranking first is simply not worthy of the name. Who knows if there's someone behind him? A very discordant voice came from the group of freshmen. Some students who were about to leave stopped in their tracks. Oh, there's going to be a good show. It looks like they're causing trouble for our top-ranked freshmen, huh? Interesting. Who has sunflower seeds? Bring me a pack. Ha ha ha, someone is using our first place as a stepping stone. Let's wait and see. Finally, Jung Chuan in the back row raised his head, looking slightly puzzled at the source of the voice. He saw a scar-faced young man looking at him disdainfully, as if he were looking at trash. Due to the policies of the Hongxia Kingdom, many freshmen had already started intensive training in high school, and similar provocation incidents were not uncommon. Everyone did this in order to achieve better rankings and better resources. Competition has never been a win-win situation, and as long as there is competition, both sides are bound to have some ill intentions. Perhaps only students like Zhang Chuan, who didn't attend school, have never seen such things before. His companion, Yu Sanduo, sighed. He didn't expect trouble to come so soon. My name is Wang Lufei, and my awakened ability is an A-level talent, rubber. In our province, I secured the second place on the list, and even ranked first in the city. How can I only rank 34th at Bingyuan University? I can't accept it. Therefore, I officially challenge you here, Zhang Chuan, the first place in the freshman ranking. Do you dare to accept? Wang Lufei declared, walking towards Zhang Chuan with his nose in the air, as if he already had the victory in his hands and didn't regard Zhang Chuan highly. Of course, it could also be because Zhang Chuan was not moved and still lying on the table. Are you also going to become the Pirate King? Zhang Chuan sneered in his heart, but didn't buy it, crazy. Zhang Chuan waved his hand without looking at the other person, changed his posture and looked out the window, ignoring this annoying person. He planned to leave the conference hall after everyone had finished. This answer surprised everyone. No one expected Zhang Chuan to react like this. In their eyes, the first newcomer had their own pride, and anyone who challenged would be fully accepted. At least they should establish their own authority and consolidate their position. Wang Lufei was also choked by Zhang Chuan's words, his face turning purple. What about being the first newcomer? What about the dignity of the strong? He continued to provoke. What? Scared. Ha, is this the first newcomer? 
I didn't expect the first newcomer to be just a cowardly turtle. It's no wonder your awakened talent is a turtle shell, hiding inside is your best choice. Wan Lufei kept belittling Zheng Chuan, giving him a headache. Finally, Zheng Chuan couldn't continue to enjoy the scenery and stood up. Yu Sanduo thought that Zheng Chuan was ready to fight, so he quickly stepped aside and gave Zheng Chuan a way out. After Zheng Chuan stood up, he directly avoided Wan Lufei's body and walked straight towards the conference hall door. He was ready to leave. This move stunned Wan Lufei for a moment. He's leaving. He's leaving. When he realized it, Zhang Chuan had already reached the entrance of the conference hall. Wan Lufei quickly caught up, taking three steps in two, and grabbed Zhang Chuan's arm. Zhang Chuan frowned, Are you annoying? Why should I fight you? There's no benefit for me. 100 credits, I bet 100 credits with you. Wang Lufei anxiously extended a finger. 100 credits? Equivalent to two and a half million red summer coins in reality. Tisk how can this young man curse people like this? Zhang Chuan fought, shaking off Wang Lufei's hand and shaking his head, 500, not a point less. Wang Lufei was stunned when he heard this bet. He ranked 34th among all the newcomers and only had 600 credits. If he lost this battle, he would only have 100 credits left and might end up with nothing. But then he thought, Zhang Chuan's ability is a physical armor, not an element or a weapon. And I am rubber, able to withstand physical attacks, that's why rubber is ranked as an A-level talent. It cancels each other out, his attacks are ineffective against me, but I can keep hitting him. I will definitely win this battle. 500 credits, it's like earning for free. After understanding the pros and cons, Wang Lufei gritted his teeth and nodded, okay. 500 it is, let's go to the arena. Zhang Chuan naturally had no objections when the other party agreed. 500 credits. It's almost half of my credits. Over 10 million red summer coins. It's almost my entire fortune. Just as Wang Lufei was about to leave with Zhang Chuan, a woman with a fairy-like appearance suddenly appeared at the door. Zhang Chuan's eyes lit up when he saw her, and he suddenly stopped following Wang Lufei. Hey hey hey, no need to go to the arena. Zhang Chuan called out to the challenger. Of course, he didn't need to call out as Wang Lufei was already stunned by the sudden appearance of the fairy. Zhang Chuan approached familiarly and pulled Lu Xianya in, saying, Teacher, this person wants to duel with me, the bet is 500 credits. Could you please be a witness? Gambling is not good. Lu Xianya reprimanded slightly, and took out a pack of melon seeds from her spatial bracelet. Zhang Chuan's face was full of black lines, then why did you bring out the melon seeds? But he nodded and agreed, I will follow the teacher's teachings and I will never associate with gambling. Wang Lufei originally thought she was a senior sister, but he didn't expect her to be a teacher. Thinking back to the scene where Jiang Chuan met another cute little girl, Wang Lufei felt like he had been hit by a million blows. The girls in the class favored him, and he even knew the beautiful fairy teacher and the cute little girl. This is unbearable. Today, we must knock this man down, otherwise how can our male freshman at Bingda stand up? Lu Xianya saw that Jiang Chuan was very sensible and nodded. Hmm. We won't stop the competition between students. Since it's the will of both sides, transfer your credits to me first. As she said that, she opened her own account and received the credit transfers from the two students. After 1,000 credits were transferred, Lu Xianya turned and sat in a seat in the conference hall. A group of students saw that the two were really going to fight, so they also found a seat and asked Lu Xianya for some melon seeds. None of the students present recognized Lu Xianya's true identity. Her cousin, the director of the admissions office, Lu Ran, and another vice principal were the ones who appeared more often at the school. Teacher Xianya didn't have any burden of being a king, casually distributing the melon seeds in her hand. The new students held the melon seeds in their hands and analyzed the situation. I know Wang Lufei, his rubber seems to be immune to physical attacks. If it weren't for his final boss and the college entrance examination being an armored cat demon, he could have easily become the top scorer. Zhang Chuan is the first among the freshmen, so he must have some skills, but we don't know what methods he will use. Does someone with a meat shield deserve to be the first among the freshmen? Don't be ridiculous, let's watch him get beaten up. Yes, Wang Lufei's ability development seems to be pretty good, his combat power is not bad, and in the case of effective one-sided attacks, we can basically draw a conclusion. Zhang Chuan and Wang Lufei directly chose to fight in the conference hall. The reason why the conference hall was over 600 square meters was to create a space for the school to conduct on-site teaching during special meetings. So inside the entire conference hall, only half was reserved for seats and a podium, while the other 300 square meters was a huge arena. Zhang Chuan and Wang Lufei stood facing each other, looking into each other's eyes. The latter's eyes were full of fighting spirit at this moment. If he wins this battle, his score will exceed 1000. If he loses this battle? Impossible, absolutely impossible. 
Wang Lufei was full of fighting spirit. On the other hand, Jiang Chuan lazily put one hand in his pocket, without much desire for battle in his eyes. He was only gambling with Wang Lufei for the sake of credits. Lu Xianya saw that the two had taken their positions, gently waved her hand, and a mysterious force enveloped the conference hall. Then she peeled a melon seed and announced, All right, you may begin. Name, Wang Lufei, talent, a level rubber, realm, martial artist second stage, race, human, Wang Lufei had introduced himself before, so Jiang Chuan's appraisal technique immediately revealed his information. Seeing the opponent's realm, Jiang Chuan's expression remained unchanged, his eyes still casual. Jiang Chuan was not like the other Jiang Chuan from the previous life. Others may not know how to deal with rubber, but Jiang Chuan knew very well. In this world, no one can escape the four-dimensional attributes. No matter how strong the rubber talent is, it still has its limits. As long as Jiang Chuan can break through the rubber's endurance limit, he can shatter the inherent concept of rubber ignoring physical attacks. Wang Lufei only has the strength of a martial artist's second stage, but as long as his attacks are dense enough and strong enough, he can definitely achieve this. Do you want to use weapons? Jiang Chuan asked. Real men fight with their bare hands. Wang Lufei sneered. He wasn't a fool. Jiang Chuan was the top scorer, the number one in the new student ranking. Who knows what equipment he has to counter Wang Lufei. Jiang Chuan shrugged helplessly, saying, No, I mean if you want to use equipment, go ahead. I didn't prepare any equipment myself. His tone was as if he was giving Wang Lufei a favor. Isn't Jiang Chuan acting a bit arrogant? Provoking the opponent before the fight even starts? I guess that's the confidence of being ranked first. We can't learn that even if we want to. I really want to see how Wang Lufei will be defeated when he wears equipment and fights against Jiang Chuan, the first in the new student ranking. As expected, Jiang Chuan's words were like a fuse, instantly igniting Wang Lufei's anger. Jiang Chuan, don't underestimate me. His lungs were about to explode. Not only did he have the attention of many cute girls and beautiful teachers, but now he also had to pretend to be a master. What does it mean that he can use equipment while Jiang Chuan doesn't? Isn't that looking down on him? Wang Lufei, who was once the second-ranked scholar with an inflated ego, could no longer control his unruly power, and the next action from the other side completely infuriated him. Jiang Chuan extended his index finger and lightly beckoned twice, pointing his nostrils towards the sky, saying, Come here. Wang Lufei suddenly leaped 10 meters, but as his figure moved away, his fist remained in place. Pistol. Wang Lufei shouted, and his fist quickly retracted as it reached its limit distance. By the time it returned to Wang Lufei's side, it had accumulated enough elastic energy, combined with his own strength. This punch could break the heavens. At this moment, Jiang Chuan's mind was filled with countless little camels running. Are you really not the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates? Even the skills are exactly the same. While Jiang Chuan was distracted by his own complaints, Wang Lufei's fist landed on his chest. Bang! A dull sound of a fist hitting flesh echoed, and Jiang Chuan's body flew backward, embedded in the wall. Received an attack from Wang Lufei, Qi value plus one. The students in the audience were stunned, some even showing regretful expressions. Wasn't the first in the new student ranking too weak? Is it over already? If I had known, I would have participated. There was no way around it. Jiang Chuan's appearance was somewhat embarrassing, but the wall he was embedded in didn't crumble at all because of his impact. He knew that this was the miraculous aspect of Hai Ai's time talent. Jiang Chuan arched his backside and pushed himself out of the wall. The originally dented wall instantly restored to its original state. After tidying up the wrinkles on his clothes, Jiang Chuan leisurely walked up to Wang Lufei. Seeing that he was fine, Wang Lufei couldn't believe it and asked, You're okay? Jiang Chuan shrugged and said matter-of-factly, Your speed is enough, but your strength is lacking. As he spoke, he extended his hand to demonstrate a distance that was far from the pickle market. Lacking in strength? Wang Lufei's eyes suddenly narrowed, truly deserving of being the strongest in the rankings but soon his eyes became sharp again. Let me show you what true power is. Wang Lufei suddenly gathered his momentum and then swung his hands back, clenching them into fists. Machine gun. His fists fell like a storm, each punch carrying the maximum force. Obviously, he wanted to cause a qualitative change through intensive attacks. Jiang Chuan's muscles sank and then tightened, and his steps gradually moved backward due to the opponent's force. Soon, he arrived at a familiar place. The wall behind him seemed happy to see him again, and Jiang Chuan once again embedded himself in the wall. Only this time, it was his entire body. Even the top freshman won't be able to withstand this, right? It's so easy to earn these 500 credits the flesh armor talent doesn't ignore attacks, so he's bound to get hurt. If he can't handle it this time, he'll eventually be defeated after a few more tries. Even if he can withstand and counterattack, 
What can he do against the rubber talent without a weapon? I think Wang Lufei will win this match. What do you think, teacher? The new students watched as if they could see the outcome, and they asked for Liang Xianya's opinion. Hmm. The fairy principal was happily peeling sunflower seeds. As for why only sunflower seeds, perhaps it was the only snack that wouldn't tarnish her glorious image. Suddenly being asked a question, Liang Xianya confidently replied, the student with the rubber talent has already lost. After answering, she put the sunflower seeds in her mouth, and her soft and pink lips made the male students around her drool. Every movement made their hearts tremble, and this teacher's beauty reached a new height. Fortunately, the two girls beside her acted as qualified guards and didn't let the male students get close. Of course, even without them, several male students wouldn't be able to get close to Liang Xianya. The time she spent was not in the same dimension as theirs. If it had to be said that she was in the same time dimension as someone now, it would probably only be her newly acquired disciple. Although she was confident that Zhang Chuan wouldn't lose, it was still necessary to provide him with this layer of protection. After about five minutes, it seemed that Wang Lufei felt tired or felt that he had had enough, so he stopped his movements. He looked at the human-shaped dent in the wall, panting slightly. Zhang Chuan's hands hung outside, his face shrouded in darkness, making it impossible to see his expression. Just then, a lazy voice came from inside the wall, Is that all you've got, weakling? Received an attack from Wang Lufei, Qi value plus one. Received an attack from Wang Lufei, Qi value plus one. Received an attack from Wang Lufei, Qi value plus one. In this way, hundreds of punches were continuously thrown for about five minutes. It seemed that Wang Lufei felt tired or felt that he had had enough, so he stopped his movements. He looked at the human-shaped dent in the wall, panting slightly. Zhang Chuan's hands hung outside, his face shrouded in darkness, making it impossible to see his expression. Why is there no movement? Could Zhang Chuan be done for? Hard to say. Strictly speaking, Zhang Chuan's realm is one level lower than Wang Lufei's. Conservatively estimating, he might have broken a few ribs. He shouldn't be in mortal danger, otherwise, the fairy teacher would have intervened long ago. He's probably just passed out. Just when everyone thought Zhang Chuan was unconscious, a lazy voice came from inside the wall. Is that all you've got, weakling? Zhang Chuan's voice showed no signs of weakness. The commotion inside the wall also successfully frightened the students. Damn, he's actually fine. This is crazy, not even moving. I thought he was playing dead. The top of the rankings. The flesh armor. Truly lives up to its reputation. The students present were well aware of the immense power of Wang Lufei's punches. The sight of his attacks hitting the flesh sent shivers down their spines. If they were in Jiang Chuan's position, enduring for so long would probably have really knocked their soul out. Of course, they wouldn't just stand there and let Wang Lufei hit them. Jiang Chuan's hands, which were originally hanging down, suddenly stiffened and grabbed the wall. His body swiftly broke free from the wall and stood in front of Wang Lufei, with a different look in his eyes, showing no signs of fatigue. Jiang Chuan was not just unharmed, but completely intact. Only his hair was a bit messy. Seeing his opponent, Wang Lufei, at this moment, his head was buzzing and his eyes were blankly staring at the new top-ranked student in front of him. With just one sentence, the opponent successfully confused his CPU. It was he who initially challenged Zhang Chuan, but after letting him hit for so long without any harm, he was left dumbfounded. And now, another insult, it was like Garen's Infinity Edge, leaving Wang Lufei silent and critically hit. If Zhang Chuan had transformed into a well-built fitness girl, there would have been a chance for Fiora to enter the scene because this sentence could completely break through Wang Lufei's defense. Continuing to attack would be meaningless, as this level of intensity couldn't even harm Jiang Chuan, and Wang Lufei had no more tricks up his sleeve. As for the reason why Jiang Chuan obediently took the hits. Firstly, he couldn't avoid Wang Lufei's attacks, as all his abilities were focused on defense and not agility. Secondly, he needed to borrow the opponent's strength and return it in full, successfully breaking the rubber's tolerance level. The provocation earlier was just a means to induce Wang Lufei into attacking recklessly. Seeing that the kid in front of him had lost his fighting spirit, Zhang Chuan had no intention of continuing to play with him. Now, it's my turn to attack, Zhang Chuan calmly reminded. Because the next attack would be very unfriendly to Wang Lufei, and it could potentially become a lifelong psychological shadow for him. However, this well-intentioned reminder successfully brought Wang Lufei back to his senses. His gaze focused on the handsome face in front of him, which he had been extremely jealous of. He remembered that they were still in a duel. Although he couldn't break through his defense, Zhang Chuan, who was unarmed, also had no ability to harm him. Thinking of this first point, Wang Lufei's scattered gaze became focused and filled with hope. As long as he took the opportunity to propose that everyone should each take back their credits, Zhang Chuan would definitely agree. As the top-ranked student in the new ranking, 
He didn't want all his attacks to be ineffective, right? That would be too cheap. Jiang Chuan spread out his five fingers, and a blue light circulated around his body like the blades of an electric fan. Counterattack Storm. Jiang Chuan silently released his skill in his heart. Unlike Wang Lufei, he still cared about people in the world. Teacher Huna was still watching from the sidelines. All the attacks he had previously endured were all gathered and consolidated in his hands. Jiang Chuan condensed and compressed them, forming a blue light sphere. This was the usage of the counterattack storm that he came up with after encountering Wang Lufei's rubber talent. Originally, the counterattack storm could only completely replicate the damage he had suffered, without changing the location of the attack. In other words, the counterattack storm could only counterattack in the exact same spot where Wang Lufei had hit. Now, Jiang Chuan didn't release the counterattack power in a mindless manner like before. Instead, he prepared to concentrate all his strength in one spot, surpassing the limits of Wang Lufei's body's endurance. The only downside was that the counterattack power in this method would be somewhat lost, about 20%. Wang Lufei seemed to be fully prepared, with his hands behind his back, chest out, abdomen in, and a confident smile on his face. Just as comfortable as Jiang Chuan was in front of him earlier, now he was equally confident. He wanted to face Jiang Chuan's attack with the most heroic posture. Jiang Chuan's right hand condensed the power of the counterattack, and a faint yellow light wrapped around it. Shield attack. The counterattack storm combined with the shield attack, hitting Wang Lufei's shoulder. The latter didn't feel anything at first, but in an instant, a force that could destroy anything attacked his shoulder. And this force felt very familiar to him. In just a moment, Wang Lufei felt like he had been attacked hundreds or even thousands of times, and what was even more terrifying was that Jiang Chuan had even stronger attacks. You see, Wang Lufei is currently under the influence of his rubber talent, and his body has been transformed from the inside out by rubber. However, as a second-level warrior, the rubber material is still somewhat stiff. So when Jiang Chuan hit him, it still felt like being hit on a real human body. His fist landed where Wang Lufei had been ravaged by the counterattack storm before. At this point, Wang Lufei's rubber body had already been shattered, and Jiang Chuan took advantage of the situation to focus his attack. Concentrating on one point, reaching the peak. Without any obstacles, Jiang Chuan's iron fist pierced through Wang Lufei's shoulder directly. And at this point, Wang Lufei's face was already in pain and distorted, grimacing. He looked at his wound in horror, where a hand was still connected. His short sleeves were soaked in blood, making his liver tremble. Wang Lufei's right hand gradually lost sensation, and his scapula was shattered. From childhood to adulthood, apart from being cut by a knife or burned, he had never been injured, so he usually stayed away from these two things. But now, seeing the man entering his body in front of him, he felt fear for the first time. If Jiang Chuan's punch had hit somewhere else instead of his shoulder, he would have been done for. This is not a copy, if you die, you truly disappear from this world. Jiang Chuan slowly withdrew his arm, while Wang Lufei, as if all his strength had been drained, knelt on the ground. He weakly lowered his head and said, I surrender. The scene of Wang Lufei kneeling and surrendering left the students present dumbfounded. The fight ended with just one punch. What was I expecting? No wonder he's ranked first among the freshmen. I should have put away my immature thoughts earlier. I don't have the strength to fight him at all. Isn't Wang Lufei supposed to have rubber talent? How did Jiang Chuan do it? You could say it's a talent for flesh armor. Jiang Chuan did withstand such a high intensity attack, but he really did pierce through Wang Lufei's body. They had watched Wang Lufei's flashy attacks for so long, as if they had already seen him seize the first place among the freshmen. But Jiang Chuan managed to withstand his attacks with his own body. And Jiang Chuan's attack on Wang Lufei only happened once, just one strike. All of this happened very quickly, from Jiang Chuan jumping over the wall to throwing a punch, only a few seconds had passed. However, in those few seconds, it completely overturned the freshman's understanding. First, everyone realized the terrifying nature of Jiang Chuan's flesh armor defense. At least, simple physical attacks didn't have much effect on Jiang Chuan. Then came Jiang Chuan's attacking ability, which completely broke the inherent knowledge that rubber talent ignores physical attacks. And it was a direct piercing attack, without any extra means. After this battle, Jiang Chuan's position was solidified, and the freshman present would also consider challenging him after witnessing his fight with Wang Lufei. Although they didn't know what method Jiang Chuan used, they had gained some understanding of his combat power. Wang Lufei was the best measure of combat power. To face Jiang Chuan head-on, they would also have to withstand his punch, right? Otherwise, they would be as embarrassed as this rubber big brother. Lu Huanya saw this result and nodded in satisfaction. A hint of enlightenment flashed in her eyes. Previously, during the live video broadcast, she didn't see the profoundness of Jiang Chuan's skills. 
But now, she could clearly see that at the moment when her disciples' attack touched Wan Lufei's body, a violent force erupted from the point of contact. It was as if Zhang Chuan had unleashed several minutes of attacks in that instant. As for the more detailed secrets, even Lu Xianya cannot fully see through them. It is estimated that it will take two more attempts to draw a conclusion. Sure enough, I found another precious student this time. Lu Xianya stood up, and the students in the conference hall felt a blur in front of their eyes, and she had already arrived next to Zhang Chuan and Wan Lufei. She took out a bottle of healing potion and handed it to Wang Lufei, classmate, go back and rest well, you've done great. Wang Lufei took the conical transparent bottle from the teacher's hand, which contained a green liquid. Listening to the teacher's gentle voice, he felt as if he was bathed in a spring breeze, and the pain in his arm had already been soothed. Zhang Chuan saw Wang Lufei's somewhat dazed expression and shook his head. Another young man bewitched by the teacher's beautiful appearance, how pitiful this round goes to Zhang Chuan's victory, does anyone have any objections? Although Lu Xianya said this, she had already started transferring money, depositing 1,000 credits into Zhang Chuan's account. In the face of undeniable facts, what objections could they have? Then let's go, Zhang Chuan. Lu Xianya brushed a strand of hair behind her ear and smiled at Zhang Chuan, giving him a sense of elusive beauty. Without waiting for Zhang Chuan's answer, she walked out of the conference hall on her own. How could Zhang Chuan dare to neglect? Teacher Wang Jing personally asked, even if he didn't want to go, he had to follow. At this time, Xiao Pangzi Yusanduo, who had watched the whole process from the back row, had a gleam in his eyes, which further strengthened his determination to become Zhang Chuan's sworn brother. Teacher Xianya, why did you come here today? Zhang Chuan caught up with Lu Xianya's pace and asked. The teacher arrived just as the freshman orientation meeting ended, so she definitely didn't come here just to wander around. Of course, I came to see my dear disciple. Lu Xianya turned her back and spoke with a gentle and pleasant voice. I don't believe it. Zhang Chuan was not deceived by Lu Xianya. If she had just met him, he might have been moved by her. He, he, okay, Jing Jing asked me to pass on a message to you. Jing Jing? You just saw her yesterday, and you've already forgotten her today. You really are heartless and ungrateful, my little disciple. Oh, that man. The envy and jealousy of all women. Humph, Jing Jing said she needs you to find a heart clearing snow lotus in the silver level deep realm. Heart clearing snow lotus? There has been a mutation in Jiang He's cursed power causing another negative effect, which can only be eliminated by the heart-clearing snow lotus. Zhang Chuan's expression suddenly became serious when he heard that Zhang He was in trouble. He grabbed Lu Xianya's arm and asked, Is she okay? She's with Jing Jing, so she'll be fine. But if you continue to exert yourself, you might get into trouble. Lu Xianya turned her head and looked at Zhang Chuan with a smile that was not a smile. It was only then that Zhang Chuan realized the seriousness of the situation. He quickly retracted his hand, lowered his head, and apologized, I'm sorry, Teacher Xianya. Seeing Zhang Chuan quickly apologize, Lu Xianya's gaze softened. She could feel Zhang Chuan's concern for Zhang He's safety. She gently stroked his head twice and said softly, All right, just be more careful next time. How could I dare to have a next time? Zhang Chuan smiled bitterly in his heart and said, When can I enter the deep realm? The next silver level deep realm should be in early August, which is half a month from now. By the way, Teacher, what exactly is the deep realm? Is it a secret realm? Zhang Chuan suddenly realized that he didn't even know what the deep realm was. Lu Xianya was surprised. You don't even know what the deep realm is, but you insisted on joining the deep realm trial class? Zhang Chuan scratched his head. The director of the Imperial University Admissions Office said that the deep realm can quickly improve one's strength, so I wanted to join and accompany Zhang He. You really care about your little companion? Is she your girlfriend? Lu Xianya was very curious. Please don't let love tarnish the pure friendship between me and Zhang He. Pa, scumbag. I can tell that Zhang He's friendship with you is not pure. Lu Xianya exposed. Zhang Chuan just smiled and didn't explain much, instead changing the topic. So what exactly is the deep realm, my good teacher? Seeing that Zhang Chuan didn't answer, Lu Xianya didn't pursue it either, but instead explained, the deep realm is also a type of secret realm, but the danger level and difficulty are far beyond ordinary instances. Different from ordinary secret realms, the deep realm is not just a simple clearance instance, but an exploration instance, and the final reward will be determined by the degree of exploration. In order to obtain better rewards, some people are willing to spend 7 days exploring the deep realm, 7 days being the maximum time limit for the deep realm to open. However, so far, no one has been able to achieve full exploration and obtain the ultimate reward of the deep realm. Isn't there a strategy for the deep realm instance? Zhang Chuan asked in confusion. If it's an exploration type instance, wouldn't having a strategy save a lot of time? Lu Xianya shook her head and explained, each time you enter the deep realm instance, 
It's a different map with different monsters, completely random. Monster distribution, changes in terrain, environmental influences, all kinds of unexpected factors can appear in the deep realm. The heart-clearing snow lotus that you need to obtain this time is in the exploration reward, and you can obtain it by reaching 80% exploration. What about the 100% exploration reward? Zhang Chuan asked curiously. Lu Xianya glanced at him and said, Baptism, the baptism from the instance. It can greatly enhance a person's realm and four-dimensional attributes. I have undergone the baptism of a diamond-level deep realm and leaped from the seventh rank of the king's realm to the peak of the king's realm. Just now, teacher Xianya, didn't you say that no one has achieved 100% exploration of the deep realm? I was referring to the silver-level instances. For those with truly top talents, achieving full exploration of the deep realm is actually quite easy. Lu Xianya said impatiently. Zhang Chuan realized that this was the confidence of someone with an SSS level talent. I have to calculate everything just to pass a college entrance exam instance, and I have to put in effort to gather monsters and get beaten up for promotion. Zhang Chuan felt the deep malice of this world. But he wasn't going to complain or accuse anything. The world was inherently unfair, and how could one reach the heights of a prodigy without some tricks up their sleeve? No wonder Director Su from Emperor University said that the Deep Realm was the fastest way to improve, probably referring to the ability to receive the baptism of the Deep Realm, right? The two of them chatted as they walked and quickly returned to Zhang Chuan's villa no. 1. Thank you, teacher, for escorting me all the way back. Be careful on the way. Zhang Chuan said politely, then turned to undergo facial recognition. Lu Xianya? She had followed Zhang Chuan all the way back just to further understand her student and fulfill her duty as a teacher. When did she become a bodyguard? At this moment, the door of Villa No. One had already been opened, and Lu Xianya kicked Zhang Chuan from behind. She wanted to let this student who didn't understand the importance of respecting teachers know that she also had a temper. The innocent student stumbled from the kick and almost fell flat on his face. Zhang Chuan instinctively showed a displeased expression, but when he thought about the powerful expert behind him, he quickly changed his expression to a pitiful one. Teacher Xianya? What's wrong, don't you welcome me? Lu Xianya ignored him and walked into the villa with graceful steps. Congratulations to the host for passing the 110 difficulties, now entering the elderly mode. Destiny has already paved the way for you, congratulations, you have come a long way. Detected that the host, a king's realm expert, has entered the activity area, triggering daily tasks. Arranging a fulfilling day for the strong one who has come from afar. The final reward will be based on the opponent's pleasure value. Current pleasure value, dash 10 slash 100, among the dogs that lick, the one that becomes the king is the king of dogs. Everyone must offer a generous gift to their own future. Come on, young man. 110 difficulties? Zhang Chuan calculated the days and realized that it has been exactly 110 days since he received this system three months ago, early April, until today, July 17th. And yesterday, the daily tasks of the system almost killed him in his own villa area. Without any surprises, it was his system's conscience that realized he had suffered too much? In that instant, Zhang Chuan finally understood what it meant to endure hardships to become a better person. He had been striving for promotion for three months, although there were also some reasons on his part. But who would have thought that doing push-ups could trigger daily tasks? It's probably only his system that could be so bizarre. But it's fine, he finally made it through. Then he looked at the tasks issued by the system. Wow, it actually bluntly asked him to be a licking dog. It seems. The system has also become enlightened in that generous gift it mentioned, without any surprises, should be his thick skin face, right? But Jiang Chuan thought about entering the deep realm in half a month, and now is the best time to start, neither too early nor too late. But what's the deal with this minus 10 pleasure value? Who made his fairy teacher unhappy? Jiang Chuan didn't think too much and quickly put on a flattering smile, saying, how is that possible? Welcome, teacher Huanya, to visit my humble abode and personally guide me. He quickly walked ahead to lead his teacher. After all, this house had 400 square meters and it was easy to get confused about the room locations. Just at this moment, a slight sound came from in front of him. Gu teacher Huanya, are you hungry? Lu Huanya's face looked a bit embarrassed, her face slightly red, and she clenched her fists, saying, no, mind your own business. Zhang Chuan supported his teacher's shoulder as they walked and rubbed it, saying, it's already past lunchtime, and you must be hungry. Teacher, you've come all this way to find me, it must have been tiring. Just take a rest in the living room, and your good student will make you lunch. Saying that, he pressed his teacher onto the genuine leather sofa in his living room, then headed towards the kitchen. Zhang Chuan had been living alone for these past few years, and besides his abnormal skills, he also had normal cooking skills. Coupled with his experience of living alone in his past life, 
making a few dishes in a short time was a piece of cake. He used to order takeout instead of cooking, simply because he earned enough money to not be so tight on budget, and he had become a bit complacent. However, due to limited ingredients at home, Zhang Chuan could only serve two bowls of rice, a plate of tomato scrambled eggs, and a bowl of seaweed soup after 10 minutes. Zhang Chuan handed over a pair of chopsticks and a spoon, smiling and saying, these are the only ingredients I have at home. If the teacher thinks the cooking is decent, I'll go buy some ingredients later and make you a proper dinner. Cooking even comes with after-sales service. The service attitude couldn't be more thoughtful. In his spare time, he opened his task list and took a glance. Huanya's pleasure value suddenly went from negative to 10. At this moment, Huanya stared at the food in front of her. Compared to the delicacy she had eaten before, the simple and tasteless soup made by Zhang Chuan couldn't compare. But in this meal, she felt a warmth she had never experienced before. Teacher, please eat quickly, or I'll finish it all. Hearing Zhang Chuan's urging, Lu Huanya focused her eyes and looked. Her student was eating in front of her without any gentlemanly manners, and she genuinely smiled. There was a hint of tears in her eyes, but she concealed it well. Then she started to eat in small bites, every movement highlighting her fairy-like temperament. It felt as if the dishes on the table were not ordinary home-cooked meals, but divine delicacies. Zhang Chuan felt that the style of this meal was on a completely different level. Looking at the pleasure value again, after this meal, Lu Huanya's pleasure value reached 40 points. And this was just a lunch. Zhang Chuan keenly noticed the abnormality in Lu Xianya's eyes, but he wasn't sure of the reason behind it. He immediately asked, Teacher, did you cry? Who made you unhappy? As a student, Zhang Chuan was immediately filled with righteous indignation, his voice slightly raised. Lu Xianya took a small bite of food and casually said, It's nothing, just thinking about some unhappy things, and... I've never had such delicious food before. The principal was always straightforward and didn't hide her love for the meal Zhang Chuan cooked. Thank you for liking it, but I still want to say, Teacher Xianya, you can tell me if something is bothering you. Your students can protect you, I can definitely handle it. Zhang Chuan clenched his fist and pounded his chest, full of confidence. After hearing Zhang Chuan's declaration, Lu Xianya looked into his sincere eyes. She became somewhat absent-minded. Clearly, he was just a mediocre warrior but he said such childish words in front of a king-level expert. Yet, it unexpectedly touched Lu Xianya. At that moment, she might have understood why she had such a strong obsession to accept the student. She even made a promise to sacrifice her origin. Perhaps it was Zhang Chuan's responsibility towards Zhang He that made her feel an unprecedented warmth. She also longed for this kind of protection. If she hadn't grown fast enough, she probably wouldn't still be at this school, right? Lu Xianya smiled, like a flower in the spring particularly ethereal under the sunlight shining through the window. Although she didn't answer Zhang Chuan, he already got his answer. As expected, under his meticulous observation and guidance, Lu Xianya's happiness value increased by 10 points. He immediately stood up, intending to continue pleasing her. He went to Zhang Yi's luggage and took out a pile of snacks from the big suitcase. Zhang Yi's clothes were stored in the spatial bracelet, with half of the suitcase reserved for daily necessities and the other half for snacks. He carried all the snack minions in front of Lu Xianya. Teacher, these are all little he he's treasures, try them. Ha, uh, do you know why I like to eat snacks? Lu Xianya covered her mouth and chuckled, her eyes fixed on the snacks on the table. Some people like to smoke, some people like to drink. Maybe for a teacher like me, snacks are like those things, they can make you feel relaxed. Zhang Chuan put away the plates and chopsticks on the table, and the principal watched in a daze. Really? Really? This student was too much like her ideal family. I'll live here from now on, okay? It can also motivate you to improve faster. Lu Xianya found a convincing reason, scaring Zhang Chuan, causing him to slip. In the moment the dishes slipped from his hands, time seemed to freeze. When time returned, the dishes were already washed and neatly placed in the cupboard. Lu Xianya was lying on the sofa, her pure white long skirt slightly lifted, revealing her smooth, jade-like legs. In her hand were the unpacked snacks. At this moment, she was enjoying the snacks while watching the TV on the wall which happened to be Interstellar Baby. Zhang Chuan, who came back to his senses, wondered who he was, where he was, and what had just happened. You cook, I wash the dishes, clear division of labor. I hope you can bring me more delicious meals in the future. Zhang Chuan laughed and cried, as if he had unexpectedly discovered something incredible. The meal he cooked turned out to be a king-level trap, capturing his food-loving teacher. And the beauty actually washed the dishes herself. Even Lu Laosher would have to walk alone. Looking at the animation Lu Xianya was watching, hmm, it's very Jiang He. Little He He would probably jump with joy when she comes back. 
Zhang Chuan didn't know why he inexplicably brought the king level Lu Xianya home. And then, under some incredible chemical reaction, Lu Xianya actually wanted to live with him. Zhang Chuan looked at the system task panel again, and Lu Xianya's joy value had reached 70 points. In the afternoon, Zhang Chuan went out to buy two game consoles of the same model as the Yecheng Villa, he was delayed yesterday because he was too tired and it was too late. As long as there are credits, you can buy anything at Bingyuan University. The two game consoles cost Jiang Chuan 220 credits. Since he earned 500 credits today, he didn't feel anything spending them. Afterwards, he also bought some meat products with cash at the supermarket in the school, preparing to cook a big meal for the teacher when he returned home. Originally, he wanted to use credits to buy some spirit beast meat, but he was afraid that he couldn't cook it well, so he chose normal meat instead. Back home, Jiang Chuan also experienced the fun of the new game console, which was much better than the previous apartment building. Just after finishing a gun battle game, a long-lost online friend sent a message. Red-haired little witch, he he he. After a year, this princess is back. Zhang Chuan's heart shook when he saw this message. This was the online friend that Zhang he had met three years ago. She belonged to the type that was both inexperienced and loved to play, but her personality was very good, so they didn't mind playing with her every time. Over time, they became friends, and they both knew each other's student identities. A year ago, this online friend said she was going to college and couldn't play in the first year. After saying hello, she really never came online again. Zhang Chuan and the others thought she had quit the game, and he couldn't even remember what her voice sounded like. Now seeing her message again, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but smile. It turns out she didn't deceive them back then. Zhang Chuan, how are you, senior? Which university are you attending? Is your study so busy? Red-haired little witch, Bingyuan University, hi hi hi. Don't say so much, come and fight, get on voice chat. Jiang Chuan, the little witch is also from Bingyuan University. I didn't expect to meet a senior from the same school while playing a game. And she's an old acquaintance from three years ago. After hearing the other party's voice in the voice chat, Jiang Chuan was even more shocked. He heard this voice earlier this morning. It was Li Mengyan, the cold senior sister. Thinking about the other party's ID and characteristics, they really matched. Compared to her lively appearance in the game, senior sister was really unapproachable in reality faced with this situation. Zhang Chuan could only sigh, fate is truly indescribable like this. Zhang Chuan played games, Lu Xianya watched animations, and time flew by. At 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Zhang Chuan left enough time to prepare dinner. Sweet and sour spare ribs, cola chicken wings, smashed cucumber with baby bok choy, and a bowl of steamed egg custard. Two meat dishes, two vegetable dishes, and a soup directly raised the teacher's joy value to the maximum. Ding, daily task completed, please claim your reward. Ding, would you like to claim your reward? Jiang Chuan didn't hesitate at all and chose to claim it directly. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the S-level passive skill, Giant Guardian. Giant Guardian enhances danger perception and can sense the life force within a 160 meter radius. The range depends on the armor value, current armor value, 160, Zhang Chuan saw the effect of this passive skill and exclaimed how powerful it was. It's like having observation hockey within a 160 meter radius. And it can also search for life within a 160 meter range. It's simply a necessary skill for exploring deep areas. The most important thing is that this is a skill that can grow. Just like his armor breakthrough reward skill, it belongs to a relatively high-end skill. Is this the reward for the Wang Jing daily task? No wonder people say that if you lick the dog long enough, you'll have everything in the end. Isn't this the best example of it? Now Jiang Chuan has no objections to Lu Xianya staying at his house, and he even wants to treat her like a treasure. There's no other way, it's for better rewards no shame. The next day, Lu Xianya saw that Jiang Chuan was still playing games and finally decided to personally practice with him. Duo duo duo. She lightly tapped Jiang Chuan's 4D sensory helmet. Hearing the noise outside, Jiang Chuan took off his gaming equipment after informing Li Mengyan. What's wrong, teacher Xianya? I see that you don't exercise or cultivate. Have you not learned the breathing technique? Breathing technique? Jiang Chuan expressed confusion about this new term. Before going to college, besides getting beaten up, he had never heard of the breathing technique. Lu Xianya had an expression of I knew it. No wonder Jiang Chuan had to improve himself through intense training before. Thinking that her student had never even practiced the breathing technique, Lu Xianya couldn't help but feel a little sorry for him. The breathing technique is a common cultivation method used after awakening our talents to enhance our realm. It is generally taught in high school. He he, teacher, you know. I dropped out of high school for three months. Zhang Chuan innocently shrugged his shoulders, feeling helpless. It was my negligence, but it's okay. 
It's not too late to practice now. Lu Xianya immediately handed him a basic breathing technique book. Ding, the host's intention to learn the breathing technique has been detected. Daily tasks activated. Learn the breathing technique with the guidance of a powerful expert. Successful completion will reward you. Reward, SSS level Great Sun Star Breathing Technique. After Jiang Chuan received the breathing technique, another daily task prompt appeared in his mind. Seeing the reward, Jiang Chuan's blood boiled. In his lifetime, he could actually obtain three S-level skills. Although they were not combat skills, it was enough to show their value. Jiang Chuan decided that he must study diligently with his teacher and not slack off. 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Learn from me and gather your spiritual energy in your dantian. Is it here, teacher Xianya? No, that's the bladder. Move up a bit, the spiritual energy needs enough space for storage. Okay, teacher Xianya, is it fine to gather it here? That's the stomach. How did you learn biology in high school? Move down a bit more. I can feel it, such amazing spiritual energy. Knowing that Zhang Chuan only had an F-level talent, Lu Xianya patiently taught him how to activate his spiritual energy. However, this process was a bit lengthy. After hearing Zhang Chuan's words, Lu Xianya breathed a sigh of relief. Daily task completed. Would you like to claim the reward immediately? Zhang Chuan, who was closing his eyes and feeling the circulation of spiritual energy, immediately chose to claim the reward. Great Sun Star Breathing Technique, LV1 This breathing technique will automatically control the host's breathing rate, allowing them to absorb spiritual energy from the sun, moon, and stars. The breathing never stops, eliminating the need for more time to cultivate. In the instant of alternating between breathing techniques, the surrounding spiritual energy began to gather frantically towards Jiang Chuan. If the spiritual energy within a few miles could be compared to an ocean, then Jiang Chuan was an unrelenting vortex, crazily absorbing the essence of spiritual energy. Feeling the abnormality of the spiritual energy, Lu Xianya's eyes widened in astonishment. After careful investigation, she discovered that all the spiritual energy was rushing towards Jiang Chuan's Dantian like mad. She secretly activated the breathing technique, and something even more terrifying happened. A King Realm expert couldn't snatch any spiritual energy from a warrior. It must be known that she was a peak King Realm expert. The only one who could do this in front of her was an emperor. Soon, after numerous attempts, Lu Xianya had to accept a fact. My disciple actually had the presence of an emperor. At this moment, all the spiritual energy seemed to be worshipping them like a king, eagerly rushing towards Zhang Chuan's Dantian without hesitation. The person himself was bathing in the vast sea of spiritual energy, and the spiritual energy in his Dantian expanded infinitely from a small point. From a point to a line, and then from a line to a surface, it quickly filled every meridian in Zhang Chuan's body. Ten minutes later, the gathered spiritual energy reached a critical point. Burp Jiang Chuan let out an epic burp. At the same time, he felt that the spiritual barrier inside his body was like a thin film, instantly pierced. Just by learning a breathing technique, he advanced. However, soon after realizing that his teacher was still beside him, he quickly covered his mouth with his hand. This is bad, his image is completely ruined. Fortunately, Lu Xianya did not show a disgusted expression, but rather murmured with some regret, Ah, another student who doesn't need me to teach. Then she stood up and walked to the wall-mounted TV as if she had lost her soul, and turned on her favorite animation. In the following days, Lu Xianya completely slacked off and didn't care about Jiang Chuan playing games every day. And after observing for a long time, Jiang Chuan discovered another hobby of teacher Xianya reading comics. Sure enough, at the end of July, he triggered a daily task again. Teacher Xianya, I will create a comic for you based on the day I dueled with Monkey D. Luffy. Sure, sure. Then Jiang Chuan spent a huge amount of money to find a talented artist, and worked day and night to complete it before the arrival of the Deep Realm Day. Wow, I envy their friendship. Isn't it a hot-blooded adventure comic? Why are there knives? So many uses for rubber, if it leaks out, your comic could sell for a sky-high price. Lu Xianya was full of praise, and Jiang Chuan successfully completed the task. Daily task completed, would you like to claim the reward immediately? Claim. Congratulations, the host has obtained the SSS level item, Nirvana Emblem. Nirvana Emblem, SSS level an item with the bloodline of the phoenix, dripping blood can complete the binding. After binding, it can specify a location for resurrection. After resurrection, all attributes will increase by 100% for a short period of time, cooldown time of one month. After seeing this reward item, Jiang Chuan had to admit that he had been conservative before. The new item not only allows him to resurrect, but also doubles his attributes for a short period of time. Truly a top-tier item. Jiang Chuan had to thank his King Realm teacher once again, she paved the way for him. Without saying a word, he hid in his room. 
He took out a small knife that wouldn't give him tetanus and made a cut on his finger. Blood slowly oozed out from the wound, and Zhang Chuan quickly summoned the Nirvana emblem to fuse with his bloodline. The Nirvana emblem was the size of a palm, with a flame-like shape and an orange-red badge. Inside was a phoenix, its wings in an embracing posture. After dripping blood on it, the emblem suddenly emitted a faint light, and the phoenix inside seemed to come alive, slowly spreading its wings from the embracing posture. Seeing this strange scene, Zhang Chuan knew that he had successfully activated the emblem. He directly chose his villa as the resurrection point. No other reason, teacher Xianya was here. That night, Zhang Chuan used the breathing technique he had collected for half a month, combined with his spiritual energy beads, to successfully break through to the third stage of a warrior. His spiritual energy capacity increased once again, providing an extra layer of protection for his journey into the deep realm. This cultivation method was much faster than getting beaten up in the physical training hall before. It's just a pity that he couldn't use the spiritual energy beads for recovery. It would be terrifying to say that he advanced two stages in half a month. You should know that the advancement of a warrior realm is completely different from the advancement of an awakened realm. In the warrior realm, each stage represents a significant increase in spiritual energy capacity and allows for more techniques to be used. Even the Yen family's young master, who is surrounded by top resources, hasn't advanced a stage in half a month. August 1st, the day the deep realm opens. Zhang Chuan went out with Lu Xianya, and on the way to the deep realm instance, Lu Xianya reminded him, by the way, little disciple, when you enter the deep realm, what you need to be careful of is not the monsters, but the people inside. People? Yen Yan nodded earnestly, staring at Zhang Chuan seriously. The true secret of the deep realm is the exploration of adversarial copies, the confrontation between orthodox awakeners and blood awakening awakeners. Blood awakening awakeners are like traitors, they have joined the demon race on the other side of the deep realm rift and spontaneously formed an organization called the Blood Sect. Hearing this name, Zhang Chuan's heart instinctively trembled, and he remembered the Blood Sect token he had taken from Zhou Hong. But this time, the copy you are about to enter is the deep realm developed by several universities spontaneously. It is a simulated adversarial copy. The students who enter the deep realm are from various universities, so there is no need to worry about life and death. Originally, I wanted to wait until you entered the real adversarial copy before telling you about this, but it doesn't hurt to tell you in advance. Zhang Chuan nodded numbly, and Yen Ya didn't notice anything unusual about him and continued, because the freshman grand competition hasn't started yet, this time we directly selected the top three students in the freshman sequence to fill in. You will enter with the accompaniment of two senior students. Killing monsters in this deep realm can earn points. The college entrance examination secret realm simulates the rules of the deep realm. The points of each team determine the final ranking, and the schools will give collective rewards. You will understand the specific details after entering the deep realm. Zhang Chuan understood. He remembered that the two sequences behind him were both from top students in big cities. Before long, the two of them arrived at a square in Bingyuan University. In the center of the square stood a huge silver gate. It was similar to the bronze gate Zhang Chuan had encountered during the college entrance examination, but this gate felt even more mysterious. After Yen Ya nodded to a middle-aged man in front of the silver gate, she disappeared by Zhang Chuan's side. Zhang Chuan went straight to the team and saw the students who ranked second and third in the sequence. Long time no see, Zhang student. Zhou Firin smoothed his hair that hung down on the side of his face and greeted Zhang Chuan calmly. He was the owner of the dual talent thousand water illusion. Zhang Chuan had an impression of him. Xiao Wajun, the top student in the magic city, also nodded slightly at Zhang Chuan. He was a young man with a crew cut looking like he had just been transformed. His ability was liquid metal, which Zhang Chuan observed at the time and thought was quite powerful. There were also a boy and a girl who were hugging themselves, observing the new junior. Zhang Chuan learned the basic information of the two senior students from Zhuo Firin. The senior student was tall, holding a staff, named Dengen, with an S-level talent called Revival of All Things, which was a hidden branch of the Wood Elemental Mage, with a 7th level martial artist cultivation. It was similar to Yen Pengcheng's bony roding demon flame. The senior student was named Zhong Jin, an 8th level martial artist. She tied her hair into a simple ponytail, looking very capable and full of spirit, wearing a pair of Martin boots. She also had an S-level talent called Shadow Concealment, which could hide her aura and launch a surprise attack on enemies, achieving unexpected effects. Zhang Chuan calculated and realized that they had a warrior, a mage, an assassin, and a support, but it seemed that they were missing a tank. Looking at the members again, his team really had an unprecedentedly strong lineup. The top students in the Magic City and the Imperial City didn't need much explanation. Although they were freshmen, their talents were truly remarkable. 
One senior student was a 7th level martial artist, and the other was an 8th level martial artist. Compared to Zhou Hong, who was only a 5th level martial artist before, they were much stronger. They were truly at a hell level combat power measurement unit. Not long after, another team from Bingyuan University's Deep Realm arrived. Many students who hadn't entered the secret realm came to watch the excitement from the surrounding seats. Since this was a deep realm jointly developed by universities in the Red Summer Country, it would also be broadcasted live for real-time observation and learning. The middle-aged man announced, the deep realm exploration is about to begin. The deep realm level is silver. Only students below the master realm can participate. It will adopt a simulated adversarial exploration mode and use a point system. The time limit for the secret realm assessment is 7 days. In addition to Bingyuan University, there are nearly 500 universities that have deep exploration quotas, with a total of over 1,000 people and 200 teams participating in deep exploration. Exploration points are obtained by killing monsters. The higher the level of the monster, the more points you can earn. There is another way to earn points by defeating other teams and obtaining their points. Lastly, in this deep exploration, you cannot harm your fellow teammates, otherwise you will bear the consequences. After the middle-aged man finished explaining the rules, he finally got to the main point. Next, the teams exploring the deep realm will undergo a four-dimensional attribute test one by one. Except for Zhang Chuan's team, the other deep exploration teams are experienced members with top rankings on the leaderboard. It was because three members of the original deep exploration team were promoted to masters that three new recruits were needed to fill the vacancies. The first group, please step forward. The middle-aged teacher looked at Zhang Chuan's team, as they were the first to arrive. Zhang Chuan, as the last member to arrive, walked up to the machine and firmly grasped the force measuring handle in the testing area. The data bar on the screen began to move. Name, Zhang Chuan Cultivation, Martial Artist, Third Stage Talent, F Level Flesh Armor Strength, 26 Agility, 21 Constitution, 54 Spirit, 23. After reading Zhang Chuan's four-dimensional attributes, the middle-aged teacher was somewhat astonished. He forgot to call the next person and asked in a daze, Zhang Chuan, did you not bring any equipment? He asked this question not because Zhang Chuan's four-dimensional attributes were too high, but because they were actually too low. A normal defensive talent at the martial artist level should have a constitution of at least over 100. But Zhang Chuan's highest attribute was only 54, and he was now afraid that the other person would nod. If this was the data measured with Zhang Chuan wearing equipment, then he would do his best to stop Zhang Chuan from entering the deep realm to die. Killing monsters in the deep realm meant real death. Even the bloodline revival in reality couldn't be used. Fortunately, Zhang Chuan shook his head, which made the middle-aged teacher breathe a sigh of relief. And there was equipment to rely on. Considering President Lu's face, he let it go. He calmed his slightly fluctuating mood and said calmly, next person. Zhang Chuan could also see the complex expression on the middle-aged teacher's face, but he didn't care. Only he knew that these data were just surface data, and he didn't rely on his four-dimensional attributes to survive. He casually walked down from the testing platform, paying no attention to the strange gazes around him. Yes, he successfully shocked several teammates. After seeing Zhang Chuan's data, the audience in the stands started to make a commotion. Who is that freshman with the butter-like attributes? How can someone with such low four-dimensional attributes enter the deep realm? Exactly, I've been slacking off since my freshman year and my cultivation hasn't improved at all. I could easily surpass his attributes. Flesh armor talent, seriously? Did the school leaders lose their minds? I can do it too. After seeing the four-dimensional attributes of their own team, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but feel disappointed with his own data. In his team, everyone had at least one attribute that broke through 100. Zhong Jin even had both strength and agility over 100. Unexpectedly, with his own efforts, he lowered the overall average of the team. Deng Yin also walked down from the platform and complained to Zhong Jin, why did we end up with a useless person in our team this time? The flesh armor talent is really unnecessary. The two of us can completely carry the other two. After all, they still have some use. Are they really planning to use this flesh armor as a tank? Compared to his and brother Chang's diamond bodies, it's simply unbearable. What are we going to rely on to pass the deep realm with him? We'll have to divert our attention to protect him. Brother Chang was one of the members of their team who had already been promoted to a master and had risen to the golden level deep realm. Zhong Jin frowned as she listened to Dang En's complaints. She didn't like hearing such discussions among teammates. And the person being discussed, Zhang Chuan, showed no change in expression. He had long been immune to such comments since the day he awakened. Dang En saw Zhong Jin frown and tactfully walked away approaching the two top scholars. He continued to babble, are you two his classmates? 
Are you really willing to team up with him? How about we propose to the school to replace him? Xiao Huajun remained silent, but upon hearing this proposal, he decisively shook his head. Why? Do you still think highly of this classmate? Is he your lover? Dang Yan's words became more and more outrageous. Zhuo Firin thought his mental strength was strong enough, but he couldn't continue listening to Dang Yan's nonsense. He shook his head helplessly and said, but he is the first in the freshman ranking. Dang Yan, who was about to continue persuading, suddenly froze, his face turning as red as a pig's liver. He had just said that the other two were better than Jian Chuan and wanted to persuade them to bully this freshman with mediocre talent. But in an instant, he was slapped in the face. Who could have imagined that someone with only an F-level talent and attributes that didn't even reach a hundred could become the first in the freshman ranking? He surpassed the two juniors he considered excellent in his subjective consciousness. When Zhong Jin heard this news, she couldn't help but burst into laughter. Are you laughing? Deng An, who couldn't utter a word for a long time, was very sensitive to her laughter. He instantly turned his head and stared at Zhong Jin angrily. I'm not. The latter quickly composed herself and waited for Deng An to turn his head back. Ha ha ha. You definitely laughed. Deng An turned around again and saw Zhong Jin still expressionless. What's wrong? I have received professional training and generally don't laugh. Zhong Jin's face was serious, not like she was joking. But just as Deng An was about to find the right words to continue speaking to the two juniors, ha, I've been holding it in for so long. Finally, under Deng An's prolonged death stare, Zhong Jin managed to suppress her desire to laugh. After the second team finished testing, the middle-aged teacher in charge held the microphone and said, the deep exploration officially begins. He then gave each team a jet black scorecard. Zhang Chuan's team entrusted the highest cultivation level, Zhong Jin, with keeping it. Mysterious cracks bloomed with dazzling light on the silver door, spreading from the top to the bottom. After a dull rumble, it slowly opened. The two teams, totaling ten people, entered the silver door and disappeared from the public's view after feeling a dizzying sensation. After seeing the members of the Academy's Silver Deep Exploration Team disappear, the leaders chatted casually. It seems like our team doesn't have any advantages this time, right? After all, there are three vacant positions that need to be filled by freshmen. Who said it wasn't? I wonder if we can secure a top 10 position this time. If we fail, it won't be easy for us to shine at the freshman exchange meeting. I heard that the talent of the freshman ranking first place this time is a physical armor. These freshmen don't seem to be very capable. You're joking. The top scholar in the imperial capital has a dual talent, and the top scholar in the magic capital has a liquid metal talent. The fact that they were suppressed by someone with a physical armor talent is enough to show his extraordinary abilities. Hee <laughs> hee, that's true. After Jiang Chuan and his group came to their senses, they found themselves in an unfamiliar environment. Everyone, be careful. As an old hand who had explored the deep realms for a year, Zhong Jin immediately issued a warning. Deng An was the first to react, while the three juniors didn't move at all. The two top scholars were not used to the feeling of being transported through the teleportation array. Zhang Chuan, on the other hand, didn't give any warning because his giant statue guardian hadn't detected any danger. Ten seconds later, Zhang Jin, who confirmed that there was no danger around, relaxed her defensive posture. Deng An also breathed a sigh of relief. They had previously experienced direct battles in the deep realms, but fortunately, their teammates were reliable and didn't lead to a wipeout. The two top scholars also adjusted their state during this period. Zhong Jin has been observing everyone's expressions since she came in. When she saw Jiang Chuan looking relaxed, a hint of surprise flashed in her eyes. Clearly, they are all freshmen, but his adaptability is stronger than the other two. However, when she thought of Jiang Chuan's identity as the first in the freshman ranking, it wasn't so strange anymore. Strength naturally has its reasons. Looking around, seeing that everyone has regained their focus, Zhong Jin put away the twin daggers she had taken out and said, For this deep realm, the school has issued instructions. We must reach 80% exploration level first, and then the rankings. As a team, let's try to aim for the top 10. Obviously, Zhong Jin doesn't have much confidence in the team they formed temporarily. Even though the three freshmen are all strong, they still can't compare to university students who have been practicing for a year. Increasing the exploration level is simple. Just clear the monsters. As long as we clear all the monsters in an area, we can unlock the map of that area. Zhong Jin took out the scorecard she had obtained earlier and threw out a map. The entire map is black, except for a rough outline, no other information including terrain, environment, and monster distribution is clear. I'm curious about one thing, how can we explore such a large map? And if someone has already explored it, how can we continue to explore? Emperor's top scholar Zhuo Firin directly hit the core of the problem. At this time, 
Deng and slightly raised his head, with a sense of superiority, knowing the rules of the Deep Realm. Zhong Jin patiently answered, The Deep Realm gives us seven days to explore the map, as for unlocking the exploration level? It's simple, by taking other people's scorecards, we can obtain their exploration level, and the corresponding areas on the map will also be unlocked. As for whether we encounter others or not, we don't need to worry about that. Everyone will eventually gather in the center of the map, where the final boss is located. The points given by the boss are incomparable to those given by the small monsters, as you all know from the college entrance examination. Oh, and this, one for each person. Zhong Jin said, pouring out several pieces of returned stones from the scorecard. Just like the stones in the college entrance examination, they can return to reality after being crushed. Next, let Jiang Chuan lead the way, Xiao will be responsible for protecting Zhuo and Dengen, and I will follow from the side to deal with any emergencies. Does anyone have any objections to this arrangement? After listening to Zhong Jin's proposal, everyone expressed no objections. Her arrangement is already a very suitable plan. Jiang Chuan, as a defensive talent, is reasonable to be at the forefront. Xiao Huajun, who possesses liquid metal, is responsible for protecting the elementalists and healers, ensuring an effective output environment. Zhong Jin, with the highest cultivation and the talent of invisibility, naturally becomes their ultimate trump card. If they encounter humans, they can catch them off guard. Half an hour later, under Jiang Chuan's lead, the group arrived in a dense forest and stopped to rest under a large tree. Fortunately, the weather in the deep realm this time is relatively friendly, without particularly harsh environments and terrains, otherwise the traveling speed would definitely be much slower. Buzzing. Before long, the sound of flapping wings came in waves. Everyone instantly entered a state of battle, knowing that monsters were approaching. Monster, Swarm B, Strength, Awakening Fifth Order, Aptitude, Normal, Abilities, Needle Sting, Honey Spray, Outside the Deep Realm, they don't know what kind of monsters and terrains they will encounter this time. Once they enter, as long as they encounter monsters recorded in the register, the wristbands can provide information prompts. Small and densely packed monsters appeared in everyone's field of vision. When Zhong Jin saw this group of monsters, her figure appeared and her face slightly changed, Swarm Bees. This kind of monster isn't very strong but there are just too many of them, making it quite tricky to deal with. She hadn't even had a chance to allocate tactics when thousands of swarms of bees came rushing towards them. Jiang Chuan, protected by the giant statue, was agile enough to dodge most of the bees that surrounded him. There were still some bees that he couldn't avoid due to their low agility, so he simply slapped them to death. The original bees didn't attack Jiang Chuan alone, but instead chose to bypass him and surround a group of backline members who were resting under the tree. Seeing this, Dengen quickly raised his staff and used his skill, Dance of Vines. Green light shone from his staff as vines emerged from the ground and enveloped the bee swarm. However, this method only treated the symptoms and not the root cause, as many bees managed to pass through the vines and continue forward. Xiao Wajun, standing beside him, conjured a large pair of pliers from his hand, crushing a swarm of bees with each squeeze, but it still wasn't enough. Zhong Jin swung her dual blades continuously, causing bees to fall from the sky. Although it was easy for her to deal with them, she didn't have the energy to help her other companions. Just as everyone was preoccupied, Zhuo Firin stepped forward, and a book with a water blue cover appeared in his hand. Then, with a chant, water arrows shot out from behind him. Thousand water curtain. Wherever it passed, no bees survived. Soon, the area they were in was covered with the bodies of bees. However, at this moment, Zhuo Firin's expression became somewhat strange. What's wrong? Zhong Jin was the first to notice his abnormality and asked with concern. This skill has consumed half of my spiritual energy. If another wave comes, I'm afraid I'll run out of energy. He put away the book in his hand and said seriously. This kind of wide-range damage skill itself consumes a lot of spiritual energy. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan walked up and handed him a blue raspberry from his backpack. Here, eat one. It should help you recover quite a bit. It was also an item dropped from the college entrance exam instance, and the item description said it could only restore a small amount of spiritual energy, but in reality, it should be able to restore 30% of a warrior's spiritual energy. Coupled with Zhuo Firin's talent as a genius from the imperial capital, he should have a good breathing technique. With the combination of the item and breathing technique, it shouldn't take long to fully recover his spiritual energy. Sure enough, after eating the blue raspberry, Zhuo Firin's eyes lit up. As someone who knew the value of things, he knew that the fruit Jiang Chuan gave him was a good item. At this time, Deng In's face was full of disdain as he said, we're both top scorers, but why is there such a big difference? If you have a defensive talent, why aren't you at the front, taking the hits instead of dodging? After enduring for so long, he finally found an opportunity to criticize him. 
Faced with Deng En's questioning, Zhang Chuan glanced at him indifferently and asked back, Should I have stood at the front and let this swarm of bees sting me? If I can dodge, why wouldn't I? Deng En widened his eyes in anger when he heard Zhang Chuan talking back to him and shouted, You should be clear about your responsibilities. You have a defensive talent. If you don't hold the line, what can we use to deal damage? Then may I ask, what did you do when his spiritual energy was depleted by half? Did you use your talent, for example? Jiang Chuan pointed to Zhuo Firin beside him, his attitude still cold, ignoring Deng En's anger. I lost my temper because of you. Your attitude makes it impossible for us to continue in the deep realm. I have no obligation to endure being surrounded for your sake. In that situation just now, can you guarantee that your healing abilities can keep up with the damage from such a large swarm of bees? Even if you can, why should I trust you? I trust myself more than anything else. After all, you're just a useless healing dad who can't even support a small amount of spiritual energy consumption. I really doubt your professionalism. You. Deng was left speechless, almost wanting to spray the opposite meat armor talent with a mouthful of salt soda water. He is at least a 7th level warrior dad, and also a mutant element. Not to mention, his S level talent is definitely not just talk. But now, a 3rd level warrior freshman dares to question him in front of him. This is simply an insult to him as a senior mage. Deng En raised his staff and prepared to strike. Pusey but at the moment he raised it, the staff seemed to pierce into something. A sticky liquid dripped onto Deng En's face. He touched his face and sniffed it. It's honey. He quickly looked up and not far above his head was a beehive. After he disturbed the bees inside, hundreds of awakened fifth level bees flew out and swept towards Deng En's face. Everything happened in the blink of an eye, and his two junior brothers beside him hadn't even reacted yet. After Deng En's face suffered three seconds of devastation, Zhuo Firin finally activated his thousand water skill and wrapped all the bees in water. There weren't many of them, so it didn't consume much spiritual energy. However, after dealing with them, Deng En's face was completely unrecognizable. The students watching the live broadcast outside the field immediately started discussing, it seems like they're arguing, there might be a good show to watch, can't they stop arguing? If it weren't for that handsome guy with blue hair, these people wouldn't know how to die. A student with a tank talent doesn't stand in front to block the damage, do they expect him to deal damage? Is there a possibility that a tank can really deal damage? Someone who had watched Zhang Chuan's video weekly said, but was met with disdainful laughter from the surrounding classmates. Who doesn't know that a tank is a talent that is put on the ground and not even looked at by dogs? After being stung by the bee swarm in the deep realm, Deng En became much quieter, mainly because his treatment could only relieve pain and not reduce swelling, making it very difficult for him to speak. Zhang Chuan looked at his swollen face and didn't make any extra moves. Actually, he could have taken out the red snow fruit to help the other person restore their appearance in a short period of time, but this person repeatedly provoked him, instantly making him feel that it was unnecessary to do so. Although the red snow fruit was useless in his hands, it also depended on who it was used on. For example, if Zhuo Firin was willing to spend half of his spiritual energy to deal with the bee swarm, he would be willing to give him his blue raspberry to help him recover. If it weren't for him, Jiang Chuan could also use the wind thorn of battle to eliminate the bee swarm, but he would also consume a lot of spiritual energy. Deng En, say a few less words. Jiang Chuan did nothing wrong. It's reasonable to leave a large bee swarm to the mage. Without that ability, he wouldn't let you guys enter the deep realm. Let's continue exploring. If we keep going like this, we might have a chance to break into the top 5. Let's first see if there are any monsters in the nearby beehives. Zhong Jin raised the scorecard in his hand and the number on it changed to 577. The previous bee swarm was worth so many points. There's no life in these beehives. Zhang Chuan reminded his teammates. How do you know? Zhong Jin raised an eyebrow curiously, looking at his junior brother in front of him. I have a skill that can sense life fluctuations within a certain range. Zhang Chuan explained briefly. If they wanted to search all the beehives here, it would probably take some time, and for him, time was exploration progress. Zhong Jin understood. But Deng En, who was accompanying them, stubbornly refused to believe it and was helpless about it. Deng En took his staff and poked a few beehives, this time he asked Zhuo Firin to take precautions for him. After a few minutes, Deng En returned in frustration, shaking his head at Zhong Jin. Alright, let's continue forward. Zhong Jin already believed that Zhang Chuan had this ability, but Deng En insisted on causing trouble. But it was also good, it confirmed that junior brother Jiang Chuan didn't deceive them. After 10 minutes, Jiang Chuan felt a large wave of energy fluctuations, not as many as before, but their aura was powerful enough. Monster, Wasp Foreman, Intensity, First Stage Martial Artist, Aptitude, Ordinary, Ability, Strengthening Unstoppable Needle, Heavy Honey, the new monsters were a group of fist-sized big-bottomed wasps, 
about a hundred of them, and their stingers were more powerful than the previous batch. This time, Zhang Chuan didn't dodge because there weren't many of them. The wasp foreman seemed to smell the honey scent on their group and went into a frenzy. They rushed towards Zhang Chuan, spraying honey at him, and their swollen bellies instantly deflated. Soon, Zhang Chuan was covered in honey, and his limbs felt heavy as if they were filled with lead, making it difficult to move. Dozens of large wasps started violently thrusting their stingers towards Zhang Chuan's body, a sight that was unbearable to watch. The teammates couldn't help but be amazed, it was really an inappropriate scene for children but no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't pierce Zhang Chuan's skin, not even a scratch. After restraining Zhang Chuan, the remaining few wasps attacked the backline. Facing monsters of the same martial artist level, they had to fight individually. While killing the monsters, they also had to consider how to conserve their spiritual energy, as they would have to stay in the deep realm for a few more days, and depleting their spiritual energy too quickly would be very disadvantageous for them. Xiao Huajun's liquid metal possessed both offensive and defensive characteristics, and among everyone, his cultivation was the lowest, only at the second stage of martial artist. But his abilities were top-notch. However, when the wasps stung him, he was horrified to discover something. The stingers of these wasps could penetrate the steel armor he had condensed on his body. After dealing with the few wasps around him, he looked at the group of wasp foremen who were still attacking Jiang Chuan with all their might, and couldn't help but exclaim from the bottom of his heart, is this the value of flesh armor? Looking at the minor injuries on his own body, he couldn't help but smile bitterly. Xiao Huajun didn't immerse himself in comparing himself to Jiang Chuan. Comparing oneself to others would only lead to frustration, and everyone understood this truth. Knowing that he was lagging behind in cultivation, he put on an equipment that enhanced his strength. He then easily dealt with the five wasp foremen around him and immediately supported Pighead. Dangan had already entangled several wasps that were attacking him in place. When Xiao Wujun arrived, he swiftly swung his blade, cutting several monsters in half. Zhuo Firin was also surrounded by a group of wasps, but her talent, mainly her illusion talent, didn't consume much spiritual energy. The group of small monsters were played around by the top student of the imperial capital, and when Xiao Huajun arrived, the two of them easily dealt with the group of monsters here, with minimal consumption. The monsters attacking Zhong Jin were the most numerous, but under her extreme reaction and skilled use of techniques, they couldn't even touch the hem of her clothes and could only turn into corpses. At this moment, they shifted their gaze to Jiang Chuan. They saw the honey on his body gradually sliding off, and Jiang Chuan regained his freedom. The range of heavy honey was too large, making it impossible for him to avoid it with his agility of only 21, so he had no choice but to face it head-on. After breaking free, he didn't hesitate to take out the crimson flame blade and slashed at the big bottoms of the wasps. How dare they make such a move against him, they were obviously not ordinary wasps. In his hands, one wasp after another met their demise under the blade. At this moment, Xiao Huajun discovered something even more terrifying. Not only could the wasp foreman not break through Jiang Chuan's defense, he could easily cut them down with his blade. He couldn't help but think of Jiang Chuan's four-dimensional attributes and then looked at the crimson flame blade in his hand with its fiery red patterns. He felt sour. Just how many good things did Jiang Chuan get from the Gaokao copy and the special admission resources of the academy? He didn't understand, but he was greatly shocked. Five minutes later, Jiang Chuan finally killed all the monsters. In the eyes of his teammates, the visual impact of him killing monsters was incredibly strong. Their impression still lingers on Jiang Chuan being an unqualified student in all four dimensions, but now he is standing in front of them, holding a knife and bravely facing the attacks of monsters. In a sense, Jiang Chuan's battles are even easier than Zhong Jin's. Are you exaggerating a bit too much, violent tank? Zhuo Firin stepped forward, looking up and down at Jiang Chuan, as if he was looking at a rare treasure. They all saw it too, this new student with the talent of a flesh armor, who can completely resist the attacks of first-level martial monsters. Not only that, but he also has full combat power. So it's not unreasonable for him to be able to stand in the first position of the new student ranking. Only Deng An's gaze towards Zhang Chuan was a bit absent-minded at this time. He couldn't accept why a flesh armor talent could withstand the combined attacks of so many monsters. And why is it that Zhang Chuan, when picking up a weapon, can easily kill monsters? Why are you standing there? Heal, healer. Zhang Chuan noticed Deng An standing there in a daze and reminded him. Deng An snapped out of it and reluctantly raised his staff. He really despised people who clearly had no talent but were lucky. Unfortunately, he couldn't do anything about him, which was the most frustrating part. It's not me, it's that brother. Jiang Chuan raised his thumb and pointed to Xiao Wujun, who had some wounds on his body, looking at Deng An as if he was looking at a fool. As a noble medical personnel, he still had to consider other people's feelings when acting, which made him feel very frustrated. 
A hint of gloom flashed in Dangan's eyes, but he still decided to bear the humiliation and heal his teammates' wounds first. Soon, the several injured areas on Xiao Huajun's body were healed, and the wounds were visibly closing at a rapid speed. Although Zhang Chuan couldn't stand Dangan, he had to admit that his S-level healing talent was quite good. Zhang Jin looked at the scorecard and their score had increased by more than a hundred points. She showed a happy expression, it seemed that they had hit the jackpot this time. Creatures like bees, which reproduce rapidly, are also extremely numerous in the deep realm. Since we have encountered a team of worker bees, it is enough to show that their main force is not far away. In my opinion, this batch of small bees is going to join the swarm of bees we previously exterminated. Zhang Chuan glanced at the scattered worker bee remains on the ground, each about the size of half a fist, and couldn't help but comment, you call these small bees? Zhang Jin looked at the speaking junior and remembered that he had mentioned having the skill to explore life, so she arranged, Zhang Chuan, it's up to you to find their location next and lure them here so that we can all work together to kill them. As a flesh armor talent, I can't run fast. Are you asking me to attract their attention? Isn't this bullying the honest person? Zhang Chuan protested. You have a relatively high survival guarantee here, and everyone has witnessed the strength of your talent. Plus, you have the ability to explore life. Besides you, who else can complete such an important task? Zhong Jin asked seriously. Zhong Sr.'s words are really persuasive. Zhang Chuan admitted that he had been manipulated. There was no way. When a beautiful girl with a good figure and a handsome appearance said so, how could Zhang Chuan refuse? He could only nod and leave the team. The giant statue guardian had already sensed a large number of life activities. Ten minutes later, Zhang Chuan arrived at a flower field. It was filled with giant flowers taller than a person, and even Zhang Chuan's height of one. Eight meters was only equal to the height of the flower stems. The colors of the flowers were not very bright, but each one looked very full. It seemed like there was a lot of honey to collect inside. If they come in, they probably won't be able to get out. It seems that these points are not easy to earn it was like a maze inside, but fortunately, Zhang Chuan had the ability of the giant statue guardian and could easily find a way back. Plus, as Zhong Jin mentioned earlier, the way to obtain exploration points is to clear monsters. Anyway, these monsters here will eventually have to be dealt with, so Zhang Chuan happily embarked on this trip. Buzz. Zhang Chuan quickly found the gathering place of the monsters. There were at least thousands of yellow bee leaders and countless swarms of frenzy bees here. They were crowding around a queen bee that was even bigger than a person, as if they were having a meeting. The chaotic flapping of their wings was even more overwhelming than the previous tens of thousands of frenzy bees, assaulting Zhang Chuan's eardrums and giving him a headache. Fortunately, the Holy Shield's healing power soothed the discomfort caused by the noise. Zhang Chuan casually picked up a stone from beside him and threw it into the swarm, successfully attracting the attention of the queen bee. Her mouth parts twitched slightly, and then a group of yellow bee leaders with their subordinates flew towards Zhang Chuan. Hee hee, gotcha. Zhang Chuan retreated outside the flower field at a steady pace, leaving a figure for the little bees to follow, luring them to surround him. As expected, the little monsters all wanted to make contributions and immediately chased after him without even thinking about reporting to the queen bee. Zhang Chuan led them to the location of his team, then turned around and stood with his sword, loudly declaring, work's done. The students watching from outside the field were amazed by Zhang Chuan's clever tactics. Damn, can you even do that? Luring monsters like this in the deep realm? Isn't he afraid of being surrounded and beaten up? Hey, why does this scene seem familiar? I think I've seen it in a video of a top scorer passing the college entrance examination. Don't think too much, it's him. I remember him. Zhang Chuan, the top scorer from Suyu province, has switched roles with the monsters this time. It's really outrageous. Just now, I still vividly remember him cutting down a big but be with one slash. I guess it won't be any different this time. In the deep realm, after receiving Zhang Chuan's command, several hidden individuals jumped out. Zhuo Firin directly used several water arrows to instantly kill the small bees behind the queen bee. Fortunately, the number of bees that came this time was not large, so this attack only consumed about 10% of his spiritual energy, and he would recover in a while. The remaining two combatants used the simplest and most violent physical methods to deal with the yellow bee leaders, forcing them back into the deep realm. Dangan released vines to harass and heal from the rear. This sudden attack caught the monsters off guard. They didn't even have time to spray heavy honey before most of them were dealt with. The bodies of the yellow bees were cut open, and the thick, sticky nectar scattered as they died. Except for Zhang Chuan and Zhuo Firin, the other three couldn't help but be affected. Zhang Chuan avoided it using his observation hockey, while Zhuo Firin relied on his illusion talent to avoid disaster and successfully escaped unscathed. Why is this honey so heavy? Xiao Huajun frowned. 
Monsters in the Deep Realm are generally more difficult to deal with than those in normal secret realms, Zhong Jin said without surprise. This was the usual operation in the Deep Realm. Xiao Huajun and Zhong Jin, who excelled in strength, raised their hands to try to shake off the honey on their bodies, but found that they couldn't exert any force at all. Deng Ping's body even sank slightly, his face looking a bit ugly. His healing skills couldn't remove the honey on his body. No wonder it was so difficult earlier. It turns out it's not because I'm incapable. Zhang Chuan comforted himself while dealing with the remaining worker bees, and suggested, Firin, use your magic to help them clean the honey off their bodies. Hearing this, Zhuo Firin opened his blue spellbook and released three water balls. As expected, these heavy honey was just sticky, and it would accelerate sliding off when it encountered water. After the heavy honey fell off, the three of them instantly felt relieved, as if they had been reborn. Zhong Jin and Xiao Wujun didn't hesitate for long and quickly went forward to support Zhang Chuan. Zhong Jin also instructed, Junior Brother Zhuo, use your water arrows to support from behind, Deng An, focus on controlling the situation, no one is injured for now. Even though Deng An didn't want to help Zhang Chuan at this time, he had no choice but to take action, while Zhuo Firin obediently followed the arrangement. His water arrows had minimal consumption and considerable power when used for single target attacks, which hindered the swarm of bees to a great extent. In less than two minutes, they successfully dealt with this batch of monsters in the deep realm. How is everyone's spiritual energy consumption? Zhong Jin asked. After inquiring, it was found that Zhuo Firin had the highest consumption, using about 20% of his spiritual energy, but it wouldn't cause any harm and could be recovered in about half an hour. Being in the forest, this place was advantageous for Deng An to perform his techniques, so his consumption was not significant. Zhang Chuan and Xiao Wujun were both melee fighters, and their consumption could be almost negligible, which would not affect their subsequent actions. After understanding this, Zhong Jin turned to Zhang Chuan and asked, How was it? Did you see the number of monsters just now? How many are left? Zhang Chuan extended his finger and circled around the bee corpses on the ground, then bent his index finger, indicating, We still need to lure monsters nine more times like this. Alright, let's continue then. Try to deal with this group of monsters before dusk. Zhong Jin glanced at the scorecard. This trip would bring in nearly 300 points. This time, their team might really create a miracle. So, Jiang Chuan used his old tricks, utilizing his giant statue guardian and reassuring armor value to lure and kill the bee swarm in different locations repeatedly. Their score started to soar. In the conference room of Bingyuan University, the leaders were looking at the score rankings of the Deep Realm and began discussing, the Imperial Capital is still performing steadily in just a few hours, they have already accumulated 1900 points. Alas, after all, Xiang Tianba possesses the SS-level talent of telekinesis, and the only one who can be reckless in front of him is Mang Yan. Unfortunately, for this final deep realm, he gave up the opportunity to become a grandmaster. It must be an order from the family. This deep realm is his chance for promotion. I hope our university's trial students won't encounter him too early, otherwise, it would be impossible to get a good ranking. Hey, look, our Bingyuan University has actually surged into the top 10 and is still rising. One leader, wearing glasses and a smooth beard, exclaimed. Oh, what's going on? The dignified man sitting in the main seat was surprised and refocused his attention on the rankings. He saw that Bingyuan University's ranking was steadily rising and soon reached 1800, surpassing the second-ranked Magic City Deep Realm team and approaching the team led by Xiang Tianba, who was in first place. He, who had already lost hope for the Deep Realm rankings, became excited and said, Quick, bring up the screen and see what's going on. Soon, the screen switched from the rankings to a split screen showing the two teams in the Deep Realm. The veteran Deep Realm team was currently in hiding, preparing to ambush an elite level mini boss. Although killing the elite boss would also yield considerable points, it was far from enough to catch up with the first ranked team in a short period of time. In other words, the points were increasing for the other. The new team? At this moment, Jiang Chuan's team had already finished another battle. This was the fourth batch of bee swarms they had dealt with. Their score had reached 1839 points. As a skilled monster lurer, Zhang Chuan didn't hesitate at all and charged into the flower field, smashing something at the bee swarm. Zhang Chuan disappeared from the screen in the academy's high-level view for about 10 minutes. When he reappeared, a group of angry bees were following behind him. The leaders, after seeing their skilled bee burial service, exclaimed in admiration, Look at that, that's what professionalism is. Although this team is made up of freshmen, their ability to adapt is too fast. It's only been a few hours. Especially this student responsible for luring monsters, not only does he have courage, but also strength. Who is he? The dignified man asked several people around him. He is Zhang Chuan, the top-ranked student of this year, with the talent of a meat shield. 
Jiang is truly deserving of being outstanding. He can fight and withstand attacks. Those old guys who evaluated his strength really have sharp eyes. When they said freshmen weren't capable before, you were the most enthusiastic. The dignified man instantly became speechless and could only maintain an awkward yet polite smile. The scene fell into silence once again. The high-level leaders of the Ice Origin University were all present. The chairman, a dignified man, had to grit his teeth and swallow his anger. He cleared his throat and said, It is evident that this group of students has great potential, especially these three in the deep realm. I suggest raising their resource levels even higher. What do you all think? To ease the tension, the dignified man quickly changed the topic. As expected, after he posed this question, the attention in the high-level meeting room shifted. Shouldn't we observe them a little longer? It might be too abrupt to promote them without caution. I agree. Their talent in flesh armor is not ideal after all. It would be better to see how far this new student can develop. Indeed, our academy may have abundant resources, but we can't take such risks. Resources are becoming scarcer. Good things should be used where they are most needed. I think we should promote them. Only when they have enough growth speed can we see results sooner, right? A voice spoke up, once again silencing the room. No need to mention it. I checked, and they are already at the A-plus level in resource sequence. Promoting them further would put them on par with top-level masters. After a while, a high-level executive who had previously voiced opposition slammed the table and stood up, saying, who is so bold? Acting on their own, spending so much to recruit him? A plus cultivation resources, most masters don't even have such treatment. It was Principal Lu who personally recruited him from Yi City. The high-level executive suddenly lost his temper and sat back down, praising, indeed, Miss Lu has a keen eye for talent. I was blind, this new student with flesh armor talent is extraordinary. The resources given are appropriate. After hearing that it was personally recruited by Lu Xianya, all the voices leaned towards Zheng Chuan. Wait a minute, with them scoring like this and killing so many worker bees, the queen bee will soon come knocking. The other high-level executives, after listening to the dignified man's words, looked at each other in surprise. Queen bee? The honey bee queen? That's the boss of a level 8 warrior. Now it's a problem. The student recruited at such a high cost is about to be lost. In the deep realm, the queen bee is even more terrifying. I hope these young people will retreat when faced with difficulties, otherwise, it would be a pity if they perish in the deep realm. With Zhong Jin and Dangan, there is still a chance. If necessary, Zhong Jin will remind the new students to leave the deep realm. Safety should be guaranteed. Let's hope so. The high-level executives of Ice Origin University did not place their hopes solely on Jiang Chuan, who only had the flesh armor talent. In their conventional thinking, no matter how strong the flesh armor was, it was only a defensive talent. Even if his combat power was strong at this moment, it only indicated that he focused on strength training. However, no matter how he trained, there were limits to improvement. Therefore, hard work and diligence were not as practical as awakening a stronger talent. In the current deep realm, Jiang Chuan's team had already killed the 7th Crazy Bee Squad, and their score had soared to over 3,000 points. They had opened up a gap of 900 points from the 2nd place, leaving them far behind. Jiang Chuan eagerly returned to the flower field. With 3 more waves, they would be able to eliminate all the small monsters around the Queen Bee. At that time, with 5 people attacking it, they would surely be able to wear it down. He once again picked up a conspicuous boulder from the ground and smashed it towards the swarm of bees, then waited quietly for the prey to arrive. This time, he waited for a full three minutes, but no worker bees came to hunt. Zhang Chuan felt that something was wrong. He looked out through the gap in the giant flower and discovered something horrifying, the queen bee was gone. Immediately after, a pair of honey yellow, honeycomb-shaped eyes appeared in front of him. The queen bee had been discovered. This thought flashed through Zhang Chuan's mind in an instant. He was so shocked that his hair stood on end. Without any hesitation, he immediately got up and ran in the opposite direction of the queen bee. The queen bee's wings shook violently upon discovering this intruder, as if sending some kind of signal frequency. Soon, her worker bees and honey bees gathered around her and began chasing the fleeing intruder under her leadership. At some point, the queen bee began to feel that her subjects were decreasing, and her bee colony was dwindling. The capitalist said it was unacceptable. Since the fourth batch of worker bee squads, she had noticed that whenever a foreign object flew into the bee colony, the squad sent to investigate would mysteriously disappear. Even her single core brain knew that this was a signal that her loyal employees were disappearing. So the queen bee started paying attention, waiting for the unexpected to come. As expected, the other side still had ill intentions towards them. The enraged queen bee gradually increased her speed in pursuit of Zhang Chuan, getting closer and closer to him. Damn, so fast. 
This is different from the script. Stop chasing. I don't have any emergency syrup. Zhang Chuan no longer looked at the queen bee chasing after him, only increasing his own mental pressure. As for why he didn't fight back? Monster, flower honey queen, strength, eighth order martial artist, talent, leader level, abilities, watch me sting you, honey of corruption, wings of inspiration. Apart from the densely packed swarm of bees following behind, Zhang Chuan didn't dare to take the risk just based on the queen bee's strength. This was much stronger than Zhou Hong. It might even surpass Zhong Jin and monsters generally had higher cultivation levels than humans. Zhang Chuan ran the distance in 10 minutes, but he managed to do it in just 5 minutes. The four people hiding in the shadows saw Zhang Chuan's figure and prepared to take action. Something seems off about Zhang Chuan's trip, doesn't it? Zhuo Firin said. He seems to be waving his hands frantically. What does that mean? Should we go help him? Xiao Huajun was full of doubt. Run. He's telling us to run. Zhong Jin read his lips and guessed his meaning. The four of them looked closely and saw that behind Zhang Chuan was a swarm of bees as black as night. The one in the front was already the size of a person and was relentlessly chasing after Jiang Chuan. Use all your trump cards. We can't just watch Jiang Chuan die, right? Xiao Huajun said anxiously. After all, they were all freshmen and had entered the deep realm together, so they could be considered friends. Deng Ping's eyes lit up, thinking that the troublesome guy was about to die. He didn't take any action. Zhuo Firin took out his blue spellbook and began chanting, Prison of a Thousand Waters. The water elements in the air gathered madly, gradually condensing into a huge cage. The area within a hundred meters of Jiang Chuan turned into a water prison, and the queen bee and her subjects couldn't escape. Ten seconds, kill them quickly, Zhuo Firin shouted, launching the thousand water curtain first. His face instantly turned pale. The effect was remarkable. All the little honeybees disappeared, and the worker bees were all injured and crawling on the ground. After exhausting his spiritual energy to unleash a large-scale crowd control and damage spell, Zhuo Firin was already exhausted and collapsed to the ground. Although the range of the Thousand Water Curtain was large, it was limited by the previous consumption of spiritual energy from the water prison, so its power was insufficient. Fortunately, the swarm of bees was numerous, but the monster's strength wasn't very high. He had already dealt with the troublesome little bee colony. However, it was obvious that his power was not enough to deal with the yellow bee workers, worker bees. He could only injure them but couldn't kill them. As for the 10 seconds he mentioned, it referred to the duration of the water prison's confinement. Killing more worker bees would increase the hope of defeating the queen bee. After giving Zhuo Firin a few blue raspberries, Zhang Chuan rushed into the swarm first. He wielded the crimson flame blade and killed in all directions as if in a deserted place. What a troublesome guy. Deng Ping saw this scene and gave a fierce glance at the pale-faced Zhuo Firin beside him. If it weren't for this person's intervention, Zhang Chuan might have died surrounded by the swarm of bees. So as a milk dad, he pretended to raise his staff and cast a spell in the back, giving his team some control effects. He didn't even care about the emperor's top scholar who had already lost his combat power. The imprisoned and injured worker bees could only accept the impending death. The queen bee watched helplessly as a large number of her subjects were killed, and a bloody color gradually emerged from her honey-yellow compound eyes. It violently shook its wings, with a higher frequency than when it angrily chased Jiang Chuan before. One by one, the motionless worker bees on the ground emitted a red light. Their wings, which had drooped down, spread out again, breaking free from the shackles of the water prison. What is this? Did they get a shot of chicken blood? Xiao Wajun was enjoying the killing, but suddenly saw the worker bees filled with vitality, and frowned, asking. I guess this is the effect of the queen bee's inspiring wings. Zhang Jin's face didn't look good. The data on her wristband showed that the strength of the strengthened worker bees had increased by three levels. Nearly 300 worker bees on the scene were still active. In the few seconds before, the three of them could only kill dozens of worker bees with all their means. This upgrade of the monsters was not only an increase in attack power, but their skills were also strengthened to a certain extent. Coupled with their large numbers, the quantitative change caused a qualitative change, which was not good news for their deep level team. On their side, one had lost combat power, one was just a milk dad, and one had a slightly lower level of liquid metal cultivation. Thinking of this, Zhang Jin's eyes unconsciously looked at Zhang Chuan. But at this moment, Zhang Chuan moved. It wasn't to swing his sword and kill, but to walk towards the bee swarm. This action made Zhang Jin panic. What are you doing? Are you crazy? She would rather count down than have any teammates die in her team, so her voice trembled. Ants can kill an elephant. Even though she knew that Zhang Chuan's effect of the meat armor was excellent, she still couldn't imagine Zhang Chuan being surrounded by the bee swarm. This was completely different from the previous situation, there was still the queen bee watching on the side. 
Dingping saw Jiang Chuan walking towards the bee swarm, and his eyes suddenly lit up. This was pure suicide. Jiang Chuan didn't reply, allowing one after another crazy worker bee leader to surround him. Stop the queen bee for me, he said to Zhong Jin behind him. His voice was stable, very calm, without any sense of panic. Unconsciously, Zhang Jin, who had been on edge, suddenly felt calm. A very absurd feeling surged up. Zhang Chuan could help them get out of the current predicament. So, just as the queen bee moved, Zhang Jin also moved. She caught up with the monster, and the dagger cut open a wound on the queen bee's body, saying coldly, your opponent is me. The queen bee felt the pain on its body and became furious. It secreted honey to heal the wound, and the wound disappeared quickly. Then it sprayed corrosive honey with a strong corrosive effect from its breath. Zhong Jin narrowly avoided it. Then, another stinger attacked. She accurately blocked it, causing it to deviate from its trajectory and finally nailed it into the soil beside her feet. Seizing the opportunity, Zhong Jin entered the stealth state again, disappearing from the Queen Bee's sight. At this time, Xiao Wajun, fully armed, holding a giant shield as tall as a person, also came to the Queen Bee's side and harassed it. He used his abilities to equip himself with a complete set of equipment, and after thinking about it, the shield was the most suitable for him in the current situation. The warrior of a generation had become a tank. The boss, surrounded on all sides, directly overloaded its CPU, not knowing how to act, swaying left and right. It wanted to find the disappeared alien race, but also wanted to kill the crawling creature in front of it. This boss seems to be not very smart, huh? Xiao Huajun said somewhat surprised. After all, it's just a monster of insects. It wouldn't be so easy to deal with if it were a jackal, wolf, tiger, or leopard. Zhong Jin took advantage of the boss's attempt to attack his junior brother and appeared again, launching another ambush. He successfully diverted the queen bee's hatred and once again fell into confusion. Both of his attacks were effective, but the monster had the ability to heal itself, and the wounds quickly healed. Fortunately, all they had to do was hold off the queen bee. Zhang Chuan endured the aggressive behavior of the yellow bee foreman and, after confirming that there were no special circumstances happening with Zhong Jin and the others, refocused his attention on his own battlefield. He saw his sword turn, infused with spiritual energy, and the fiery red patterns on it began to glow, surrounded by the power of fire elements. Since there was no room for his armor to be upgraded, he wasn't sure if it would be effective in the current situation. Zhang Chuan, who was steady, took out the Snake King's crown and directly enchanted it onto his beastly armor. The effect of the Python King's scale armor was activated, and a faint purple scale armor appeared on the surface of his armor. His armor increased. After preparing, he used the fire elements emanating from his sword right where he stood. Successfully absorbed fire elements, the Wind of Thorn will mutate into the Flame Wind of Thorn. After release, it will be imbued with fire elements, increasing damage by 20%. Zhang Chuan swung his sword horizontally, his aura bursting forth, and a fiery gust of wind erupted from within him. Wherever it passed, the sound of sizzling was incessant. The yellow bee foremen were burned, their bodies stiffened and fell, their six legs pointing towards the sky. Even though they were already cooked, their legs were still flailing around, not completely dead. Indeed, pyramid schemes brainwash people deeply. Even insects can't avoid such negative influences Zhang Chuan shook his head inside as he saw the convulsing worker bees on the ground, not finding peace even in death. In three seconds, wherever Zhang Chuan went, Groups of worker bees fell like sandbags falling from the sky. Everyone watching was dumbfounded. When the flame wind subsided, only a few dozen worker bees were left flying around like headless flies. They watched their comrades turn into charred corpses, and even with the boost from encouragement, they were already terrified. In their eyes, the man in front of them was the monster. And for Jiang Chuan, achieving this only cost him a little bit of spiritual energy. When he first advanced to a warrior, the amount of spiritual energy he possessed could only support him using the Wind of Thorn twice. Now that he had advanced to the third rank, he could easily use the Wind of Thorn one more time. Not only did his spiritual energy capacity increase, but more importantly, his control over spiritual energy had also improved significantly. Deng Ping, at this moment, held his head, his eyes wide open, unable to believe what he was seeing. What kind of horror movie was this? The originally imposing swarm of bees was actually annihilated by a trashy guy with a flesh armor talent? And it wasn't just one or two fourth-rank warriors. They were a group of fourth-rank yellow bee foremen. They didn't even have a chance to fight back? But the piles of fist-sized bodies on the ground reminded him that this was an undeniable fact. As a father, he clearly hadn't done anything. And now there was a teammate who had previously consumed a large amount of spiritual energy sitting next to him, and he hadn't taken care of him. But Jiang Chuan, with just one skill, had solved everything? What about the promised group fight? What about taking advantage of the outnumbered? 
he had already acted like that. Realizing this, Deng Ping quickly picked up his staff and immediately cast a spiritual energy recovery spell on Zhuo Firing, making his performance more realistic. However, for the latter, the recovery spell at this point was just icing on the cake. Because he had eaten the blue raspberries Zhang Chuan gave him earlier, his spiritual energy had already recovered to more than half. So he didn't feel anything, but he was amazed by Zhang Chuan's actions. The other party made him feel like a clown. He had put in so much effort, but the other party could solve the problem with just one skill? But thinking about it the other way around, since Zhang Chuan has such strong abilities, it is actually beneficial for their team to let him conserve his strength from a certain perspective. This reverse thinking actually made him feel much better, at least it seemed like he wasn't so useless. Zhong Jin and Xiao Huajun, on the other hand, were too focused on dealing with the Queen Bee and didn't pay much attention to the battlefield here. At this point, they had already led the Queen Bee to a slightly farther place and could see that the battle had already ended. They speculated in their hearts that Zhuo Firin must have recovered his spiritual energy and helped out. The viewing seats at Bingyuan University were already boiling with excitement. Wow. Finally, we get to see this move again. It awakened my dormant DNA. Art is an explosion. This is the violent aesthetics in my mind. Oh, my youth. Is this the combat power that a freshman can possess? Are all those deep-level monsters really defeated so easily? The high-level meeting room was also amazed by Zhang Chuan's actions, I say. Giving this student another level of resource allocation doesn't seem to be a problem, right? Is this a flesh armor? Are you sure it's not some other mutated talent? I've never seen such a bizarre skill before. By the way, he's only a third-level martial artist, right? This child will definitely become a great talent in the future. Don't get too excited. This only shows that he has strong group abilities. But don't forget, there's still a queen bee waiting for them. If we don't deal with it, our university team will still be in danger. The last person's words were like a bucket of cold water poured on everyone's heads, making the excited leaders calm down. That's right, there's still a queen bee waiting for them, the most difficult opponent. Everyone's gaze turned back to the screen, eagerly anticipating the next battle. Will the freshman team choose to fight or retreat? In the picture, Zhong Jin and Xiao Huajun saw the battle end and returned to the main force. What should we do now? Zhong Jin asked Zhang Chuan, her voice slightly panting. It was because of her previous confrontation with the Queen Bee and the excessive use of her talent, which rapidly depleted her spiritual energy. Xiao Huajun also looked at Zhang Chuan, waiting for him to make a decision. At this moment, the Queen Bee, seeing her worker bees mercilessly killed, suddenly erupted with pent-up emotions. It stared at Zhang Chuan intently. Zhong Jin and Xiao Huajun didn't notice, but with its compound eyes, it had been closely observing the battlefield here. Watching each worker bee die, what kind of experience would it be for a simple-minded bee to be identified by a single-minded man? It was like an unwavering cat and mouse game. Zhang Chuan was now playing as a player in this game, but one mistake and he would be slaughtered. The enraged queen bee raised its stinger and madly fired at Zhang Chuan. In a matter of seconds, it launched at least a hundred stinger attacks on Zhang Chuan, giving a sense of a storm of pear blossoms and needles. But Zhang Chuan had the protection of the giant statue, so these attacks were just a small matter for him, and he dodged them one by one. If he didn't fear the queen bee's cultivation, he would definitely charge at it and fight back. Such a large queen bee is not easy to encounter in the real world besides Deng Ping. The other three people wanted to help, relentlessly attacking the queen bee, but the monster completely ignored them and focused solely on attacking Zhang Chuan. Damn, this persistence is on par with a spoon killer. Zhang Chuan muttered to himself while frantically dodging. The queen bee, seeing that its stingers couldn't hit Zhang Chuan at all, accelerated and caught up to him. Clumps of corrosive honey shot towards Zhang Chuan, but he still managed to dodge them. Finally, Deng Ping, who was watching, became anxious. This boss-level monster isn't that great, huh? He now desperately hoped that Zhang Chuan, the disgraceful doctor, would be caught up by the queen bee and slowly devoured. He realized that in these few hours, Zhang Chuan had no place for him at all. Basically, he was the one attracting monsters, killing monsters, and even single-handedly pulling the team back from the brink of elimination. In the past, when would Deng Ping ever be neglected like this? Basically, he was always an important presence in the team. Deng Ping, heal me, I got a little injured, hee <laughs> hee. Old Deng, give me some spiritual energy, I'm exhausted. Unfortunately, the two teammates who needed him had already been promoted to grandmasters. In the current situation, as long as Zhang Chuan died, he could once again become an indispensable presence in the team. This thought kept looping in his mind, unable to be shaken off. In a moment of impulse, he raised his staff and chanted a skill incantation. With the green gem on the staff lighting up, 
thick vines rose from the ground, entangling Jiang Chuan's legs. The sudden turn of events furrowed Jiang Chuan's brows. His body reacted immediately, but his agility was not enough to dodge the entanglement of the vines, and he was caught firmly. He glanced deeply at Deng Ping, who was gloating not far away. The other three teammates also looked at him with suspicion. The latter met Jiang Chuan's gaze, feeling as if he had fallen into an ice cellar, and the slight pleasure that had just arisen in his heart instantly suppressed. His legs went weak, and he immediately knelt down, in a panic, saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was too nervous, made a wrong judgment. Immediately, he quickly released the summoning of the vines. The other three teammates had no time to care whether what he said was true or false. Because the queen bee had caught up to Jiang Chuan, and now its six hairy legs were tightly gripping his body, suspended in midair. The excitement in its eyes was about to overflow, finally catching this jumping monkey. No! Zhuofirin didn't hesitate, he summoned his spellbook and threw out another advanced skill. Water Sky Sword. He had finally encountered a classmate with such strong combat abilities, naturally, he didn't want him to perish here like this. In an instant, a water blue giant sword shadow condensed above the queen bee's head, greedily absorbing the water element in the air. After a one second delay, the shadow of the giant sword became more and more solid, reaching a certain critical point, and then it fell with a loud crash. Plop! Buzz! The queen bee let out a miserable scream, and a large amount of green blood gushed out from behind it. However, the six claws that grabbed Jiang Chuan didn't loosen at all. Hindered by only recovering half of his spiritual energy and the difference in cultivation, Zhuofirin's giant sword failed to pierce through the queen bee's body. After a few seconds of delay, the giant sword flickered and disappeared. And he once again staggered back pale-faced, looking at Jiang Chuan's position with helplessness, he had done his best. The queen bee was determined to kill Jiang Chuan. When Zhong Jin and Xiao Huajun arrived by Jiang Chuan's side, it was already too late, the queen bee had already launched an attack on him. Its mouth parts were wriggling frantically, and everyone knew what it was going to do. At this moment, Jiang Chuan was firmly trapped, unable to move even a bit. Everyone's heart sank when they saw the scene. The surroundings were filled with the countless pits and tree holes caused by the queen bee's previous failed attacks, and it was even clear that the queen bee's body had shrunk by a large circle. If the previous queen bee was a 200 kilogram fat person, now it looked like it only weighed 60 kilograms. It could be seen how high its hatred for Jiang Chuan was before. Now, having caught this opportunity, it would definitely spare no effort to kill Jiang Chuan. If Jiang Chuan dies, I will report you for premeditated murder of a compatriot. Zhong Jin shouted loudly, her actions not stopping at all as she stabbed at the queen bee. Her words clearly reached Deng Ping's ears. His face instantly darkened, his hands clenched into fists, silent and staring at the man in the queen bee's arms, his crazy and paranoid thoughts undiminished. Zhong Jin's dagger pierced into the queen bee's body, and its corrosive honey splattered out. Without any hesitation, Jiang Chuan activated the 32nd true man. The previous long-winded tactics were just to buy time for the cooldown of his enchanted items. If he had used his original armor to resist, Jiang Chuan definitely wouldn't have dared. All of that armor was brushed by Zhou Hong for him, but it was obvious that it was completely inadequate against this irritable bee queen. She received a honey attack from a level 8 warrior's honey between flowers, Qi plus 199. Armor plus 10. Magic resistance armor experience plus 10. Jiang Chuan's arm was corroded with wounds, causing him great pain. Fortunately, at this moment, a water ball fell down and helped clean off the honey on his body. It was Zhuofiren's water ball. Holding on Jiang Chuan had no doubt that if he had hesitated for a moment and not activated the Python King scale armor, his arm would have been pierced through. He kicked his legs, but couldn't break free from the Bee Queen's embrace. Jiang Chuan. He instantly felt that his lifelong reputation had been ruined. Fortunately, his teammates didn't notice this at the moment. The students outside all laughed, clearly it's a life or death serious moment, but seeing him kick like that, I couldn't help but burst out laughing. I could practice that kick for two and a half years, and then go find teacher Zhang Chuan to learn. Even in a deep crisis, they can still create a show, I'm truly impressed. Sensing Zhang Chuan's struggle, the Bee Queen showed no mercy and began acupuncture therapy on his body. Soon, Zhang Chuan's body was covered in bee stings. Received a bee sting attack from a level 8 warrior's honey between flowers, she plus 40. Armor plus 5 received a bee sting attack from a level 8 warrior's honey between flowers, she plus 40. Armor plus 5 received a bee sting attack from a level 8 warrior's honey between flowers, she plus 40. Armor plus 5. It was fortunate that his 30 seconds of true man time hadn't passed yet, and his armor value was skyrocketing, increasing by a total of 50 points. The bee stings didn't have the same lasting damage as the corrosive honey before, but there was still a slight sense of pain. 
From this, it could be seen that this boss's attack power was at least half again as high as Zhou Hong's, cut off its legs. Zhang Chuan shouted to Zhong Jin. Without any hesitation, Zhong Jin immediately changed targets and slashed at the Bee Queen's legs with his dagger. Xiao Huajun also stepped forward to help. With the boost from his strength gloves, he could also break through the Bee Queen's defense. The two of them each attacked one side, creating a gap in the Bee Queen's three pairs of legs. The Bee Queen's six hairy legs were in pain and loosened slightly. At this moment, Zhang Chuan kicked his legs again and successfully broke free from the restraints. He performed a graceful backflip and landed steadily. Holding his sword, he looked at the Bee Queen fluttering in midair. It's my turn! Zhang Chuan swung his sword, and the blade burst into flames. Frenzied blood five strikes. He leaped up, and the fiery blade struck with the power of fire elements. The first strike created a wound on the Bee Queen's body, and the fire elements caused the wound to curl up slightly, greatly slowing down its healing speed. Second strike, third strike, fourth strike. The wounds on the Bee Queen's body grew larger. At the same time, it launched a counterattack, but because Zhang Chuan had been toying with it for too long, its honey and stingers were already running low, and Zhang Chuan easily dodged its attacks. Chuan Ji, are you giving me a massage? Xiao Huajun changed his way of addressing him, and he and Zhong Jin had already retreated to the side. After all, they didn't have Zhang Chuan's abnormal defense. Seeing that Zhang Chuan's four strikes only left wounds on the Bee Queen's body, he couldn't help but tease. Zhang Chuan smiled and shook his head, clicking his tongue, Huazi, watch the strike closely. As he said that, he unleashed the frenzied blood's fifth strike. Xiao Huajun was immediately confused. Not only was he given a nickname for no reason, but he was also being given an on-site lesson? Who exactly had the talent for defense? I admit that you're strong. But didn't you see any effects from the previous four strikes? They just made the wounds a bit bigger. Not to boast or belittle, but I can do that too. What? Are you still planning to achieve a miracle with just one person, one sword, and one strike? Huazi's heart was full of resentment, but he still had a serious look on his face as he watched. Zhong Jin, the senior sister, also prepared to make a move. To others, Zhang Chuan's fifth strike seemed no different from the previous ones. Only he knew that with the addition of his shield attack, his original attack power, and the additional bonus from the fifth strike itself, the value of this strike couldn't be purer. In a sense, this was the strongest attack Zhang Chuan currently possessed. With one slash, a fiery red blade light lit up and cut through the gap in the Bee Queen's abdomen. Then, without even looking, Zhang Chuan put away the crimson flame blade and began to meditate, accelerating his recovery of stamina. He needed to rest. With the enhanced physique of the beast armor, his blood and energy recovered much faster than before. Chuan Ji, what's this? Huazi was about to mock Zhang Chuan for his useless strike, but at that moment, the Bee Queen's movements abruptly stopped. What happened next made him swallow his words. A thin line appeared around the previously unremarkable wound on the Bee Queen's body, and green blood began to seep out from around the wound. As the blood flowed faster from the gap, its entire body stiffened, and the upper half of its body broke apart at the waist. The Bee Queen, who was as tall as a person, had its upper body separated from its lower body, and the suppressed blood inside it burst out uncontrollably, like a water bag being punctured, splattering in all directions. It splashed near Jiang Chuan, but didn't touch him. Various organs and honey spilled out from the Bee Queen's abdomen, creating a strong visual impact that made Xiao Huajun feel nauseous. At this moment, he still couldn't understand one thing. What step did I miss? Even Zhong Jin, who had experienced the Deep Realms multiple times, furrowed her brows when she saw this scene. The boss of the Deep Realm, the Honey Queen, was beheaded by Zhang Chuan. The battlefield was in chaos, and the remains on the ground slowly dissipated into stardust. The Bee Queen's body turned into an exquisite treasure chest. The boss dropped a treasure chest. Xiao Huajun exclaimed, looking like someone who had never seen the world. Inside the team, Deng Ping stared blankly at his teammates, his mind a mess. He couldn't understand how it was a group of worker bees surrounding Jiang Chuan earlier. He didn't even heal the nearby emperor's capital top scorer. How much pressure did he relieve for them? Yet they were wiped out? What? Jiang Chuan has AoE skills? Ridiculous. He stopped dwelling on it. It was the Bee Queen's turn, and seeing her being humiliated so miserably, he decided not to pretend anymore and directly attacked, creating an opportunity to catch Zhang Chuan. But not only did he fail to defeat Zhang Chuan, he was counter-killed by him? Hundreds against one and still got completely killed? Are they even capable of playing? Especially the Bee Queen. The difference in strength between them, a whole five tiers, plus the Deep Realm bonus, and they still couldn't do anything to Zhang Chuan. It was terrifying to think about. Just then, he looked up and saw Jiang Chuan. He opened his eyes. His gaze was directed towards Dangan. 
He instantly felt an electric current surge from the soles of his feet to the top of his head, and his heartbeat slowly accelerated. Someone is coming, Zhang Chuan spoke up as a reminder. He had been focused on dealing with the Bee Queen and hadn't deliberately sensed the life force around him. But now, after the battle was over, Zhang Chuan subconsciously searched for the whereabouts of the few worker bees that had escaped, and he happened to sense them. Five auras. Zhang Chuan instantly realized that they had encountered a human team. Huazi and Zhong Shiji, who had no doubt about Zhang Chuan's abilities, instinctively entered a state of alertness. They knew very well what Zhang Chuan was capable of. Zhuo Firin also furrowed his brows and stood up. He had just eaten a blue raspberry and regained some spiritual energy, but it was not enough to support a battle. After hearing what Zhang Chuan said, Dangan's tense nerves finally relaxed. He thought their secret was exposed, but it turned out that someone had arrived? Ha! Huh? Someone had arrived. The awakened milk dad felt a chill down his spine. So, what does it mean when he looks in his direction? The enemy is behind him. He mechanically turned his head and saw a young man with a rugged face standing not far behind him, smiling at them. Clap, clap, clap. When the other party noticed him, he applauded and praised, no wonder you're this year's top scorer, Su Yu. Your perception is really sharp. At that moment, everyone except Zhang Chuan, the academic underachiever, gasped in astonishment. The sound of gasps around him puzzled Zhang Chuan, what's wrong? What's with your reaction? He was last year's top scorer in the magic city, Xiaomingyu, with the mutated thunder elemental talent, the thunder of the soul. He's classified as S-level. He wasted a year of his studies, and unexpectedly, he's playing in the final game this year. The latest information is that he is a 7th level martial artist, but his true strength is unknown. Zhong Jin briefly explained to him, wasting a year of studies equals playing for a year. Zhang Chuan understood, the person in front of him was not ordinary. Not bad, not bad. It seems like you know a lot about my recent situation, huh? Honestly, do you like me? Xiao Mingyu flashed in front of Zhong Jin and tried to flirt with her. However, he awkwardly realized that Zhong Jin, wearing high-heeled boots, was slightly taller than him and the arrival of an unexpected guest stopped him. Are you trying to flirt with senior sister Zhong? Do you want to pursue her? Your moves seem too skilled. Senior sister Zhong prefers someone more honest. Zhang Chuan came forward, facing the two of them, and gave a serious evaluation. And your appearance is indeed a bit embarrassing. Why don't you consider getting some plastic surgery? Otherwise, it's quite tiring for senior sister Zhong to keep looking down on you. By the way, have you been in a fight? Maybe you should consider getting a facelift? Senior Sister Zhang, what do you think? Zhang Chuan turned to Senior Sister Zhang and asked. Every word he said made Xiao Mingyu's face darken. His three sentences left Xiao Mingyu feeling completely humiliated. Usually, he cared most about his image, height, and looks. Now that Zhang Chuan pointed them out, he couldn't save face anymore. He no longer maintained a gentlemanly appearance and his face turned gloomy. I won't waste any more words. Hand over your scorecards, leave the treasure chest, and you can stay in the deep realm. Don't blame me for not reminding you, you just went through a battle, so you probably don't have much spiritual energy left, right? A wise person knows the current situation, cooperate obediently, and you still have a chance. Otherwise, I'll have to kick you out of the deep realm. Saying that, a cruel smile appeared on his deeply resentful face. Xiao Mingyu had deliberately studied the famous figures of the past year for this deep realm journey and selected some notable individuals to pay attention to. For example, Xiang Tianba from the Imperial Capital, a ninth-level martial artist, was someone he couldn't afford to provoke. But such existences were few and far between, and most of them had already become grandmasters. As for the others, he didn't fear them. After all, he was also a top scorer. By the way, he also learned about this year's top scorers, and the most eye-catching one was Su Yu, the top scorer from Jiang Chuan province. That's why he was able to identify Jiang Chuan just now. Thinking back to the other party's talent, it was truly laughable. Xiao Mingyu had been observing this small team for a long time. He knew Zhong Jin, they had crossed paths last year, and he knew she was from the Ice Origin University. Considering their method of scoring points, Xiao Mingyu was convinced that he had encountered the number one team on the leaderboard. His own team had worked tirelessly for hours and only scored a little over a thousand points. Overall, their ranking was acceptable, but it was nothing compared to being at the top of the leaderboard. Unfortunately, they had bumped into the number one team on the leaderboard. So, they became resentful and prepared to rob them on the way. They knew there was a live broadcast going on outside, but compared to the better rewards for clearing the instance, what's wrong with taking advantage of the situation? This was originally a practice against the instance. How could they grow without letting Zhong Jin's team experience the dangers of society? 
However, the scene just now where Jiang Chuan cut off the Queen Bee deeply impressed Xiao Mingyu's mind, and he put away his disdain for Su Yu, the top scorer. This person is not just a simple talented player, he is a violent tank. Now that the other party has just killed an 8th order boss, it seems to be the time for reorganization and rest, and also the best time to make a move. Deng Yin saw that the other party did not attack him, and coupled with the fact that his teammates did not notice anything, he became arrogant and said, just you? He looked at his teammates, there were five on his side, although they were all somewhat exhausted, but it was more than enough to deal with one person. The advantage is on my side. Then he saw the contempt in his teammates' eyes. What's wrong? Did he say something wrong? Isn't the other party alone? Then he saw Xiao Mingyu and Jiang Chuan distancing themselves and clapping their hands. Clap. Clap. A cold touch came from both sides of Deng An's neck, scaring him to quickly drop the staff in his hand and kneel down. He lowered his head and raised his trembling hands, saying, I won't interfere in what happens next, you guys fight. He completely forgot about the rule in the deep realm that you can't kill your own kind. Jiang Chuan saw his behavior and couldn't argue, so he could only silently complain, you're just missing a national flag. He didn't have any feelings about it. Jiang Chuan didn't have a good impression of Deng from the beginning, always looking down on others. Coupled with what just happened, he knew very well that if it wasn't intentional targeting, it would be impossible to catch him. This person wanted to kill him. However, the other party should also thank the school rules for restraining Jiang Chuan's urge to kill, otherwise, at the moment when he escaped from the trap with his weak body, Jiang Chuan would have directly killed Deng An. The other three people all showed expressions of disdain. Their milk dad was useless, but they were quick to defect. Especially Zhong Jin, at this moment she was doubting how she used to be teammates with Deng An. Oh, because their previous teammates didn't need him at all, Li Meng Yan alone could sweep the Deep Realm team. The previous Deep Realm team, if they changed their name, it would be called, Li Meng Yan and her four lying dogs. Before, they were four transparent people, so he didn't act up, but now it's different. In front of the three freshmen and himself, he was the only marginal OB monster. Originally, Jiang Chuan, who had a defensive talent, thought he would accompany him, but he didn't expect the latter to show even stronger strength than his combat talent. Maybe that's why he suddenly felt unbalanced psychologically, so he had to increase his sense of existence in this way. At a certain moment, Zhong Jin felt that he was quite pitiful, but not worthy of sympathy. Seeing that Deng An was so sensible, Xiao Mingyu lightly patted his head with his palm, like patting a dog's head. Then he said to Zhong Jin, you also saw it, there are five of us here, all in full condition. And what about you guys? Missing one healer, two weak ones, and one with low cultivation level. Even you, your spiritual energy consumption is huge. Be sensible, hand over the scorecard, and I'll let you go, I'll keep my word. Behind him, the four people, two twins each holding a long knife, were obviously combat talents. The woman held a staff, surrounded by water elements, and was undoubtedly a healing therapist with water element talent. There was also a big guy, staring fiercely at Zhang Chuan's team, with a posture that seemed to want to stare someone to death. Honestly, Xiao Mingyu's team lineup was not bad, plus they were veterans of the Deep Abyss. No matter how you look at it, Zhang Chuan's team was at a disadvantage. Xiao Huajun frowned, very dissatisfied with the opponent's evaluation. Zhuo Firin had an extra small bottle containing blue liquid in his hand, ready to drink at any time. Of course, Zhong Jin wouldn't be foolish enough to actually hand over the scorecard. Not to mention that this was the result of Zhang Chuan's repeated provocations, even if the other party said they would let them go, they wouldn't believe it. Everyone understands the principle of raising a tiger as a trouble, no one will dig a pit for themselves to jump into. Zhang Chuan's combat power was all seen by them. His ability to kill the Queen Bee is a huge obstacle even after he recovers. I'm afraid that after our team's scorecard is taken away, the first thing to do is to get them out of the deep realm. Zhong Jin was about to negotiate with the opposite side when a voice stopped her. Ha, huh, who told you that we are all weak here? Zhang Chuan sneered contemptuously. His reaction made the members of the opposing team, Xiao Mingyu's squad, all tense. The five of them frowned and looked at him, their eyes full of vigilance. If there is one person in Zhong Jin's team that they fear the most, it is undoubtedly Zhang Chuan. They witnessed Zhang Chuan taking action and killing the Queen Bee. However, they also saw the scene of him meditating afterwards, so they concluded that he was already at the end of his strength. Zhang Chuan lowered his arms and took two steps towards the direction of the Magic City team. With a flick of his hand, an additional crimson flame knife appeared, as if he was ready for battle. He had just regained some mobility, but he could only barely hold the knife. His body had not reached the level of being able to fight, still in a state of muscular weakness. The five people were intimidated by Zhang Chuan's actions and all took a small step back. 